chance to really inspire you to start sewing. We'd like to uh, get people crafting and start that sewing process. A lot of patterns and kits are perfect for beginners to use. It's a real wonderful, mindful way to start that journey into sewing. So don't miss the White Gecko Shows. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Don't forget to join me on my Rowan Dean shows. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, it, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people. I hope you can join me on my Let Leona Lose shows every Wednesday, 11am and 2pm. Hello there, good morning. Brand new day here at the craft store and we've got a cracking day ahead of us. Lots of different styles of crafting and we are going to have so much fun. And the reason I know we're going to have fun is because we've got the fabulous Wendy joining me in the first hour of the day. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Tired. It's a little bit, isn't it? It is very early. Yeah, we can't, it does we can't get away from the facts. No, I know. But thank you. Thank you for coming in uh, so early because you have bought us the most tremendous range of your gorgeous MDF that you do so, so well. And you can see lots of the things some familiar things which I know you're gonna love because we've got that fabulous little advent um, kind of shelf with the bookcases and all the little elements on there so that's back which is always popular but brand new gorgeous items to adorn our, our homes through winter really not yeah, just Christmas yeah it's, I would say it's more a winter range yes it doesn't yeah. need to be for Christmas it could be autumn even Very into the so. spring yeah yeah, yeah. I lots love to play with lots to play with. and one thing you will know about wendy she brings us value for money and you will see that as we're going along the counter obviously if you want to jump ahead and have a little look on the website it's probably quite mindful to do that because we get very very busy during these hour, these hours and i know you are already doing that so uh, yeah make sure you check out your baskets as you go as well because some of those items can suddenly whiz off our um, our shelves before we even know it but let me show you the first item that wendy's brought to us and this is a brilliant bundle you've actually got six large elements within this one and it's your wreath bundle number one we've got wreath bundle number two you might want to check that one out at the same time the details are at the bottom of the screen but I love this nice beautiful beautiful large size pieces which are always useful to have but so much detail again within the star you kind of got that worn wood look with yeah, it yeah and, it's yeah. just a little bit different yeah yeah no I really like the bundle it's really useful actually mm -hmm. yeah yeah very much so um, and you can see you've got your little markings there to help you when you put your little pieces in place if you're wanting to maybe placement markings if you're wanting to use them in that way um, and talking of placement I do urge you to have a little look at some of the additional bundles that we've got because we've got loads of additional embellishments that are going to adorn your pieces and make them look absolutely incredible and of course you've got the fabulous baubles featuring in this one I love this and this point set here this is coming up a little bit later on. it is yeah so there's two um, accessory packs that got lots of goodies in that you can 
use with your bundles yet. Absolutely loads in there, so do check those out. Now, for just $9.99, you are getting those six elements that we've spoken of. Um, we're going to see these in action a little bit later on today, because we're going to see um, Wendy. She's here for two day, um, two hours today. Two days, I mean, if we <laughs> <laughs> booked you in for the <laughs> two days. Two hours. <laughs> Back at 11 o'clock, yes. aren't you? Uh -huh. Now, um, is the, where am I? Is it this particular kit we're going to be working with in the first demonstration? Um, or second. The second yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Um, so if you fancy getting hold of this one, nine ninety nine, a very affordable way of getting hold of those six large pieces, all themed about wreaths. So eight one six five nine six if you like and the look of that one. But wreath bundle number two, and this is where you will see that intricacy. How Wendy does it, I really do not know. Because these they look as if they're created from kind of card because of the the detail that you've got. That's mm. something that we re regularly see with dyes. Yeah. Not with MDF. Yeah, no, it, 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 you can go quite intricate with your MDF and we, we do like to etch details onto certain yes, things as yeah. well. Yeah. And that's always useful as well. If you've, you've got people, or um, I'm certainly one of those people that doesn't necessarily know where to put the light in, put in the lines. Yeah. I love these little wood slices. You can see these little wood slices coming up later on and they're fabulous bases again. Which, to be honest, you could decorate just in their own right because there's a lot of detail there. But when yeah. you have those additional mm -hmm. embellishments in, yeah, oh no, there's there is lots. <laughs> there certainly lots. is. Now, with regards to these, we've got some elements. Let me show you some of these. This is what I'm talking about with the intricacy. Look at that. I mean, if you wanted to, you could just decorate that as it is, add a little bit of glitter maybe where those fabulous little berries are. But I know you like adding that detail that we can see within those finished examples we've been sharing with you. But for the time being, if you want your bases with all that intricacy and detail in there in a variety of different sizes, then the details are there on your screen. If you're wanting those, 012396. Nice to work alongside the previous set that we looked at, so if you like the look of those. But if you do like the idea of those little bird houses and those mittens and those bows, and poinsettias don't worry i'll tell you how you can get hold of those in a few moments so there you go left 99 a brilliant a value for money but those accessories now we've got two packs of these so if you're going for one it'd be rude not to go for the other wouldn't it because then you've got everything and also it's gonna be difficult for you to choose between the two because these are incredible so what we've got here we've got a beautiful array of well all sorts really and you've got those lovely uh, kind of two-dimensional bows or yeah. three-dimensional bows because mm -hmm. you've got the two layers in there yeah yeah it's 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 a really useful pack actually, lots of bows, little mittens, I mean you could turn them into little bunting if you wanted, good point, the baubles yeah. are really cute um, for hanging down from your projects. Um, and they're quite mixed sizes. We've got some large pieces, smaller ones that would fit onto cards, yes, you know, if you're a card that's a good maker. Point, yeah. so. Yeah. Like that idea. You can see how they team up with those gorgeous wreaths that we just saw in the, the wreath bundle number two because they're adding that down. These poinsettias are absolutely beautiful. I love that, those multi-layer details. This is going to be something you're going to be bringing out year in, year out. Yeah, definitely. If you ever put it away, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> it looks amazing. Absolutely beautiful. And another way you might want to use them alongside the kind of pine wreath that we saw earlier on as well. Again, those little wood slices, I think they're brilliant. Brilliant idea, as you can see there, all coming together. So that one is your embellishment pack number one. As I said, you're getting loads in there. Those fabulous, cute little mittens there. And I love it, you've got left and right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, and uh, it, within there's about 54 pieces in there. We kind of lost count as we were going along, as you can understand, because there's a lot in there. So 0936625. If you want your embellishment pack number one, just 11.99. Very affordable to add in alongside those wreaths. It certainly will make the difference when you come to decorate them. Now, this is a lovely bundle as well. So this is, guess what? Accessory bundle or embellishment bundle um, number two. Now, again, you are liking this one. You've already been on the website and you've been checking this one out so much so that already 10% of the stock has gone. This is beautiful because this is going to kind of add body to your designs where is. you've got things like the additional pine um, elements. Yes, yeah. yeah. So it's more a uh, um, woodlandy sort of rustic. Sort yes, of pack, that's that a good one, phrase, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> All sorts in there, as you can see. Yeah. Lots of that etched detail. Still got your poinsettias, and there you go. There's your fabulous little bird house. And those Christmas trees, they are huge. So if you like the idea of this particular one, then again, pop that one into your basket for just twelve ninety nine. And it certainly makes sense, and it is certainly very busy for these embellishments. So if you like the look, at six nine eight seven zero six. Take advantage while you have the opportunity. But if you want something that's going to perhaps sit on your mantelpiece, well, we have got the perfect thing for you because we've got different collections of different characters and these are so cute. 
Oh my goodness, adorable. 11, nine, uh, sorry, 10, uh, I'll try again. 9.99, going lower, going lower, going lower. 9.99, that's where we're going to stick with with this one. And you've got your three gingerbread men um, in a variety of different sizes. They come, come with little stands. Yeah, they do. Yeah, so you can stand them up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely perfect. I love it. Um, a beautiful tea Do they come with the little embellishments that we've got? No, yeah, the little so stars? They've, they've, there's a selection of stars and buttons with them Aww. to decorate. Yeah. Aren't they cute? They could be um, kind of place settings, couldn't they? Or go on your mantelpiece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever you choose them to be. But at 9 99 they're a brilliant one to get as a gift to make up and give to somebody as well. So 684-290, if you're liking the look of those. And we might see one of those coming into life um, a little bit later. Well, not literally coming to life, because that would be kind of, well, I don't know, do they? <laughs> You never know. Now, have a look at this next set, because if you are going down the winter theme, well, it, you can't think of winter without thinking of snowmen, can you? Or snow people. And I love these. There is so much detail within these characters. So, again, you've got gorgeous pieces, as you can see it, with the additional embellishments to, to add the dimension again, Wendy. Yeah, yeah. So their scarves and hats have got layers on them just to give that 3D effect, yeah. They are so adorable. I love it. And I like the little kind of open stars there, because if you wanted to put like a little um, tea light, like the little mm -hmm. battery operated yeah. ones, they'd shine through there, wouldn't they? Yeah. Perfectly. Again, what an affordable price, nine ninety nine. All three of those, 588482. Incidentally, any of these bundles you want into bulk up on, you can go for multiples, and there's no additional post and packing, so it certainly makes sense for some of them, doesn't it? Especially the Santas. Oh, another familiar uh, character around Christmas time. And again, a very traditional one that you are loving. So again, you've got your three different sizes with regards to these ones. Um, and with these, the first thing I'd look at these is think, oh, I couldn't get a face looking like that. It wouldn't look like that if I made him. But you're adding the detail again to yeah. help us with this. Mm -hmm, definitely. No, it's, it's very easy to follow the lines, um, colour in. They've got etched trees on the bottom of their, their jackets for their coats as well. So, yeah, it does make it easy for, for painting. I love it. And again, so affordable. 999 861440. So again, a nice project. That might be a nice project to get the kids involved with. The beginning of the um, Christmas month, 1st of December, they could get cracking with those. Might be the first project that they pick out when they open up their first little bookcase, a book from the bookcase, the Advent bookcase. Well, we say Advent. It doesn't have to be. It could be whatever you want no, it to be. Count no, down to anything or yeah, just as I've actually books. had mine out all year. Yeah, I, I couldn't put it away, so... <laughs> they are adorable. Now, we've got 25 little books in here. Yes, you have. Yeah. Love it. So one for every day of Advent, and then, of course, the big day itself there. Maybe you're going to be popping something extra in there. And these are quite sizable. And, of course, something that you can use over and over again. It's always a popular item, and they are brilliant. They're fabulous little books, as you can see. Very substantial, they I are. have to say. Yeah, they're quite robust little books. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They've got that fabulous little living hinge, um, all um, obviously created so it just wraps around like so you've got almost like a little locking system there where you've got your little piece there but you've got a good amount there mm -hmm. you good get a nice room. chocolate in there you yeah. certainly would mm -hmm. wouldn't you Definitely, I love it. And of course, you can embellish them in whichever way you want, whether you've got your fabulous papers, whether you want to get your paints involved. And the beauty is, it's just, I love anything that's easy to pack down after Christmas. I yeah. mean, this, you could just put mm -hmm. a bit of bubble wrap around it. You could it actually take the books out and just keep it on your craft stand. Little glitters actually that's fit in the shelves. Idea. Perfect, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not a bad idea, is it? So if you fancy getting hold of this, in fact, you could store your embellishments in these if you wanted to and almost put on the spines there, the different sequins and beads and whatever you want yeah. to put in there. Mm -hmm. um, you're liking this one. I'm not surprised. 10% of the stock has gone. It's always a popular one this time of year. But again, it is one of those things that if you want to decorate it for Christmas, perfect. But all year round, I would be treating myself to one of those as well. So 238781. Now, we don't stop there. We've got another item to share with you and it's the most incredible bunting. And this is really, quirky i love this who's saying that we shouldn't have cacti all year round day eh, wendy <laughs> especially at christmas love it if you're thinking about warmer climes on those chilly days but when we're looking at these now i'm looking at them now the actual hats are they a part of the the um, cacti as well or is it a case of that you can um take no, the hats they, off? they are they do have the hats on yeah yeah so they, they layer up the hats um 
we actually designed this just before last Christmas. Okay. Um, so I've had those hanging in my kitchen. Didn't take them down. They were just, they were just too cute. So they've been there all year. They're a brilliant <laughs> idea. I love it. I just love the little um, the plant pots as well. I mean, you could mm -hmm. really go to town with that decoration on there, couldn't you? Beautiful. Now, if you fancy yours, then uh, 751-533, just twelve ninety nine is your price on there. Um, and they are brilliant, as you can see there. A lot within your pack on that one as well. So we've had some really fabulous prices when we're looking across the different items. Obviously, you've got your different bundles and your packs, your wreaths, your embellishments. I don't think any of those are any more than twelve ninety nine. And then, of course, you've got that Advent bookcase there at twenty one ninety nine. That is brilliant value for money because you will be using that every single year. I think that's a nice want to be creating if you've got um, uh, your, uh, maybe a youngster, then maybe a baby's first Christmas, that could be their advent calendar that they bring out every single year from this Christmas onwards. Oh, so many different ideas. Of course, if you've got any ideas you'd like to share with us or photos, then you can get involved. Not a problem at all. All you need to do is email us, studio at thecraftstore.com. We're going to head over to Wendy for her first demonstration. She's working on one of those wreaths. Oh, yeah. this looks nice. Yeah. So we're just going to do some painting because okay. they are just made for painting really it's just lovely flat surface, smooth, you've got all your etch lines. Don't be scared to paint over your etch lines because they do always show back through um, your paints. So we're just going to make a start. And any consideration with regards to the type of paint that we work with, Wendy? Um, not really. Um, I, I mean, I use acrylics because that's what I prefer and you can paint straight on with the acrylics. If you're using watercolours, I would prep the wood first, just okay. a, a coat of gesso or even just white paint um, as a base coat. I'm guessing just that's because of translucency. It, yeah. And it'll, it'll suck it into it. Um, ah, okay. So depending on the look that you want, depends on whether you undercoat it. Um, okay. So for instance, I'm painting this nice colour, but I want it to sort of look quite natural. Okay. So I haven't put a base coat on. If I wanted it more vibrant, I would have painted it white. First of all, okay, okay. Um, and nice then, green you chose now. I like that is, one. It is. It's lovely. So it just glides on as well. That's the thing. I mean, I must admit, personally, I'm one of these crafters that just likes to get in there. I don't necessarily want to prime and prep. Yeah. I'm the same yeah. when I'm doing my DIY and my decorating <laughs> at home. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things that you could just literally get straight in there. It is. Oh, it really is. And if you're unsure, what I say to everyone is, if you're unsure about what you're using. Um, you know how the colour is going to look. Try it on the back first um, before you you go onto your etched front. Just experiment, and That's if you don't like actually, it, yeah. just paint over it. Yeah. Just paint over it. It's, um, this is a fabulous one. I mean, you've got those gorgeous leaves on there, which of course could be autumnal if you want them to be autumnal, or there could be leaves that you're adding um, bright um, colour tones to, maybe adding some of the florals, additional yeah. bits and pieces. Because you've brought us loads of fabulous embellishment packs in the past. Yeah, we are, we are quite good with our embellishment packs. They're just handy. Um, there's always lots in them, and you can do so many projects. So, so we're going in with a lighter green now. Okay. And I'm not been overly fussy with it because we are going to ink the edges and maybe put a little <laughs> bit of frosting on it so it's um I'm just going to do one coat it's as quite well. nice with the leaves if you you kind of keeping the, the, the kind of the paint quite light as in not too dense because you kind of get the the color tone change don't you from you the, do. the MDF coming through yeah and I quite like that mm. on some projects for instance if I was doing the snowmen I would want to undercoat it all with white first and then go in again. We well, don't want Just... dirty snowmen, do you? <laughs> don't want them looking dirty before we've even started. <laughs> so yeah, you, you can achieve, achieve different results um, by what you're doing. And I haven't washed my brush either between the coats, so I'm getting some of the... the I'm not even sure what kind of colour that is. It's almost like a sage colour, yeah, isn't it? It's really yeah, nice. I yeah. think it's called English Ivy, it's called. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So, so I am getting some of that. So far, so achievable. I mean, this is something that I've, I've been given. I could achieve. Of course. And it's just so relaxing, actually, just painting the MDF. And you can see how deeply etched those lines are. So, like you say, you don't have to worry. You just paint straight over them. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Acrylics are. I mean, it's a crafter's acrylic rather than an artist's acrylic that I'm using. Okay. The artist's acrylic tend to be. You know that really quite thick yes, paint. Yes. Yeah. Um, so you would have to maybe watch your lines with that, but 
Right. You know, this consistency is just perfect. And it does tend to, once the, um, the paint dries, the etch lines do shine back through. So I think it's, I mean, it's so quick. I mean, you started this literally from scratch, and you can see just adding those two yep. different colours of paints there. Yep. All so I would together. start with a base coat, and then you would maybe go in and do some of your highlights. Okay. Just to, just to bring it to life, really. So we're just going in with the base coat. Lovely. Now, just as you add in um, that base coat there, um, I'm just going to mention, you are loving these sets. Each time I look down, I see even more within the bundle that I didn't notice last time, because you're getting so much in there. Now, this one is um, at wreath bundle number two. We've got two bundles that you can go for. So, again, you can see this is almost like a, a smaller version of the one that Wendy's working on. You get and get a couple of those in there. You're going to be able to add your paints, add your decoration, add your detail to get some incredible results. And, of course, if you want to add your additional embellishments, do check out those embellishment packs again. They have been very very popular during this hour but if you're wanting to go for your um, bases your wreath bundle number two is a very popular one 20% of the stock has gone already and at 11.99 I'm not surprised really very affordable right so I'm just going back in with the the color that I've done the actual hoop with just to give it a little bit of depth so I'm not once again I'm just not being too fussy I'm sort of dry brushing it Okay. as well I'm not loading my brush up with paint and it's just given a, a two-tone effect I suppose it's nice because it doesn't give any harsh edges when you're no. using that no that technique yeah I like it so just you just there we go lovely and then so we'll that green that almost looks more yellow now doesn't it it when does you've done that. it's yeah. nice i like the yeah i like the sort of edges mm. even that they're not burnt but you know the effect that you get yes. the smoky edges right so i've got the biggest size of poinsettia because we do do the two sizes okay i've already glued it together so i can just get in there with my paint and then this one i think is in embell embellishment pack number one i think if i remember rightly all right so we're using a christmasy red once again, no, no undercoat, just straight in. Oh, I think we've got them on both sets. That's going to con confuse me. <laughs> I think, yes. Two different got, sizes. So yeah. if you want the smaller ones, they're in embellishment pack number one. But if you want the larger, embellishment pack number two. But you're going for both of them anyway, so you'll have both sizes. <laughs> It makes sense. There's just so much to choose from. Now, I didn't expect this to be the case that you would glue it together and then add your paint with this one. Um, just because you're going to waste paint, really, if you, you know, because you're yeah, layering a, it up. Yeah, it's a fair point, you know, actually, so if yes. you, if you, I mean, it's really what you prefer to do. And I suppose some of the pieces, although they're, they're good sizes, they can be quite tricky to, to paint when they're just the individual petals, yeah, or, or the, yeah. the layers, should I say, because they're not individual petals, but um, you, you're layering up your three different layers there. But, uh, yeah, I like the idea, actually, of what you're doing, yeah, painting it. Yeah. So all three, three sections are all identical, just smaller and then smaller. Okay. So you could match them up, you know, and layer them up, but I've just sort of just, I've just glued it on any which way. No, but I think that's kind of how they are mm -hmm. in nature, isn't it, I think? So you don't need to worry about that, lining things up. Um, just glue it together. Now, right. if we're buying these and we're wanting to make these up and sell them, Wendy, is that okay? Yes, all right of to do course. That? As long as you've done something with your kit. Okay, so um, added your, your gorgeous colours and techniques. Yeah, nice. Yep. Right, so we've got those. We'll leave them there. So we've got our two big maple leaves. So we're going to just give these a sort of lighter edge to them so just dry brushing again okay and again i think this is ones that are coming from embellishment pack number two if you're specifically looking for these ones so these come in two sizes as well so just lightening up the edges and as you can see i'm really just not being fussy i'm just slapping it on really <laughs> Right, we'll leave that. Now, we're actually going to use some pencils now to just give a bit of depth to it. Oh, OK. Because I'm always saying that you can use all your all your different products on it. So we're just See, this is it. I wouldn't have thought of putting pencils yeah, on Yeah, so that. it's watercolour pencils I'm going to use. And okay. I'm just going to use probably a brown. Now, you can colour straight on or you can just take your, your water brush 
And I don't know if the camera will pick it up, to be honest. I'm not oh, sure if give it, it a does. Go. Yeah, yeah. So where it's all glued together, you would have a natural shadow. So I'm just going round the so edges it's like there. Where that, the joins come into play, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So you would get your natural shadow there. So I'm just going in, and it's quite easy just doing it like this. I mean, you could just scribble, scribble it on and then go in with your water pen. But it is adding depth to it. Well, you can see where you, you've done it, and it really does make a difference, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's quite a good a technique. Depth, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it just shows you, I wouldn't do the pencil straight onto the bare wood. Okay. Like I said, it would just disappear into the wood. Yeah. So you would prime it first, but it's ideal. I've painted it, so now I can go in and use my pencils. Obviously, you can just do this with your paint, but it was just to show that you can use all your different products. Well, this is the thing, because sometimes people will be watching everything, oh, yeah, but you know, when do you say, I've got to get all this and I've got to get, I haven't got that already. <laughs> so you're explaining that, yeah, it fits in, slots in very nicely with what we've got already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I think the camera can pick that up, but it's yeah. just given that sort of darker edge to it. And I'll just quickly do some here. Fabulous. You don't need to be too fussy, but yeah, yep. So that's um, it's just kind of enhancing it, it isn't has. it? Yeah. Yep. So I think what we're going to do now, we'll just take some white, and we're just going to dry brush everything. Oh, okay. So just to give it sort of like a frosty, frosty edge to it. I think those frosts will be coming soon, won't they? Oh, yeah. It seems to be getting cooler at night. I don't mind winter, though. It's only if you've got to come out, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we did have hailstones the other day. That was quite wintry with us. Yeah, because of course, yes. Up in Scotland, yes. Now. I do quite like this dry brushing. It's very effective, isn't it? It is. It? See, I'm looking at these and I'm thinking that all those different shops you see, around this time of year, you often see those kind of pop-up shops, don't you, that, that yeah. are kind of very mm -hmm. seasonal. Yep. Um, and uh, we, we've got one that actually is there all year round in our local shopping centre and they do all these kind of whimsical elements that just look so amazing, but they're so expensive when you see them in the shops. And this mm. is something that's so affordable. I mean, obviously we're looking at the embellishments here. Um, we've got a mixture of the different packs. So if you go for both of the packs, you're going to get everything. So you're going to get all the larger leaves, the larger and the smaller of the poinsettia as well. We've got them on the two boards in front of me here. But what Wendy's using them alongside are the fabulous wreath bases, which makes sense. If you can manage to stretch to the first four items, well, my goodness, you have got so many different projects that you're going to be working on um, during the, the winter season. But same that, some of these ones, the sprigs that you've got there with the kind of uh, almost like the, the fur um, sprigs on there, they're all year round, aren't they, as well? So you could be using them different colour tones throughout the year. Uh, but of course, there's lots of elements you will recognise recognize the mistletoe there as well as you can see. I love the autumnal idea with the fruits in here as you can see and then you've got the different sizes of the poinsettias and those wonderful fir trees as well. So all the techniques that uh, Wendy's sharing with us, these are transferable over to any of those embellishments that you can see there and all that etched detail means that if you want to go in to the finer nitty gritty then you can do. And that's the beauty of the way that Wendy does everything and then of course it's dry brushing that Wendy's doing just finishes everything off, makes it just look so professional. It really, I mean, it's such an easy thing to do, um, but it's just, yeah, it just softens it all together, brings all the elements just together. If you've got that brush. little bit of a haziness, yeah, doesn't it? yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. I, I do love this technique, and obviously, you just don't need to be fussy with it at all, right? So, I've got all my elements, they're all painted, so we're just going to stick things on. This is brilliant as well because it's all real time as well. There's no um, drying um, time with regards to this. It's all kind of just good to go. You paint yeah, it yeah. and by the time you've done the next piece, the first bit that you've done is dry. The and, beauty yeah. of acrylics as well, it's such yeah. fast drying. Now, if I was at home, I would be using my, my gel medium or my wet glue, but okay. just for the sake of um, speed. We're just going to go in with a hot glue. See, this is clever because we all, well, I always think of putting things onto the front of your wreath. Nope. But you're adding more by adding it to the back. Clever. Adding it to the back. So it's just a case of deciding where, where you want it, really. 
And I've, I've not used a lot of pieces here. Um, so it'll show you your kits will go a long way. That's a fair point, yeah. So I'm just going to stick that one there, I think. Like so. Right, what else have I got? So I've got little bits and pieces that I'm going to Ooh, use. Okay, this is when right. you get into your stash and just see... Those little bits that you Just you see what kept. you've got, yeah. So this is just sort of like a little gold netting. So I'm going to put a bit of this on here without burning my... Fingers. Yes, mind your fingers. <laughs> Back at 11, we don't want you to take a trip anywhere. And then we've got our little stringy stuff that's just everywhere at this time of year. And it's just, it's great to put behind things. Yes. So I'm going to lay that there and then I'll take the big poinsettia. Lots of glue. And I'm just going to glue that oh, one down look there. Oh, that. Like so. Wow. I'll another glue stick in. And a little bit of stringy stuff um, behind the next one. And I think we're just going to, where will we go? It's lovely as well, because poinsettias are kind of the first signal almost, isn't it, that Christmas is on its way. You see them when you go out to do your weekly shop. Yes. They suddenly yeah. start popping up, don't they? they? Do. Oh, it's on its way. Yeah. Yeah. And just to finish it off, like I always do, is get in with your pens. Okay. So we're just going to... Do the little dots. Ah, okay. This is just, I put dots on everything. <laughs> can't like help. a little signature thing. Yeah, I just can't help myself. This is the bit that I really enjoy is just, you know, adding all the sort of little extras at the end. And it does. I, um, yeah, the camera is picking it up. It looks fabulous. Um, it really does just make everything pop. You know, at the end, as soon as you start adding little dots looks amazing and when you think that we started it well we i just stood here watching <laughs> um, but, but wendy started this from scratch and this is something that, as you can see i mean this is an amazing gift to give to somebody but as wendy said if you're wanting to make these up and sell them yeah take inspiration from what wendy's done with hers she only used one of those wreath bases and then just a few of the embellishments so if you can go for uh, at least one of those wreath bundles alongside the embellishments or both sets of embellishments my goodness you can be spoilt for choice i've got a feeling you'll want to go for both of the different Different sets. Don't worry, I'll take you through everything in a, a, a little while. But doesn't it all come together beautifully? It looks it absolutely does. amazing. Yep. And I mean, I, this is I've done this really quickly. Obviously, if I was at home, I would be taking my time, enjoying the process. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've enjoyed the process so, <laughs> instead of you know rushing through. But um, yeah, you could get carried away. You really could. You could add little berries. You could add all sorts. But. Um, I would say that's oh, well, that's that's okay. fabulous. Thank yeah. you so much for taking us through that. And I'm going to let you get ready for your next yep. demonstration. Yep. I'm going to give you a recap before I do that. We've been sent some photographs. Thank you for getting involved so early on. Lovely Samantha's at Brighton early um, and she's been sending us some pictures through. She's one of the members of the design team and it's fabulous projects like this that make our job so much easier. Oh, adorable. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous, almost good enough to eat. I shouldn't really say that, should I? But there you go. Yes, and I love that because she's added additional bits and pieces. You can see the little stocking, the little mittens there as well. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Samantha. That is amazing. Um, so, uh, yes, the wreath bundle that. Oh, there's more. There's more. The baubles. Oh, she has been busy. My goodness. Oh, of course, these are the bases again. I like the addition of the tassel on the bottom there. Clever idea very effective and again the circular wreaths with all that fine detail gives you the perfect opportunity to make it almost into a frame or um, make the use of the aperture that you've got there so like the little addition of the pine cones there as well very very nice and then of course if you've gone for all of the characters they make a brilliant display together don't they i love it they are all available available there's three different sizes in each one of the sets so you've got your santa you've got your gingerbread man and you've got your snowman but don't worry i will take you through everything samantha those are amazing thank you so much and we can't say goodbye without showing this one. Oh my goodness, all those beautiful poinsettias there. And I love that vintage lace that's been added as well. Absolutely beautiful. Some lovely ideas there. Samantha, thank you so much for sharing those with everybody. I'm sure lots of our viewers will be getting some design ideas from those as well. So 
Thank you. But of course, you need the basics to get started. That's what you're going to have to have to get those designs coming together. So we've got your two different bundles, as you can see. So the bundle that we saw um, at working, oh, no, no, actually, it's bundle number two we saw um, with uh, our lovely uh, Wendy. But this is bundle number one. Now, within this one, you're going to get six bases for you to work with. So you're going to get your gorgeous kind of ivy wreath, as you can see there. You can see your two circle wreaths where you've got those round apertures, nice solid bases for you to work on your two baubles you've got your round bauble and you've kind of got your oh, i don't know what bauble shaped bauble i don't know it's like a longer one don't know what you call it and then of course you've got your fabulous star but look at these absolutely beautiful now things like the fruit and the segments that you can see there the poinsettias the sprigs the fabulous crowns we've got all of those in those embellishment packs as well so it is worth having a little look at those but this particular bundle of your base is rapidly approaching 20 percent of the stock so if you're liking the look of those and at 9.99 who wouldn't absolutely brilliant value for money 816596 now the set that we saw wendy working with naturally you're all wanting to recreate what wendy's been working with so rapidly approaching 40 percent of the stock of this one has gone you've got a lot of content within here so you've got your beautifully cut and etched bases to start with with lots of detail in there to help you along the way when you're wanting to add your finer detail and again you can see though the point set here with those little hints of the um, white dry brushing in there very very effective so no, lovely design, designs with regards to the different sizes as well, which is nice as well. So if you're wanting those bases, then just £11.99 to get all of them. And they're not necessarily winter themed. You can see lots of elements, things like the ivy leaves or the maple leaves. You've got um, all sorts of different um, elements. Some of them have got things like your holly leaves feature in there. So they are going to be perfect for Christmas. But what a brilliant array. 40% um, of the stock has gone. I'm thinking they'd be fabulous for you to kind of put like a candle in the centre of as well. It's all sorts. You'll have loads of ideas when you get yours home. 1199012396. But don't forget, 40% of the stock having gone. It's a popular one. So if you like the look of that one, then please take advantage while you've got the chance. But don't forget your embellishments. Oh my goodness, these embellishments make so much difference. They're two brilliant sets. So I would suggest if you can go for both of them, then please do. Because you'll see the content within them both is amazing. You've got larger elements like the bow. You could use that as kind of like a focal point if you didn't want to add a fabric brick bow but then you've got the crowns which I'd never even think about putting a crown on a wreath but that example we saw a few moments ago it looked amazing the poinsettias now these are where you've got your larger poinsettias so if you like the look of those then this is the set for you and you're getting two of those in there and lots of those intricate smaller baubles you might in fact be making those decorating them and putting them on your tree but rapidly approaching 20% of the stock have gone so if you're wanting it then I would certainly be quick about it 093625 if you are liking the look of that one now, the bundle number two, you've got even more within this one. So if you're wanting to go for this one, 30% of the stock has gone. This is where you'll find those larger um, leaves that we saw being added to the back of the wreath. What a brilliant idea. Never even thought of that. Then you've got elements that are very much a Christmas theme with things like your mistletoe in there, those log slices you can see, and, of course, the fruit that we saw a few moments ago. And you'll be able to see the little um, kind of slices, the little orange segments popping up at the bottom there love the little dove coat as well so yeah christmas trees in that one as well or oh, if they, you want to make them into christmas trees they don't have to be do they so 12.99 brilliant value 698704 two different item numbers for both of those sets both incredibly affordable both incredibly popular as well 11.99 12.99 but what are that those fabulous gingerbread men well here they are little trio as you can see and these are brilliant i love the shapes and sizes of these ones clever a little addition of the holes there so they can be holding something maybe you can be using the embellishments that come with it because you've got your stars you've got your buttons featuring with these and as you can see your three different sizes now obviously if you want to you can glue them into the bases but of course you can just leave them standing there if you want to and then you can dismantle them at the end of the season should you so choose but so just a really nice collection there and a very affordable one as well so 684290 if you fancy getting hold of those but you saw in samantha's picture we've got three different designs so the next design that we've got those wonderful snowmen or snow ladies snow people you've got three different sizes with regards to these and i love that aperture that cut out area you could be putting something on the back there if you wanted something to show through um it could be that you pop in because if i just turn this one around the bases are quite generous with regards to these so if you wanted to put something like a little tea light behind there you could there's plenty of room there and then you'd obviously have the light shining through those apertures there so nice little one maybe you limited on space maybe you've just got a little window that you're wanting to use for your christmas decorations and there you go 
What a lovely set. Now, rapidly approaching 20% of the stock has gone, and you're going to get all three sizes again for 9 dollars um, 588482 And then, finally, you've got your Santas. And again, a trio of Santas. Different um, sizes, your, your taller one, your medium, and your smaller one. But again, lovely designs. Again, it's one of those ones that you could go for multiples, almost use them as your place settings on your Christmas table, wouldn't you? Um, very affordable at 9 dollars And again, very, very popular. 86144. Zero, you'll have loads of fun with those. But the bookcase, the advent bookcase, oh, this is one of those ones that I just wish every home could have one of these. Well, you can if you're watching us here because you can get hold of it. But 20% of the stock has gone. And I love this. I don't know if we've got any goodies inside of any of those books, but I just think they look amazing. They're decorated with Christmas papers, but you could be painting those if you wanted to. Decorate them with anything or use it as storage. I think that's a brilliant idea of Wendy's where you take the books out at the end of the Christmas season and just use it as a decoration maybe in your craft room storage for different items little bottles of glitter um, in, I think even if you put your embo um, embossing powders on there they'd fit there quite nicely wouldn't they and 21 99 very very affordable but let me show you the little books because when they actually come to you obviously you're going to construct them they've got that living hinge as you can see there so that hinge that will um, bend around the spine as you can see there and you've got the depth of your book there and of course you've got your little kind of closing mechanism there it's just a little kind of uh, rectangle there but it's sit so neatly together then obviously you've got your little house in there that you can put whatever you like in there little goodies it could be sweeties that you're popping in there it could be a little um almost like a mini craft kit or something like that it could be anything you want couldn't it you could be putting little jewelry in there it could be a little lipstick a little eyeshadow whatever you fancy but the beauty is at the end of the um, christmas month um, then you can obviously take everything out and then no fill them all up again for next year so if you like the look of that one um, as many of you do it's always a popular item and at 21.99 you can understand why um, 2 at 3 8 um, 7 8 1 if you want in those now of course we were talking about Christmas bunting with those fabulous cacti a few moments ago and these are brilliant as you can see here lots of fun and humor with these Wendy's had hers out all year I oh, don't blame her they look amazing um, so you can see that they almost look like they're kind of uh, <laughs> almost like they're bodybuilders aren't they those parts of their arms, I love it. Um, and again, you can see interspersed with other little embellishments that you might be taking from your accessory pack. But what a brilliant idea! Twelve ninety nine, very affordable. Um, Seven five one five three. Great. Oh, we're having a fabulous hour. Um, lots of you placing your purchases. Don't forget, check out those baskets. We're going to head over to Wendy for her next demonstration, which I think is working with the gingerbread men. So, it but is. yeah, it's going to have a little look. Is that right, Wendy? It is, yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I've got the, the biggest gingerbread man here, or get all, or, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's, it's actually really nice just left natural, and then you could just, but I'm, I'm going to go in with just a light brown. So he has been cooked. So once again, just no undercoat here. Oh, I've got some of the little stringy, stringy bits hanging <laughs> about there. Oh. <laughs> right. Again, paint goes on so easily. It does. It's super smooth MDF that we use, um, which is just great. And as you can see, I've just gone straight over all the. Um, the cheeks and everything because I'll just paint back over that it just it's just easier I think okay that's makes sense instead of painting around well that's when it can sometimes make it a little bit trickier yeah, isn't it if you're trying to be yeah. too careful just yeah so I am going to make an effort to go around the okay the, the sort of icing bits I suppose it is ah yes so I'm just Squiggle around there. What sort of thickness is the MDF? It's 3.2 millimetres. So, yeah, because it's, it's very substantial. It is. It's just a nice, it's not too thin, it's not too thick, to be okay. honest. It's just a nice, a nice size. Right. So then I'm just going to go back over okay. just really quickly and take a lighter colour and just blend it straight onto the, the right. MDF. Right, okay. So if I just take the original colour and then just a lighter colour. And as you can see, I'm just, I'm not being overly careful. I'm just really <laughs> sort of just it's blending very straight technique, on. Though. It brilliant. is. I don't see the point in, you know, mixing your colours and being too fussy. 
because you get a nice natural sort of um, look if you just do it straight on to the MDF. So same with the arms, not the original color and then a lighter color. So. Love these. I mean, this is something the kids could get involved with as well. They could. They? I mean, there's three in the kit, so you know, have one each. Definitely. A little bit lighter in the face, I think. Right, so we're just going to leave him to dry just now. Okay. So I've got the base, and I have given it a quick. Um, coat of white just as a, a base so it's course. two pieces that create the base yeah it kind just of them together yeah. yeah i thought it looked quite nice it's as like a double a plinth, layer isn't actually it? Yeah. so i'm going to use a pasta color which is why i've given it a quick coat of white just so that it's it stays quite pastel lovely This could be where you're getting things like your texture paste involved, things like your faux snow and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. We could be building up a design around it, maybe little boxes with little gifts in there or, well, all sorts of things. Yeah, Loads of I ideas. was going to use my, um, I really like like my clays, little oh, ear drying yes. clays yes. and things. You could make yeah. little snowballs. And That's a good idea as well, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to put sort of um, like a, a frosty top to this. So oh, okay. I don't need to be too careful with my painting. All right, so we'll leave that to dry. Lovely. And then we've got, we've got my three stars, but I thought I'm taking inspiration from Sam who wow. sent in hers and yes, um, I'm going to use one job. of the bows. Okay. So the bow is from one of the accessory packs. Okay, and she, it just looked super cute with the wearing the bow, so I thought, why not? Dressed for the occasion. Yeah. This is the thing that I love, that so many different ideas from people. I mean, we all inspire each other, don't we? That's yeah, definitely. A nice thing. And I love this because, of course, the MDF, when you build up the layers, it kind of gives you the different shape of the bow, as you can see here. Yeah. Very effective. So I'm just going to... Paint all the elements and just leave them to dry just now. Okay. Um, I think we'll go. So I've got mittens and stockings <laughs> as well. <laughs> so Spoiled for choice. Parsley. Now, all of the embellishments that you can see here, obviously the stars and the buttons, they come within your gingerbread men, but the additional elements, the bow, the mittens, the stocking, they're all coming from embellish pa um, embellishment pack number one. So if you've already added that one into your basket, then you'll see not only will you be getting those items, but we're getting a lot more besides little Christmas trees, the crowns. You could even put a little crown on your gingerbread man, couldn't you, if you oh, wanted you could, to? Yeah. You've got little baubles there that have got the little kind of holes. So if you want to turn them into baubles for your tree, then you could do. And of course, a beautiful three-dimensional multi-layer point setias in there as well really is a bumper pack and 11.99 incredibly affordable 093625 if you like the look of that one. Oh, i like that with the little white toes <laughs> although i've just painted them green <laughs> oh, no, that was, you, no that's okay i can see because of obviously with the bow but it's just kind of a separation it just looks really cute right and i think um i've got some glittery glittery bits that will oh, are okay so it's just a glitter paint. A bit of sparkle. And we'll just paint it over the top. With some of these, I know that people will sometimes put paper onto MDF as well. Can yeah. we do that? Oh yeah, of course. Yep. I do tend to use a mixture of both. Okay. Um, there we go. A little bit of sparkle. Give them a sparkly bow. Those little finishing touches, isn't it? It is. Right, so we're going to bring him back and we're going to add more depth to him. So I'm actually okay. using, which I use quite a lot, are the, the little powders. Oh, right, okay, yes. John brings them here quite he a lot. Indeed, yes. Yeah, yeah. And I just love them. They work really well with the MDF on to, on painted as well. Okay. And we're just going to go, oh, so we're just going to. It just glides on, it's really nice. So we're just going to lighten up his body slightly. 
all about experimenting, isn't it, with it what is. you've got? Because, you, again, this is something that I wouldn't think of going to with MDF because you yeah. kind of think, in your head, you think, oh, papers and, and paint, that's it, that yeah. you use with MDF, but nope. obviously not. So we're going to use the pink to give them oh. this little the pink cheeks. cheeks. <laughs> and just rub off the excess paint the pink. And then we might go a little bit orange, actually, maybe around the edges. Well, so it, it just shows gingers, you it? gingerbread. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So you yeah, get right. all your products out. Use everything. It's, you know, it doesn't just have to be paint that you use. Just to give you a bit of a time check, when we've got about ten minutes or ten so. Ten minutes. Left. Yeah, we can do this. <laughs> right. To give them a little bit more, we're just going in with the darker to give them that sort of. Uh, burnt sort of edge, I suppose, that you would get on your gingerbread men. Yeah, it's usually when I forget to get them out of the oven, I must admit. <laughs> you get distracted there, don't you? Well, I do. I'm terrible. Oh. My phrase is usually as I'm taking it so it's, it's a bit crispy. <laughs> <laughs> I just have too many things that I'm doing all the time. I think that's the thing, and I think that's the, the crafter in us. As, yeah, as we're doing one thing, we're thinking of the next thing, yeah. aren't we? You can't just sit and do yep. one thing. <laughs> right, so we're going to get our pens in. Okay. And we're going to give them an outline. So you could do your stitching, but I'm just going to do a squiggly sort of line around about him. Okay. And it just makes us everything pop. It's these little things that do that make the difference. I mean, I love the, the little hole that you've got in this because I think it's so clever. Obviously, we'll see that being utilised in a little while. This is where I just get in the zone. <laughs> it's easily done, though. Lovely way of crafting. And then we'll go in his eyes. And this is where it's a good idea, like you say, to, to not worry about this area and go over it afterwards because it'd be so tricky to just paint around that area. Yeah, yep. Um, I think we'll do some little pink. You could almost use it as a countdown to Christmas, couldn't you? If you wanted to, if you got something like a blackboard paint, you could put that on the tummy and oh yeah, that would be those a good chalk idea. pens. Yeah. So we're going in with our dots that we like. I dread to think. I haven't even started thinking about Christmas really. I must admit, I need to. I think because uh, it's a lot closer than you think. It's when the clocks change, isn't it? That's when you suddenly start thinking. Oh, I'm going to think about it. I better start. I, j I like to get Halloween out of the way yes and then it's all about christmas yeah. for me well it's just over 60 days my goodness but like you say i think until halloween's out of the way you can't really think about it yeah you? i do like christmas i have to admit but i've got lots of kittens just now oh have um, you i've got a kitten i had last christmas who loved the Christmas tree and was well, constantly climbing inside the tree. I must admit, I do love to see on social media though, those kind of real trees that the cats have got yeah. to. It always yeah. makes me... And then I've got two <laughs> five-month-old kittens. Oh, OK. And my oldest cat is actually a way to have kittens. Oh, my goodness. So, um, <gasps> it might be fun this Christmas. Oh, my goodness, Whether yay. the Christmas tree will still stand. I'd just um, get a point set and stick a bit of tinsel <laughs> on it. Just, yeah, play safe, Wendy. It's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we haven't painted in the, the icing at the bottom. Am I still okay for time? Yeah, I, yeah. okay. At the moment, we've got about six minutes oh, or so that's, left. That's good. And again, yeah, you don't have to think about doing that line and getting... Because I wouldn't get it equal if I was drawing it by hand, but Wendy's put those markings there to make it nice and easy for you to follow. Now... Of course, you could stick on sequins oh, or... that's an idea, um, yeah. ...little ribbons. Sort of like rickrack, is it? The oh, yes, yes, you could put your rickrack mm -hmm. on here, yeah. 
or it might be that you've got some white glitter, maybe you're going to be putting um, an adhesive on there and sprinkling glitter on there. Now, just some extra dots, I think, around the icing, just to finish it off. <laughs> right, we'll stick Cute. this on uh, glue. I don't know, have we spoken of glue, Wendy, when we're working with MDF? So just just what you've got, um, MDF, PVA, just a good tacky glue okay. is what's needed. Generally not a clear glue, so a white glue rather than a clear glue. Okay, but does it dry clear? It does, right. yes. Right, okay. So yeah. something that's got kind of like a matte dried finish, so you don't see yeah. it, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. So we'll glue the bow on. We'll have oh, it at an yes. angle or straight on. Be straight on. I like it straight on, I must yeah. yeah. So I'll pop that on there like so. <laughs> Looks cute. There we go. And then you've got your wire. So I'll quickly thread this through. Now go. this is the thing, because you can get the embellishments alongside it. And they're, they're little stars that you're going to get as well as the buttons. Yes. So you get your stars. There's, I think there's six or seven stars in your kit. So you can use them all, one, just whatever you want. Um, twist that round. The holes are quite small so I have designed it for wire or thread okay. you know, rather than a thick ribbon. Um, I think it would have just looked a bit odd with bigger holes. Okay, no, that's fair enough. But again, I mean, you can string, uh, well, you can string across from the hands and then kind of put whatever you like on yeah, there, couldn't you really? Yeah. You might use some of those embellishments from the, the kits that we were looking at earlier on. So I'll just quickly tie that on. In fact, we might actually, there is a hole in the stockings from the embellishment pack, so I might just hang a, a stocking from it as well. And of course, the wire kind of keeps its shape, but you could use baker's twine or whatever yeah, you've got in your yeah. stash. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fabulous. So cute. And well, let's just stick them in the base. Now, I mentioned earlier on that if you wanted to, you could just kind of leave it loose within the base. I mean, is it best to stick it in place? It depends how you are going to be packing it away, right? Um, you know, for Christmas. I'll just turn it around. I have got, like, white icy stuff, but you can then put your snow and everything ah, on it. Ah, OK, yeah. But if, if you're packing it away, it probably is best not to glue it in the base so that you can just flat pack it down. Got you, you know, yes, yeah. Um, and there. And there that we go. is adorable. And you can add your sparkles and oh, oh gosh, you can go, you want. go to tank and you can have loads yeah. of fun. Wendy, yeah. thank you so much. You're welcome. Now you're back at eleven o'clock. Eleven, yeah. So what, um, do you know what you're going to be showing us at eleven o'clock in the demo? Oh, just more Christmas. Yay! <laughs> Not a bad thing, is it? Not a bad thing at all. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. I really enjoyed your, your demonstration. Of course, Wendy's been working with one of the, the three trios that we've got. So we've got your gingerbread, um, your gingerbread men. You've got three different sizes with regards to these. So the large, um, the medium, and the smaller at the front there. They come on their own little plinths. It's kind of like a double layer of the plinth. Very, very effective. And of course, they come with the little buttons, as you can see there, and those wonderful stars as well. Um, so if you're wanting to get hold of this particular set, it's just £9.99. £6.84.2. Nine zero, but maybe you're wanting to add in the snowman alongside because you're going to get a trio of these as well. And the same sort of idea, so you're large, you're medium, and you're small. This time you've got those open areas, as you can see there. Um, and again, if you wanted to, my suggestion would be to get yourself a little tea light because you could actually sit that behind there, one of those battery-operated ones, and then obviously the light would come through those apertures that you've got there as well. Three different sizes again with those, and again, 9.99, incredibly affordable, so 588.482. But if you're going for both of those, and you can't leave all the Santa out, can you? You've got to go for your set with your Santas in there. And again, you're going to get three of these in here. And again, the H detail that you've got on the MDF is going to set you well on your way for you, adding that um, kind of little element of um, shadow in there if you're wanting to as well. Um, of course, if you do need help with that, then don't worry. Wendy will show you how to do that very, very effectively, as she has done during the course of this hour as well. So again, three little plinths with your Santas on there, 9 99 incredibly affordable. Love it. So, um, 861440 if you want to know. Now, your embellishments, lots of you have been adding those embellishments in because these are useful not just for your Christmas and your winter theme projects, but all year round. So, this particular set, you've got loads in there. 11 99 and you can see there you've got the bow. So, if you wanted to put a wreath bow on, then you can do. The little mittens, the stockings that we just saw being used, they came from a pack number one. And at 11 99 I'd certainly be adding those in. 093625 if you're wanting those. But we've got a second pack, which if you can stretch to both of them, I think it's a good idea to 
to add these in as well because you've got more of those fabulous poinsettias in there. Um, these, oh my goodness, rapidly approaching 40% of the stock. You're liking this one. There's a good variety in there as well. Some kind of autumnal themed as well as winter. And of course, you've got your Christmas elements there as well. So 698706 if you are wanting those. Don't forget, we've got fabulous things like the Advent bookcase as well. And Wendy's going to be back with us at 11 o'clock. So thank you again, Wendy. Thank you. Um, so stay tuned. We've got more coming up straight after the break. I'm going to be joining you with the lovely Janet and the one day. Well, it's not a one day, but I'll explain in a moment. Of course, it's celebrating the Orland Croats' fifth birthday straight after the break, so I hope you can join us. Then we're back with lovely Lou. She's up um, with um, Richard, I believe. And then we're back with some um, Margaret What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts, we love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute to classic and beautiful designs. And we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. I'm Trisha from So Totally Trisha. I've been sewing since I was about eight years old. I carried on through my teens, and when I had children, I've sewn for them. And now I love nothing more than to design fabric-based kits for patchwork, for bags and home decor. My kits use quality fabrics and are normally cut to size so that it makes everything easy for the beginner sewer and the more advanced stitcher to be able to make beautiful designs. All the fabric I use is 100% cotton and top, top quality. On my shows, I hope that you can learn from my hints and tips and every one of my kits is like a workshop in a kit. Make sure you don't miss the So Totally Trisha shows. Hello there and welcome. Well, it's 8 a.m. and those celebrations are continuing. Oh my goodness, we've had such a busy weekend because we have had the celebration, celebration of All and Create. And of course, All and Create turning five, which is what the topic and the theme is all about this weekend. Things kicked off on Friday, I believe. Lovely Abs was here. Tracy has been uh, with us as well. And during the last, well, since six o'clock last night, actually, we've had the lovely Janet joining us as well. So uh, um, back again this morning. Back again this morning. Bright, well, early. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Not so bright, but. We're happy. We get brighter as. The, Brighter as, as the, the day, day goes, goes on, yeah. definitely. Get more now, coffee this in is a brilliant hour where we're going to be featuring that fabulous mega bundle, and it really is a mega bundle. Details are at the bottom of the screen. This is going to be incorporating the artwork of some of the most amazing designers from All and Create, all coming together. So we've got the lovely um, Janet Klein, who we're going to be featuring during this hour. Tracy Evans, she's involved within that one, and of course Abs as well. And it really is a bumper bundle that you can take advantage of. Um, if you're wanting to, then the details are 
at the bottom of the screen and you will find within that you're going to get the elements that we're talking about during this hour as well. So before you check out your basket for your Zodiac, um, Zodiac characters, you might want to consider that larger bundle because you're getting loads within there. But the details are on your screen with regards to this fabulous deal that we've got for you. And it really is an amazing deal because you're getting so much within here. Now, of course, Zodiac signs, straight away we've got 12 of those, as you can see here with your stamp collections. But you have got a bonus with this one. It's a birthday bonus that's going to come alongside it as well, which I'll tell you about in a few moments. But you can see there, the details are on your screen. If you're wanting to take advantage of this one, everybody's saving at least £15. Two payments of £42.44 and pence will get it to you. But if you are a Freedom member, then you've got a discounted price. So you will be able to save even more. And I love this. Janet, with these, you've got so much content within each of these stamp plates. You have. So you've got you've got the actual little character, which um, and some of them, um, obviously, they are star signs and they're <coughs> representative of that. But some of them don't have anything on them that specifically says they're a star sign, so That's you could use point, them for yeah. other reasons, other purposes as well. And others you can adapt and just um, turn them into something else as well. But you've also got the, the actual sign, the symbol for the star sign, and the word, whatever that is, Aquarius or Virgo. But you've also got the words that describe the characters of that star sign as well. So much content within yeah. these. Now, I've promised you a bigger saving if you're a Freedom member. Well, you can see on your screen there, you are saving um, at £23.49. Bringing the price right the way down to £76.39p. But bear in mind, if you're wanting to get hold of this one and spread the cost, then it's only two payments of £38.20. But do consider the fact that you're getting that bonus gift in there. It's a very usable one, as you can see. Um, it's almost like okay, kind of like the silhouette of the numbers, isn't it? Kind it of the is. backdrop. Yeah. Very effective. This it one, is, like and it, it looks like you've kind of stamped in black over print or something. Yes. So, but obviously, you don't have to stamp in black as well, so that's an amazing stamp. Yeah, you, it's really nice in colour. Nicely as getting well. that one as well. Yeah. So, brilliant idea. And, and I love the fact that you've got so much content within each one of those stamps. Now, of course, zodiac signs, of course, you've got them through going throughout the year, but they've got certain elements that some of them have got stamps alongside. So, it might be kind of traits that you can see here. So, with Sagittarius, obviously, you've got the arrows, because, of course, that's very significant. The arrow, I love this going through her little bun yeah. there as well. So, uh, Sagittarius is an archer, so she's she's got her bows in her hair and her um, uh, carrying her. No, she's got the bow in her hand and she's got the arrows through her hair. <laughs> it's very effective, I yeah. love that one. Lovely. And again, little kind of connotations there, so brave, confident, generous, as you can see. They're all traits associated with that star sign. This one is fabulous, I love this. And some of these, like you quite rightly said, with these you've got obviously Leo the lion, but it doesn't have to be the case, is it? No, so and I, I did adapt it. So yesterday I did a little ATC with that one and I cut her tail off and I cut her ears off <laughs> and I put a hat on her and um, so it doesn't have to be um, you can change them to make them look different as well if you want to and the the ram as well so Aries the ram yes, I cut the horns yeah. off and put a hat on that as well um, and she just looked like, like she's in a little winter coat it does look very much like yeah. that doesn't it um, now my star sign is Cancerian oh. or I'm, I, yeah. I am a Cancerian should I say as well so you can see they're compassionate imaginate um, and loyal there you go um, and as you can see they're fabulous She's got a very French look about yeah, it. Yes, she it's really like has. I, I said that last night because the crab kind of looks like a beret almost, and, and with the stripe, she does look definitely look French. Love this, and that, it's beautiful because what you could be doing is creating a series of the tags, as you can see now. Virgo, as you can see there, I love her little flower garden. Beautiful, yeah. but again, that's another one that no. you use all year round. Yeah, so that yeah. doesn't look like Virgo. I mean, she's got nothing on there that says it's a star sign at all. So, um, so that can just be used quite happily Perfection as any other little character. Virgos. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I know any Virgos. Libra. Now I know Libra because um, I think that is the current star sign that we're in at the moment. Um, my son, his birthday is the twenty-first of October. So I think he's on the cusp, isn't he? I think oh, right, we're just yeah, going into Libra or just coming out of Libra. I'm not too sure. We might be Scorpio out of Libra, now. I don't, I think, I'm not yeah. sure. We're I'm just not sure. Coming into Scorpio sort of now, I think. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. and I like is that Corrie's done that, and they've, she's put the star, the symbol above where the yes, hole is on the tag. Yes, that's so That's really clever. It's yeah. got a very Greek look to it, hasn't yeah. it? That's and I love this where the balance there is cakes. <laughs> 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 love it. Gemini, um, obviously Birthstein, um, represented by the twins. 
Yeah, so again, nothing on there that's, that specifically says, obviously, they're twins, so they're a star sign, but um, you can cut those uh, apart, um, use them separately. You can, you can just use them for anything as well. Obviously, if you put all of these in context, then they are star signs, but if yes. you take them out of context, they can be anything. Well, many of the finished samples we've got here are yeah. kind of playing to the fact that they are the star signs, because yeah. obviously that's the theme, really. But, but that's course. nice, because it's kind of a, a kind of jungly background. It's got so a tribal it's just, feel yeah, to it, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I love it. Absolutely adorable. And there you go. Totally different, because you kind of got the, the contrast of the colours there. So it's almost like a, a wintry looking yeah. um, Leo there that you've got with this one. And so many different wonderful ideas that you've got with these. Uh, the lovely Joe getting involved and again taking those significant words there which yeah. again associated with the star sign but they don't have to be you might just know somebody that is of that way um, inclined and of course current star sign are there as you can see with the Scorpio and again utilizing other things that you'll have in your stash I am sure from all and create because of course all and create are turning five that seems such a small birthday it seems as if they've been here forever, forever. and of course the range <laughs> that they bring us yeah. I know. in a good way I don't mean it yeah, like no. all of you <laughs> forever but yeah it's amazing to see how they've grown I, oh, I mean gosh, just remember yeah. I remember like the first release and just like there was like I think probably about 10 stamps or something that's right, yeah <laughs> up to 600 now my it's goodness that's a lot and I know many six, of you do more collect than 600 them. but yeah absolutely amazing now this particular collection if you like in the look of this one rapidly approaching 40 percent of the stock and um, so much fun within these and again utilizing those fabulous um, stamps that we've seen coming from Janet with so much idea and so much content in there but equally so in the style of her previous collections and I know if you're going for these you will have some of those already in your stash as well so if you like the look of this particular bundle you're going to get your 12 sets of stamps of course within these there's lots of other stamps in there so way more than 12 stamps but 12 stamp sets bringing them to you for 76 pounds and 39 pence now I mentioned they are part of that mega deal and it is huge this mega deal now obviously you mentioned the fact that you're going to get a bonus gift with this particular deal well, with this particular one you're going to get 11 stamps so here you are going to get those 11 stamps that you'd normally be paying 90 pounds and 89 pence for so you can see everybody saving these 35 pounds on this one you've got your price on your screen there as you can see but naturally you can spread the cost now you are actually saving 56 pounds and 97 pence with regards to being a freedom member which brings that price right the way down so of course it is worth considering going for those fabulous zodiacs um, via the three payments because here you can see 65 pounds and 92 pence which is actually less than the bundle if you're thinking about going for them by themselves then I would consider going for these because you're getting so much beautiful content in there 130 stamps you're gonna get your three stencils and you are going to get your 11 additional free stamps there as well um, it is limited in stock and it is one of those deals that when it's gone it's gone so if you're wanting yours now would be a perfect opportunity for you to get hold of it 248608 but of course when you've got all that gorgeous design content what are you going to do with them well that's why we've got Janet here because she's going to take us through a fabulous demonstration so which are you working with first all of them Aye. all of them I couldn't leave anybody out <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm going to start with um, I, I thought I'd do a series of tags so I quite like um, I'm quite into my star signs. I do know them fairly oh, well. Oh, I was going to say, I was impressed with yeah, your knowledge. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I've, it's something I've sort of had done. I've had my full astrological chart done at one a long, long time ago. Oh, but wow. It was really interesting, actually. So, um, and they're divided into elements. So this, I thought, I, I like to divide them into the elements and do. So I've done four tags. So these are our fire signs with Aries, Leo and um, Sagittarius. So I've done them reds for fires. Um, and then this is, Tor this is the earth signs. So this is Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. So I've done those kind of greens and browns for the Earth. And then we've got the air signs, which are Gemini. So a Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. So I've done them sort of blue for the sky. And then we've got our water signs, which are Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So I've done them kind of with watery colours as well. So hopefully... <laughs> We'll, um, I love that because I don't know whether it, it is something that is because of the stuff. I don't know. I've never done the research, but I must admit I do love being by the water, being oh, a cancerian. Yeah, yeah. I love like yeah. flowing water, rivers by the sea, things like that. Makes you wonder. It does. So I'm doing. Um, I will stamp my little figures into place just because. Although I'm going to put other figures over the top, I just like them to be in place so that I know um, once I'm doing my composition, I can uh, figure out where they're all going to go. So. 
This might take a little while, but uh, it won't take too long. So this is, <laughs> we start with Aries. So Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. And I love the, I just love the little outfit. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. So that can go about there. So that's our little ram. Oh, quite cutie. And then we've got Leo, who's the lion, up here. Clever way of using them together, actually, yeah. Yeah, and I noticed, I think it was Philippa did the same as me. So she's, uh, she's divided them into the, into the groups as well. So she obviously must have a bit of an interest in them as well. I think people love it when they receive something that's kind of got that personal connection. Personal for them, yeah, yeah. definitely. So that's my little Leo the lion. And then we've got the archer, which is Sagittarius. Oh, it just looks like a spiky hair, do actually. It with does, the lines. yeah. It's, if you wanted to uh, yeah. do a little bit of cutting around, yeah. Yeah, so as I say, with, with that one, I cut the tail off and cut the ears off, <laughs> <laughs> which was a little bit brutal, but hey. So I couldn't help but looking at this, this particular one. Is it Sagittarius? Yeah. And, and looking, first glance, I thought she's got knitting needles in her so, hair. I think, was it Adam <laughs> said that last night? I think it, Adam said he thought it was like knitting needles. So that's my fire signs. Lovely. So then I'm just going to copy these so that I know what I'm doing. So then this is the Earth sign. So this is Taurus. A little bull. And she's easy as well to, to although obviously she's got horns, <laughs> you can cut them off. Um, and if you cut off, I'll show you in a minute once I've stamped it. So if you cut off that bit there, it just looks as though she's got like a little, um, little bun. Yes. So, she, so she's quite easy to and you can decorate as well. add additional yeah. little flowers and things as well. Yes, you, you could cover up, and we've got like and hats up. and things. We've got hats in the in the range, so you can use little hats to cover them up as well to make them look a bit different. This is my little Virgo. Oh, she's a cute. One. She's nice, and she's got a fox, and I, I'm not sure. If there's a significance well, to a fox, I, I couldn't I find any reference yeah. to it. But I did <coughs> look up to see, but I can't see any reference to it. I, must admit, I did wonder that myself when I was looking. And then this is Capricorn, and Capricorn is the head, the body of a goat, and the tail of a fish, mm. <laughs> which is what we've got here. So we just one of the, the early ones, isn't it? I think my I don't know if my twins are Capricorn or not. Uh, what's Capricorn? January. January, yeah. yeah. Gen Aquarius and Capricorn go into January. I'd, I'd <laughs> I, I'm a bit more of an expert now, having done all this than I used to be. Um, and now I've got the twins, and the twins are obviously a bit. This, this is an, all the others are A7, but this is an A6 stamp set. And, and the reason they've done that is because the twins are obviously quite big yes, to get two of yeah. them on. Um, so it, it just had to be to get everything on. It, it just really had to be. Um, a6 size to get everything on so that's the reason why that is a little bit bigger so I'm just nice ones to use in planners as well aren't they when you're yeah, working your way got through like, or, different um, birthdays diaries and, and yeah. yeah birthday kind of diaries and things yeah that would be good so Gemini I'm going to stamp right at the top here because this is obviously quite a bigger bigger one so I'll just pop them right up there And Libra. Now, Libra, I, mean, I like the Libra. I like her holding the cakes. This is my, my son. Um, is he Libra? He's Libra. And I must say, as a child, when they said all oh, balanced and kind of evaluates everything, I thought, no, not, not my Matthew. But now, as he's grown up very much, so just researches a lot of things uh, before he commits yeah, to things. Yeah. And yeah. It's so interesting. I mean, they talk about the compatibility, don't they? And Cancerians and Pisces, yeah. there's both water signs. Are water there. signs, yeah. Get on well. Um, and then, of course, you've got, um, who else have you got? Um, Scorpio as well, isn't it, with the, the Scorpio? Scorpio's the yeah. other water one, yeah. yeah. And then my little Aquarian lady, she's, I think she's one of my favourites. I like her. And she's just got, she's just, again, just nothing on there that I says never, it's a star sign. She's her just hair. beautiful. Her hair is beautiful. And she's carrying a water thing so she could be watering a garden That's or a just point, something yeah. like that. So, yeah, she's nice. So they're my air signs. And then we're just finish off with my water signs so we've got cancer 
A little French lady with the crab. <laughs> <laughs> working our way through the crew, the difference that we've got oh, Sagittarian. We got, yeah. Oh, we've, have we? We've got a couple of Cancerians. Ah. We've got Pisces as well. Oh, that's interesting. Everyone was Leo last night. Oh. <laughs> Although summer months. <laughs> <laughs> All the, it was Adam was, what's Adam's Libra and Catherine was Leo. And it's funny because you can be born in the same month, can't you? Because I know um, yeah. Catherine's a July birthday, the same as me, but it's, it's yeah, around the it 21st, over. isn't it? That, it's that's, kind of yeah. the 20th issue of the month, it's just afterwards that it kind of swaps, yeah. And they say the closer that you are to the changeover, you kind of pick up different traits you from do. different, yeah. Oh, it's fascinating. On the cusp, it's cool. That's it, on the cusp, that's right. And then finally, as I said yesterday, saving the best till last. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our Pisces. Lovely. And again, she's a pretty little mermaid, so she doesn't have to be anything to do with star signs. You could use her for any other kind of projects as well. She's just a little mermaid. So, right, so that's that bit done. So now I'm just going to do my backgrounds for them, so I'll just go back to the beginning. And this is quite nice as well, because you could almost handwrite the, the, the kind of the, the dates, couldn't you, from whatever date to whatever date with regards to these. We can. So yeah. I'm, I'm hoping we've got some background stamps in the show. <laughs> I think we've got some, yeah, I'm sure yeah. we've got some background so stamps. So these is, ones are nice. Um, Which ones are these? The scripted squares. The scripted so, yeah. squares. So Ooh, I should be okay. using different shapes for the for the different star signs and obviously the different colours so as well. So is this one come from the Mega Bundle or is it one that you've just drawn to? No, I think it's on the show, it's it's just ah. in the show, it's the squares. No, I just, these are the um, kind of ones by, uh, that Bipasha has done um, in the past and um, I just liked the, the shapes it's to go in, in the background. One, it is, it? Yeah. yeah. So I should have done my yellow first and then my red, so I'm just doing reds and yellows. You like your reds, don't you, I when do. you're working with your reds? I remember this from working with you last time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm hoping, uh, this might be a bit dark. Hang on, I just want... I remember this from my, when I did my demo, when I was preparing, the first one was a bit dark on here, so I'm just oh, going to okay. block that off a little bit, because, oh no, it wasn't too bad. It's fine. Just give it another little spritz. So obviously it's just going to be in the background, so I don't want it to be too dark. So I'm just going to plot that around. And I'm Lovely. going to leave that to dry while I do the others. It's a nice little set that we've got on the screen because you've got your stamps and you've got your square, and so your stencils as well. It's a nice combination, so um, obviously um, Janet's just used the stamp, as you can see there, but you've got your different sizes there. Almost like your innies and your outies because you've got some that have got more of that um, kind of uh, silhouette look, as you can see, the, the fullness. But then you've got two different stencils in there as well. So again, other ways you could work with these if you didn't want to just stamp. So uh, 22.97 for those. Of course, if you're adding them in a long size your zodiac signs you can spread the cost of that over two payments as well if you're going for the flexi buy option on this one so then these are my earth signs so i'm using the hexagons for these so these are the um i don't know if those are scripted or lines these are lined hexagons um, and i'm using greens and browns for these i think we've got so these ones in a similar bundle to the one that we just looked at a few moments have, ago yeah. I don't think this one was too dark, so we'll just... Well, obviously, I've, although I've, I'm going over the top of my characters, I've, I've got those cut out and ready to, ready to go. So oh, that's my, I see, the greens right. And, yes, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> Even <laughs> that sludgy. So there's my hexagons. Lovely. And then we've got circles, so I've got scripted circles. Wonderful. These ones can be in a similar sort of set 
Um, the hexagons, it's another with three stamp sets in that particular one. But in this one, um, we've got the circles. So if you like the circles, it's one of those ones that I think eventually you end up with all of them. It's just which you go for to start with. It'd probably be the circles that I'd go for to start with because they're, they're one of the ones I like working with. So with this one, you've got a trio. So you've got your one stamp set, which is your A7 stamps. But then, of course, you've got your square stencil and your larger stencil with this one, bringing them to you at a price of £20.97. It is worth keeping note of those item numbers that we've just bought up for you as well because as I say you will go and kind of pick these up as time goes on they're all in the brand section though so don't worry you don't have to wait until we've got all and create show if you're wanting to buy them but of course if you're buying either the, the mega deal that we've been chatting about or the zodiac star signs and um, stamps then it's a perfect opportunity because you can spread the cost of those other things that you're popping in as well and they all come together so well don't they, they use do. them all, all the time those oh yeah no, these backgrounds are fantastic are yeah yeah um, and this is circles so I'm doing peacock feathers and I've actually this is me wall to sign so I'm actually doing these in uh, water the circles it's a bit dark oh I like this one it's because we're water quite signs quite strong circles yeah. these ones yeah <laughs> <laughs> So this stamp, it's only nine ninety nine. It's a good, good size stamp for that money, yeah. So if you like the look of that one, I'm just going to dab that because that's a bit dark. And then last one is my air signs. So I'm going to do those blue as well, but I'm going to do those a different blue. And I've got the uh, crescents for those. So oh, I thought the yes. line crescents goes quite nicely for sky. And again, there's a mixture of kind of innies and outies with the crescents. I remember these ones as well. Um, again, if you want to get started just with that one stamp set, then the, the details on your screen for the one that Janet's working with at the moment. So I quite like when you're doing a series, it's quite nice to do kind of similar things with each one, but yes. with different, um, slightly different, with different shapes or different colours or whatever. And then that's my... Uh, the air sign, yeah. So they're in, going to have the stars. So I'm just going to pop that there, and then hopefully the first one will be dry, and I can work on that <laughs> one. <laughs> it's a nice idea to do them as the full set. I like this idea. It looks nice, doesn't it? Just chuck them out of the way. So then we start with my water, the middle of the fire signs again. I'm going to find that one. Yeah, it's nice and dry. So then I, I wanted something to go that kind of made it look like fire as well. So I've used, this is uh, called Crashing Waves by Bikasha. Ooh, nice. And I just thought that looked quite fiery. Yes. So I'm doing, I've just got um, the Versifying Claire now because this is slightly different. And I've got an orange one. So I'm just going to stamp this in orange. I love this because we've come to you for your first demo, but you're actually doing kind of four at the same time. So, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm just going to do, I don't know how much this will show up. I maybe should have, oh yeah, it does, that's fine. And then I'm just going to do three of those just to have a little bit of fire. Yeah, it will look obviously <laughs> better once obviously my characters are getting a bit um, hidden away here, but, but they will show up once I've put over the top. Okay. That's some fire. <laughs> and then what have I got? Earth. Now with the earth, I thought I'd do, um, I found one of Janet uh, Klein's little characters as well. So this is called Playful. Um, and I just wanted to do some of the grass. So I've got a little bit of grass here. So I'm just going to stamp little grassy. Now this one, um, although I can't give you the details, I know it will be part of the pick and mix because we have got pick and mixes that are available under the brand section. Um, and this one, is it an A6 size, this particular A7, one? A7, so oh, this A7. is an A7. So, yeah, it's called you, Playful. Um, called Playful, so little... yeah, if you go onto the website, brand section, pick and mix, there's the different sizes. You've got your A4, your A5, your A6 and your A7s. So you hone in on there and then you'll be able to choose. Sometimes there's different combinations. It might be that you're choosing three or five, seven sometimes. There's different variations. Makes it a, a 
very affordable way for you to get exactly what you want. And also do make sure when you're checking out your basket, you keep an eye on some of those end of call items because things can pop up there as well. So yeah, check out the brand section and the pick and mix and you'll find all those. Incidentally, the um, elements that we're looking at at the moment with the Zodiacs, they're available as a pick and mix as well. So if you do want to go for those and just choose certain items, then you can do that. Um, as I say, it's all about all and create, making things nice and easy for us to take advantage of now. We think we might have found that little one that um, Janet is working with as a little kind of set. So I think, oh yes, this is the one, isn't it, with the, the grass there, as you can see. So yes, it's featured in this one. It's only £15.96, and you're getting all of those as well. It's a really good saving, that one, £16, as you can see there. Um, and the beauty is, if you are going for this one alongside your Zodiac signs, then again, you can spread the cost of that one if you fancy that. So uh, there you go. Thank you for Char Charlotte. She's been rummaging around in there. I could hear having a good old rummage on the website. She's found it for you. <laughs> it's good. So I've just stamped the grass. I've done that in brown. Um, and with that one, I'm going to just, when I, um, let's just stamp set. I will just colour, do bits of colouring as well, so I will do that. that's kind of your earth signs, yeah. hence the And then the next the two I've got are, well, um, this is my water sign. And for this one, I've actually used, on the um, Pisces set, we've got the, um, so this is back to my uh, the original uh, zodiac signs. We've got the, the little waves, the water waves here. So I've done those on this one. So I've done these in blue. Again, just kind of. So I wanted kind of each one of these just to have a little, a little oh, area a of nice interest yeah. around them. Perfect for this there. Using glue. Doesn't necessarily have to. They don't have to be standing on them particularly or anything. I just just thought it was quite nice to sort of have a little bit. So I pop that one there. And we might just do the other little bits. And then my last one for these is. Um, the air signs and I'm going to use again so on the Gemini you've got the stars so um, you've got the the little star constellation here so I've used that for my air because I thought they would be if I can find my air sign. Good idea yeah. Yeah. And I haven't seen to have got a colour out for those so we'll go with yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it is, this is the colour I used, yeah, so this is a kind of yellowy-greeny colour. Um, and then I just dotted a few of these around as well so that they've got a few little stars in them. Nice little stamps for kind of f filling in those areas. It does, and also mm. when you're using stamps like this, um, if you turn them around so that you're not getting, so that they don't just look as though you're repeating all the time, so you get slightly different areas from the stamp. Together. Yeah, okay. I say it looks a bit messy once until you get the people over the top and then it, it kind of looks a lot better. So then all I've done with, with the um, the grass one, so where's all my ones come together now? I've just to make that stand out a bit more with the grass, I've just coloured little bits of that in just green so that that actually will stand out against the background a bit more. So I would do that. So I do all of those. Um, and then for the waves, obviously, I've coloured them in. Hoping this is blue. <laughs> uh, for the waves, I've just uh, it's done the same thing. So just coloured those and just, just a little bit. So little areas, it just yeah. makes them stand out from, from the background. Yeah. So, and obviously, do that much nicer than that at home. Obviously, I'm in. And the stars. I think I've just left the stars as they are, and the fire sign obviously doesn't need doing because that was just the the waves. And then, then I've used all of the signs again, and I've just gone through and done the um, the actual symbols. Lost my little mount for the minute. Ooh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, then. I thought I'd picked up a border one, and it wasn't. It was a big <laughs> one. I was like, oh. <laughs> 
Um, and then I probably won't do all of this now because obviously I, I, I've got other demos I want to try and get done. So I will just show you how I've done these if I can find my other ink pad. It's there. Um, so what I've done is I've gone through with the symbols. So these are the symbols of all the star signs. Um, and I've just gone through and actually just put the symbol next to them as well somewhere along the way. Um, and then I've coloured that in in grey as well just to make it all s um, stand out. So I think it's kind of halfway. I'll probably just show you my finished samples now because that is, although that looks a bit of a mess. <laughs> no, but when you show us these, that you can see what that I've done. And this is where um, you, you've restamped so, them. Yeah, so that is what I've done. And okay. I've found, obviously, all the words for the ones I've cut out and coloured in as well. So once you've put these over the top, colour them in, put them over the top, colour your symbols in because it just stands out a lot more from the background yes, when you do it? that. Yeah. Add your words in um, and then that's kind of how it all finishes. Um, and the other thing I've done is I just added a little bit more colour. So I, I put ink on um, some acetate and spritzed it and just splodged a little bit of colour just to, to, to Jenny, move would the Would you like to kind of show us the, show all the all finished, finished ones? Let's go through on. them because they look amazing and they, I just love the way that it's all built up from that blank tag to start with yeah. and they're all like little pieces of art. So there's, there's my fire signs, so that's all my Aries, so uh, the fire signs, we've got Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, Fabulous. so that's all my reds and yellows. And I love the way that you've chosen the right colours yeah. for it. Yeah, very clever. <laughs> then we've got my Taurus. So this is all greens and browns. So they're all Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. So they're the earth signs. Um, so again, all the symbols and just coloured in. Lovely. Uh, and then we've got Cancer. So I've coloured in my waves. Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So they're my uh, water signs. Wonderful. And then the last one is the air signs. So the, the twins were just that little bit bigger. So I, I kind of but you have to fiddle just yes. that's why yeah. you, you know when you get them what I do is I cut out and I I, I, oh, I right. position the cutouts that's clever, so that I yes. can see where I want them to go Good before tip. I do my stamping so then I've got my Gemini my Libra and my Aquarius which are my water signs Janet thank you I really enjoyed that and so effective as well and don't forget if you're creating beautiful pieces like Janet's just shared with us you can actually be making and selling those as well so that's one of the things when you're doing your craft fairs that people love that bit of personalization don't they and that's exactly what you've got with this brilliant deal that we've got for you now you've got your 12 different stamp sets um, and of course they're all evolving around the different 12 zodiac signs so you've got all of the the different characters with certain elements that we know of with regards to them like Gemini you've got the twins Pisces obviously with your fish and so on so those have kind of got those little elements in there you've also got your words of there as you can see so that not only the star sign name but also different kind of elements that are sometimes kind of relating to those ca um, characters as well so you might have things like imagine um, imaginative witty humorous all associated with Gemini then you've got the little zodiac sign as well so as you saw it might be that you've got kind of like a, um, a wave or you might have it as you can see there with Quare there you've got your two waves coming together there might be the little um it's kind of zodiac and uh, not zodiac like the um Astro is it astronomy? I get mixed up with me astronomy, astronomy, isn't it? With the stars. So as we saw the, with the Gemini, the little kind of uh, constellation. That's the word I'm looking for, isn't it? The constellation. Um, and then of course you've got um, all the different pieces for relating to all of those. Now it doesn't stop there because what you're actually going to get alongside these are your bonus gifts because with this one we're celebrating, as we are with the monthly mega deal, the fact that Oil and Create are five years old. And this is the birthday gift that they are sharing with you. So these ones are your income key numbers designed by Olga as you can see incredibly useful stamp to have in your stash um, so a nice one to add in as well you don't have to add it in it comes automatically now freedom members you've got discounted prices with regards to these ones so the price on your screen has got that larger saving and of course it means that those flexi buys are going to come down as well but I love the idea of not just using them individually um, as we'll show many finished samples with you but also putting them in groups as well this could be a group where you've got the family characters it could be the family with all the different kinds of star signs appearing in there for the each of the family members or maybe you're going to be taking them as you can see with this one the fire signs all coming together lots of kind of fiery themed colors going on there as you can see I love this it's almost like you've got the um, fireworks in the background as well or it might be that you're making them incredibly personal for a person who is a Sagittarian maybe they have some of those traits are they brave are they confident are they generous um, I love all these different elements you've got around here. Well, our Harry, he's definitely brave, he's definitely confident, he's very generous. Yeah. 
Yeah, it gave me a fiver to say that, so it shows his generosity. <laughs> uh, and now, of course, Cancerians, known for their compassionate nature, their imagination, incredibly loyal as well. I can kind of agree with that because I'm a Cancerian, so yeah, I'll go with that. Um, and Virgo as well. I mean, beautiful Virgo. I love the design. This lovely little design as well. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and you can see with regards to these, you've got the gorgeous florals there as well. Now, we've had somebody email in about the fox. Oh. Also, oh, thank you. We've had a few people emailing. And I know this is an area that so many people have got such a great yeah. interest in. And apparently, the fox is the spiritual animal of Virgo. Oh. So there you go. There's got to be a connection somewhere yeah, along the line. So oh, thank you. I know numerous of you have emailed in. So thank you to everybody that got um, involved for that one. So there you go. We like to ask, ask the questions, but we like to get the answers as well. Yeah. Now, I love this one, Libra here, where you've got the scales. It's kind of that balance, isn't it? Um, and I love this, balancing cake. Not a bad thing to be balancing, really, is it? There you go. Exactly, Joe. Exactly. <laughs> and as you pointed out earlier, very clever use of this, uh, the symbol that you've got there as well. And of course, you've got the different characters. Obviously, with this one, it's relating to Gemini because the word Gemini has been used. But other than that, it could be just a couple of little twin sisters, maybe, or just little friends dancing away there. It doesn't have to be anything related specifically to the star signs. But as you can see, if you do, you've got everything that you need within there. 40% of the collection has gone, though. Lots of you taking advantage of this, which is really, really good because I think they're going to be very, very popular when you're making these to sell, but also for when you're making cards for your friends, your family, um, your workmates, because everybody loves to get a card that's got a little bit of them involved with it, doesn't it? And I think that um, connection with the star signs is brilliant. So, with these, you're going to get them all. So you've got the bumper bundle, all 12 of them, and of course you've got your bonus gift with this one, with your two flexi buyers. So whether you're a Freedom member or not, everybody is saving. If you're not a Freedom member, then £42.44 will be your two payments, if you choose to go down that route. But that payment comes down because, of course, your saving is bigger with a Freedom membership. So £38.20, that is what you're going to be paying if you are a Freedom member, and that's for all of them. But I mentioned the pick and mix. So you might have looked at some of these characters and you thought, oh, I just love those. I don't necessarily want them all, but that really reminds me of, uh, I don't know, it could be your twin nieces or something like that. Well, you get them individually within a pick and mix. So you choose any four of these, £31.96 if you wanted to choose them. But don't forget, if you are going to be getting hold of these ones, bear in mind that payment of £31.96 is more than your flexi buy for a Freedom member. You could actually go for everything. You'd have your second payment, but rather than kind of going back in and getting another for next month you'd actually get the entire collection so it's certainly a consideration of course if you want to go down that route you can do it's your choice that's why we give you all these different um, kind of options and availabilities with regards to them but the thing is if you are wanting to take advantage of them as the bundle that's the most economical but the details are on your screen so if you do want to go for them in your set then you can do choose any four of those for just 31 pounds and 96 pence but of course, we were talking about the fact that that deal that we're bringing to you during this hour is part of the monthly mega deal. And this is a huge deal. It's a deal that's been brought together because of celebrating the fact that All and Create are five years old. And it's kind of brought together in three segments. Now, you've got all the fabulous stamps that you purchase in here, but you've also got 11 stamps, which I'll show in a few moments, which are a bonus. They are coming alongside them. You'll be paying over £90 for those as well. So you've got the configuration here that's all brought together with your different designers you've got Janet is involved obviously because that's who we're talking about during this hour you've got the lovely Tracy Evans she's involved in this one as well as abs as well so there's a lot of people involved in bringing you this fabulous collection of stamps but you are getting them all now you might have seen some of the shows over the weekend everything kicked off on Friday abs was here himself um, and uh, you can go back and watch those shows so if you're joining us and you're going for your monthly mega deal now and you want to see ideas from Tracy from abs you can go back and rewind and watch those shows but you are getting everything now you can see on your screen the deal is limited in stock it's been a popular one lots of you liking the way of getting hold of the different artists work all together so there you go you can see all those wonderful um, uh, stamps that we've been talking about during this hour but as a freedom member you have got that same now the saving that is on your screen obviously it accumulates all the different savings that we've been talking about but you can see here that 56 pounds and 97 pence saving is in addition to going for the individual bundles they are available 
available. So if you're thinking, oh, Tracy Evans, I haven't seen those shows, you can go off and get hold of those if you're wanting to. But the saving of £56.97 as a Freedom member is there if you're going for everything together. It's all and creates um, a way of saying a massive thank you by bringing this wonderful bundle, 130 stamps you've got in this one. You've got your stencils and you've got those additional 11 stamps. Now, these particular stamps you'll be paying over £90 for, £90.89. Um, and they are a brilliant collection of stamps. Stamps that you're going to be using in all sorts of different ways. But you've got your stencils in there as well. And these are kind of what I call free edge stencils. So they've not got that harsh um, element around the square uh, and elements them um, you know how sometimes you get a, a square or a rectangle and you kind of got that solid line with these you haven't they're almost like little masks that you've got in there you've also got a variety of different sizes of stamps and they've got kind of like your splats you've got your crosses you've got all of those different kind of elements that we see very much repeated within the ranges that we see from the different artists and this is a beauty because these are going to work incredibly well of course we were talking about the bundle where you were going to get your inky numbers you'll still get the inky numbers if you're looking at those today so you will get everything coming to you for that first flexi buy. Now if you're a Freedom member that first flexi buy is just going to be £65.92. So you can see if you're thinking about going for the 12 stamps that we've been talking about earlier on it does make sense to consider the bigger picture the bigger bundle because within this one you're going to have your additional two payments but you will get everything and those 11 stamps um, and stencils and of course you're going to get the elements that we we're speaking of as your bonus within the set with regards to your zodiac and you can see that all those gorgeous designs it's worth going back and having a little look at those shows as well because there's been some amazing creative ideas coming through from the team so janet has got another demonstration for us so we're going to head over in that direction and we're going back to working with those fabulous zodiac signs and janet we've got about 15 minutes or so left okay cool so I thought what we'd do is just try and um, do a, the um, Virgo lady um, just in the scene because we've got a set of foxes on the show as well. So we've got, um, uh, this is by, um, actually by Olga and it's called Foxy Friends and I think it's in a bundle. Um, but it's, it's just, I thought that these foxes and, and although this is designed by Janet, this is designed by Olga, they just work really well together. So I thought I'd just create a little scene. So the first thing I'm going to do is to use a stencil, sorry, <laughs> which is called um, Saturday Morning. So I think that's in a, a set with, so this is by Janet Klein as well. So obviously Janet's stencils work brilliantly well with her own designs because they're designed to go together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of do a little bit of green ink at the bottom of my stencil. Uh, and that's mowed lawn. And then I'm using uh, broken china. So I'm going to do a little bit of blue at the top. And give it a little spritz. I'm going to allow the stencil that, we, um, that Janet was just referring to pops up on your screen. You're actually going to get a set of four there for just £15.96. And and it includes the one that Janet's just been working with. These are the ones that you're actually going to get in there. So you can see very useful. Um, and I love that Saturday morning. You've got petals and pods. You've got your tray of fiori. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you've got art. I left the easiest one to the last. Tray, tray. Do I have to say it like that? Tray. Oh, it's Italian, apparently. Tre Fiori. Three, three flowers. Three flowers. Because oh, okay. there's three flowers on the stencil. <laughs> makes sense, it? it? It all makes sense once you know. So then I've just done that, and I'm, I will block this because I need to do it, but I, I'm just going to do another little bit um, on the end because obviously I've got um, another quick spritz. And this may be a little bit paler, but that, that won't matter. So you kind of just still have that, that almost that like essence yeah. of the... Yeah, you only it? need yeah. it's only a hint of sky. Yeah, that'll do. So I'm just going to block that because I need to work on this one. So Ooh. clean up my water. Otherwise, <laughs> everything gets wet. <laughs> right. So then I'm going to use my little um, Virgo lady, but I just need to give her a little bit of ground to stand on. So we've found okay. here um, from Janet's collection. This is called New Day, and this is one of I think quite an early one from Janet and I just liked this little bit of ground with the with the flowers. Lovely. And again this one I'm guessing is going to be in one of those little sets or It'll again pick a mix. Set, yeah. Lots of ways you can get hold of these. There's a load of Janet Klein stuff on the on the show today so if you if you're missing a few from your collection then uh, go and grab a grab a bargain. 
so cute I'm one. just going to pop that there. I like these. I like these little bits of They're useful ones little have, flowers they? and yeah. everything. Yeah. It's a nice one as well because if you need to extend it, you can see you that can, yeah. the edge is open there, so you could do. Yeah. So we'll pop that over there. Oh, I might have used the the clouds and the clouds and the sun from that one as well. So I would have stamped them separately. I'll do that in a minute. And what was that one called? Again? This so is called New Day. New Day. That was yeah. it. So I'll just bear that one in mind if you're looking for it. So, oh. <laughs> I've usually got a bit of paper handy, but I haven't got one to... I'll just use this. Uh, so where's my mount gone? There it is. So I've used the clouds for these as well. So I've cut all of these, I've sort of stamped and cut out. So let me just stamp them on there. And then I've used the cloud twice, so... Okay. It's useful on that circle as well, isn't it? It is. So that's there in the circles. Oh, we've got it up on the screen. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, we get five stamps in this set. My goodness, that is good value for money, isn't it? 18.95. So you're going to get 21 stamps in total, made up of your bird lover, your cat love, little magic, pineapple queen, and new days course. That's the one that we saw Janet working with. Two flexi buys are just uh, nine pounds and forty-eight pence. That makes it an even more affordable way of getting hold of it. And of course, those two flexi buys, if you want to add it in with the, your bundle, then makes sense to go for it as well. And it's lovely because. Because Janet's got such a wide range of different characters and elements. Yeah, she has. Naturally, if you're collecting these, anything that you've previously got is going to work with these. It does. So I'm using the, the Foxy Friends as well. So this is by Olga. Um, and okay. it's, it's got the lovely trees and the foxes in it, the little bits of grass in there as well. So I was just stamp these out to show you if I can lovely. figure them out. So... I like the I like the shape of the trees as well. These are, these are nice trees. It almost looks like he's got a smiley face on that tree. It does. <laughs> and I think that's all I need to stamp out, apart from my little Virgo lady. It's like you're making up your little kit of characters. The little characters, yeah. And I'll find my blade of grass because I'll need that for later. And there's my Virgo. There she is. So this is a really, burger, really then? sweet. <laughs> 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 so she's lovely, and she's uh, so, so this good. isn't isn't going to be anything to do with with Virgo or or stamps at all. You know the star sign at all. It's just mixing her in with a scene with other stamps in the collection. So always, always the versatility of all and create the stamps will all work together the design is mixed together you don't have to stick to one designer or another they do all just kind of work together Olga has such a wide range doesn't she of Olga styles, has a big yeah. range yeah she does kind of scientific -y ones she does cutie ones um, and then I just know oh here they all are so then I've stamped and cut all of these out so I'm just going to sort of see where I want them all to go on my on my card so that's my trees going to go kind of there nice easy Oops. ones to cut out as well yeah these are the nice trees to cut out my little lady's going to stand on there and I just thought it would be nice so we have <laughs> my, ha my my little cards have to tell a story Aww. so this is <laughs> proud mum fox looking on Aww. as she's holding her little baby cub that's that one and then I just love this little blade of grass. So this is on the on the the Foxy Friends. And this is a fabulous little set of grasses that's on there. Um, so you can just add that in, just wherever you fancy the little bit of grass. So again, that's another so useful one, isn't it? Because multi stamp it and yeah. Yeah. And then that can go out there somewhere. Only an extra four pound fifty. Yeah, no, so five pounds. Sorry, if you're popping that in alongside um, your your bundle that we've been chatting about, or anything that's on Flexi Buy, to be honest, because the Flexi Buy is at least two payments. But of course, if you're adding it in alongside your huge bundle, then of course it's even uh, uh, less. It's three pounds and thirty-three p. You'd hardly notice that going in, would you? Five two two seven five seven. It's a nice collection that one as well. I like yeah. it. Yeah. So that's. I'm going to put the trees. Oops. Lovely. Just to give you a bit of a time check, Janet, we've got about seven minutes or okay. so left. I might 
do another demo oh, I get time mm. let's see let's see how this one goes <laughs> okay <laughs> so and I've got my clouds and my sky so that's all just going to go there um, and I'll just show you my finished one when I've done those so that obviously that's all going to be colored in um, and that's how that's finished. It's a good and idea to do that. I mean, you're saying yeah. about stamp, as soon as you get them, stamp them, and it's yeah, just oh, that's really so cute. So you can change. And obviously, I'm just going to I'm just going to do a little bit of an edge to that as well. So I've got here. <laughs> oh, here they are. Here they are. The squares. <laughs> so I think this probably was from the, the, oh, the squares I used earlier. earlier. So these are yes. the solid ones, the reverse squares. And these these kind of ones that Abs has done make really nice um, little background elements that you can use or edges, they, mm. background elements. They do make good backgrounds, but they also make quite nice little touch of edging as well. So I'll just pop that. And I've just, I'm only going to ink the edge up because I'm only going to use the edge, so I might as well just only ink that up. So now we'll just pop just a little bit up there. You only really want a touch, just enough to... Um, Give you a bit of interest around the edge. Yep. And then I'll just do one more up here. Nice, just adding that little kind of framework. And don't forget as well, if you want your acrylic blocks, we have got those yeah. in the brand section as well. And then all I've done to finish that off from, from one to the other is I've edged it all in black, obviously just coloured everything in, and then shade. It's, it, once you've, cut, um, once you've put your, stuck your figures down, just go around with the black pen and the pencil and just shade a little bit to make them stand out from the background. But, uh, yeah, so oh, that's my little composition. Oh, I love it. Janet, we've got five minutes left, so yep. if you want to go straight into your demonstration, yep. you can do. Um, quickly, the details that you've got on your screen, obviously, relating to the Zodiac um, characters that we've seen. Over 40% of the stock has gone, but of course, that demonstration that we just saw there, there's no reference to the, the different star signs that we've been talking about, so it shows that they are incredibly versatile, you can use them all year round. But if you're wanting to use them for your Zodiac um, themes, then you've got all the elements that you need in there. Not only the star signs, of course, with the characters there. You've also got words that are going to uh, relate to them, like you can see Gemini, Pisces, and so on. But also different kind of uh, traits, personality traits associated with many of those signs. And then, of course, the symbols featuring there as well. You've also got, in addition, this bundle, you are going to get a bonus gift with this one. Your free gift, you're not having to put any code in or anything. This will automatically be sent to you if you are going for the bundle with the details on your screen. And you've got your two flexi buys. So if you're going for this one and as is everybody saving 15 pounds on this one then you can see the price on your screen is the price that you'll be paying 42 pounds and 44 pence being your first payment but as a freedom member it's discounted down so it means that those two payments are a less and um, as you can see 38 pounds and 20 pence but do consider that the saving that you've got from this and that bonus gift that we've just been looking at is included in the monthly mega deal as well and you've got additional savings as well so if you want to go down that route that's another way of getting hold of them. But we're going to come back over to Janet because she's going to be showing us how to work with some, some of these elements again and again. The monthly mega deal is up on your screen. About three and a half minutes. Now. Okay, yeah, we can probably do it in that. Fabulous. <laughs> Speed crafting. So I thought I'd just just mix it in with um, with some of the, the oh, sort of Halloween -y type ones as well because actually somebody put a comment on Facebook last night that, that actually the Taurus would work well with the um, with the with the sort of spooky witchy ones. So I thought, oh, that'd be quite good. And obviously, it, this doesn't have to be Halloween, it could just be a kind of little spooky sort of scene. So I've just started off I've using the um, stencil. And which this is stencil from, is in the monthly mega deal, it is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so this is Bipasha's, um, one of the cobwebby ones. Which, uh, so I'm just quickly going to run through that with... Uh, and with this stencil, just a little word of warning, These some of these elements are... Um, Oh, no, they're not. That's fine. <laughs> they're a bit delicate, so just be careful, oh, just be careful when you're, say, yeah, yeah. you're doing these. That's yeah. good advice for any yeah, stencil, isn't it? Is, Sometimes yeah. the little bits can lift up. Um, so I think, as we haven't got much time, so I just wanted, can you even see nice, that? Yeah, it's yeah. just a, a little background. Um, and then I'm going to stamp my witch's hat. So this is from, obviously, from the mega monthly mega bundle as well. And I like this hat. It's a useful <laughs> one, isn't it? It's lovely, yeah. 
I obviously dis um, got immediate dispatch with regards to the monthly mega deal. Um, I, I would imagine it will be with you in time for the weekend, because of course it's Halloween this weekend, isn't it? But if not, you're all set for next year. And also, I know lots of you kind of like all the spiders' webs and uh, um, the witches' hats all year round as well. So uh, it's a nice set to go for. And I love it because you've got kind of like the additional layers within this. Yeah. It's not just the hats. And that the the words there it says chilling like a witch in spooky season, <laughs> <laughs> which is rather good. Um, and then so I've, I'm going to just pop my hat over the top of that. Okay. Um, and then I've got my little girl. How long have I got? Oh, about a minute and a half. Oh, okay. So then I've just got my little um, my little girl that I'm going to stamp out and pop her there. So this is my Taurus one. And then the only other thing was I just wanted a word to go with it. Okay. Um, and I just found on the um, Libran star sign, if okay. I can find it, there's the word charming. Aww. And I just thought, although that obviously works with the Librans and the particularly, um, I, I I can't find my Libran stamp. Well, I'm just oh, here it is, here it mine is. to try and find yeah. it. Is that, so you I've got just it? got so this is so she's the one with the scales, but she's just got charming on there, and I just thought that worked really well with the witches. <laughs> they, yeah, because of the charms. Yeah, <laughs> because of the course. charms. So Clever. it doesn't have to be charming nice. It could just be charming, charming witches. So again, I've coloured the hat in, and I haven't shaded this yet, but I would just add some shade all around there. <laughs> Um, and then edged it in black, and Perfect. then I've got my little Taurus lady, so she's going to oh, sit there. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I'm glad we got to see that one, because it's a nice little project, that one. Now, we're both back at 12, 12 o'clock, o'clock, so yes. looking forward to seeing more dope. with this. So, uh, yeah, I hope you can join us as well. Um, of course, you can still place your order in between the shows. So if you are just catching us sort of on Rewind, then please do make sure you're placing your order, especially if you're going for that monthly mega deal, because as you can see, it's limited in stock, so it's only available while we have the stock available. So get involved with it early. And, of course, we will be concentrating again on the 12 Zodiac signs during the 12 o'clock show. I hope you can join us. Stay tuned, though. We've got lots more coming up. Rich is joining us today, so he's going to come up straight after the break. So I will be going and grabbing a cuppa and watching that show myself. See you in a moment. And he's teaming up with our lovely Lou. And, and then, of course, we've got um, the fabulous um, Sasha joining us for Marant Crafts. And then we're back with Wendy. What a morning. Have you heard of freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creative.
And a very good morning to you. It's Richard here. Hello. Hello, Lou. Hello. Hello. You just instinctively just waved then, didn't you? Like, oh, morning. I don't know what camera's what's of. Oh, well, <laughs> welcome to my world. Um, Lou, you're with us for the next hour, and you're yeah. talking studio light mixed media. We are, and it, it's a good real mix of all the things that you do really need. Really, it's essentials and consumables, and yes, stuff. Ooh, we do love some stamps, don't we, here on the craft store. Um, shall we have a little look at what we've got then? Shall we have a little wander down the counter in this hour? Because uh, we're going to start off with uh, some favourites coming back and a couple of little newbies thrown in for good measure as well. This is the Studio Lights uh, stamps, the Christmas stamps. Now, it's pick and mix, so you can pick any two for this price. Ten ninety nine. Uh, we have a couple of new options today. More on that in a second. Look. As we wander along here, we've got uh, we've got a is that that's a deer I guess is that yeah. a reindeer or just a deer? Uh, it's a stag a deer, yeah, and yeah. then um, it's beautiful. It really is, isn't it? Yeah. And our new stamps are the Merry Christmas tree, and we have the bauble on the end there as well. So um, you're going to be doing a little something with those, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to show you how to create a card in a minute. Mm. One now, minute. Each one of these has got little scenes within the yeah. actual stamp itself. And you've got sentiments as well here mm -hmm. on the deer, you can see. Um, it's really lovely and it's just the perfect, the perfect thing for making a Christmas card, I would have thought. It is. It's also really good for uh, if you're doing crafts or charities or anything like that because uh, uh, Julia brought these on. She did an amazing job and it is, it's just a card in a stamp. You don't really need anything else. So mm. I'm going to be show just like taking some ideas she did, but it is beautiful scenery in those baubles and things. So mm. hopefully we'll get to see it later. Now you very kindly yeah. uh, print, did a bit of stamping I before did. we started, so I can uh, I can now show you what that looks like when you stamp it out onto some card there. So that's our uh, winter wonderland. Let it snow there with the snowflake made out of uh, what looks like Christmas trees or yeah. Christmas leaves. That's nice. All the details as well with the moon in there and the planet. Oh, there's, well, there's planets in there. Yeah, you've that. got all the planets, oh. then the, the water. The, oh, the water here, yeah. yeah. And the thing is, it fades out so you can add ink pads to make it look ho ho like an ombre. And I'll show you it later, but there's a lot to them. That's why I stamped them out, because you can't really see them on the board. Love it. doesn't it. do them justice. Um, it's the most wonderful time of the year. This is one of our new ones, our Christmas Brilliant. bauble. We've got a lovely Christmas cottage here and a, a little bridge over the... Oh, it looks lovely, that, doesn't it? It's the sort yeah. of place you just want to go on holiday to at it Christmas is. time. It is. Uh, it's like, um, what, Scandinavian, the kind of... Or, you yeah, know, it is up, like the Slav. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it is that Eastern. land, somewhere mm. like that. Mm. You've got the night sky, you've got the mountains and the trees. It's all the snow scene as well. And it's all contained in this lovely Christmas bauble, which is good. Um, now, Can yeah, Santa lives in Greenland. We did, we established this the other day. We established this. We <laughs> went, we went. On, where does where does Santa live, Lou? Greenland, isn't it? Thank it's you. Lapland. Thank you. Greenland. Greenland. It's Greenland. Oh, Greenland. It's Greenland. Lapland. Greenland. It's Greenland. No, no, no. Just say Greenland. We're, we're good. I'm in uh, middle, me. <laughs> may, may, may the miracle of Christmas fill your heart with joy. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So obviously we have the star. So it's it's a star looking into a Christmas scene here. It's almost like we're looking through a star shaped window here. And uh, look at all of that inside there. You've got uh, what looks like a church and the moon behind, full moon. You've got uh, a river there, a little bridge going over, a footpath leading up to the to the church as well. That's lovely. What what kind of th what kind of way would you colour that in? Or well, I mean, uh, the simple way looking at that. That stamp is so you just hardly need anything. You could stamp it in black. Uh, permanent ink and then just put some watercolour on it or you could actually ombre the inks on the stamp and create your own so it's like endless but so it all the work's done for you with the stamp you don't have to do a lot with mm. it what, so when you say ombre because i'm gonna this is gonna be my new yeah. word of the day ombre um, what is that light to dark right so, to dark okay light, light through to dark so if you're doing yeah. here's an ombre for you okay so if we go dark yeah. medium medium light and white so an ombre is a range of colours that fade out and fade in. Uh, so dark to light. How are you spelling that? O M B R E. Because I was thinking it was hombre, like ombre. Uh, like a Spanish. That's a Spanish bloke, isn't it? Like ombre. Ombre. ombre oh, yeah. Get my ombres together. Yeah. It's no. like we're going to ombre this. Um, what we're going to oh, do? No ombre. <laughs> yeah. No H. We don't no have H. H. Silent H. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. That's my word of the day. Thank you. Uh, warm wishes. Oh dear. This oh is dear. Really, it's a little pun on words there, like that. Oh dear. Happy New Year. There's your uh, there's your big uh, stag with his 
huge antlers there as well. And the design on the actual uh, stack here is great, isn't it? Because yeah. it's a mountain scene, a snowy scene with a, a moon there as well. You can have a lot of fun with that, I, could, I guess, um, putting some uh, paint on that. Yeah, just black ink, yeah. or, you know, stamp it out. But then the colour of the card, you could have blue card mm. and stamp it with white or black. But the other thing is, you know, you can decoupage it by taking the, the antlers off and leaving them on the back of the card so it still looks like it's got it. Well, yeah, uh, we'll do all that later. I like this one. Christmas tree, look at this. This, already a quarter of the stock has gone. Love this this one. one is flying off the shelf today. New today, the Christmas tree. Have a look at that. Beautiful, simple, simplistic, it. isn't it? Simple Christmas tree, well, but is. each one of these designs then has a further scene in the actual object itself. And as we can see here, again, we have that lovely night uh, scenery, uh, Christmas, winter, the snow, the mountains, the moon in the sky, the running water. You can, you can almost hear it. You can. Uh, and yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then it's all contained within this lovely Christmas tree as well. And all the sentiments, were, if you buy two, or if you can get it, buy more, the sentiments all work and, and change. You can use them for yeah. whichever one you want. Of course, yeah. Well, pick any two of these. 40% yeah. of the stock has now gone on this Christmas tree. Wow. Don't buy any more. I'm doing a demo on this. Stop sleigh it. bells ring. Are you listening, Lou? Oh. Are you listening? Because you should be, because look, this is glistening. Look, Merry hey. and Bright, we have, uh, we have two bells here with the, with the holly at the top there. That's the silhouette. This is and then lovely. inside, um, another similar scene here of uh, our log cabin, uh, Christmas cabin, if you like, uh, next to the river in the, in the winter. Really, really good for batch making these, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm just looking, and it's one of them where the, each time you look at it, you see something different. Yeah. Or more detail and stuff. And, and there's like little nursery rhymes and stories that come to your head when you're seeing this yeah oh, i love it it's, it is really well great. done oh a little star as well like the star of the bethlehem star followed the star for the nativity the big one in the sky there love that uh right so six of them you can choose any two it's a pick and mix and it's 1099 your item number is 085715 head to the website of course or you can uh, ring up but it's very, very busy, particularly on the Christmas tree. Half the stock has gone. Half the stock. 30% has gone as well on the, the new bauble. Oh, so the two new ones. Very, very popular, Lou. Not surprised. Yeah. I'm just hoping that they don't sell out before I do my demos. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, well, I'm doing yeah. them. <laughs> keep, keep getting it, but not too many because we want to be able to <laughs> use them in a little while. Now, let's move on to some media now. Uh, as you can see, full range we have here. We're going to start off uh, with uh, tacky glue mm -hmm. on the end there. We've got our tacky glue. We've also got now... This is, this is my new, uh, new word as well, decoupage. Hey, done it. Decoupage. Nailed it. Well, it's only because they just said it in my ear. Decoupage, yeah. <laughs> Thankfully. Uh, decoupage, we've got structure paste as well, and we have some snow effects. Let me just like... You snow know, effect. it's it great is. for the barbels because you just add a bit and it just adds that little bit of finishing touch to it. Lovely. So, yeah. And you get two of these decoupages. Yeah. So we've got one matte, one gloss, right? Yeah, absolutely. I did that the wrong way around, but yeah, you get the gist. Uh, one matte, one, one gloss there. Absolutely. Decoupage, like just, just to educate me. What right. Do you do with well, is Arge 101. Yeah. <laughs> it's a French term. Anything yep. with Arge on it means layer. Right. So collage. Oh. Decoupage. I love it. Montage, frottage. Yeah. Anything with Arge on it is layer. So it's to layer. Dressage, that's dressage, the... Dressage, it's to layer elements. But that's the, when you're on a horse, jumping yeah, up and dressage, down. How, how, are you la how are you layering there? Well, that one's... I'm talking about art, I'm not too sure about that. But <laughs> okay. even those, it's like layering, layering like right, learning right, right. steps. Okay. But with art, art means layer. Very, oh, that's good. Garage? Is it we layering there? Well, you Putting could cars do. on ramps? Some, some, some people. That's, that's an yeah. English... I'm talking about French... You'd always get one, don't you? There's always one. There's one stick. What, what a pedant he is. Ash. Um, sorry Ash. about that. Arsh. We'll, we'll come back to that. I love that, though. That's a good it's one. True. The French it's thing. True. Um, extended delivery on these. So it's 10 days before it will be dispatched. But you will get it, of course, in plenty of time for Christmas. It will be dispatched on the 4th of November. Now, this set here, you're going to get all of what you're seeing here. Not one of them. All of them uh, for 16.45. So it's normally 19.45. You're going to make a £3 saving there. And the item number, if you like the look of that, and why wouldn't you? Because it's all your essentials there for your Christmas cards. 277429 is the item number. Uh, already buying ahead, I'm hearing, on a lot of what we're seeing here on the counter, or at least what we're going to see on the counter. So busy, busy, busy this morning uh, on our Studio Light Essentials. Let's move on now to our chalk 
ink pads here, our essential chalk ink pads, complete collection. You are getting 24 of these in total. There's loads and loads here, and this is a really good price, Lou, right? These sell out time and time again because, you know, Having a range of ink pads can get really expensive, but when they're small, they're just enough for you to be able to try them. But these don't even work out at a pound each, not even a pound each. Mm. And you've got an ombre in each one with a metallic ink pad at the end. So this, like, if you're starting out, brilliant. If you're not starting out, if you're, if you're experienced, I know one of my friends, Rachel, bought this because she said she's got colours in there she hasn't got. Yeah. And with them being a chalk base, they dry matte. But you can add the metallic over the top if you wish, especially if you've got one of the platforms we've got. But the beautiful colours, really lovely colours. Here colours. you are. You've uh, very kindly uh, padded them out for us onto some uh, car stock. Ten percent of the stock has already gone on this. Look at those blues, lovely. Brilliant. It's a lovely quality. I can see it. Like, there's almost like a raised texture there and glitter. Yeah. In that one. It's brilliant, and and that metallic gives a right. There is white at the end. It's a little. I can just see it now. You've got. A, you can see the shine. Oh, look at that. Of the card, but you can also see just a matte texture of the way. I should have put a line around it, but it's it like a there. watermark almost. Well, it's Beautiful, like a picture isn't it? inside it. Yeah. yeah. Like and then we have our uh, yellows and oranges here. Again, I just love the you know the texture of this one and the and the grading of the colour. And and it, uh, that can be added to anything. And with them being water based, you can watercolour with them as well, which is another plus. Reds and, and pinks. Pinks are quite hard to get. You get like sort of corally colours as well, but these are really lovely range. Really lovely. Oh, yeah, that's nice, isn't it? And then we've got the uh, the, the green. These yeah. are super popular because these are going to be for all year, every year. Yeah, these are these are very busy as well. I love the, I love these ones here. The little what do, what what we call in this effect here on the end, which where it's kind of a. That's just the, the yeah. ink pad, how it's, it suctions. I've only stamped once and it sort of adheres to it, and the, and it just shows the glitter up and the well, it's not oh. glitter, sorry, the yeah. sheen more. Right. Um, but it's such a nice little pad to hold. It's a teardrop shape. Look at that. 24 of them in total. You're getting 24 of them, uh, usually 32.76. The price today is 23.76. That is a £9 saving, and it roughly works out at about 90p there you go. or so per 99p per pad. So that's less than a pound and for each. You pad. think about buying a big one, it's like a fiver, six pounds maybe. But you can have the whole range for 24 quid, and you're like, and I could take the, I could travel all over with them. Mm. I've got the whole range. I don't have a big bucket of them then, but I love them. I really do love them. Don't forget you can watercolour with them as well. And we'll show you some techniques with them. Wow. Uh, I love the way you can hold them as well. It's like they're just, they're just fit nice snugly shape. in your hand and yeah. there's a nice little size. Um, 20 Twenty percent of the stock has gone. Approaching wow. twenty percent of the stock has already gone of our ink pads. That's incredible. Uh, montage. There's another one. Montage. That's, la that's layering bits of video, isn't it? A montage. Yeah, Full yep. montage. Very Absolute. good. Absolutely. There you you've, go. You've opened my eyes. That's a game changer. What you said there. <laughs> I don't think of all words all day. Um, now we're going to move on to our tag block here. Now you've got uh, three uh, different options here to choose from, but in each one you've got sixty tags. Th uh, four options, I should say. Actually, four options. You've got sixty tags in each one. Now. You'll note straight away that they are all the same colours in each of the options. The thing that uh, differentiates them is, is the ends of the tags. Mm -hmm. So we have, for example, here our classic tags, which obviously just look like your straightforward traditional tags here. Then we have oriental. Look, it's like, a, like the top of an oriental uh, yeah, building, isn't it? it, it yeah. yeah, framed on the architecture, yeah. Yeah, then we have urban tags here, and that's the kind of pointy buildings, right? Yeah. The pointy one there. And then we've got our sort of cloudy uh, version here, which is our global tags. Yeah, I think right. this is based on a lot of architectures, like beautiful buildings. Mm. Mm, very nice. Nine ninety nine as well. And you're getting 60 of these, so, um, and different, um, I'm going to pick one of these up, actually. No, do you know what? I'm not going to pick one up because I've got some at the back here. Um, so I'm going to get a little look. You've got your white card, you've got your black, and you've got your brown as well, and it's 300 GSM. Well, you know, the people who buy from Studio Light will know the paper we use, and this is the same paper. So it's the same paper that you get in your journals, yeah. in your diaries and all that. Um, so you know the paper that it is. So, and I think this is genius, this, mm. because the tags... Everybody loves tags and you don't have to cut them out. Exactly. It comes, comes with the holes already punched Absolutely. through as well. Acid and lignin free as well. Absolutely. And it's good for your photographs. So, but it's good for everything else that we do, our mixed media. And I just love them. They're so under. Yeah, really, really under. Are. Love that. There's our tag block, 999. And the item number for that one, oh, is 402889. Now, 
we are going to move on to our A4 die cut block now. Now this is 170 GSM. Uh, look at the price of this from 12.99 down to 9.99. These here and you can choose which one you like we've got four in total so let's have a little look at what we have we've got cozy christmas we've got winter wonderland we've got happy christmas and we've got christmas memories which one do you fancy having a little flip through christmas you know? memories christmas memories good choice there we go right these are so popular oh, they, they are yeah because they, these were on before right and yeah they've just completely went mad on them yeah and it's because it's all contained in one you've got absolutely everything you need here because if i open this up once again acid and lignin free here uh, these are double-sided pattern papers you're going to get with this and your die cuts already for you just to pop out of yeah. the page. So here we have front page here, lots and lots of bits of uh, Christmas uh, paraphernalia here. Uh, we have uh, Christmas trees, Christmas stockings with the oranges. This is kind of oldie worldy Christmas. Yeah. We've got squirrels, we've got deer, we've got uh, letters, we've got flowers, and each one there you can pop pop through. I don't want to do it because I don't want to spoil yeah. this one, but you can you can pop it through, <laughs> and then. Uh, you're ready to go. So this is great if you haven't got a die cutting machine. Right? Absolutely brilliant for that. And the ephemera is really, really sort of the stuff. With it all being contained in a book, you can take it anywhere and do it anywhere. It's like travel with it or anything. But some of these, you can make them look like really old enamel. That watch, you could enamel it. These uh, images could go with some of the stamps we've got, but they build up to make great. I mean, Julia did an amazing show with these. Yeah. And she really just showed you how you could build them all up. And the colours all match, the kiss cuts, so they just, it, they're held in enough without you having to sort of worry. ATC sides, you know, and papers are beautiful if you're Yeah, to we had some gift car. tags there, which we saw, great. And then look at these papers as well, so uh, double-sided. Yeah. So, I don't know if you can see them, just, there you go. Uh, double-sided, 170 GSM as well. You're getting all of your different colours here, your Christmassy colours. So you've got the backgrounds, basically, and yep. you've got the foregrounds to layer it all up. Look at that. You could do something with that, couldn't you? Look at that scene. Very similar to what we saw on those stamps there, actually. Got a couple of, couple of versions of that. I think then, it's good when you've got two, because then you're not worried about messing up or, oh, exactly. I don't want to use it. Because that is always the shame, isn't it? it you is. do one and you think, oh, I can't use, now I can't use the green on the Absolutely. back of this. So it's double-sided, but you are getting two. So if you want light one in particular, you can use it both times over. Uh, we've got a pink one here with some candles on it and a lovely border around it. I mean, there's loads. Uh, th what's this? Oh, this is very intricate. We've got lots of candles and letters and a, and a clock on it as well. That's a bullfinch. I think we, uh, we um, ascertained that the other week. And we, that was another jumping on the internet and oh, yeah. uh, having a bit of a debate <laughs> about it. But I was right on that one. <laughs> Not sure about the Greenland one, to be honest, and Santa, but there you go. And then, um, oh, we've got a squirrel here. So you could make it a winter yeah. card, not just Christmas. Yes, you know. absolutely. You've got a, a I mean, autumn card. even. Exactly. Squirrels, autumn. Exactly. So it doesn't have to be Christmas. But <laughs> Studio Light on all of it, because of the language difference, always on the back of packages, put everything that's in the packages on it. And so then we had a little see. clock there as well. Yeah. Love that. All of that. In just one of those, look at that, 195832 is the item code for that. And it's normally twelve ninety nine. And today you can take it away for nine ninety nine. You're gonna get all of those backgrounds, uh, all of the double sided paper there, 170 GSM, and all of the die cuts as well. And you can choose from any of those four options. Have a little look on the website because all the information you need is right there. Lou, yeah. now, before we uh, run out of these new stamps, yep, you better it. do something with them. I'm going for it. It, it, it won't, you don't think I'm not, I am. Right, I've got some watercolour paper, I've got the stamping platform, and I've cut it down to A5. I'm going to be quick here because I know they're going to sell out. So I've got a choice of which one I want to do. I like the tree, I'll go for the tree. No, I'm going for the barble. Right, just go for it. Literally, all you do, is just see, I want it about here, so I know I've got to place it right now. Bear in 60 mind. 60% of the baubles oh. is already gone. So hurry up. <laughs> right. I'll have to take it off you in a second. I know. Someone will want it. I'm just going to do that. Just place it on my card where I want. Just press me. Now I have. Sometimes it's best if you do it the other side of your paper because if you've already stamped with it, it could sort of register. Now what you do, I'm taking that off. I'll be flying it's around. Warm, isn't it? it is. So I'm just going to go light to dark so on here with the chalks just going to put a little bit of the mid or mid to darks doesn't matter really and then a bit of the blue 
and I'll go with a bit of the glitter down here and a bit of the white on the top and then just to bring it all together I will get an old ink pad right just in case it just takes the excess off does it yeah and it yeah. just makes sure that yeah whatever I've stamped yeah um, I've not missed anything really okay and then with your ink pads when you've done that make sure you've got enough room around where you want this is great because you don't have to do anything yep. it's not down yet I'm checking it's okay yep. now I can press down right um, a lot of stamp platforms you may have to move you don't, have to, you don't have to hold that in place of no. any markers or anything like that though no. no and you have got little um, magnets with it which yeah. are real they always stick to my ruler look everything <laughs> sticks to my ruler so oh, I'm just good. going to put that now I can just see I need a little bit of dark down here yeah just to register you see this is the beauty of it you don't have to do it all at once some people no. you know if you if you if you're doing your stamping and you're like oh I didn't as long get as it that stays in. in the same place right you can just keep going just adding extra bits on yeah. so absolutely perfect so now yeah. I'm happy with that and take that off there and then all I'm going to do is get a little bit of this, a bit there, a paintbrush, not a huge paintbrush, a little, that one will do. And this is the ink pad I'm using. And all I'm going to do is just, I'm trying to bring some focal points by adding some depth. So yeah. to make it look like it's coming a little bit more forward. So anywhere it's dark with the, I'm just adding a little bit more depth and you'll see it start to sort of bring out a few more of the features and it just adds a little bit more because at the moment the, you can see the ombre but adding this to the to the negative part or the outside just gives it a really nice little finish Every and then, if you say I can see the ombre I just see someone in a poncho <laughs> I know, I know. drinking tequila and eating a you ombre, know. Ombre. Yeah. <laughs> right there the we go so then, yep. there's my card. If I just go to one of my lovely colours, I could do a greens, blue, anything, or yep. even if I wanted to, chop that down a bit and just that on there, card done. Oh wow, that was quick. That's, that is as simple as that. That's all you need. Well, you can make it as difficult or as simple yeah. as you want, but to me, it's a card done. I mean, I can make another one where we'll do it slightly different, and yep. then so using the same card. Yeah. I'm going to use, say, we'll use another piece, I'll use a smaller piece, and just check if it's right. Now on this card I've got a smooth and um, a rough side, so I always check that I've got the right one. Right, okay, so we'll use the same stamp again, if we, just for ease really, I'm going to do the same again. And this time, dark around the edges, go into a little bit lighter in the middle. Well, so we're going to create a completely different look with exactly the same stuff. Yeah, a bit of just silver. Just the way we change the colours. Well, yeah, and the way that we sort of mm. um, use the colour with the stamp. So yeah. It's a simple, simple little trick to do. But I always like to go back over with the black. Not too much. I just want to get the detail. Mm. Because oh, it just creates a really nice uh, feel when you get all the details and the colour with it. So here, I'm going to drop this down. There we go little bit there now I've done a little um, a, only a small card but it doesn't really matter because you can matte and layer it to make it look fuller perfect right oh, so we've got this different colors and I really like that and it's good to show you that the ink pads work um, with water as well because you might think oh well they're only a pound but believe you me you know, for a pound. What can you buy for a pound anyway? I always get this. What 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 can you go out and buy for a pound? Very little. Can't even get a drink for that. No, tell me about it. You could get like Boy have I tried. <laughs> <laughs> right, so all I'm doing is I'm gonna do the negative. So it's exactly the same card. It's mm. the ink pad that we've used, and all I'm doing is just washing the background. Okay. And what this does is brings the actual bauble into focus more so and then just see how nice they are to water I mean people yeah. don't probably realize that there's such a nice little watercolor pad as well because the chalk they dry very very matte but we've got the wonderful um, 
we've got the wonderful sort of uh, decoupage if you want to add colour. Mm. So here what I've done is just one side, blended it out. I'm just going to add a tiny bit here, not too much, because it's. I want to try and make it look like the lights on one side, but I don't want any harsh lines on my paper. So just do that and then fade it out over the watercolour so a little bit may uh, okay. run yeah. but i've got no sort of definite lines on this now that show you know there's a, a sort of dark blue a light blue we've got an ombre or a fade so I, I really like that now if we put this on let's go for a dark blue card done obviously you'd mount it better than that but just to show you yeah good you know, difference there's two yeah. little cards, one's painted in yeah. and one's painted out, and that's seconds. And those, to me, I don't do Christmas much. And if I do, it's stuff like this that I use because I really like it. I can decoupage all that. I can do so much with it, and it's all contained. I don't have to keep messing about with different stamps. Yeah. But the look of it is so, you know, it's different. It's however you want it. So I love it. It's two. like um, it, there's a real blue theme to it all, isn't it? Yeah, Ice blue, absolutely. snow, rather than going down that route of like Christmas trees, greens, and, and well, browns. We can do that yeah. with a Christmas tree. I really do like the Christmas tree. Or yeah. you can make it bright pink if you wanted to. You don't have to sort of stick to certain colours. But the Christmas tree is another one. That, this is I love this one. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to get a piece of card again, and it's as simple as this is doing it now. It, it will fit on an A6 that way if you want. I think that's quite a nice idea with the sentiment done in a different colour. Yeah, should we try that? We'll yeah. try that. While you're doing that, by the way, let me just quickly show everyone the stamping platform which oh, we yeah. have here. This is the actual stamp press that Lou is using here. I love if this. You, if you like the look of that, $16.99. That's pretty decent, isn't it? $16.99. You're going to get the little holders with it as well. Full magnetic. Uh, it's anti-slip as well. Yep. Uh, for clear and rubber stamps. Yeah, mm. it does them all, and that's the difference. Like, some only do certain ones, but this does them all. So I'm going to go with a theme of the tree. So I've got a little bit of the dark blue, and the reason I'm using the dark blue on here is uh, it's just for the sky, just the sky bit. So then I'm going to go with, let's go with a nice dark green. And it doesn't really matter if you hit other parts of your stamp it really really mm. doesn't matter because it just sort of melts yeah. into each other yeah a little bit of brown in there if you wish you don't have to like i say uh, going, it's green more. and brown i said it yeah we'll get the christmas colors out at some point yeah and, and, a, and red of course is another one that's uh well you can add yeah. all sorts of colors later yeah. you know when you get your um when you've got it stamped and you think, right, it needs a little bit more of this or yeah. whatever. And would you add that by reapplying the stamp or would you add that just by putting it on with a both, brush? Both, I think. Or, yeah. I think you could do it with both. I mean, I'm going to stamp this now and it might not be what I want, mm. but then I know I've got the choice of lifting it again and putting more colour yeah. on or taking it off and adding water. So, But to me, you've got a card done, matte and layered. And I like the fact this stamp platform really helps me because if I hadn't got this, it yeah. would be difficult for me to use. Now, there's, there's the colours done. Oh, All right. I'm going to do is, as I did before, just to bring this into more sort of... I, I just love the fact it's a, it's a scene within a scene. The scene is a, is a Christmas tree, but Absolutely. within it you've got an actual... another Christmas card, if you like. You can see the, the log cabin and the, the night sky, and you've... you've you've coloured each one appropriately so you have the brown for the cabin and the greenery around and the, the blue at the top it's great just by adding that tiny bit of colour yeah with it or extra colour you can see how juicy these are and with them being a chalk now i've put quite a bit on there but all that is is just to show you that even if you do that it it moves out so nicely that you, you you're not once you put it on people will get oh i've made a mess no i haven't no you haven't honestly and get the glitter one and then get get this on the trees so that when it dries you'll see this glitter just pop and it's like the sunlight's on it you might not see it now but when it dries it will i'll just put a little bit there and then what you can do is you can get now i, I did unbung them before so if it's bunged it's my fault and then you can get oh come on What's, the snow it, effect. Have you got it bunged up? It's bunged up. Right, I'm going to... 
I've done it once. Uh, right. Army glue and everything. Right, let's try now. Right. So uh, it's unbunged. So right, stand stand down, everyone. Emergency stand, over. Stand down, she says. Right. We've got details of this on your screen right now. Two seven seven four two nine is the item code. You can get all of these different media for that price. Nineteen forty five. Three quid off. It's sixteen forty five. You're getting a matte and gloss of decoupage there. That is the correct way to say it, isn't it? I yeah. It is. uh, tacky glue, you're getting, you're getting the snow effect too, you're getting the uh, structure paste, and all of those bottles, all five, are coming in that set there. 1645 277429. Now, are you debunged? Yeah, I'm just, I don't want to put too much on me because I think it can look a little bit too. But I'm just, pre all I've done is put some on, and then with my paintbrush and or whatever you want, just. Mm -hmm. Let it dry like that, and then once it's dry, you get a different texture again. So leave it to dry, or dry it with a heat gun, and then just lightly go over it with your silver pad, mm. and it brings all the colours out. So just take this off now. Now what we could do is, well, this would be another stamp, and I'll just show you what I mean by that. Just take the back of one piece. You might like this better. Mm. And all I'm doing is just... I like them also, by the way. You've got a really interesting style. You sort, you kind of use stamps in a in, in quite a unique way compared to a lot of other people. You sort of do something about... So is that glue that you've just put on there? Yeah. Then? But that's to just get... It's not to glue anything on. It's just to get the effect of yeah, snow. Yeah, 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 it is. I, just, I wouldn't have thought to use glue in that way. It's actually just decorative. So what I've done is I've outlined with the stamp, the ink that was already on the pad. Mm. So it looks splodgy and watercolory, which I quite like. But what I want to do now is bring some more features in. So don't think that I, I have got it here somewhere. I've put it away safe. I always do this, put things away safe. But you could use a colored one. I'll use a black. So it has moved slightly, but I'm not too worried because you can line them up with this. Um, because it's like a watercolor, Oh, no, it's moved a lot. Come on with us. We're very busy this morning, Lou. We've got queues on the phone now. So if you do want to uh, take advantage of some of these great prices today, in time for Christmas, of all of these products from Studio Light here, please do visit the website if you can, or use our app as well, because there are queues on the phone lines. Right. Uh, Christmas Star Perfect. is now half the stock is gone on Christmas Star. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, what I did was, it's just out, but it's quite nice where you used the ink from the previous stamp. So I've used the residue of that, and then all I've done is put a black ink over the top, and you've got this really nice sort of... Ah, uh, like that. Like a, a shadowy feel. Yeah. And, and you can still use the ink, so I'll use the back of that and just... Oh, it's dried. So, but always clean your ink. So, always clean your stamps as mm. well. Now, the other thing you can use is I'm just going to use this a little bit. Oh no, I'll use the, what was it that's really popular? Oh, star. Uh, we've got, well, the two new ones are really popular. So, the one we just at the moment that's doing well is the star. Right. Okay. So, yeah. let's have a quick look at this. So, if you've got some of the blocks and stuff, if you haven't, don't worry. You can use this again. I mean, I've got my big blocks here. Um, my, my blocks are stuck in customs, by the way, guys, but you've, you've got, you know. So I'm just going to put, now I'm going to make sure that it's the right way up. So, like that. I'll just move there. I do like stamping on this as well, though, yeah, because it's, it's got it's a fun. cushion to it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just a really quick one, nothing too um, fancy. I'll use me, I'll use this one. No, that one's finer. So I'm just going to... Oh, I was going to. Oh, I see. Just take it out of the stamping platform and use your hands. Yep. Now, you can make an, a lovely pattern all the way around using your. the edge got, of it. If you do want those, look, we've got the acrylic blocks available. New oh, today have you? as Brilliant. well. 12 99 Usual price of eighteen forty nine. That's a That's a decent saving there. It is. So all I'm doing is trying to show you that you Two can... Two different sizes as well of those. You oh, can sort now. of create a border around the stamp. You need the ink on it. Around the stamp. Um, or a background for it where you're just placing ed parts of it. I mean, this is probably a difficult one with it being um, a star shape. But mm. it gives you an idea of don't just think about using the stamp as is. Think about using it as a elements yeah. so 
we'll do this one up here, and, we, and you get a pattern, but this could be Could be anything, yeah, no one would background. know that was a star that was used for that. No, was, yeah. you could use it as a background, so if I wanted to pop that on there, and then cut that down and have that as a background, it's still the same stamp, Yeah. but what I've done is I've just used elements, so that's a really nice background for it. I mean, if you think even, like, your star one on the top, you could cut that out, let me move this, sorry, for, and then you've got, a beautiful stamp so mm. think of it that way and then this one this star one is absolutely beautiful got to use this this is absolutely stunning flake. yeah because yeah. i really like the shape and don't forget i mean i haven't got time now but um the next slot what i'm gonna do is cut some out and show you how to create layers with them so i've got this well that's one o'clock you're going to be back yeah that. one o'clock well you've got loads of time between now and then haven't you yeah i've got um uh, from my show tomorrow and then i've got loads of planning for these. I've done the planning for it and, yeah. and then I changed all my mind. So <laughs> I like to do that. Best laid plans and all of that. Terrible I am. Yeah. Terrible. Just going to show you this one. Now, it might not work as good as the platform because I've not got it on there. So if it's not right, that's why I use the platform. Oh, it's just to show you that sometimes people say, oh, what's the difference? The difference is I'm worried now. This is a one hit wonder. Mm. If I've got this wrong, that's it. Mm. Oh, it's perfect, but mm. at least with my platform, if, if I was unsure, I could redo it. Yes. Big difference, yeah. big yeah. difference. Yes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the chart pad, I'm going to use the blue. So really, it is probably best overall to use, I mean, nine times out of ten, use the platform. I would, unless yeah. it's like really tiny things. Yeah. I don't tend to use, I tend to use a small block and I'll go all over, yeah. but with this, no. I don't, I don't really want to chance it. Mm. I've got the blue, and I've got like a, a finger door but you don't need this you can have your, anything you want and mm. i'm just going to bring you a tiny bit of color here and just to show you how quick and easy Cows. a finger dauber yeah mm. i love these because <laughs> when because i'm doing all these shows and i, I have so many different products that yeah bits of sponge everywhere fingers. yeah so I, I love using these um mm. and then i can because i'm a bit heavy-handed so <laughs> and then here what I'm going to do is just put a little bit now I might need a little bit more that's better and then clean that one off and then get let's think Ooh, um no I can't use that it looks a bit mad I was gonna say I'll use me um well, it has to be silver doesn't it? it has to be silver I did that before I pulled this one off pulled it off was being a bit aggressive with it Right, I've just put silver in there now. When it dries, all that will just be really glistening. You'll see all the detail. But if you've done it on your platform, you can stick it back on. And then here, I'm just going to add a little bit more blue. So you can use it to um, watercolour with. You can use them to paint with, as I've shown you. And you can use them to stamp with. They're really versatile. They move nicely on paper as well. Mm. So here, what I'm going to do is just show you how to... Blend it out around here. Details of the inks on your screen right now. 24 of those ink pads you're getting for that price. 23.76. So we worked it out. It's 99p an ink pad. That's great value. That is really good. Into and I've yeah. used tiny, tiny bits. Hardly any. I, yeah. I really haven't it would used last a you lot. a long time than one of those, would it? Yeah. I mean, you have to look after them. And, and yeah. you know, I left one of mine open it's still all right actually but mm. i wouldn't recommend that at all so as long as you keep them you know the lid on and uh, you don't let them dry out then should be should oh be good yeah for ages. um they're, they're quite juicy yeah. so and here what i'm trying to do is just let the water go sort of it, you're almost painting with water so you get that blend mm. and then i'm just see the sparkle i'm just taking a tiny bit off and bringing it down here and what you can do is it's too wet now but if you've got gold and silver pens it might work you could just do i love the planets and in, in that uh snowflake there. That's exactly it, you, you bring in attention to it you've yeah. got a white pen you could do the white side of the planet like that who thinks of these ideas it's like sitting there going i know just put the universe in the middle of the snowflake that'll do yeah good idea well done I know. It's amazing, isn't it? I know. It, so, it is someone, really someone good. Someone sits and dreams these ideas up. And most of them, I know, are my lovely friend Angela, who's a designer, so she's really clever. Yeah. But just there, you can see now, with a pen, I'll bring it up for you, so it could jump to wobble it. Can you see that? I like it. 
can add your pens to it and add that little bit of glisten. Yeah, that's brilliant. It, so I've done quite a few examples and I've <laughs> I really haven't. Have. I haven't done much. Uh, I haven't done anything fancy. No, but I mean, in the space of what, 20 minutes, you've just rattled off about four or five cards. That's brilliant. And they all look really different. Well, the thing is, love it. I don't need to do it. It's yeah. done with the stamps and I love that. Yeah, and you're just adding the finishing touches. Absolutely. That's brilliant. Thanks very much, Lynn. Oh, I'll, I'll, let you, uh, I'll let you get something else set up. Yes, I'll uh, remind everyone what we're looking at here today on the craft store. It's Studio Light Essentials. These are our Christmas stamps. It's a pick and mix. So you choose any two. We're seeing all the stamps being used at the moment. We've seen the Christmas bauble, we've seen the star, the snowflake, the tree being used by Lou just there. You can choose any two of those, any two that you like, and you'll be getting it for the price of ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine today. Cues on the phone lines, those who do, make sure you visit the website. And you can pick any of these you've got there, the uh, Let It Snow, we've got the Deer, we've got Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, we've got our Chris Now these two at the bottom here, the Christmas Bauble and the Tree, they're new today and they're very, very p uh, popular at the moment. And we also have here our uh, bells, our uh, Sleigh Bell Bells. Sleigh Bell Bells, that's, that's saying bell twice, isn't it? Uh, we've got uh, that Are You Listening and Merry Be Bright and all the rest of it. So all the Christmas uh, sentiments on there. That's ten ninety nine. pick any two. Now we also have our uh, ink... St oh, I'll tell you what, before we move on to that, I've got to show the stamp boys because I haven't actually uh, shown these for a little while. This is actually the Sleigh Bells Ring Are You Listening uh, stamp that's been printed out onto the card. Now, 30% of this has gone. 30% of this particular stamp has gone. Merry and bright. We have our Christmas scene, and it's like looking through a two bell with some hollies on it shaped window onto this Christmas scene. And that is pretty much the theme as you run throughout these stamps here, because here we have our Christmas tree where you can look in on a uh, snow scene here. 60% of this has now gone. Our stock has gone 60% of the Christmas tree. Then we're moving on to our, our deer here. Oh dear, it says there. So it's a nice little pun on words. Warm wishes. Oh dear. You've got over 30% of this has gone uh, in a great scene there, looking very noble and dignified. The, the, the deer, the stag there. Happy New Year as well. Good for a stag to do that. Uh, may the miracle of Christmas fill your heart with joy. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So again, very clear-cut star there that you're looking in, gazing in on this scene. Sixty percent of the stock has gone on this one. Very Dickensian uh, look to that. Um, this one, kind of Nordic scene, really, like Scandinavia under the northern lights kind of thing. Uh, we have our Christmas card, uh, picture postcard village scene there. And this is an all encapsulated in a bauble, two-thirds of the stock has gone on this. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And then we have, it's our winter wonderland, which we've just seen Lou using there, and bringing out these stars and these planets there with that, uh, that wonderful gold glitter, which looks really cool. And look at the water underneath with the reflection of the moon as well. I love this one, really, really clever. Let it snow, and uh, that is one, just one of the six options you have here. And you can choose any two for just 10.99. 085-715-085-715. Now, how about, once you've got those stamps, what are you going to put on them so you can then stamp it out onto a card? You're going to use some ink pads, aren't you? So how about getting 24 of them all in one hit? 583717. Have a look at this. You have to be quick, though, because over 40% of this has already disappeared off our shelves just in this last few minutes. 40% of this has gone. You're getting a saving here of £9.2376. This is £2376, which we worked out is just about 99 pence per ink pad. And this is the effect that you have when you uh, pop it all on there. You can see the shimmer on some of these here. Look at that. There you go. You can see it when the light catches it there. That's your pinks and your purples and your magentas. This is your blues and your turquoise. So you're getting 24. I've got six of these to go through here. You've got, oh, that's actually a colour on there. Look, it's, that's a pure white there. You can't see it on the white background. Uh, you've got the silvers and the blacks and we've got oranges. These are all like the, what you'd use for the sun, uh, perfect for the sun colours. Uh, then we've got our pinks and our reds here. If I just give it that a little shimmer there on the end there, you can see the way that the light gets the glitter coming through, the effect on that. Then we have our greens, perfect for your Christmas trees, of course, from lime all the way through to dark. And then we're back to our, our pinks again and our magentas. There you go. So, 
8583 is the item code for that. That's 2376 if you would like the chalk ink pads. Professional quality metallic ink on these and look at how many you are getting for that price. Um, now, Lou. Yeah. You're busy cutting something up. Yeah. What are you doing? You're not cutting up what you just made, I hope. No, no, no. I just wanted to finish one because I think it's, it sometimes can look a little bit difficult if you don't see the finished product. So I just wanted to show you that how quick I'm using the waste here. I'm a bit tight. So this is the waste from my sticky bub things. And now all I wanted to do was just show you, have I done this right? Yeah. Um, how, when you mount them now, trust me to put that there, on just plain card mm. with a little bit of a, a border yeah and then what I was going to do was going to get one of the the you know nice be the stamps I just stamp this on it here and just have a wonderful little bit there we go can you see it's made it uh, completely like quite yeah. a, a, a sort of a uh, what's the word up-to-date sort of feel to it yeah so you don't have to sort of make it old and traditional you can make it quite up-to-date especially with browns and blues and I just thought I'd show you that because sometimes like Julia always finishes her stuff and there's a wonderful mm. and I tend to just show you like stamping so I really like it that. is modern that isn't it yeah. it's using the black ink on something that's very traditionally Absolutely. seen in, in, in warmer colors if you like and it's make it makes it very bold I like it it's, but these um, these are from the pads that are on the show because mm. you've got the choice of all these like the ink pads right the ink pads you've got a choice of all colors with the pads you've got a choice of all the papers so you are mixing and matching and you're like flicking through them and I take them everywhere they're, they're a bit dilapidated mine now but I take them everywhere ago because I can find a paper seriously oh I wanted to show you that that's the paper hmm. that we get in the tags so you know it you know it already it's the same tag paper as that yeah but I've I, got them here we got it's, it's slimline really yeah so you got uh, your pastels here your floral colors your pastel gradients and your white faded gradients as well 170 GSM cardstock beautiful it's just a that you stamp it put a piece on that uh, you stamp on that card made. And you choose any two of these, and there's your price, 1148 So it's a pick and mix. Pick any of those two. You're getting it for 1148 which is a £3 saving. And, oh, you're getting loads in there, aren't you? Yeah. What are those, how, many, how many are you getting, does it say? Oh, 36 sheets. 36 sheets, 18 gradients in total. Oh, look at that. Look, I love that. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, so that's 72 papers you've got there once you've picked and mixed. And they're also, the, 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 the side opposite to it is the mm. side that matches it. You might not be able to, can you just see this one? There, the yeah. side, the other side to your paper matches the one. So each one page does a double. Love it. Yeah, so I've got my tags. Woohoo! Woo this is tags genius. Tags are in the building. This is genius. It's genius. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, why? Well, somebody thought of this before. I just yeah. love art shapes. I love them all. So I've already gone ahead and messed up some. Right. I did this before, but yeah. I love them. And what I wanted to show you is I've like gessoed one, right. left it black, gessoed, and I've put um, a cream gesso on that as well. So I wanted to say that you, what you can do is put a surface on them. So shall we use this one? I like right. the fact that the they're really strongly stuck as well because mm. things like this have a tendency to drop off if they're not done well. You know, out of the part of, and they move everywhere and you're like, oh, where's that gone? So this is the tag. Now, I've been looking and I can't choose because they're all nice, but I was looking at the tree in the bot and I thought, just, it'll just fit on there. Just a little just bit there. Just popping out on the end there, but yeah, just about. And then I was thinking, well, what else could I put on with it? And then I'm looking around and thinking I could put a little bit of the sentiment. But I just thought I'll play around with this bit here and have a bit of a play with that. So it's really simple. Again, I can't, I can't tell you how nice it is to stamp with this. Um, I did look at doing this, the, the stag like that, but then I thought, oh, no, I'm cutting them all off. But there is a way of doing that, and I'm going to show you how to decoupage it in a minute okay. anyway got my stamp there yep. just checking i'm just going to give it a little bit of a wipe and the reason i'm doing that is because there's some chalk residue on it okay. and it might be dry but mine i can always say probably with me it won't be <laughs> so when i stamp it it'll be like no it's all gone on so again you've got your little magnet you've got two magnets with your stamp platform um 
if you're going to stamp it the other way, which is probably better, remember that you've got to change your stamp round as well. Just yeah, so that it keeps it straight there. Yeah, absolutely, there. you've got to get it the right. I mean, there's no, uh, yeah, I suppose you would have the going that way, wouldn't it, with the hole at the top? You yeah. could have it. You, you, I mean, one of the other ways is I'm going to show you is I'm going to do it off, off kilt like that and then yeah. put some more behind it so that the actual tag is going to be sort of diagonal. Big old it, tags as well, aren't they? There's no... I I'm love them. taking those on your presents. I just really love them because I don't have to mess about with anything else. Mm. The choice is colours. This is my only issue is what colours. So I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with black and then add some colour. Because I think black... This is a dodgy ink pad. I mean, and not the make. The make's brilliant. Mm -hmm. But this is what we call a teenager of. <laughs> of what one. is that? Because it's sort of like... It's a bit unruly. Can't... Can't it, be bothered. It, but, it's a bit unreal. Yeah, it's one of them. It's sort yeah. of not juicy like a little kid, little one. It's this is like or new like a little one. This is like teenage having right. a bit of a problem. Then you get yeah. your mature one, which just gives you a really fine ink pad. So this is my teenager one. So I never know what's going to happen with this one. But I like the effect because it's not too heavy. It's not too sort of black. And then what happens is unless you're using a really fine ink pad it it ruins all the images all the lovely details go mm. now little trick does it ink, you can see an air bubble here okay there you right. can see the oh, air bubble right. yeah oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah? What are you gonna do with that right it's not wrong yeah. all i've got to do is when i put that back down now i yeah. know that i can see the air bubble goes uh. so it stamps there we go, done. That so, reminds me of putting on screen protectors on phones, which does oh, my absolute head Oh, we can't in. do it. It's oh, impossible. I hate it. I hate it. Absolutely impossible. Yeah. And if I just take this off now and show you, oh, give it a quick clean, you know. Right, that's clean. That's good. Don't see my house. Um, so can you see, it doesn't look like it's off shot now. It doesn't look, it doesn't look like I've missed anything off it. It looks totally... That's the size of it. Hmm. So what I'm going to do, where's it gone again? There it is. I'm just going to ink up that bit. And I'm going to use the unruly one again. Go on. You're not letting me down now. It's having a good day, this. The unruly one. It's got a bed on the right side, doesn't it, for a change? It's obviously had a long lie-in, as teenagers do. Oh, yeah. 12 o'clock job. Like, yeah, easily. Mi minimum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm just partially stamping. So it's looking like... Is it Tuffix or something? Illix. Illix. Oh, I nearly said another I word. You, I thought you just called me something then. Oh, I nearly <laughs> said another word then. Whoa, that could have been nasty. <laughs> right. What I'm going to do is, it is a tussock, isn't it, or a hillock. Yeah. Just there, I've got the little bit of the tree. So I'm going, perfect, it's done. So now what I'm going to do is just go in with, now, the chalk ink pad. Okay. okay. Now I'm on brown and on black, so I won't get. Um, I don't want, sorry, a perfect outline. What I want is is a bit of a haze around it, like like a snowy like, scene, like, a, like the mist and snow, uh, and yeah. Okay. Nailed it. Absolutely. Yeah. Misty winter's morning, frosty morning. Absolutely. Yeah. And I love that, especially down here. We don't get it much in Manchester, mm. um, but you, when you wake up and there's that. Mist on the road, it's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. A bit eerie, but I love that. Yeah, so great. I've got the white ink pad, and now I'm just going to drop a little bit of the white. Now, I've chosen to use a lot of water with it. You don't have to, and I'm going around it again just to give it that feel. It will dry, and you'll hardly see it, but it's, it's sort of got a little bit of a barrier on now, and you can build up the colour. So don't think it'll just stay like that. You've just got haze now which you can see much oh, better than mine great. now. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is just add a little bit more. Yeah. Because I want the brown to stay, the craft colour to stay. Is it better if I take that away, actually? Sorry about that. Um, if I take the craft colour away, I'm spoiling it. So just mm. a little bit more. Now, I know people who bought these didn't think they could do all these. That's why when they said, can you bring them on because they were popular, I thought I'll really go to town and show people everything that they can do because when I brought them on, they sold out so fast. I was like, right, yeah, OK. Yeah, let's look. There you go. It, you, your complete collection there, 24 ink pads in total. And uh, Lou's just using one of them there. You get 24 of them for that price of 23.76, so £9 saving. 
Right, what I've done is, where it's not stamped, you've got what we call like a resist. Mm. So it won't stick to that part where it's stamped. It sticks to the bit that's not got anything on it. Oh. So you can just see it's sticking to areas. And we're going to build it up a little bit here because we want a little bit of white but not too much. It's just giving it a little bit of a haze. That's odd. It doesn't, so it doesn't stick to the stamp, you're saying? It doesn't stop to the, stop, stick to the ink that you've so, already yeah, stamped because yeah, yeah. it causes like a resist. Yeah. It's like oil and water. Yeah. So I'm just going to go for the very light blue or the silver. Silver, it's got to be silver. And then I'll go with the light blue. And just, while that's damp, don't have too much water on your brush. And then go in with your glisten. We've got about a minute. <gasps> no way! So, yeah, it's right. flown by, hasn't it? Absolutely flown by. There we go. I've got a bit of a glisten. Yeah. You can see that there. It's got really glistening. And then here, all I'm going to do is just put... Where is it? There it is. I've got greys. I can't believe how many projects you've actually rattled off in this hour. I know. I mean, like, I'm looking across the table. I can see about seven or eight, that's, I think. That, yeah, so, yeah. I think that's testament to the stamps, really, isn't mm. it? The fact that I'm not having to do much and it, it makes me look good and it's... <laughs> yeah. It's it's not me, is it? But you are well, you are good, Lou. Let's be honest. Come on, you're being very modest there. But you're right. I mean, you know, I could I could take that. The stamp is the is the main business, Absolutely. isn't it? And if I can stamp that on, then you're you're just using your colours, aren't you? Just, Absolutely. To, just to put the effects. There's the stamp. So you can get, pick any two. Ten ninety nine. Thank you very much, Lou. You're back at one o'clock. I am. Yeah, I love Ooh. that one actually. Look for that's really good. I, I really like, like that, that one. <laughs> um, you can choose any two of these stamps. Ten ninety nine zero eight five seven one five is the item number for that one there. Pick any of our two. Those are the two new ones at the front there. So that's one thing that uh, you could uh, get in time for Christmas, or perhaps you'd like to use the ink pads uh, to colour them. Because uh, we've got, well, to, to, to stamp your um, stamps and to print them, uh, you can have all sorts of different colours here. Twenty-four you've got. There are work out about ninety-nine p a stamp there. Five eight three seven one seven. You're making a saving of nine pounds on that. It's normally thirty two seventy six. You're going to get all twenty four of these ink pads in this one set here with that metallic look on it as well. That professional quality metallic look. They're really fun to hold, and you can use it as you've seen, Lou, in all sorts of different ways and all sorts of different gradients. Mm. Right, that's it from me for the moment. Do check out your baskets, and I will see you a little later on. Thanks, Lou. Thank you. Coming up in a moment, we have some sewing with Marant Crafts. Then it's our MDF from Mad Hatters. And then we have our fifth birthday, All and Create. I believe that's the one-day special. Hi, I'm Emma. I work with Cricut to help you get the best out of your machines. Cricut is a range of tools, machines and accessories that allow you to work with hundreds of materials. On the shows, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with Cricut. So make sure you don't miss the Cricut shows. You know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day seven days a week using the craft store app on your amazon fire stick for free just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications your amazon fire stick accesses the amazon app store to add new applications by downloading the craft store app you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your tv anytime you want to watch here's how to do it turn on your tv and connect your amazon fire stick if this is your first time using the device Follow the on-screen instructions to connect it to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do this, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type the craft store into the search bar and this will take you to the craft store app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select the apps from the menu that appears. Scroll to the Craft Store app and then press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Jo and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. 
Lost Crafty are a family-run business that started online in 2005. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Well, hello there, Ron. Welcome back. Oh, we've got a fabulous hour ahead of us. We're going to get all cosy and we're going to be working with some strip rolls. And we've got some fabulous ideas to share with you and the perfect person to show us how they all come together. A lovely Sasha is joining me. Um, it's been a while since we've worked together. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm busy, good. busy lady. Yeah, it's been really, really busy. Had a really busy weekend. Fantastic one day special. Fabric Freedom on Saturday. And um, yeah, so back in today with Marin. Wonderful. With my Bozal Ambassador hat I on. love it. Well, this is it. And obviously, Sasha knows all things Bozal, which we'll be talking about during this hour. But I love this because the first item that we've got, we've kind of got a kit that you can be able to work with. But you decide on the way that you're going to work with this one, which I think is a brilliant idea, Sasha. Really, really good idea. I've sort of been asking for a while to put it together as a kit because sometimes people are a little bit unsure of what they need, how to get started. And it's a great little bundle when it comes through the door, isn't it? I love it, it really is. You can get started straight away. Well, this is it. All you need to do is add in your thread. And you've got choices with regards to this. So you're going to get your strip roll, and we'll take you through those in a few moments. You're going to get your jelly roll rug instructions, and also your strip wadding as well, which is ingenious. I love this stuff. It is. It's amazing. I mean, you try and cut 25 yards of two and a half inch wadding. That, I mean, that's some rotary cutting. Lou Withers has just gone... <laughs> yeah, it's some rotary cutting. I, I get... Sometimes <laughs> people like to use their scrap fabrics, but the wadding part, you definitely need the wadding roll. And it's Katardin, it's the Bozal brand, it's amazing wadding that's all been pre-cut to go with the um, Roma's Jelly Roll rug pattern. I love it. So there you go. Those two, perfect. But add in your fabric. Oh, my goodness. What a treat you've got in store with this. But which are you going to go for? That's the tricky thing, because we've got so many beautiful Lewis and Irene um, strip rolls, as you can see here. So where do we go? Where should we start? Should we start with the top? Now, this is a beautiful... Oh, I love this. It's got that gorgeous kind of fresh look with regard to your little snowdrops there. So maybe you're creating this with the beginning of the year in mind. I love it. Oh, we've got little, bunny, we've got little bunnies in there yeah, as well. Yeah, so this one is bunny hop. Oh, I love it. So that's Absolutely a perfect springtime one, isn't it? Yeah, really, really pretty. Gorgeous. So if you were looking for your springtime um, projects and things like that, this is definitely one um, really beautiful lilacs, purples, yellows, turquoises. Oh, now let's mix things up. Let's talk about Christmas because these come together so quickly that you could be creating something perfect for the winter season. And this one is called Noel Old. Can I just show you? Look at these. You've got your little reindeer on there as well. Absolutely it's quite beautiful. hard to get Christmas strip rolls. So again, point, this yeah. is where I'd sort of have a look at the website, shop ahead for, you know, while well you can, because I think the Christmas ones are going to fly. They beautiful. are absolutely adorable. And um, I'm going to be working with one of the Christmas ones Lovely. for our demonstration. Now, when they've gone, they have gone. Next one that we've got here. Now, this one, it's quite a kind of retro look with regards to this particular one. So you've got things like your little elves featuring in this one as well. You've also got, um, oh, is it a hoog? We're looking at hoog. Oh, Higgy. Is it Higgy or he? Is it Higgy or Hig? I'm not sure. It's, it's kind of like a, a Swedish, Danish um, kind of philosophy on yeah. cut warm and cosy and all that gorgeous. All the and that's that the like one that I'm going to be using because the actual strips are so pretty with the, um, what's the, um, the, not the Christmas gnomes, the Christmas Tom. Tom, is it Tomikins? Tom? Oh, I don't know. There's, there's a name for them. I will think of it. Um, but there's beautiful little designs in there and birds, the um, Christmas birds of peace, the Noel birds and things like that. So it's really beautiful. cute. 
Um, and lovely retro colours in there as well, so that's a nice one. So if you want in that particular one, that's the, the Hig, Higgy, H-Y-G-G-E. I'm not, you have to excuse my pronunciation. I'm just sure I haven't got that right, but uh, yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? Now this is nice. These are calm tones in this one, but again, you've got that little kind of bit of silver tone coming through. So nice little one, this one. Very pretty. What's this one then, Sasha? So this one is the Fairy Clocks. Ah. And this one, again, has those beautiful soft metallics running through them lots of dandelions fairies in there um Music you've got these beautiful tones. silhouettes of fairies obviously you've got your bumbleberries running right the way through there um really really pretty soft Gorgeous. delicate colors beautiful something a little bit different you've got those hues of dusky mauve and gray little bits of rose gold and silver um but just look at those dandelions there. Beautiful. Lots of dandelion clocks featuring there. And also, um, a nice com combination of fabrics, because you wouldn't necessarily think, oh, that grey. Um, and I know we do see kind of grey and mustard coming together, but uh, some of these colours you might not naturally put together, but they do work together. And that's the beauty of a strip roll. You don't have to worry about the fabrics because they all come together so well. So next one we've got. Stronger colours with these ones. So this is a nice one again. This one's called Viking. Good, strong name. Like this one. Yeah, so this <laughs> has got little illustrations on there of viking ships vikings um crossbows and arrows and oh it, it's just really really cute and if you're doing um say for a little boy a grandson something like that it's really good fun if you wanted to um use it for the rug or if you wanted to get another one to do a jelly roll rug it's the illustrations from lewis and irene nice, are just designs, second yeah. to none they they all tell a story they're oh, brilliant they're beautiful love those all coming together beautifully there as you can see if you're wanting to go for that particular one and the last one that we've got oh this is so pretty beautiful kind of candy colors in this one this one's called love bloom so lots of flowers in this one i'm guessing yes lots and lots of flowers in there really bold prints of flowers as well so you've got um your um or hydrangeas hydrangeas yeah. you've got big blooms in there you've got daisies you've got just really again another fresh one but so pretty absolutely gorgeous as you can see lovely lilac tones in there so if you do like your kind of your pretty tones then this one is definitely for you nice nice collection there like that one indeed so there's lots there to choose from so whether you wanted to go down is that, have we missed one out we've done all six i think we've done all six haven't we yes have we done all six? I think we've done all six. You're only getting one. Yeah, I'm you're sure. only getting one. But I've I'm gone sure through. I showed you all six, six didn't I? I lost. I was a bit distracted because they're very pretty fabrics. <laughs> Um, at £59.98, you're going to choose one of these, so one of the six there, you're also going to get um, your fabulous um, strip roll or your jelly rug um, pattern, should I say there, and of course, I want to pick that up because it looks as if it should be way heavier than it actually is, so it went over my shoulder, but you're going to get that in there as well. Um, and everything that you've got there will allow you to create a small um, little, um, little rug as a yeah. kit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you wanted to make the full size mm -hmm. then they normally say one and a half rolls okay. of the cotardin um, but with one roll you would make a really nice size rug so if you were to take a couple of the outside rounds off of this you're, you're still probably looking at a good 80 centimeters across nice of, maybe like a little dressing table or something like that exactly yeah. 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 yeah so you're still getting a really really good size you're also having um, a few strips left over so you could always do a little um coasters or things to go Good on idea. the dressing table things Good like idea. that there you go so if you want to have a bundle where you've got everything ready to go then obviously you're going to get your strip roll your pattern and of course your wadding or your batting on a roll or for um 59 pounds and 98 pence you probably spied there you can spread the cost over two payments as well so if that is your preferred way of getting hold of it then by all means take advantage of it 434011 now of course if you do spread your cart it opens up your flexi order which means you can add other goodies into it and we've got a lot for you to choose from because it might be that you're liking the idea and the concept of this but maybe you want to create more of them maybe with your own fabrics where well, you might want to change the style so this is if you wanted to create something that's more square 12 pounds and 60 pence this is um, your uh, kind of your, your pattern but there's a lot within here a lot of information there is so this is the third pattern in Roma's series so the first one that she bought out was the original which is the oval 
And then we go into this one, which is the um, rectangular rug. Um, it's not square, it's rectangle, sorry. Um, it's a rectangular size. It's a different technique to the oval. Um, and we're going to be talking about that a little bit later on because we're not working with a joining our jelly roll together in one huge jelly roll. So we're using individual strips. But from this pattern, you can then go on to do the pillows, placemats, so many different ideas this will open up for you once you know the technique and how you do it. Look at um, and we're just going to change those details on the screen because it is, as you saw there on the pattern, um, a rectangle. There you go, which is kind of like a stretched out square. There you go. <laughs> um, so 930089, using um, your jelly strips with regards to these again. So again, those two and a half inch um, wide strips, which many of us have got in our stash already, £12.60. And, and it's nice because quite often, if you've already got strip rolls, you'll have a few that you haven't used in projects. Always. I have um, like a box at home, and if I've got any strips left over, they all go in the box and then at some point I'm the idea is that I will do a random strip roll rug That's at it. some point or if only a random bottle, quilt bottle time and give it to you in a bottle eh? oh I'd love to buy some time <laughs> I'd love to buy some <laughs> sadly, time sadly we don't have any of that but we have got binding which might be helpful so we can help you with this now this is brilliant it's always a popular item so make sure you get involved early it's a lucky dip oh my goodness what brilliant value for money you are getting five of these rolls now you've got 33 meters on each one of them so you're getting a lot with regards to these and you can see 14 99 brilliant price and such a usable width with regards to these it, it's why it sells out every single time we bring it on they just absolutely fly um, I mean amazing value for money I mean what can we say you know I mean what is five times 33 meters it's a lot That's it's a lot it is. of it's binding lot. isn't it and it, it's like it's yourself, how much like, 265 oh 165 gosh that is a lot it is a lot and I mean, we've both said in the past as well when we've bought this that we've all been there. We go into a shop, we buy five or ten metres of bias and then you do your project and you normally 20 centimetres or 30 centimetres off of what you need. Yes. Yeah. Always. I mean, you're not going to get that with this. You are going to have plenty to build your stash up. Definitely. And it's a nice one to go for because it's giving you lots of different colours. Rather than you thinking, oh, well, I'll, I'll make do with um, a particular colour that you've got within your stash, you could perhaps totally change the look of a project simply by having the right colour there. Now, it's a lucky dip, which I kind of like anyway. I mean, with our lucky dip here, we've got some fabulously useful colours. You've got the grey in there, which works with so many different colours. Your light tone, as you can see there with your ivy. This one's got navy in there as well. As you show, you might get some of those colours or you might get something completely different different but it's a popular item always is and it is again today already 10% of the stock having gone so 129863 just 1499 if you fancy getting hold of that one please do so now more to share with you of a binding nature and this particular one again you're looking at a wider strip with regards to these so if you were looking at the one that we were looking at a few moments ago and you think yeah that's all well and good but i like to work with something a little chunkier then here you go you've definitely got these now it's 25 mil so we're looking about an inch wide with regards to these you're going to get your three rolls 25 meters on each of them and again it is another lucky dip 15 pounds and 99 pence so nice size this one again again a really good size mm. so where the other one may be you want to use for dressmaking for tablecloths for piping or anything like that this one you can actually put around your table mats i've used it on the edge of a couple of the quilts as well i've used it on the edge of the uh, rectangular jelly roll rug as well so again it's a really handy size to have it is the key word on your screen for both of those two items is bias it's cut on the bias which means it's incredibly useful especially when you're doing things like your ovals your circles and of course it means it's going to follow that flow it's been cut on the bias which means you don't have to do that which can use a lot of fabric if you're not careful so if you fancy either of those then i would certainly be adding those into your basket details on the top of your screen with regards to this one 15.99 that's the wider of the two shall i bring the two together just to show because to be honest i'd go for both of them because they would make sense in fact you can almost layer these up 
good choice colours there to get them to be they are very good. So yeah, the bottom of your screen you've got your twelve mil, so that's the fourteen ninety nine, and then the top of your screen you've got your fifteen ninety nine, which is your twenty five um, not your twenty five, twenty five mil, yes it is. Um website, that's where you'll find all of these and much, much more. And it gives you the opportunity to stock up on some additional things. So you might start off with one of those kits, but want to add additional things in. Love some of the items that we've got for you. Chef's mitts. Ooh, who'd have thought you could get those, eh? Well, we've got them here for you. We've also got some amazing threads as well, bundled in a variety of different colours as well. In fact, we've got some brand new threads, perfect for the seasons. Look at these, those gorgeous autumnal collection. Lots of warm tones in there. Absolutely beautiful. And of course, if you want to get hold of those, you can see you're going to get all 10 spools for just 10.99. Phenomenal value for money, so worth stocking up on those as well. Now, I know some of you will have created your strip rolls previously. If you have, send us your pictures. Let's see what you've been creating, because I know when you start creating these, it's one of those ones that is difficult to stop because they are so much fun to do, and they come together so easily. And if you don't know how they come together, well, don't worry. We've got the perfect person to take us through it. Lovely Sasha's going to be sharing with these. But the details are on your screen. That will get you your kit where you're going to be able to choose your fabric. Six choices. We'll take you through those again in a little while but if you're wanting your kit to get started the details are on your screen so talking about getting started Sasha what do we need to know so what I will can I just add so the Christmas stocking the pre-cut yes. we've got we are going to be I'm going to demonstrate that on the two o'clock oh okay <gasps> Lovely. yes so you might want to come back and join us at two as Definitely. well which would be quite handy so we are going to look first of all at the oval Jelly roll, jelly roll rug, which is this one, okay? And then a bit later on, once we've um, gone back to Haley and then come back to me, we'll look at the rectangular rug, because as I was saying, they are a different technique, okay? So when it comes to the oval jelly roll rug, um, I'm very, very lucky in the fact that I work with Roma, um, and Roma RJ Designs is the wonderful American lady that has designed the jelly roll rug. So I have got the UK demo rights, which is great to be able to show you um, at home how we do this. But also check out YouTube because I've done her brand new pattern, the Christmas tree skirt as well. And that gives you another look at a different pattern that we'll be bringing you really, really soon. So that's good. So when we're looking at the oval rug, there's a couple of ways um, that we're going to start this and you have to find the way that's easier for you so bearing in mind the rug is called the jelly roll rug and the reason that Roma's using the jelly roll um, name is because she works with Moda and obviously jelly roll is licensed to Moda so we have to be very aware of our naming so on this occasion we're using the um, fabulous 40s strip rolls from Lewis and Irene so again you can use any strip rolls, you can use any of the rolls um, that you've got or scraps or anything, but we just like to make that a little bit clear in case we say jelly roll instead of strip roll or, you know, getting all the ticks done first before we start. So to start your actual jelly roll rug, the first phase is to make this ball, okay? Now these are addictive in itself. I have two or three of these always at home, on the shelf, ready to get going to make a rug. And when I speak to people about the Jelly Roll rug, they tend to do it in two stages. So they will join all their Jelly Roll, stri uh, their jelly roll strips together. They will then add the wadding and make the fabric ball. And then that's all ready so that the following day or when you next have time, you can actually start the rug process. And that's another reason why we make the ball, because it's really important that all of these jelly roll strips, once they're joined, they're not getting tangled, okay? Because the last thing you want is a huge mound of these strips twisting and getting knotted and things like that, because to get the overall effect of your rug being as flat as possible, there's a couple of things that can help in that, and one of them is the ball. So the first thing that we're actually going to do is we're going to join our jelly roll together. And what I mean by that is we're going to take our jelly roll strips and I've got the huggy, huggy, a huggy, huggy. I'm not sure. I do apologize. I did know it, but it's, it's popped out my head at the moment. So, but it yeah. is gorgeous. And you've, you've got these 
You've got mm. these little beautiful characters in there and you've even got them flying on the back of birds, on the robins. Um, just absolutely stunning. And you've got your doves and you've even got look, little cottages and little, um, I think they're called tom tomakins. You'll know at home, so please email him. So I'm using this one, so it's really pretty and um, it's a little bit different for Christmas. So we're going to join our jelly roll together and we're going to join it on the bias and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So what you are primarily doing is making your jelly roll strips into one huge joined jelly roll, okay? And you'll see here, by joining it on the bias, you'll actually join it on the cross. And the reason we do that and not on the straight is so that you don't have as many seams, okay? Because you are folding it and you, you, know, you want to even out those seams a little bit. So to join our jelly roll, can we go, oh, actually, if I do it here, you'll be able to see it here. So you are going to place one of your strips right side up. And then you are going to take another one of your strips and you are going to place that right side down so that you've got right sides together, okay? And I always leave a little gap so that I know that when I'm going from top left to bottom right on that diagonal, that when I've actually sewn it, that it lines up beautifully. Because sometimes if we don't get it, you know, we try and do it like this. And then when we cross it, we've got a little bit of the selvage in it or it doesn't quite line up. We've all been there. So I'm going to take this under the machine and show you. Maddie, and you you were going to do this. Eyed viewers at home will have noticed we've just popped the details up on the screen with regards to the strip rolls by themselves. These are available without the pattern, without the uh, wadding strips. So if you've already got those in your sash, just want the gorgeous fabric, or you just want more of the fabrics, it might be that you're going to create your rug and you want to create something to work alongside it. Well, if you want in any of those strip rolls we've been talking about, they are all available under the same item number on your screen. So just to reiterate, details at the side of your screen are just for your strip roll, whereas the details at the bottom of your screen are for your strip roll alongside the pattern and your wadding strips as well. So you've got choices with regards to those. Just thought I'd mention it because some of you have already found that fabric. So well done. Um, 993 4232 if you want to use strip rolls by themselves. But if you want them in the bundle, they're at the bottom of your screen as well, which is brilliant value for money. They are good value, aren't they? So we have gone from the top left to the bottom right and we have stitched down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just cut off that excess now if you wanted to use a rotary cutter you can and again so you're making lots and lots of your strips all joined together so in fact you are making one huge jelly roll so I will take a, another strip so with regards to the, the seam do you press the seam open do you press it to one side or the other does it matter I don't do any pressing at this stage okay okay I don't do any pressing because then when we're actually stitching it into our wadding which I'll show you in a second it will just fall okay um, you're not having to line those seams up so unless your jelly rolls are really really creased then obviously give them a press beforehand um, but you don't need to press at this stage fair enough so again we're going right sides together and um, you know we're, i'm always making sure that i've got that square i imagine like an invisible square at this top point so i have got that right angle there and we're going to go top left to bottom right again. So again, we pop it under the machine. And I tend to do this on the machine. Um, and I think now I've got it down to about 23 minutes I can join the whole jelly roll together in. <laughs> I love the fact that you timed yourself too. <laughs> well, it's those things that people always say to me, how long does it take you? Because I've done about 200 rugs. Oh, wow. <laughs> Obviously, at the shows, as you know, you know, I tend to demonstrate for Bozal at the shows and we do the jelly roll rugs. So, yeah, about 200. So I think the fastest time I've gone from beginning from this stage to actually this stage is about four hours. So realistically, for somebody who perhaps the first time they've actually worked with these, I mean, we've got lots of people, novice sewers out there, maybe just getting to grips with their sewing machine. What realistic, oh, would you say it's a weekend project maybe? I would say it's definitely a weekend project. Okay. And if I were you, I would do it into the two 
sections that I was saying. So join your jelly roll or mm -hmm. your fabric strips, your fabric roll. Join all of those together and then add your wadding and make the ball. So okay. that will be day, day one, maybe? And that will be day one. Okay. Or, I mean, it won't take you that long, but I just find it's good to actually get start, to a point. Yeah, yeah, to get to a point so that then you read through the instructions and you read through the pattern. Because obviously to start the rug and to end the rug is all in the, in the pattern. I can't give you that information, I'm afraid, because that's Roma's pattern and, you know, we do like you to purchase the pattern. Um, so obviously, once you read through the pattern and you understand the starting and the finish, and then you can start with a clear mind, um, because it, is, it does take a little bit of um, concentration. Cool. Okay. So the next phase is, if we um, pretend that we've joined all our strips together from our strip row, we've joined them all together, and we are now going to get ourselves organised. Now, at home, okay, I have a toilet roll stand <laughs> and it makes this, it makes it so easy. It really does because on the toilet roll stand, I can pop my jelly roll or the fabric roll strips that I've joined together on one of the prongs and then on the top of them now, they come with a mobile phone holder. Okay. I'm sure it's a boy thing. I'm sure it's a boy thing. And this goes on there. So actually they're unrolling together. I okay, they fair roll enough. really well. Um, but if you are at home, I would recommend that you have your strip roll that you've joined together on one side of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I would have your wadding roll on the other side of you. Right. So that you're actually bringing them up together. Okay. And meeting in the middle. Because what you can find is if you've got them both on the same side, they get a bit tangled in each other. Right. Whereas if you're doing it from the left and from the right and meeting in the middle, it, it just works a little bit better. So again, this is all like probably really useless tips for you at home. But it's things that I found make the process a lot easier. Okay. Well, that's all about the experience. So yeah, thank you for sharing that with us. It fun. is. It's, and it, it's just... Silly things like um, the needles. I tend to use a purple tip Janome needle or a denim needle um, because you want a needle that's going to be quite sharp but quite chunky because you're going to want them to go through all those layers. There's an awful lot there to go through. Um, the size of your zigzag as well. But, you know, there is a lot to think about with it. So um, it, it's, it's good to have these hints and tips. So to start making our ball, okay, and this is for the oval one, to start making this, we're going to take our jelly roll strip or our fabric roll strip and it's going to be wrong side up. And we are going to place our wadding on top. Now, some people tend to do this while they're sat in front of the television and they'll do a couple of metres of the fold and use binding clips to hold it in place. But I actually do it on the machine as I'm going through the machine because I find it easier. But I'm just going to show you now how we're going to do those folds because we're going to do the top stitching. And you're going to do your whole of your wadding roll and your strips that you've put together until all of the wadding roll is gone to make this ball. Okay, will you have fabrics left over or will they balance out equally? You probably will have three or four strips left okay. over. So what I would suggest you do is probably join 30 of your strip roll strips okay. to make one big yeah. um, jelly roll, one big fabric roll. So I would probably join 30 and then see how you go. Because it also depends as well if you are a, it's a bit like knitting, okay? Mm -hmm. Some people knit really loose, some people knit really tight. And if you are one of those people that are quite um, fast and forceful, you might find your wadding roll will stretch a little bit. Okay, so if it stretches, you're actually going to use more jelly rolls than maybe somebody that just lets it go through the machine. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So, to actually start doing the um, construction of it, we are going to fold towards the centre, both sides, and then we're going to fold in half. Okay. Okay. So we're folding to the centre. Sorry, catch that bit. 
and then we are folding in half. And then you're going to take it under the sewing machine and I tend to line it up with the edge of my walking foot and I take my stitch up as well. I take my stitch up to about 2.8 um, because again, you know, you're going through quite a few layers and um, I just think it, it just makes it, the machine not work so hard. And whereabouts are you stitching? Is it straight down the centre of that strip? No, I line it up with the edge of my foot. So as you see when it comes out... Oh, I see. So it's like a top stitch over to the side. It's like a you? top stitch, sorry. It's like a... Oh, let me just see if I can get that better. It's like a top stitch to the side. Mm -hmm. So it's actually trapping all of the that the open edges in the centre because what you you don't want to be doing it too far to the centre because you might not trap the fabrics as well. So I'm just going to run a bit of this through and sorry about the noisy machine she's worked really hard at the weekend. <laughs> she's needing a bit of a break bless her or she's actually needing a bit of Tender care, I think. Shall we let you continue with that while I just show everybody what you're going to get in that bundle That'd again? That'd be perfect, yeah. Fabulous. So let me explain to you, because the details on your screen are going to give you everything that you need to create your small um, rug. If you're wanting to go for this kit, then everything is there. You just need to add in your threads. In fact, we can help you with the threads as well. So what you're going to get is you're going to get your strips um, of your wadding or your batting. So this is all cut to two and a half inches wide, and it's a continual run with regards to this one. So you haven't got any joins in there. It's just as it is, which makes it the perfect way for you to get that wadding, that padding in with regards to your fabrics. Now, when you actually get your bundle, you're going to get obviously the pattern that we've um, been he hearing about and the instructions that you're going to be hearing about as well as we go on. So those are included, as is your choice of fabrics. Now, this is where you've got all the different choices with regards to the strip rolls. We've got six different designs that you can choose from. Some are Christmas related, some are kind of autumnal tones, some of them are Viking themes, as <laughs> if you'd even imagine that there was such a theme with regards to fabrics you've got all sorts so if you like your pretty pinks and purples we can help you with those if you like your more muted tones we've got those in there and we've got some fabulously foiled fabrics with regards to christmas as well so they are all available website's a good place to go because you'll see all the different fabrics on there but you're getting your strip rolls in there and as you heard you're getting quite a few with regards to these enough for you to make your smaller rug so that kit on your screens, you can see two flexi buys, $29.99. If you're wanting those, all the different choices there, 434011. But if you've already created and you've got your pattern and you've potentially got your batting already, then we have got the strip rolls by themselves. Or you might just love the fabrics. You might just think, I've got a completely different idea, different project in mind altogether. Bear in mind, these make fabulous kind of log cabin style quilts as well. And you've got your lights and your darks and all sorts in there. If you're framing as well, if you've got panels that you've created or blocks that you've created and you're wanting to add a bit of interest, you can use those to frame as well. But £34.99, you are getting a lot of fabric there because it's 40 inches with regards to your width. 2.5 um, inches wide, which is your standard jelly roll um, width, as you can see there, or your strip roll width. So it's going to work beautifully alongside many other things that you've got. 993432. Now, if you're doing this kind of a component way, you're going to need your batting, aren't you? Or you might want to make a larger version of these, because you can do. Obviously, we're talking about the smaller version that um, we saw with Sasha. But if you're wanting to make yours larger, then obviously you're going to go for the kit that we've just spoken of. But then you are going to get your additional strip um, batting, which is the details on your screen. It's only 14 .99. This is brilliant value for money. So maybe you've already got your instructions. Maybe you're wanting to go down the route where you're going to go for your fabrics, which are at the bottom of your screen. Um, and then you're going to go for your um, batting, which you've got on the top of your screen. So you could make your own kit without the instructions. If you're doing this with the components, you won't get your instructions. I'm assuming you'll already have those or you'll know this technique and you've worked with it previously. So there's ways of getting everything. It's just you decide which way you're going to get all of those components. But of course, the deal on your screen if you're wanting to go for the different elements you can or you can go for the entire thing together with your choices it's all on the website
to be honest. Now, of course, you might be thinking, right, I've done the oval. I'm going to do um, the rectangle next. Well, we can help you with that. Again, I've just explained to you how you can get hold of your fabric, how you can get hold of your batting. Well, this is a different style of pattern. £12.60 um, will give you the ability for you to create your rug in a more rectangular style. So perhaps that's something that's more pleasing to you. Well, here's the way to do it. Details on your screen there. That will get you all the information that you need included in there, how to get started, how to finish off. And of course, the beauty is you're only paying £12.60. and pence. This is something that once you learn how to create it, you'll be making many more to come. So um, 930089. Now, Something that's proven to be very popular during the hour is our bias binding. And I'm not surprised, to be honest, both of the bundles that we've got incredible value for money because we're talking Lucky Dips. So with your Lucky Dip, we don't know the exact colours that you're going to be getting. You might be getting the colours that we're looking at here, which are a lovely combination, to be honest. Or it might be that you're getting something completely different. $14.99 will get you your five reels. And on each one of these, you've got 33 metres. You've got um, your five different colourways, as you can see. And they will all be different. You won't get repeats in there and they are 12 mil wide so a little over a centimeter wide there cut on the bias and as i said if you make your own tape cutting on the bias can use a lot of fabric can be time consuming you can be putting in a lot of those that might have seams so by having it all pre-done and just ready to go in such a fabulous different range of colours. There's loads that um, they've got, so you're going to get something gorgeous when it arrives. £14.99 pence is a very affordable way of getting it. 129863. But if you want something that's slightly wider, this one is more of an inch width. So this one, 25 mil. This time you're going to get three of those strip, um, three of those rolls, should I say, 15.99 with regards to these. So it's a similar sort of scenario. Wider, as you can see there, 25 metres on each of those reels. But again, it's cut on the bias, so perfect to follow corners, to go around edges. Anything where you've got that circular um, kind of style and you don't want it to kind of bend and twist and get puckers, then having it cut on the bias is perfect. 207137 if you're liking the look of that one. But something that I didn't get a chance to show you earlier on, all oh, those threads, those brand new threads. We've got lots of different combinations of the threads, but we've got a seasonal thread bundle, which I think is a beautiful one. Got some gorgeous warm tones in here, so you can see absolutely perfect for the season. It's your dark autumnal collection. Now you've got a thousand yards on each one of these spools. There's ten in total, as you can see, and they are beautiful. The gorgeous rich tones. I'm gonna make sure I don't get too close because I'm gonna knock them over. You know it's gonna happen. Now four two eight. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous colours as well? Now they've got that kind of, they've got a bit of a sheen look to them because obviously they're polyester threads so can be utilised in so many different ways. And please don't think to yourself, oh polyester, uh, polyester thread, oh I can only use that in my polyester fabrics or um, your man-made fibres. That is not the case. Threads have changed so much since kind of the good old days when it was a case of if you were working with cotton fabrics you had to use your cotton threads. You can do, but I regularly will use polyester because you don't get any shrinkage with this one at or, and it's just a beautiful range of colours. Um, 428, um, 552, again, you're getting a lot of thread with regards to each one of those spools, and they're just beautiful colours, as you can see there. If you like the look of those, then 1099, please take advantage. Now, Sasha mentioned she's. Oh, I use these for the jelly roll rug oh, okay. all the time because it, the jelly roll technique is so thread hungry. Right. You know, it's an awful lot of zigzag and it's an awful lot of stitching. So, I use these all the time. I, I just okay. think they are absolutely stunning to work with, and they're Brilliant. really nice and strong as well. Wonderful. So, um, but yeah, it's a new collection now. I just love it. Very nice. So there you go. Yeah. If you fancy getting hold of yours, the details are there on your screen. Now, Sasha mentioned she's going to be back at two o'clock this afternoon um, with more projects. One of which is going to be this the Santa sock. Now here you can see working with both or both have come up with some brilliant ideas and this is fabulous because you've got your single sided fusible which means it's um, one of those ones that's heat activated so the adhesive is going to adhere to your fabrics giving you the opportunity to make a fabulous stocking as you can see and Sasha's going to be showing us how to work with this one um, at two o'clock fully lined as you can see there. So if you're wanting to create yours you're going to get now we're going to get a couple of these so is that we're going to get two projects or a pair if you're wanting to do two. But Sorry, two. I can't see the actual... Um, the Santa sock. So you get... Um, you get two pieces. You're getting two pieces, so you're getting the front, oh, the front and, and the back. back. Of course, yes. Yeah. But if you don't want to put any in the back, mm -hmm. you don't have to. Okay. You could just use some interfacing, but I quite like it with the front and the back. Perfect. Um, a little bit padded. There you go. So if you fancy getting hold of yours, 10 
pound and twenty-five pence is your price. Seven three six eight five four. More projects for you to consider as well. And this is again, Bose will do it so well because they know their um, stabilizer, they know their their fusel, they know their wadding. Everything all comes together with theirs. And I love this because this has got your insulating fabric. Now, if you've come across insulating fabric before and it's kind of had that foiled fabric adhered to it, this one isn't. But look at the thickness with regards to this. And of course. This well, this fabric. is it, yeah. So this is actually, Bozal produced this, and this actually goes inside fireman, fireman's um, uniforms in oh, America. Okay, right. So this actually uphel um, upholds heat to 450 centigrade. Wow. And it's almost like a memory foam feel to it, but it is thick. It so is soft as condensed, well. Dense, but it is really soft. So they actually use it in their uniforms because it protects them so well. And so you haven't got that crinkle, have you? You haven't got that yeah. crinkle. It's an amazing new technology when it comes to anything that's insulated. And you can just feel with your hand in there how warm it gets quickly. It is, yeah. It's, it's and really, I love this because really it comes right the way up to your elbow as well, yeah. doesn't it? So protecting all of this area as well. So you're going to get two of those. Well, actually, I suppose you get two. Yeah, two. One for the front, one for the yes. back. Obviously, if you want to make a pair of these, then do get two of those yes. kits. But to be honest, one is plenty, isn't it, usually? Um, but so, yeah, if you fancy getting hold of those, then the details are on your screen. Of course, you need to add in your own fabrics. But having the base, the core there is perfect. And at £16.00. And 50 pence incredibly affordable brilliant technology there and you can get hold of it here so 427 783 if you wanting to get hold of those oh we've got the most incredible little sewing kit for you it's kind of like a sewing starter kit now this one um again i'm guessing this is the prim one isn't it it is yeah the prim love range you may have seen some of the elements from here previously but this one comes together beautifully you've got components which you might not have in your stash already obviously you've got your hand sewing needles as you can see there I think we've got a magnetic um, little pin cushion. Is that magnetic? It is indeed. Um, and it obviously useful if you are going to be dropping your pins at all. You just waft that over and it'll pick them all up magically. Brilliant idea. You've got your little clips. They're included with regards to this one as well. You've got your ruler, as you can see here. You've also got your pencil, your marking pencil. You've got your unpicker. Um, you've got a little kind of pin cushion there as well. In fact, it might be, oh, I don't know. Sometimes they're kind of like pin sharpeners as well. I'm not entirely sure with regards to that one. And you've got your pair of scissors in there and it all comes in a fabulous box now have we got different options oh we have indeed so this one is your pink and you can see there are all the different components featuring on the packaging there um, we've got the mint as well so if you're wanting the mint this is a slightly different color which is part of that love range again but what a lovely combination all within that box when it comes to you so it's somewhere to keep it all together so if you know somebody who is going to be uh, getting a sewing machine for christmas then this is a fabulous gift for you to buy alongside that. Very useful. And the fact that everything's in its box, it's got its place. Love it. 999-509 if you're wanting to get hold of that one. Nice kit. But we've got another kit for you because it's kind of that season, isn't it? And you're starting to think about your Christmas gifts and things like that. Well, this is a brilliant one. Any sewer will be thrilled to receive this because it all comes together so beautifully. Um, it's the Prim Click Box. And what you've got here is you've got your little tabs on the side here, which means you can separate, the, separate out these different components and you can kind of separate it up and get to whichever level that you're wanting to work your way through. And you've got plenty of room within each one of these. So if you're wanting to take the components that you've got within your kit and keep them in there then you can do but equally so you've got a reasonable depth with these so you could be putting some of your, your spools your bobbins different things in there as you can see it might even be a little kit that you use using things like your English paper piecing and you're keeping everything together so brilliant value bundle because you're getting not only the box but you're also getting all of the components as well in there so you can see you've got your scissors you've also got your glass head pins in there you've also got your quick on picker there and a little pin cushion that will go on your wrist so nice combination a lovely colorway with that one as well and two flexi buys of 25 pounds if you like the look of that one nine four 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 five eight now this perfect opportunity during this hour to stock up on some of those things that i know you'll be using a lot of so things like your fusible interfacing well here you go you've got a huge piece it's three meters by um, a meter and a half wide 
just 9.99 my goodness even if you don't have a, a, a project in mind at this moment in time at that price it's worth getting hold of it's what i call a just in case just in case you need it you know you've got it there one two six two five nine brilliant value for money now if you're wanting to go for your darker color fabrics then you might want to go for your darker color um interfacing so here you go 9.99 again similar price with regards to this one but a different item number four two one zero five six if you're wanting to get hold of this but if you've got something in between -y. well guess what we've got an in between color for you as well so this one is your charcoal so not as dense as the black but obviously deeper tone than the white and again 9.99 fusible three meters meter and a half wide similarly so if you want that one three six one nine two eight now you've probably heard the sewing machine whirring away there ah, Sasha, you're very busy over there how are you getting oh, on i am i'm really busy so i am just going to show you so once you have made all of your noodles, I call them, I call noodle. them a giant I like noodle. swimming noodles. As every couple of minute, a uh, couple of meters, sorry, come out of your sewing machine, it's really important to start making this ball, okay? And we touched on it earlier, and the reason we do this is because it stops it tangling, it stops it knotting, it stops it you stretching it as well. And also it keeps it all coming off of the ball in the same direction, which one of the biggest problems people get when they're actually making their rug is getting it to stay flat. And just by following these processes, this is how I keep my rug so flat. Okay, the other thing that I use an awful lot is flatter which we're going to be bringing to you really soon as well um, again it's a starch but not a starch it's all natural but whichever starch you use at home every couple of rounds as you get going you want to make sure that you give it a good spray apply that heat don't have um, steam in your iron that's really important because what happens is you are putting steam into your wadding your wadding then takes a little bit of time to dry and then once it starts drying, it starts to curl up again. So again, okay. it's really important that we have a dry iron. So as you come out of the machine, you are just gonna start, I tend to do it rolling around my hand, keeping everything in the same direction and making the start of that ball. And as I say, this is the really, um, I love this bit, this bit, to me is just I just think they look great they look absolutely great when they're actually on a shelf or anything like that and as you'll see with this one as it comes off of the ball we are going in the same direction we're not pulling it we're not stretching it we're just letting it go where it wants to go around that ball so and then I tend to use a clip binding clip or whichever you want just to hold all of that in place until you next go to use it now obviously we were talking a bit before about um, the starting and the finishing and I'm not going to go through that because obviously um, that's what we've got the pattern for mm -hmm. and you know what it's like you design patterns I design patterns and you know we, we have things in our patterns that that's extra information to give you and there's loads of hints and tips in there for you when it comes to making your rug. But what I will say is you're going to be using a zigzag and I think sometimes we're all a little bit too precious when it comes to zigzag on our machine and we expect it to be completely perfect. And you know how hard it is to get a really perfect zigzag all the time. Oh, yes. And yeah. I think when you look at any of these rugs closely, um, I don't know how. Let's have a look here. So when you, when you look at the actual rug itself, it doesn't matter if it skips a couple of stitches. It doesn't matter if it's not quite in line this rug is going to be on the floor it's going to get softer with use mm -hmm. you know once you know the actual technique you can then be making bags you can be making storage pots there are so many different things that you can make with it but it's just about understanding the actual technique and i know so many people that have started and then they've cut it all cut all their stitches because their stitches are not perfect believe you me 25 yards of wadding and fabric you are not going to get 25 yards of perfect um, zigzag stitches 
you know so it does take a little bit of practice but I will say it's about the needle it's about the thread that you're using as well because it is quite thread hungry um, it's also about the process as well it's not a process to be rushed and that's really important now when you actually start getting to a bigger size like this as it's coming through your machine it's really important I tend to have my table on my machine but then I have books all the way around so all around this side I have books so as it's coming off of the machine and I'll show you quickly as it's coming off of my machine like so my books on my, and my table are actually holding it up. Oh, so it's giving the support to it's it. It's giving right. it the support okay. because it is quite heavy. And the last thing you want is for all of this to keep dropping and drooping. So I'm just going to show you now. I'm just looking at the centre of the rug there and I'm thinking, well, could you make placemats with these as well? Anything. Placemats, oh, okay. pads for your kitchen, for your pots to go on, mm -hmm. saucepan holders. Um, yeah, I mean, this is... Um, primarily the oval one but it's been changed into a circular shape it's all about once you know the techniques and you follow through the pattern you actually get a more understanding right. of it as well I see. so even like little coasters you could be making with yeah well. definitely new technique isn't it you'll be doing you'll be making all sorts of things and experimenting as well so I've got my ball and that's one side of me and I tend to do it so I've got a couple of meters on my lap and we're just laying it down and and please excuse I've got navy thread and this one was started in grey thread I think this has got red it's got green it's got all sorts of different coloured threads on it so we're, we're just working our way Let me have a look. and we are not oh, it's okay it's having a bit of a moment there hold on we're just working our way around, says she, trying not to cut threads. But yeah, it was just having a little bit of a... Um, we're just going to work our way around. We are not going to pull it. We are not going to force it. We are just going to let it do its own thing. Let me just get rid of these threads a second. Right. So pop it under your needle and don't forget as well you can actually lift your presser foot slightly higher as well okay. I think people forget that that mm -hmm. we can go an extra um, up a little bit higher to get all of that under under our, our needle Come on. and so you're just going to ease your way around you're kind of guiding the fabrics more so than pushing them through Sorry? You guide them towards where they need to go. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not forcing them. I'm just butting up my edge of my strip with my new noodle that's coming onto, that we're adding on. And I am just easing it around. I'm just following the shape. And again, you know, this isn't to be absolutely perfect. We are just working our way around and then as I say every sort of couple of rounds it's really important that you cut that thread you then take it over to your iron and you give a really really good iron and the reason we do that is to be keeping it really nice and flat some people carry on doing this and then wait until the very end to iron it and you don't want to be, you don't want to be doing that. You um, just want to make sure that you press all the way around and quite firmly as well. Fabulous. And that's what you will continue to do. So I'm going to get the, how long have we got? Oh, right. About five minutes or so left. So can I quickly go through the rectangular one well i was just about to mention to everybody because lots of people have found the rectangular pattern so obviously we've been talking about the oval um, with the pattern as the bundle but lots of you are kind of making your own little bundles as well because of course you can get the batting the strip batting by itself 
14.99. You can also get your strip rolls by themselves as well. Again, 34.99. So make your own little bundle, but do consider adding in the pattern, which will allow you to create your rectangle um, a strip roll, jelly roll, as you can see there. So 12 pounds and 60 pence for you to create this one. And again, you've got techniques that are going to be included within there that will allow you to create your first one that you'll go on and create many more of them to come. So if you're wanting this one as a pattern, the details are there. Incidentally, if you just want the pattern on its own for the oval, along, um, then you can get hold of that one as well. So they're available in bundles. Uh, well, that one's available in the bundle. This one isn't. But if you're wanting to go for this one by itself, just £12.60. So again, very affordable. And we've got additional bits and pieces which you can check out. But if you're wanting your jelly roll rug, the details popping up on the screen. That's the one that we're seeing um, being created um, with um, Sasha during this. I will see some of those other products later on. But if you're wanting the rectangle one, then you can get hold of that one. That one is at the bottom of your screen. And that's the one that we're drawing our attention to next, Sasha. Saying about the rectangular rug, and it is done in, diff in a different technique way. So if you're somebody that has a little bit of a dexterity problem and you don't think that you're going to be able to join all of your jelly roll um, or your fabric roll strips together and actually turn them into a ball, the rectangular rug is great for you because you're actually working in the strips. Okay. Okay. And the idea is that you are going to make 26, I think it is, noodles. And these are what I call noodles. So you are going to take a strip of your fabric roll and then you are going to cut your wadding roll into the same length as your fabric your strips. strips. Okay. okay. And in exactly the same way as before, you're going to put them under the machine like so and you are going to top stitch. Okay. okay. So you actually end up with... 26, 28, however many it is, of these noodles. Okay. Now, it's really important that you keep these nice and flat as well. Right. Okay. And then you're going to actually start joining them together in pairs. So you are going to join them into pairs, and then you are going to join them into fours. So pairs into fours. And then fours, fours into, into eights. Eights, eights into yeah. sixteen. Exactly. Got you. And the reason we do that is because, again, it keeps it really, really nice and flat. But the, this is where the binding comes into its own. Because what actually happens is you've got two ends of your rug that will be bound mm -hmm. if you place them correctly. Right. So by following the pattern, you'll see how her placement is so that you end up with a top that's already pre-bound mm -hmm. and a bottom that's pre-bound. So all you have to do is bind the outside two short Whatever edges. I do, yes. Once you know the technique for this, then you can go on and do the placemats the same way. Yes. You can do cushions the same way. So again, it's all about that technique and Very looking clever. through the pattern. Um, so don't forget your bias, that's the thing, isn't it? And I'm really, guessing is it yeah. the wider bias which would be a good one to work on? The wider one for this one. Yeah, 25 yes. mil. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, in fact, I might get hold of that. So, uh, yeah, let me just quickly grab that and then I will show you because what we've actually got, we've got a fabulous deal with regards to your bias. And it's kind of, and this is where it's perfect when you're going with fabrics and you've got a kind of multitude of different styles because when you've got a lucky dip, you will find colours within here that are going to work with any of them. I can pick up any of these strip rolls and know that the blues that you've got there are going to be perfect. The greens are going to be perfect. Even if I picked up one that's not Christmas themed, again, the pinks, the greens, they're going to work with that, the blues. So that's why a lucky dip you will find, it doesn't matter what fabric that you've got, whatever fabric you are working with, there are elements in there that you will find within some of those components in your lucky dip. So if you're wanting to get a hold of your lucky dip, details on your screen are £15.99. Patterns are very, very popular as well. We've got the oval, we've got the rectangle, they're both available, £12.60 each. And of course, those additional items, things like the um, chef's mitt, we are going to be seeing later on um, at two o'clock with Sasha. Sasha, thank you so much. Where did the hour go? Flew by. <laughs> Flew by. So do make sure you stay tuned. We've got lots more coming up. After the hour, we've got fabulous Wendy with Mad Hatters. Richie's joining us for that one. I'll see you later. So this is kind of how the next few hours is going to pan out. Mad Hat is coming, out, um, coming up after the break. Then we're back with the one day special at 12. Uh, it's not a one day special, but I'll explain again. Then we're back with Lou at one.
Hello, I'm Hayley. I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures, and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Hope you got your cup of tea and some bickies. It's Elevenses on the craft store. It's Richard here, and joining me for Elevenses is our very own Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hello. 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 First time we've met. It is. Yes. yes. Uh huh. I made a good impression, didn't I? I walked straight you past the stand past? here on the yeah, way. Yeah. Don't know where you were. To the going. other side of the studio yeah. until somebody pointed out that the MDF <laughs> was right here. Um, but of course, how could I miss it? I know. How could I look, at, look at it. You could look probably like, smell it. Yes. Yeah. What, what is it about MDF? Why is MDF such a, such a popular um, material to use in this situation? Um, just the versatility of it. It's yeah. got such a smooth surface. Obviously, you don't get splinters from this if you were using some other kind mm. of wood. Um, and it's just easy to paint, to use your papers on, your embossing powders. You can use everything on it. Is, and this, and yeah. this MDF that you brought in, it's, it's, uh, it's particularly good. It's environmentally friendly. Yes. And you can use all sorts of different media yeah. on it, can't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Like. So it is a special MDF called Medite, mm -hmm. um, which has got less formaldehyde in it which makes it better for us using it with the machines and for the environment in yeah. general yeah. Yeah. yeah oh good, good stuff. now um, I'm, I'm sensing a bit of a Christmas theme here when yes. I don't know just, just maybe just a hint of I don't know Christmas? A, 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 hint, a hint of Christmas yeah. we've got a lot of new items on the show in fact I'll say right now we've, uh, there's only one item that has come back due to its popularity everything else is brand new the advent calendar is our, is our popular repeat item that we're bringing back today details of that on the bottom of your screen we'll have a little look at that a little later on but let's have a look at some of this new stuff we've got a wreath bundle here this is wreath bundle one yes one of a two part series uh, looking forward to part two actually I wonder if it's going to end on the cliff Anger. Um, <laughs> this is the reef bundle here, and now we've got baubles. We've got uh, we've we've got actual we've got plain reefs. We've got a large and a, and a small size reef. Then we've got this etched, etched star, star here. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. And then you've you've got your um, ivy sort of reef. 
It's lovely. Mm -hmm. Now, this is obviously going to me. It just jumps out immediately. Centerpiece over the t over the mantelpiece. Mm -hmm. It's you know Christmas yeah. decoration hanging down from the ceiling. Oh, definitely. Maybe something you could put on the tree itself. Yeah, of course. I yeah. mean, big trees for having that size of ornament on it. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Hanging on your door as well. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect. And we've got uh, lots and lots of examples of how they've been uh, decorated up. Have a look at that one there. Beautiful. Really nice that, isn't it? Look, I love the pink with the. The black and the white is that me that's music in the background isn't it yeah it really is nice. yeah 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 lovely and then we've got some behind now which, now which one shall i pull down from here that's actually oh. in a yep so that one's in it this one here? yeah this so one? that's one of the big shall baubles this one over yeah oh look at that there we so go. that's sam that's made that one for us okay now is that this is your family run business isn't it yeah, yeah sam sam's uh, one of my design team members right, okay and she's just a star yeah <laughs> there you go and uh, that's reef bundle number one. We'll have a look at some more samples a little bit later. Oh, no, so much pressure <laughs> to put that back on there with the owner of the business, watching me school. Right, that's <laughs> reef bundle number one. That's nine ninety nine. So that's 816596. You're going to be able to do a lot with that. Now, we've got reef bundle number two. Told you it was a two-parter. Here's the reef bundle. This is what you're getting with that. Look at that. Loads and loads of... Uh, 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 different parts for this one here. This is 11.99. It's new today. Very, very busy so far. We're, we're hearing that uh, with all of our 70% of this, approaching 70% of the stock has gone already, Wendy. Wow. Good. Good. That's, wow. That's amazing. Okay, so this is 11.99. It's uh, You've got your ivy in there. You've got your lauren in there. You've got your pine branches as well. And uh, just lots and lots of different ones to use, and then obviously we can see here how just just how many colours and textures you can bring to each of these. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's so many things to play with there, and once you add on your accessory packs, then you've got lots of goodies. Yeah, absolutely. All the 3D element to it all, and the ephemera that you can put on. Uh, you're getting two of each wreath as well. So there's a couple of examples. There we go. So it's two of each of the smaller wreaths, and then the biggest wreath is there's one of it. Ah, okay. That makes sense, yeah, because it's a big one. There we go. There's the big one. It is big. Wow. There we go. Oof. Yeah, and there you go. That's it. There you go. Big one. Now, that's 11.99. Now, that's new today. 012396. We are moving along to our winter embellishment pack. This is winter embellishment pack part one. Um, now, look at, wow, you're getting loads here, aren't you? Loads and loads and loads. There's 54 parts in total on this. Uh, we've got various assorted sizes here. Now, I mean, there's so much you can do. I like the mittens. That's great. Uh, you could go mad on this. And this is perfect for putting on the tree, isn't it? Like hanging down lots yeah. and lots of them. And, yeah. yeah, and some of the elements are quite large for bigger projects, and the smaller ones are ideal for making cards with, putting them on your cards. Yeah, there you go. There's a... There's an example of one of the bigger ones there, and then we've got the little smaller, the smaller versions as well. I like the ball, but that's perfect for a Christmas tree decoration, isn't it? Absolutely perfect. Like, oh, the stockings. Look at that. Hang them all up. Kids would love uh, putting, yeah, you know, paints you on these. Yeah, you could have their names on them. You yeah. could personalise them. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's cute. I like that. There we go. That's our winter embellishment pack one. Just 11 99 that is. 11 99 for all of that. 54 pieces. How about Winter Embellishment Pack Part 2? It's back, and this time it's personal. Um, this has got 44 parts, and it's, uh, it's made out of this 3.2 quality, you're calling it. It's yes, medite? It's medite, so yeah. it's 3.2 millimetres. Yeah, right. yeah, thickness. Half of the stock has already gone. Not going not gonna to have a show at this rate, are we? By <laughs> the time we get to the end there, very, very busy. Now we've got oranges in here. Are these pears? Yes. Yeah. Pear tree, partridge in a pear tree, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, what else have we got here? We've got some cones, we've got mistletoe, we've got a birdhouse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> New. Um, we've got uh, flowers here. We've got, oh, this is like um, where you cut up your fruits, yeah. don't you, at Christmas time and you let yeah, yeah, dry yeah, fruits. Dry yeah, dry fruit, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. lovely. All of that, uh, tree trunks as well, all cut through. Love it. Um, over 50% of the stock, 60% of the stock has gone of this now. Twelve ninety nine for our winter embellishment pack two. Six nine eight seven zero six. Now, moving along, we have some gingerbread men. You can't go wrong with gingerbread men, can you? We've got three of them. We've got a big one, we've got a medium-sized one, and we've got a, a nickel, little, tiny baby one. 
Um, and they've got little stars across their belt as well. That's good, isn't it? Now, so obviously, here's all the pieces that you get, and you. It's very simple to put together, isn't it? It I mean, is. I, I it can really see, is. I don't actually need instructions for this, do you? I can just see straight away, Wendy, how you do it. Um, and then you've got the, the plinth that this goes on here. And then obviously you've got the little stars that you'll be using as well. Very easy to put together. Really cute. You could split these up, I guess, and give them to people. But it would, yeah. it would be best if it came. you saw They're it all nice as a family. They're nice as a little family, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. really like that. Three of those you're getting for just nine ninety nine. All three, the whole family. And look how you can uh, paint them up as well. Perfect. I mean, you don't have to make them traditional gingerbread colour, I guess. No. You could do all you sorts. You could have pink, purple, whatever. Yeah. And you can personalise them again as well. You yep. can put, you know, the, mm -hmm. the name of mum, dad and their new baby, for yep. example. It's very easily done. Um, that's three of those. You're getting 684290. Now, also 999. How about three snowmen? Yes, we've got three MDF snowmen here. Again, you can pop them on their plinths. You can uh, stand them up. And then you've got all the little bits and pieces here, like the scarf and ah, oh, how can you how can you have a snowman without a little carrot nose? There it is. Pop the carrot nose on. He's got his hat as well. Got they, these look really good, and you can make these super colourful, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the the hats and the nose and everything come separate, so you can layer it up, give it a bit of three D. Very nice. Oh, and here's one you made earlier. Now that's, who made this? Now that Sam made that one. Sam for me. made this. Mm -hmm. There you Just go. Put little Another lights bit. behind. Got some it. lights on behind. It's a bit Ooh. bright in here, but you know. Can we, can we, can we dim the lights? Can we dim the lights? We can always <laughs> dim the lights. We're, we're always trying to save money in this place. There we go. <laughs> Any excuse true. to dim the lights. And so you get, we've got a little. That's a hint oh, hang of on. A glow. I need to move it away from the monitor, <laughs> don't I? See, because the, the, there we go. So you get an idea. There's like a there's a warm glow behind the snowman there. <laughs> so you could do all sorts, couldn't you? And I like the snowballs down the bottom here as well. Yeah, that's cool, isn't what it? Sort, what sort of mediums have been used on this? I have no idea. Um, Snow effects? I would have used maybe texture pastes yeah. and, yeah, <laughs> all sorts, Chesso. probably. Yeah, all sorts. That's great. Love that. Love that. And actually, right next to our snowman is our next item, because this is one of our Santas. So there you've got your snowman. How about three Santas? You've got all, really like these ones, don't we? Uh, this is, a, you get the Santa face, obviously, and then you've got his body there, and you add on the stars. Uh, you can pop him onto his stand, and he looks like a wizard. He looks like Dumbledore, doesn't he, from uh, Harry Potter? Other magical wizards are available, <laughs> like Gandalf. Um, <laughs> hmm, struggling on it. One more. Merlin. Yes, thank you. Um, lots of magical wizards. Uh, we've also got uh, a sample here. Is this by, by Sam again? It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. And uh, again, you've got the snow effect at the bottom here. Uh, looks really good. That one's a wintry. It is. He's just it's arrived, lovely. hasn't he? I mean, yeah. just done his rounds mm -hmm. and he's been in a blizzard. And then obviously you can make them super bright. They, they look like classic designs, these, mm -hmm. don't they? Yep. Yeah, I love it. Three of those you're getting for just nine ninety nine. Three MDF Santas. Now, we have behind me a cactus uh, arrangement here hanging up over there. Is that right? There we go. You can see it. Uh, Twelve ninety nine. This you're getting two large ones. You're getting uh, six medium ones, and you're getting three small ones. And as you can see here. You can put them up as bunting. Yeah. 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 In fact, is that all you would do with these, or is there anything else? Yeah, I mean, there could be individual Christmas tree decorations if you wanted. Uh, but I was saying enough. that we designed them just before last Christmas, and I've actually had them hanging in my kitchen all year. I didn't take them down at all. I right. just love them too much. Well, the thing is, is it's it's a bit left field, isn't it? Because you wouldn't associate cactuses with with. Christmas, but if you were having sort of Surely a Mexican we all, Christmas, we all love a cactus. Yeah, Christmas. we all cacti. I think, <laughs> uh, isn't it? Where we yeah. refer to it. Is that right? Is it cacti? I think it is. <laughs> um, there we go. It's uh, you got. Uh, you can colour them all up here. Look, that's how, when you paint them up. It looks great, doesn't it? We've got it's the ca it's the cacti family. Uh, we'll pop them down there. That is twelve ninety nine for our MDF cacti cactuses. Uh, a delete is applicable um, set there. Now, uh, we've got, finally, here, down the end, look at this. Now, everything else is new today. Why is this here when it's not new? Because it's so popular. That's why everyone loves this. It's our MDF Advent bookcase from Mad Hatters. And I've got to show you because how this works. Obviously, you've got all the parts here. You put all the parts together. 136 parts in total. You pop it all together. It's fun to put together. And then... You can pull out each book, this is a bookcase, 
and then each one opens up like this and it's you can put little sentiments or little backgrounds inside it like that and then you can put a little chocolate inside it or yep. a, di a diamond ring says Kim that's hopeful <laughs> what 24 <laughs> diamond rings <laughs> yeah <laughs> reaching a bit there um, she, because she's worth it apparently um, <laughs> so you can also put chocolates in here and, and all sorts of little those little bits and pieces that you get those little cracker yeah, tools, I guess yeah, you could yeah, pop yeah. in there couldn't you yeah, all, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. really love that and apparently it's got a living hinge when yes What's so that? if you look at the one that's behind the bookcase yes one that's not been decorated yeah one of these so that you can see the hinge ah okay yeah. so it's just a, the way the laser cuts it and it's just a way of making the move bend the wood bend right yeah is there a not so living hinge version as well. <laughs> it's just like on his last legs hinge. <laughs> just living hinge. It's a weird name, isn't don't, it? Don't ask me. We don't. Don't ask me. We don't question these names. No. We just accept them. Yes. <laughs> okay. Living hinge. There you go. That's all part of our uh, bookcase here. Uh, isn't it brilliant? And of course, I would guess Wendy that we work quite well if you put the numbers on it as well. If you wanted it would, to, you don't yeah. have to. But yeah. if you want to turn it into an mm. advent calendar, yeah. pop numbers one to twenty-four on it. Yeah. But as we said in the first show, Haley suggested that you could actually put little sequins and just little crafts supplies in the books um you know after christmas you could keep little crafty yes. bits in it it's I've an advent calendar got, but why why yeah. leave it at christmas yeah. as an advent i've calendar. got one where i've just used the bookcase and i've got all my glitters stacked up yeah. inside the, the so bookcase. maybe you could maybe you could put something sort of temporary as to the numbers on it so mm. that, and then you can take those off and then it just becomes yeah. your bookcase for the rest yeah. of the year um 60 of the stock has gone on this 60 percent of the stock it's very very busy get onto the website because that is the best place to get hold of everything here because there's always queues on the phone lines. There's all our MDF from Mad Hatters. As you scroll along, you can see our snowmen and you can see Santa and the gingerbread men there as well. Uh, the cacti or the cactuses. I think it's pretty sure it's cacti. Uh, we've got our advent bookcase as well. I just, I, I, you say these things and then you start to think, hmm, I'm not sure now. Uh, and, and then, look, we're scrolling backwards now through, through the winter embellishment packs as well. Bundle one, bundle two. We've got the wreaths as well. It's all on the website. We've got so much to play with here, Wendy. So what are we going to start with? <laughs> so we're going to use the big bauble from bundle one. Okay. And we're going to use accessories from both accessory packs because there, there is, you're right, there's so much to play with. So I've just given it a quick undercoat with white uh, paint and we're going to put a napkin on it because I feel that it's not Christmas, I don't think it's Christmas music, but no one knows that really. So it's a napkin, we're just taking one of our water uh, brushes and we're just going to go around the napkin with the water like so and this just makes it easier to pull it away so that you don't have a harsh cut line so you've got a nice soft oh i see it sort of so tapers off like yeah, uh, like yeah, yeah. it's old yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that. So, because we want it just to blend into. Yeah, the... you, you never want it to look kind of processed or manufactured. No, you want no. it to look handmade. Yeah. yeah. So I'll do that. And... Oh, limit, limited stock now on this second wreath bundle here. Limited stock okay. on wreath bundle two zero one two three nine six. You'll have to be quick now because this is going to go very, very quickly, <laughs> very soon. Right. So when you're doing your napkins, remember and take off your back layers, or it will just all bubble up um, when you're trying to glue it down. So we're just going to slap some glue down, not being overly fussy here. And then we're just going to lay this on, I'm going over to the side because I know I'm going to be putting more things in that corner. Okay, so it's okay to paint it over the top as well. That yeah? just flattens it down with the glue, right. yeah. Just be a little bit careful because, I mean, it's tissue, it's fragile. Mm. So it could. It could tear, just tear. Yeah. Um, and that's all we need to do with that just now. So we're just going to leave that to dry. Okay. okay. Right, so we've got some of our elements here that we're going to decorate. So we're going golds and bronzes, I think, for this one. So we've got some paint brush. So I'm just using my acrylic paint. And we're mm -hmm. just going to paint straight on. Now this is from uh, Winter Embellishment Pack 2, and 80% of this stock has gone now already. So, uh, 
Uh, very popular, all of this. Yeah, very popular, isn't it? It is. I mean, there's just so much scope yeah. for using all this. You get, I mean, everyone loves, you know, the snowmen and Santas. That's kind of fun to do. But then all in these big bundle packs, so you're getting absolutely stacks of, of options, you aren't are. you? You really are. And then we're going to go some copper. It's a good colour for a pair, that, isn't it? It's actually making me quite hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste right, India? <laughs> no. no, although my dog seems to think so. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's always stealing bits of MDF. <laughs> Who's that? My dog. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's not good for him to chew, her to <laughs> chew, I should say. Probably not. <laughs> so if you wanted your colours to be more vibrant, you would just give it a base coat of white to mm. begin with. Um, you don't have to prime though. You don't no. have to, no. It, I mean, it's such a smooth surface. Um, depending on what kind of paints you use, I'm using acrylics, which is great, straight on. Watercolours, as I explained earlier, you would need to put a base coat down first just because it would suck all into the wood. Yes, um, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That, that wreath bundle too has just technically sold out. So there's a few remaining in, in the basket, so make sure you do check out your baskets because otherwise you'll miss out on it in a few minutes. It will go back onto the, onto the shelves again. Um, so that is a technical sell-out, but I'm being told that we can get hold of some more, but it will be on extended delivery now. Uh, seven days? First of November. Yeah. First yeah. of November, yeah. Just give us a chance to get home and get cutting some wood. Yeah, no, got, yeah you've got to get back to, to Scotland, haven't you? What we part do. of Scotland is it? It's, uh, we're in the northeast Aberdeenshire. Right, okay. So, so a fair old trek, I would have thought, is. to get here. It is indeed. Yeah. Right. Probably about as long as it takes me to get out of London. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 25. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's a really good texture on that, isn't it? I, I like that. Yeah, it's really nice. Mm, so I'm going to leave that colour. just now, and we're going to emboss one gold as well, just to give it a different sort of um, effect. Yep. So I'm just going to get my plate, and I'm just going to stick it right down into the, the embossing glue. I think it's juicy enough, like so. Bit of embossing. Ooh. So, your powder. Okay, what is that? It's embossing powder. Embossing powder, yep, okay. Yep. So we're going to melt it next. Ooh. So I'll just tip that off there. I'll tip this back in just in case it goes everywhere. I don't think I've seen any embossing meltings. Oh, it's always Ooh. exciting. <laughs> we are approaching limited stock for embellishment pack two. There you go, twelve ninety nine for that one. That's where you're getting your oranges and your pears, all your winter fruits and all your various plants. You've even got your a birdhouse in there as well. Everyone's loving that. Limited stock we're approaching right now. at six nine eight seven oh six and the item code for that one, twelve ninety nine. Right, so you can start see it starting to go. Yeah. And it just it'll just give a nice effect. That looks great. I love embossing. Mm. It's great. And there we go. So what's, what's happening? That's powder that's kind of melting into into yeah, a slight it liquid. Yeah, it's like a, a binder in it. You yeah. know, and once the heat goes, so if you were to it touch that now, it would be quite almost gloopy. Is it wet? No, 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 no. That's it dry now. Just dry. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just you know you can use all your products on this. Mm. Don't be scared to use your products. Right. We are going to just edge it with blue. We are now at limited stock for our winter embellishment pack two. The details are on your screen there, 698706. Limited stock. It's going to go maybe like the, 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 um, the previous one. Maybe it's going to be a technical sellout soon and then it will be extended delivery if we can get hold of some more. So if you don't want the extended delivery, you don't want to have to wait uh, seven days, then I suggest you get that into your basket and check out now. So we're just edging everything. It just makes it stand out a little bit more if you've, you add a darker edge to it. Yes. That's something I've seen quite a lot, actually, since I've, I've started. It's, yeah, a real, it is it's a, very popular. That's that something that's quite new, quite recent that people have started doing. Is that right? I wouldn't have said so. No? No, no. no. Certainly, it's, a, it's, yeah, it's new to me. But, <laughs> it's, uh, but certainly, it's something I've noticed everyone making it's, a point to do. It's just because yeah. it does... It, yeah. 
frames it all. Yeah. Makes it all pop. And they, they do it whether it's MDF or paper as yeah. well. Oh, definitely. Yeah. 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 You'll you'll get all your card makers, mm. you know, edging their card. Just giving it a sort of silhouette, really, isn't it? It a little does. Outline. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just like so. Yeah. Adding layers, yep. making it sort of and we're going to do the same with three dimensional. This. And we will add some gold, I think, as well. I just wanted a one color yep. in amongst the bronze and the gold, and this is my favourite blue at the moment. So that's uh, the bundle in which you get the bauble eight one six five nine six nine ninety nine, and you get all those bits and pieces. That's you get a lot there for nine ninety nine six. Six wreaths, really. Plain ones, big, like, hoop ones. You get uh, ornate stars, etched star plaques. You get big baubles as well, like the ones we're seeing. Like a round bauble and one of those, uh, the, the other type, the kind of... What do you call that shape? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> the I'm just calling it an ornate bauble. <laughs> an ornate bauble. You know the... You get that? It's that one. That's the ornate one. It's like an onion, isn't it? Or, um, well, what is it? Onion bauble. We'll just yeah. call it an ornate bauble, I think. <laughs> an ornate, yeah. I think, do you know what? Let's go with your name. It sounds a bit better. We're not having an onion yeah. in there, no. <laughs> don't so think I'm I just... should I, don't, I shouldn't work in marketing, should I? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, we're just going in with some wax, um, just to pick up some more sheen, because it's all about the sheen, this one. Okay. And I'm just going to add it to our big bauble, like so. Like that, it's just it's instantly really aged it, hasn't it? It's it does, made it... yeah. I do like that effect. Makes it look like that was it's been sitting there for thirty years. <laughs> it's been it's actually sitting there for about three minutes. I mean that yeah. in a complimentary yeah. way. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. it's like it's supposed to, it's supposed to look like that, isn't it? It's supposed it to look is. like it's been around Makes for it generations. Look old. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. So I'm just going to my pen now, yeah. because as you probably all know by now, I finish everything off with the dots. Okay. And what's that like the high like light highlights it is yeah yeah it's just one of that techniques that I just mm. easy and it yeah I do like it <laughs> what is that like a paint pen it's a Posca paint pen yeah yep or I use gel pens I love a white a white paint pen so popular in graffiti art is that right probably yeah. probably so we're just adding little details with that, and then we're going to stick it all together. This is the the part where I could spend a lot of time doing all the, mm. you know, the finishing yeah, yeah. sort Does of details. Get it just right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we're going to put together, but we're going to add some more bits to it. Mm -hmm. So I've got, I used this earlier, it's great. It's just um, netting with yep. gold through it. Yep. Um, we're going to use a hot glue gun again, just for speed. So put a bit down there, I'm watching not to burn my fingers. And then we're going to position the leaves. Like so. Just about my own Christmas decoration, because you could make these into your own theme, couldn't you? Like each each time you do it, you could have a themed Christmas. Like yeah. you, we've got the cactuses, haven't we? The cacti, we've got the, the Mexican themed Christmas. You've got llamas up and all sorts of alpacas. Oh yeah, we, we do. Kim apparently has a uh, dinosaur Christmas oh, yeah. ornaments. Yeah, okay. dinosaurs are, are very popular for yeah. Christmas now. Yep. <laughs> very strange. <laughs> right, I think I can She's get that. She's a little strange, Kim, to be fair. But, um, she? Oh. I mean, we humour her. We, you know. <laughs> right, it's trying not, to it's not the first thing I think of at Christmas. <laughs> dinosaurs. Yeah. It's a T-Rex with a Christmas hat she's got, apparently. Oh, yeah. cool. Okay. <laughs> I mean, some might say weird but but cool cool's a word i would also use yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh so i like that oh, it's really not. really good it's coming together really nicely it is Obviously. do we always use hot glue to secure no uh, bits and pieces? now so i'm just doing this for speed because right, we're okay. here if i was doing this at home i would probably use a glue gel yep. or a tacky glue a white glue okay um it's just for speed here, for getting you know it all done. I love the fact you've got a pink gun. That's great. <laughs> so like, put a wee even, crown. even the glue gun's got to look, you know, <laughs> nice. And I'm going to tuck that crown down in there, like so, and there. 
Yeah, nice and simple. Oh, you could add your gems to it and all sorts, but um, will I turn it around? You want it up that way? Look at that. You can see it glittering. A little move around of that, you can see it shimmering away. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. And uh, halfway through already. And we've already made. Yep. Yep. We already made a fantastic project using our reef bundle here. Uh, we've got reef bundle one here. This is new today, remember. 9.99. The item code is 816596 and 60% of the stock has gone. And this is what you're going to be getting. You're going to get this etched star plaque. You're going to get your ornate bauble as well down the front here. You're going to get not an onion bauble. Um, contents may vary. <laughs> it could be an onion. Um, we've got a plain bauble as well. You could do so much of this you know there's so and you've got your two plain reefs as well you've got your large one and your small one there and then at the back here we've got a uh, is it what is it a wreath just a straightforward leaf isn't a wreath isn't it this one here yeah, yeah. yeah that one there's just a plain wreath yeah. yeah yeah so you're getting six in total here for 9.99 that's loads and loads uh, to play with that's wreath bundle one then you've got wreath bundle two well, sold out. It's back on extended delivery now. Uh, first of November is when you'd be getting hold of this. So again, in plenty of time uh, to decorate and hang them up for Christmas. Because let's face it, you don't actually put your Christmas well unless you're a bit strange like Kim. She's probably she's probably going to tell us now that she's had them up all year round. But you you would norm I would put them up on the first of December. Yeah. Yeah. yeah is that when you would go yeah, for? Yeah. Because you want to get your value for money, don't you? You want your you want yeah. some Christmas for at least a month, oh, don't you? Um, so. Uh, you've got plenty of time when these come in on the first, uh, dispatched on the 1st of November, a whole month, and this is what you're getting here. Look at this. So you get nine in total, and you're getting two of each one, apart from this big one here. Look, you get one of those, and you get two of everything else. Look at the size of that. If we wanted to use them outside, what would we do with these? Uh, to be honest, I don't actually recommend it for outside. Right. I mean, I, I do know people that have coated them in yacht varnish, like an outdoor varnish. Oh, okay. I would just worry that if there's a bit that hasn't got any on, the yes, moisture would, would get into so it. And eventually it would just disintegrate. Save it for indoors. Save it for your yes. Christmas parties. Unless and you've got them... a, like a really sheltered front door, yes. you know, I wouldn't recommend it for outdoors. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right. So make sure you're only using it indoors. That's the recommendation from um, the lady herself. And we have all of these different examples on the back here that you can see. Did we show everything from before? Is this... Oh, we have oh, this as well. Nice we haven't showed this yet, have we? Should pop this. this is from the Reef Bundle 1, isn't it? I should just quickly show you this. There you go. That's Sam that. again that's made that one. So I think she's used both sizes of poinsettias on it. Yep. Amazing. And I think this is from our Reef Bundle 2. Now, we're already 10%. Can I, yes. We're already 10%. <laughs> has gone already from Reef Bundle 2. We brought it back and 10% of it's gone already. Here's another example using one of the reefs there. That's really nice. And like the uh, actual, the cones you put on the top there, we've got the mistletoe at the top. I mean, I, if I hold this any longer, I'd <laughs> get into trouble, couldn't I? If I'm holding the mistletoe near to win. Uh, I'll put that, pop that back there. There we go. Yeah, exactly. She's, she's like, no. <laughs> That's not happening. Um, now, that's Reef Bundle 2, 012396 is the item code there, 1199. Now we're moving along to our winter embellishment pack number one here. Just look at what you're getting here for 1199. Over half the stock has now gone of this. You are getting so many pieces of MDF uh, in all sorts of different designs, from stockings to baubles to, uh, to bows, ribbons. You've got uh, mittens here. You've got uh, crowns as well. It all, uh, con uh, this is exactly what you're getting as well. So this is a contents may vary um, scenario here. Everything you see here is what you are getting. There's 54 parts in total. 093625 is the item code. And this is where you could really think, well, that's the Christmas tree decoration sort. You could just hang those all across your Christmas tree. It's going to look brilliant. And then you have like a, look at this. Or you can put it on your wreath, of course, like uh, Wendy did. And then you can pop that on the top, maybe, of the Christmas tree or on the top of the wreath. You've got all of this for just 11.99. How about that? Now, uh, moving along, another winter embellishment pack here. This is up to 60% of the stock has gone now on this. Oh, we're limited. We are limited. We are down to single figures on this one now. Um, it's very vulnerable, apparently. It's been very quick. So you make sure you get this one in your basket if you would like to get this. It, I mean, maybe we can get it back on extended delivery, but if you want to get it straight away, 
Now's the time, 698706. And this is what you're getting here. You can see all the different, you've got mistletoe on this one as well. You've got the, the tree trunks, you've got the, the, uh, the leaves, you've got the actual fir trees themselves, you've got pears here, you've got dried fruits, you've got a birdhouse, you've got branches, you've got loads. And you've got, in total, uh, this is like a traditional pack, isn't it? 44 yeah. parts yeah. in this as well. And this is for, a, oh, it's a technical sellout. Technical sellout. Now, yes, and we can get it back on extended. 1st of November. 1st of November. Seven days you'd have to wait now, but that's fine. Still plenty of time. 698706 if you would like. You can still get it, but just extended delivery now. Now, we've also got our, uh, well, there's loads here. It's kind of fun. We've got gingerbread men. We've got Santas. We've got snowmen. This here is your gingerbread men, and you're getting... Not one, but all three here in this pack. You've got all the bits and pieces that you would need to pop it all together. There you go, the base, the platform. You've got the stars that you're going to add here. Uh, you've got the three different sizes, small, medium, large. It's a family of gingerbread men. And you're putting it all together, and then when you colour it all up, and you paint it all in, this is what it looks like. Great. Love that. Uh, 9 99 for that. 684 is the item code for that, or perhaps you would, you don't fancy gingerbread men, you fancy a little bit of snowmen. Uh, you get these, three snowmen instead, and uh, again, it all comes with your high quality MDF, which is environmentally friendly, put it all together, simple assembly, uh, just a bit of glue required, Wendy, yep, for this, yep, yep, very yep, easy, you've got your base, you pop, you slot it in like that, then you add all the little bits and pieces, like your, your nose, um, and uh, your gloves and your scarf and then you can obviously then go to town with all your various effects whatever media you have however you want to, it's up to you how you want to decorate it then yes of course you can go for the classic white snowman and do all the classic sort of you know colors for the hat and everything and the orange carrot or you could just go mad and just go for different colors might have a theme in the house maybe you could have them in dinosaur colors Obviously, who would do that? Um, you could go. You could do that. And uh, we've got another example which I showed you a little bit earlier, uh, just there, where you can use the frosting, you can use the snow on it, you can use the glitter as well. It's all uh, embossed. You can got all the texture paste you can put on gesso, all sorts. And then we've added lights on the back of this as well, so you've got a little glow coming off the back of the snowman there. Brilliant. And then we've got. Oh, this is gingerbread men, by the way. I've got a little, another little example here of our gingerbread uh, men. So, I was just want to see if we've got a Santa. We haven't got a Santa, have we? There he is. Look at that one. That's great, isn't it? That's our MDF gingerbread man. 684290. Oh. He's got his little stocking ready. He's going to hang it up for Santa. <laughs> he's cute. He is cute. I mean, he's a, big, he's a big boy, and that's a very little stocking, so he's not expecting <laughs> much, is he? But, uh, yeah, that's great. And I like the big buttons as well. Very classic. Uh, there's your mittens down on the ground there. It's got, oh, I like the way this has been turned into a, um, like a carpet, isn't it, on the bottom yeah, of the rug? Yeah, yeah. Great. Um, there you go. Uh, it's part of our gingerbread collection. Now, how about our Santas? Three Santas here. Three MDF Santas. Uh, 27 parts you're getting here. You pop them all together. It's all down the bottom here. You're getting all of this. You're getting all of the MDF. Getting the Santas, all the set, the, the stars that you need, all the hats, everything, and then you construct it. And just look how beautiful these are when they're put together. Really like the the colour scheme there and the the texture of that. But then of course you could actually add on the snow effect as well and make him look like he's just uh, been uh, through one of his uh, journeys around the world delivering presents. Or you could just you know you get fresh fresh Santa, or you could get you know been through it a bit Santa, <laughs> been through the wars a bit Santa. You know, this is like this. This is like Santa on Boxing Day, and this is Santa like Christmas Eve is just about to head out. Yeah, um, so you can do, you can do what you like. Uh, Nine ninety nine for that. Uh, that's I love those. I love the Santas. Love the the, the snowmen and the gingerbread men. And then how about this? This is this is such fun because seventy percent of the stock has gone because it is you know technically an advent bookcase, but really. It's a bookcase, isn't it? Because, you know, you can use this for any sort of storage. We're calling it an advent bookcase because, yes, you can, you can decorate it in Christmas colours and then you can put the numbers across it for, because there's 24, isn't there? And then you open up each one. It's got a living hinge. And as you open it up inside, you've got storage space there to put a little chocolate or a little toy or a little message or a, a joke or a picture or whatever you like, really, or a diamond ring, as, as, as has been suggested, <laughs> if you've you know, got that kind of money. Um, then you've got um, 24 of these. So once Christmas has, has been gone, redecorate it, 
Uh, you don't have to have the numbers on it then, do you? It's just a, a great bookcase which turns into a little storage compartment. A, well, you know, one might argue a secret storage yeah. compartment because mm -hmm. you could have that on your on the side there, and no one would know that inside is where you keep all your little valuables. Mm -hmm. um, or well, you could do little memories in here as well. You could, yeah. yeah. You can you do all sorts of it. All the bits and pieces come with it to put it all together. You're getting all your your MDF books as well. You pop it all together and then uh, decorate it up. Three quarters of the stock has gone on this two three eight seven eight one. So I don't know which one is my favourite to be honest. I, I, I think I, I think I'm leaning more towards the the bookcase and the uh, and the Santas and the gingerbread men because mm. I'm. A, Basically, a giant child, um, <laughs> but but the the Reeves are great as well. They look really classy. I think, love yeah, it. Yeah. Um, got something else to show us, Wendy? Yes. Yep. yep. So a very quick one, and then we might do a Santa if we've got time. Mm. So I've just undercoated the big bauble, the ornate, not the onion bauble, and just we're just going to spray them. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to use sprays because I've been in the first show we showed that we can use colour and pencils with it mm -hmm. and powders we've used embossing powders and now we're just going to use sprays so i've got paper underneath because it's quite messy yeah so we're just going to spray away some nice shimmery so you, colors you're, you're rolling it around to oh, warm it up, right or? so it's just to mix the mica okay. i don't want to shake it too much because then it maybe clog the right you know the straw bit okay so i'm rolling rather than shaking some of them do have the ball inside for shaking, okay. um, but these ones don't. And this one's got a black shimmer to it, which is quite pretty. So I don't know if you can see, it's all sort of starting to shimmer away yeah. there. Well, not quite oh, nice, I like the actually. outline, it's pretty as well, yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to spray these white bits. I'll take that one back in, I think. You've got projects on the go in the background there. So oh, it's got everything. Use just, it as an outline, couldn't you, as a silhouette? Gonna... Yeah, I always keep mm. my scrap bits of paper because mm. they, they, you know, they're handy for um, backgrounds and things for yeah. things. Right, so this is a blue. So I think we'll go... I'm really just going multicoloured here. Like so. And the last one, I'm just going to splatter. Oh, it's just great fun. I, oh, just... Like love all so this. Messy. Just, yeah, it's just fun, isn't it? It, is, to, it really is. Um, I've got a bit of a tissue because I've on my Very Jackson just... Pollock, isn't it? Just chucking it all at the, uh, <laughs> at the items there. Dark colours, is that quite um, is that is that quite on trend at the moment for Christmas oh, decorations? Oh, I have no idea. I yeah. don't I don't look at trends at all. Yeah. No, no. I just that's do because what I you're like. a trendsetter, oh, Wendy. Is you that don't, what it you know, is? Is that no, what it is? Nothing's trendy to you because everyone's following <laughs> your lead. That's what it is. Oh, me. Yeah. I, I somehow don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to pop these in like so. I'll remove the paper. But look, I mean, yeah. use all that for backgrounds. Yeah, always, easily. Always yeah. keep your, your papers. Right, and then we're just going to add a bit of gold to finish it off. Wow, um, apparently it is, for 2021, dark colours with gold accents, which okay. I believe is exactly what you're doing right now. Yeah, see, okay. That's how, that's how much you've got your finger on the pulse there, <laughs> Wendy. You did, had it, I didn't even know it. Didn't even know it. Didn't and even know it. Just, right. It's just so. exuding off you, trendiness. <laughs> I'm actually going to quickly glue these down um, before I add the gold. Trendy Wendy. Trendy Wendy. Brilliant. <laughs> there you go, we've got a new nickname oh, for you now. Oh, who was that? <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm just quickly throwing this down. So this is a super fast, super fast make. Just make sure I've got enough glue on there. And then I've just mixed up some um, luscious powders, the gold. And we are just going to drip them down the sides. I like it. So, so we've we've done the darkening of the of the the side of it to sort of bring out the silhouette, and then now we're adding a the gold embellishment to sort of highlight it. Yeah. Yeah. It really just make, frames it, does it? So I'm holding it up. You maybe can't see. Mm. 
We are on limited stock for oh. our Advent bookcase right now. A limited book, uh, limited stock. Our Advent bookcase is at limited stock right now. So uh, twenty-one ninety-nine. If you want to get hold of that with immediate dispatch, it's gone limited. There's only going to be a few left on on immediate dispatch. We should be able to bring it back though for extended delivery if it does sell out in this hour. But there'll be a seven-day wait before it uh, before it's packed off to you because Wendy's got to basically spend seven days getting back to Scotland <laughs> from here, um, which is how long it takes apparently. Because I'm very I'm very sort of you know wise about these things. I know I know all about geography and Scotland's on the other side of the world. Isn't it, it is. <laughs> it really is. It really is. So I'm See just what? finishing this off with some splatters. It is quite cold up in Scotland, isn't it? Because I've noticed when I... It's I used actually, to... we've had a heat wave. Oh, really? Yeah. So just, we've... just you know, Siberian temperatures, <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to, like, complete... No, but I used to go up to um, Edinburgh, and the okay. second I got off the plane, I would notice that it was just cold. Doesn't matter what time, it was just colder than where, it, where I'd been, yeah. just a little bit cooler. I suppose we're it's, probably yeah. just used to it. But you're it. used to it, yeah. We're it's what you get to used to. It's like, yeah. you know, people who live okay. in tropical <laughs> places, yeah. So that was a quick project. That's it. Mm. Um, I turn it around this way, that way. Brilliant. Anyway. And you can see the yeah, oh, shimmers. shimmer it. That's it's it. Got shimmers. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. yeah. So that's quick and easy. Quick like, and easy. It's like night time with the it stars. Is. It's lovely. Love all of that. Yeah. Um, now. Let's have a little recap, shall we? Because we've got a lot of very busy items today. Our Reef Bundle 2 here. Already half the stock has gone of this. It's gonna, it's approaching limited stock. It will be soon. Or oh, half the stock has gone, I should say. 012396. It's half the stock has gone. 012396 is the item code for that. That's 1199. If you'd like to get this, you're getting all of those different parts there. You've got your ivy in there. You've got your lauren. Uh, you've got your pine branches as well. With high quality MDF, environmentally friendly, great for using different media on, as we have already seen today. All of your gessos, your glues, your paint, your snow effects as well, your inks, you can add all your embellishments onto it as well, like your, your, your gauze here, your netting, you've got all of your, your, your yarn as well, you can add all the little bits and pieces on from the embellishment packs, which we'll, uh, we can show you as well. Details of that is along the bottom of your screen. But these are embellishments here that have been added on from one of our embellishment packs. So you can put it, you can put it all together and layer it, and then you have this amazing uh, centerpiece, really, to your Christmas decorations. Now. Uh, we're going to show you our win oh we're going to show Santa Santa let's have a look at Santa with Wendy <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to look I was trying to look at Santa I was like okay there's Santa's over there what's Santa doing nothing he's just he's just stood there um, I'm just doing a quick Santa I'll look at your Santa instead Wendy shall I because there's a lot yeah. more happening there <laughs> so I'm just I'm just painting him and giving him okay. some rosy cheeks because he needs he's out in the cold so he needs some rosy cheeks yeah. I'm just going to put a little bit of colour onto his um, his mitts that he's got there. It's ghost Santa at the moment. <laughs> ghost Santa. He's gonna, he's gonna <laughs> right, I'm running back. out of brushes. He'll, he'll be fine eventually. Right, so we need red. So I'm going to do red. So he's going to be classic Santa. Um, but we're going to do what Sam's done. We're going to make him all frosty and snowy. Yeah. So we're just. So I've already layered him up. So his head does come in a layer, and then the top of the hat and the bauble comes as a, another yeah. layer. So he is quite um, layered. Yeah. <laughs> Show me a, a kid in the land that would not want to be doing what you're doing right now, like just to paint, paint Santa like that with the red paint. Yeah. Great fun. Yeah. Good, good gift as well. I mean, we're, we're talking about getting these things and, and, and putting it together yourself and using it as your own Christmas decorations, but you could actually just hand this over as a gift as just the MDF, couldn't you? And you say, could. how would oh, you like definitely. to? Yeah, pop, it's like pop an art in a, project. Uh, yeah. A thing of paints and a brush and mm. maybe a jar of glitter, and yeah. you've got a nice gift. Make your, there. Own, make your own decorations. Definitely. Yeah. Right. So very quick and easy. So you you do have all these detailed bits, the the original Santas that I've painted. Yeah, so I you have, can choose to yes. use those. So or I've as done a night your, your sky, um, yeah. but we'll do Sam's effect mm. where he's been through a blizzard. Yeah, just because we'll do him nice and quick. The wizard, the wizard of blizzard, the old the old <laughs> wizened Boxing Day Santa. And we're just gonna. 
This brush is not great actually, it's a better one. And we're just going to, just little bits of highlights up at the top here before he gets caught in the blizzard. A little bit on his hat, so it's yeah. basically a dry brush, it's yeah. dry brushing, which is a great technique. Like so, and then we'll go thicker paint. It's gone quite pink because I'm using the same brush, but hey ho. I do like a bit of pink at Christmas. A bit of pink? A bit of pink. Yeah, it is because it, it's that apparently it's another trend of Christmas is oh, pink. Oh, yeah. Just completely all over it. <laughs> Just going in with that little star. Again. Trendy Wendy. <laughs> What's what's coming into fashion next year? Just because so I'm going to like buy shares in whatever that is. <laughs> well, I, I was hoping the cactus was going to be the, yeah. the trend. <laughs> so too, I'm just stippling you, this you're, on. You're too ahead of your time. That's what it is. Oh, is cactus is 2023's Christmas. Oh, well, I'll, uh, yeah. I'll bring them back in a, yeah. a couple of years, and we're just going to. It's the wrong kind of brush for um, splattering. Oh, there, there you go. go. Yeah. There we go. Just give him a good splatter. So why wasn't the other brush working? Was it too big? It's flat. It, it, ah, it just doesn't splatter this right. time. <laughs> got you. And then we've just got some icy, um, quite icy effects by Crafty Devils, which I'm probably sure we will sell here. And I'm just going to splodge that on, like so, just to give a nice snowy, snowy base. Okay. So this oh, that really will dry. Like snow, doesn't it, it does. It's it's almost like sugar. Yeah. So just That's really got the frost that up. The look and feel of snow. Yeah. Yep. It's so quick and easy to do. Not to be mixed up with your sugar though. Don't <laughs> uh, don't be popping that in your cup of tea. No, I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> no. All right. So how much time have we got? Have we... Eight minutes. Oh, we've got. Oh, that's okay. Oh, you're, you're rushing there. Oh, take your time. Oh, relax. Oh, Just try, yeah, go a bit phew. slower. Oh, there no, we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how much time did you think you had left? I have when? no idea. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we'll put that there just now. Oh, well, actually, we'll put some in the bottom of his um, coat. Yeah. His pink. <laughs> It's pink snow at the bottom there. And I suppose you could add like whatever you want. You could give him a big uh, Father Christmas sack with all his presents yeah, in it as yeah. well. If, with uh, using a bit of um, soft fabric or right. So we've got our linen. pens out, and we'll go in, add his eyes in. I think it's dry enough because I do like to edge things. Hmm. That's the, the trend from 2024, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes it all pop at the end yeah. if, you, if you edge it. And I'm not trying to do straight lines or anything. I really am just doing... Mm. It's nothing to do with my shaky hand. It's, <laughs> it's just wonky lines. Right, because that's the effect that you want to get, yeah? That is exactly yeah. the effect I want. Uh, is it? Definitely the effect you'd get if I was doing it, so that's good. <laughs> so good to know that it was. Just that's what you need. Around his moustache. Goodness, my hands are actually shaking. <laughs> now, are you doing this yourself? Are you following lines on the MDF? There is or? the lines etched there for his moustache, yeah. so oh, I'm just going to follow them. Down his jacket. So it just makes it sort of all pop. Look at that. It's just. Close my mind, that was a plain bit of MDF five minutes ago. Look at it now. Like that. And then down his jacket. You really should wait until it's dry before you use your pens. Yeah. Because it, it does tend Time to is of the essence, though, for us, clog. isn't it? But yes. And then we're going in with my favourite white. And we're just going to add extra... Oh, this is the little the little Maybe. dabs to yep. give you the highlights. Yeah, half the stock has gone now on our Santas, our MDF Santas. Eight six one four four zero is the item number for that one. Nine ninety nine. Half the stock's gone. He is super cute. 
and we might just add some extra wee stars. Because, of course, you, you, you're not just having this for this Christmas, are you? Once you've made it, if you, you can bring just get it out. every year. Yeah, 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 and if you don't, we said earlier, if you don't actually glue them into the base, mm. then you could take them out and flat pack them, easier yeah. for, for ah, storing. Okay. Over. And will they stand up without glue in the base? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I'm just okay. going to wait to stand them up. Yep. So I think we're just about finished. Yeah, yeah. he's quite cute. Yeah. And then we'll stand him up in his base. And Here we we'll go. Turn them round. Off him round. Bye bye. There, there you go. Snowy Santa. Santa. Snowy <laughs> Santa. That's yeah. great. That and is you, great. You can add your. Um, you you do get your stars with it, so yeah. you can make your. You can be holding his little garland, and yes. you could use accessories from the pack, the little stockings and mitts. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, add them in there. I I I quite like to put a, like a little sack, a little Hessian sack or that something in front of him with presents yeah. coming out of it, yeah. I think, would good. look really good. I might do that at home, yeah. 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 Oh, I see. I yeah. that's, my, that's my little trend for, yes. for next year there. <laughs> um, that's great, Wendy. Thank you very much. So, uh, as I say, Santa's, half of the stock has gone on, the, on Santa's. But what about our MDF wreath bundle here? This is bundle number one. This is new today. And it's 9 99 and we're getting all of that. You're getting uh, ornate baubles, you're getting plain baubles, you're getting um, two of the plain reefs there, the circular shaped ones, you're getting the, the uh, etched star plaque here. 70% of the stock has gone on this. You're getting this ornate wreath as well. Really, really pretty. And this is what it all looks like behind, as you can see, uh, once you've uh, decorated it all. That's the kind of effect that you get. 999-816-596. We've got uh, lots of different samples that we've shown you. Oh, and we're going to move over to sample two, uh, uh, bundle two in a second. There you go. There's a couple of samples. Bundle two here is 11.99. We it, we sold out. Uh, we then brought it back on extended delivery, so it will be dispatched from the first of November here. Now. Two-thirds of this stock has gone, so it's sold out, it's come back, two-thirds has already gone. Look at this now, look at how much you're getting here. This is why it's been so popular, because uh, for $9.99, you're getting all of these different reeves here. Nine different ones in total. One really big one here, and then two of every other design. And you've got all sorts of... Oh, this is a good one as well. I haven't looked, looked at this one yet. There you go. We've got all the... The uh, leaf. What sort, of, what sort of leaves are those? It's, a, it's like a pine branch. Pine branch. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you've got Lauren in there as well. You've got ivy. This is the effect that it uh, creates. Zero one two three nine six is the item number. Eleven ninety nine for that. Then you've got your embellishment pack number one here. So we've been using a lot of these items on here to add to the reefs as well, just to give it that extra dimension. These are all the various things you're getting. It's not a case of contents may vary. Everything you see here, you will be getting 54 parts in total. 093625 is the item number for this. And you're getting your bows, you're getting your stockings, mittens, your baubles here as well. Getting oh trees, I can see you're getting stacks and stacks, and often you're getting many of the same uh, design, so you can uh, make it a pattern. You've got loads of baubles here to hang off of your tree, and as I say, you can see everything. Oh look at that! You can layer up these flowers at the bottom here too. All of this can be put onto your wreaths. That's zero nine three six two five, and it's eleven ninety nine for fifty four pieces of MDF. Eleven ninety nine. Uh, our winter embellishment pack number two is twelve ninety nine. It's more traditional. You're getting all the leaves, you're getting the pears, you're getting the dried fruits, you're getting the tree trunks cut through here, you're getting the furs. This is on extended. It sold out. We brought it back. It's a seven day extended delivery, so it will be dispatched on the first of November. Plenty of time for Christmas. 40% of the stock that we brought back has now gone already. 698706 for this one. 1299. Now, Wendy, whew, got through a lot there, didn't we? <laughs> um, when are you back? Um, end of November with oh, a one okay. day special. For a one day special? Yes. Can you give us any spoilers or anything nope. like that? Nope. Oh. <laughs> That's an anti climax. It, it will a, be a a practical thing. things, as in. Maybe frames, book boxes. Oh. It's, so it's in my head. We'll be nearer to Christmas, but already you'll have moved on from oh, Christmas. Yeah, well, we'll Christmas be, be so old news. over Christmas by yeah, then. Because, of, because <laughs> you're trendy Wendy. Yes. Of course. That's it, yes. And what day is the, uh, the one day special? I have actually no idea. I yeah. just know it's 
later on in November. Right, OK, yeah. look forward to that. That gives yeah. you just enough time to get up to Scotland and get back again. Yes. If you get your skates on, yeah. mm -hmm. um, you'll be fine. Um, yeah, well, good luck with it all in the, in the, coming, in the coming month Thank and you. uh, your business. Thank you. And you're going to go back now and dispatch all of this. Yes. Good for you. <laughs> thanks, Wendy. Thank you. Um, I'll see you a little bit later on, but for now, thanks for watching. But plenty more to come. Because in a minute, it's our fifth birthday from All and Create. Then we have some mixed media from Studio Light. And it's sewing then with myself and Marent Art Crafts. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for FlexiOrder, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people would be too. Don't forget to join me on my Rowan Dean shows. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, but this allows us to have designs that are intricate. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. And we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Day and the celebrations are continuing. All and create five years old. They seem as if they've been here forever in a good way. And so many different fabulous things that they've brought us over those five years. And of course, they continue to grow with us here at the craft store. We reckon that there's over 600 stamp sets that they have produced in their time. That's not even bringing into account things like the stencils and the masks and all the additional, the, the dyes and the washi tapes. There is so much. And they have grown from that first range, which I think Janet told me was about 10 stunts to start with. That is the thing, that's what happens when you've got a fabulous company that we're working with. And of course, a fabulous guest as well, the lovely Janet joining Hello. me. And is that right? They started off with about 10 stamp sets. I think so, yeah. I wasn't around right at the very beginning, unfortunately. But I think, yeah, it was about 10 stamp sets. Amazing. And we're up to, I think it's 618. Wow. Now. My goodness. It's so amazing. many different styles as well. Yeah. So many different designers get involved. Yeah. And that's the beauty of the company. And I think that was Ab's um, sort of... Um, ambition's the wrong word but like philosophy th or, yeah. yeah he wanted to um embrace a lot of cultures yeah he, he worked on design a lot of different design teams from different countries and he wanted to 
just bring all that bring together, all together under which one she's done perfectly it's brilliant yeah it really has brilliant. done now of course to celebrate well you're gonna want some deals well we've got deals for you and we've got deals in abundance in different kind of different sizes and guises depending on what you're wanting to go for and for this hour we're going to be focusing on kind of the third part of the monthly mega deal third um, the mega deal is split into three different designers we've seen a couple of those previously um abs and of course lovely tracy have been here over the weekend and then of course we've got janet and janet's designs are amazing and of course we've got a different Janet joining us who's going to be demonstrating. I got confused because I thought they were the one the same to start with but there you go that's another story. Now this particular section of the monthly mega deal is available by itself and we've got the details that have popped up on your screen there. We've got two prices for you because everybody's going to be saving with this one but if you are a freedom member you are saving that little bit more. Well I say a little bit more it's quite a considerable amount more to be fair and you've got a fabulous array of 12 stamp sets all themed around zodiac signs and we we say that because you've kind of got the the kind of connotations the nod towards those um, different uh, uh, zodiacs and of course the style that the characters very much in that keeping but there's a lot of these that you will be using in totally different ways I mean we chatted about this earlier on Janet I mean some of these like the twins the Gemini ones the two girls you could use that for like you, a friend's you, card you could use that for anything so if, if somebody's got twins girls or if, if they're um, sisters or best friends or yeah. anything really like that you could use it for um, so there's nothing specifically and again that one there the water carrier Aquarius nothing on that is particularly so she's a star sign she's just a pretty True. girl with a vase of water and the Virgo, Virgo as well even just more so really yeah. sweet with her little fox there so she's just sweet um, and then the archer Sagittarius so those I think you and Adam both said they could be knitting needles so if you know Def a knitter yeah, definitely. <laughs> she's holding an out a bow but um, that could be probably disguised so uh, yeah that could be somebody who likes their it. knitting and you can see with the finished samples I mean there's so many different opportunities for you to work with these as well they are absolutely adorable and the beauty is because they're in that style that we've seen before from Janet they're going to work with other things that you've got within your stash as well so other character stamps that you've got the little one there Taurus with her horns there we saw her being used at the end of the last hour almost like a Halloween style card where she'd got horns and she was almost like that kind of a fiendish little look the cutest fiend that you could ever come across to be fair <laughs> but then you've got obviously the connotations there those kind of traits that are sometimes associated with the different star signs which you can include they're included within the stamps and also kind of the the, the shape the symbol um, they are there as well which makes some fabulous backdrops for your stamps to work with but it doesn't stop there course it's a birthday so they're going to be gifts but this time it's a gift to you from um, the all and create team and it's this fabulous stamp that we've got in front of us here and this is something that is incredibly useful it's called inky numbers and we see this style of stamp being used in backdrops over and over again yeah so this is a fabulous stamp this is by um, Olga and it's got um, so it, it would give the impression if you stamped it in black it gives the impression that you've stamped onto um, like paper writing something like that, a book or something like that but you can also use it with colour as well so don't always stamp it in black I have to tell myself that <laughs> don't always stamp in black other colours are available <laughs> That's um, true. and you, you can obviously just have make different effects depending on what colour you stamp it with so really versatile lovely background stamp I love it and everybody that goes for the deal that we're chatting about here gets that so whether you're a freedom member or not that will be included but of course let's talk about price let's talk about deals that's what we want with this bundle and that's exactly what we've got so everybody is saving at least 15 pounds with this one but if you're a freedom member you are saving more you can see on your screen there 23 pounds and 49 pence is your saving that's in addition to any associated savings with regards to the bundle and of course you're going to get that fabulous stamp in there as a bonus also means that those flexi buy payments are going to come down these are available two flexi buys for everybody but if you are a freedom member then rather than 42 90 and um, 44 you are going to be paying 38 pounds and 20 pence and that's quite, quite great price I have to say when you consider you're getting 12 stamp sets well 13 if you can that birthday bonus and then it's what you can do with them and we saw some fabulous demonstrations in the last time um, and Janet I have to say she was amazing she did four demos at the same time because what she actually did was she took the different star signs and put them into their little groupings like fire yep so there's the four, four groups, yeah. So this, and I think this is Philippa, isn't it? She, she, she had the same sort of idea as I, I had, and she, she grouped them into their, their elements as well. So these are the fire signs. 
Aries Leo and Sagittarius. Oh, they're fabulous. I love that. I love the colours that she chose there. Yeah, lovely. Debbie, however, chose to t create a card maybe for somebody who's a Sagittarius and it's their birthday coming up because, of course, you've got, as I say, those traits potentially. We're not Those aren't guaranteed. You can <laughs> interchange those if you want to yeah. as well. <laughs> but I love the backdrop. I mean, I love these fabulous little arrows that are a part of it yeah, as well. Yeah, so that's the symbol for Sagittarius, but, but fantastic. Oh, sorry, I'll keep leaning. <laughs> That's you keep right. catching me lounging around. Comfy. <laughs> yes, get yourself comfortable. So I'll stand up straight. <laughs> um, so yeah, fantastic background. So you've got the hearts, which um, is a, a, I don't know if that's the stamp or the stencil she's used there, but um, from the heart collection we had earlier on, and then just just incorporated it with the star signs and the thing. So I love that. Is it a washi tape yeah. at the bottom? Yeah, that's washi rebel. tape. So be a rebel. Yeah. Isn't that perfect for that one. Yeah. Um, next one I've got here. This one is my star sign, which is Cancer. Um, and I love this because obviously you've got, again, the symbols, again, using all sorts of different things. And I love this. She's got very much a French look going on. Because yeah, she's definitely. Wearing that crab as a beret. Clever she idea. Is. Yeah, it just looks like a beret and just do it. I immediately thought French when I saw that one. So I don't know who's done that. Is that... Oh, it'll, it? it'll be on the back, won't it? Yeah. Um, Debbie. Oh, Debbie, be Debbie. Yeah, love so that idea. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> now, one of the stamps that you could quite easily be using and have no connotation towards the zodiacs at all is um, a Virgo. And Virgo, we established that um, the spiritual animal of Virgo is a fox, hence the little fox being featured on there. So we had quite a few emails in the last hour when I asked out about that one, so thank you for that. But again, take away Virgo. I mean, you can still use some of those traits yeah, if you want to. you can to. still use some of the words. And the words again can be used anywhere when you, whatever stamp sets you've other stamp sets you've got you can incorporate the words into Cle that. Clever idea. You can see here where the symbol is being used there to, to, to kind of enhance the hole that you've got in your tag. And I love this Libra with the scales, but scales that have got equally balanced cupcakes. Well, I'm hoping, like hoping in the next show, I'm hoping to do a demo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You keep catching you, it's in your lounge, all right, don't worry. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to do a demo with that one to, in kind of a kitchen connotation. Oh, so, uh, clever yeah. idea, clever idea. And again here, utilising them with other things that you've got in your stash. Um, this fabulous kind of stencil that's been used in the background here, it's giving it that very much kind of like a, a tropical feel with regards to that. That really does, brilliant. so that, that looks like, because obviously Leo the lion, so it's kind of in a, in a kind of nice sort of jungly sort of setting really, which Isn't looks lovely, fabulous. yeah. But again, taken out of the um, setting here totally different look and you were talking about how you kind of uh, played around with this design I, yeah took the ears away took I the took, tail away took the ears away and the tail away and then um, I put a hat on as well and put her into like a little winter scene so yes, she'd nice got idea. a warm a warm boots on there because she's got little fluffy <laughs> boots um, and just put a hat on and uh, yeah I love it. I absolutely love it. And they are just so quirky. I mean, they're perfect if you are making cards to sell and you're wanting that kind of connection. People like to receive something that's kind of got that personalization, hasn't it? So that's exactly what we've got with regards to the Zodiac. So these ones, absolutely beautiful. I love this. It just looks like it's got yeah, a very warm coat it's on. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you fancy getting hold of these, they are available, as you can see with the details on your screen, 458736. You can find them as a pick and mix on the website as well. So if you want to kind of choose different items, you can do and it's also in the mega bundle as well now the mega bundle you're going to keep the saving that we've been speaking of but you will get an additional saving meaning that freedom members overall you are say, um, saving so much that it comes down to 197 pounds and 75 pence now within that bundle you've got the three different deals that we've seen over the weekend so the designs by abs the designs by tracy and indeed the designs by um, janet that we've been chatting about and you're getting all of their associated bonus gifts. In fact, you're actually getting 11 bonus gifts within this particular one. Those bonus gifts alone would normally set you back over £90. Wow, that is a bumper bundle. And you can see here we've got a mixture of stamps, we've got a mixture of stencils as well, all featuring. And these ones that you can see on your screen are your bonus items. £90.89p, that's what you'd normally be paying for. 130 stamps in total, my goodness. So if you want to get a hold of your Zodiac stamps via the complete bundle, just be mindful it is now limited in stock and it's only while stocks are permitted. While we've got the stocks available, then you can get a hold of those. Janet will be working with lots of other things that you will be able to find on the website. But we've got a lovely Emily, who's going to keep an eagle eye open <laughs> and she's going to bring up the details um, as um, Janet works with them. So, Janet, what are you working with to start with? So, I like to start the shows with just doing something where I've got all of the all of the zodiac signs in. So, I thought I'd do um, a little booklet and I got the idea for this from Corrie because she did a, 
a little teeny miniature one. She used two inch squares and I've used three inch squares because two inches was just a little bit too small. So I've just, just done all my little different star oh. signs in here. And here I've split the Gemini up so I, I couldn't fit them on. <laughs> so I thought I'd just cut them in half and so I've, I've split them up so you can separate them as well so they don't have to be together. Um, I've done my Cancer and my Leo. Ah. And we've got Virgo and Libra and Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn and Aquarius. And then we've got <laughs> the Pisces at the end. Just, I love uh, it. Yeah. Fabulous. So. And it's nice actually because it gives you the opportunity to look at them quite closely when you look at them like that. Because yeah. there's so much in the stamp set, you don't always look at the main character and see all the details. So what I've done is I've cut my squares. So these are three inch squares and I've just... Um, blended ink around them um, but I will I'll just show you one that I've done oh, I've got one colour missing here so I've used a uh, prize ribbon and wilted violet which are dark colours so this, uh, this was quite scary for me <laughs> because I, um, I normally don't um, use quite such dark colours but I thought well if I'm going to um, if I'm going to uh, do them in just have them as white images then I need a dark background for them to show up. Oh that's a good point, yes, yeah. And then I've got wilted violet. So just blended those around. Ooh. Two colours that work really well together. Yeah and I have actually on my original one I've so I've got I've, I've put picked raspberry in here as well so there is oh, a pink okay. bark that's just gone missing for the moment. I think I've put the wrong colour ink on there. So I'll just make that a little bit lighter. So that's all I've done is just blended the colours okay. around all of them. So I'm sure you don't want to watch me do that for no, but 12 thank you little for squares. Us. Good to know. So then what I'm going to do is just to give the background a little bit of interest, I'm going to use um, so I'm going to do this in fours because I can get four of these into one. And there were three inch squares, did you say? To three start inch with? squares okay. to start with. So I'm just going to pop those there and I'm going to use my stencil. This this has come from the um, big mega bundle. So this is Bipasha stencil that Abs had in his. Oh, this is a fabulous one. And wow. And all I'm going to do is spritz it with water. A fair bit of water. And then I can get all four of these in one. Oh, I see. <laughs> Hence, I see where you're coming from. And you just want to give I it a little detail press. detail on these is amazing. Yeah, they are. They're, they're very fine detail. And they, they, again, you don't have to, because they're sort of a web, but you don't have to use them as, as a web. It kind of depends how um, how much of it you use and that's how... That's a fair point, yeah. I don't know how that's going to show up there. Just block that. Yeah, so it's just a little nice. background element there, because... So you can just see little bits. That hasn't come out quite as well as it sometimes does for some reason. But, but that's the thing, isn't but, it? But yeah. it's, it's still there. It's kind of drawing your eye in to, to kind of scour it and see all the different um, elements and yeah. like it. So I'm just going to do my other ones. There we are. Also, it might depend how dark my background is as well, how much it shows up. So actually, the more it's developing, that one, as the water reacts, it's actually showing up a little bit more. Yes, so it as it, it kind of it out, the it? time water has to have time to react. Of course, everything's ready on immediate dispatch. So uh, as soon as you place your order, I mean, some of those people who place their order over the weekend, I imagine that their orders will potentially be on their way to them. So uh, Halloween is this weekend, so you might even be crafting with this one for your Halloween weekend. Mm. Let me just do that one. Lovely. And of course you've got um, not only this particular stencil feature in that monthly mega um, deal, you've got those bonus ones. There's actually two as your bonus gifts 
with this particular one. Um, so you've got your letters and your numbers and those gorgeous florals as well. Um, there's loads of other stencils. I mean, all and create don't just bring us stamps. I mean, over time they've developed and they're creating dyes. They've got some fabulous stencils as well. And there's loads of those on the website. And there's loads associated to the show as well. So have a little look. When you go onto the website, everything that's associated to the show, you can literally scroll along, add them to your basket as you go. And if you're wanting to go to the brand section, you can actually see all the different stencils that we're seeing from All and Create that we have in the holding stock here as well. So there's loads of different things you can look at. All right, so last four. I probably ought to leave these to dry while I just do my stamping out, but I'll, I'll just leave them. So With they this, I suppose, I'm just thinking because we've, we've seen a lot of people um, showing a lot of interest in the 6x6 six six stencils. And I suppose if you've got your your four squares and you've got three, that will be six across and six down, won't it? So again, these are good ones to use, Eliza. Um, and this is a nice one. We saw this one being used in the last hour as well. The one in the bottom right-hand corner there, Saturday morning, a lovely design. Um, you've got art in there, you've got tray fiori, you've also got petals, um, petals and pods come together. Um, and uh, again, that's your art one, as you can see there. But some of these have kind of got an outline, so they've got a square outline. Some of them are what I call a, an open design there. Um, and uh, some really Really nice designs. Again, look at the price though. £12 saving on these. So, of course, this is something that you could be added into your basket. Or maybe you can't stretch to the uh, mega bundle. Maybe you can't stretch to uh, the stamps. But you wanted to get something and perhaps try out the technique that Janet's sharing with us. That's a good way of getting involved. And there's lots of other bundles as well. So it's worth having a look at those as well. Okay, so I'm just stamping out my little people. So I've just put these all onto, I've put them in threes onto the um, border blocks just because it's easier for me. A bit of something there. It's easier for me, um, it's quicker, that's okay. what I'm trying to say, than that's to a good do idea, them all in actually, one go. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't, you, I suppose in theory you could put them on an A4 block and do the whole lot, but I wouldn't risk that. I think you'd, you would, yeah, it you would be too big, so, yeah, yeah, you'd miss, maybe miss a few bits here and there. So I think doing it in threes is quite a nice size to be able to do that. I love the idea of using these in my planner as well for when you're yeah. planning for people's birthdays throughout the year. Um, you could have each one of these, couldn't you, with your 12 different zodiacs? Yeah, I think it's nice for like birthday books or just yes, notebooks yeah. and things. So, I, so there's those three. We have. I'll show you a little bit later on. There's a fabulous finished sample because there's 12. They're kind of the, the points on a clock as well. I thought that was a brilliant yeah, that's idea. An amazing idea. That's an amazing thing. The clock's wonderful. So this is my uh, twins, Taurus and Aries here. So we've got the Gemini, Taurus and Aries. And it's amazing because I know a lot of people don't believe in all this zodiacs and things but everybody knows what the star sign is <laughs> I, think, I think it's one of those things that i, I kind of call myself a, a health well a healthy skeptic maybe <laughs> yeah. i have an interest within it but at the same time i wouldn't live i don't live my don't life live, that no, way no, exactly. but i find it fascinating yeah. find it very very interesting i was talking about libra earlier on my son was born libra and and it was a case of like i thought when I looked at it, he evaluates things, but like the scales, balances things out and consider. As a child, definitely not. But as he's grown into an adult, incredibly so. He's always doing his research and finding out the best kind of the most economical usually. If you want something and you want to pay a low price for it, you ask our <laughs> Matt, he'll find it straight away, honestly. It's a perfect one to take shopping with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know someone like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't be bothered, I must admit. No. I just, I don't know, I just lose interest. Mind you, I don't really go shopping. I do a lot of it online. <laughs> yeah, especially since COVID. I'm like, well, I'm hardly true, going to the shops yeah. at all anymore. Look at so these. those are mine. But some Such of these, so, detail, yeah, they? they are lovely. And some of these, so like, she is just nothing to do with star signs. You could choose her for anything. Yeah. But so a lot of them are, are easy to adapt just to, to... I mean, obviously, you're probably going to buy them because you want the zodiac signs. Yes. But having got them, then it's nice to have the well, versatility. Well, if somebody came along and said, oh, can you make me a, a card for twin girls? Then yeah. straight away, you You've know you can one, go to you? your Gemini yeah. stamp, don't you? So, exactly. Yeah. So I'm just going to do... I probably won't do all of these because, obviously, they're all the same. So um, I've used my um, symbols. So I'm actually going to start the other end because I keep starting with the um, Aries and then we never get to the other end. So I'm going to start the other end this time. <laughs> so, so where um, do the 
the th when you're talking about a zodiac year, whereabouts do we start with a zodiac year? Aries, do you know? Aries is the first Aries one. Aries is the first one. Yeah. Aries is the first one, then Pisces is the last one. So I've just used um, my little symbols. Just, and I've done this in, uh, this is uh, Versifying Claire, and it's Carnation Pink. So I just thought that went quite nicely with... It's like a letter H, that one, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> cool. it is. I just wondered if I've done that the right way up. <laughs> might, might, it's supposed to be that way, maybe. I don't I know. I don't know. Anyway, so I've just used that... Oh, no, I've done it the right way. That was OK. And then Aquarius has the little waves. So on the Aquarius stamp... You've got, oh yeah, you've got the little waves. So all of them have their symbol as well as all the, um, the words to describe the sign and the actual name of the sign as well, of course. And I love it because, of course, you can choose which of these you're wanting to go for. We're talking about the savings and the bigger bundle, that's naturally where you're going to get those savings. But I know lots of you do like to shop with your kind of your individual, so it might be that you're drawn to just getting a couple of these. Maybe it's you're not making your cards, you're not necessarily making your cards to sell, should I say, and you don't need all 12 of those. Well, you can kind of cherry pick, choose any four for £31.96. So you could choose those characters that you like. Maybe you want to go for the characters that haven't necessarily got anything to do with your, your zodiac signs maybe like the Gemini maybe like your little Aries I think Aries is fabulous with that little winter coat on there or maybe you are going to go down the route that you're just wanting to get four of them you're going to come back and get the others as time goes on that's okay that's not a problem at all that's how we set these products up so you can choose you can get what you want to at whatever time you like but do bear in mind if you are planning to get hold of all of them then do bear in mind that you have got the complete set with your two um, flexi buys on that as well so if you're a freedom member i'm not sure what the difference is between your freedom membership um flexi buy and the payment that you're looking at on the screen there i don't think there's going to be an awful lot in it when i think about the price that we've got because of course flexi buy um, for freedom members is split over two payments which is 38 pounds and 19 pence there or thereabouts we'll double check on that one for you but what that means is for that first payment which is a little bit more yeah it's about seven pounds or so more than the set of four but you're going to get all of them you're going to get all 12 of those and you're going to get your bonus as well so before you check out your baskets with just four of them do bear in mind that just for a little bit more that first flexi buy will get you everything obviously you'll have your second payment to go out in a month's time but you would potentially be coming back to choose another four and then potentially your final four to get all 12 of them over time so it might be worth thinking about spending that little bit extra today and obviously having the payment next month and getting hold of them all together because that will bring the price of them down with four and you're looking at 32 pounds so we're looking at what does that work out at something like eight pounds each is that right have i done the maths right there 7.99 bigger my goodness i've astounded myself there but when you're actually looking them at, at them in the one day special when you look dividing it by the um the 12 i mean let's forget about the the, the free stamp that you're getting with this one it's, it means that you're paying a much less price for each one of those because that's what a one day well not one day special the bundle does for you when we've got the discounted price so um it's just thinking about it and obviously choose the way that you want to shop that's totally up to you we've got all those different uh, kind of options there but just make sure that you be before you kind of complete your order that you've made that decision because it's you, you can't really go back on it once you've done it so yeah I would consider going for them all together and the details are on your screen but pick a mix at the bottom should you need it how are you getting on right that's there, all right I'll stop when you when you come back to me I'll just stop doing this so obviously all I've She's done here is, time. <laughs> is just stamped um, the the symbols so I've done a couple for each one on there and then what I thought would be nice was on um, the Gemini so the Gemini is a little bit different because the the figure is bigger because they have to have twins so um, so this is an a6 set all the others are a7s but this is a6 so um, just so that everything would fit on but also which is nice they've included the constellation here for Gemini so um, so that you've got your little extra kind of backgroundy sort of stamp that you can like use a so um, oh, I'm yeah. going to use that so I'm just going to find my black ink pad and then we can just do a little background with these as well and I love that these two little girls together look absolutely adorable they are really sweet almost well, it's like a mirror of, um, image isn't it I mean you could almost do that with the, these isn't it use it as a 
uh, looking into a mirror and looking at a reflection. Oh, you should, yeah. So I've just stamped a few of the stars around as well on each one of these. You want one. And again, always just turn your card so you're not getting the same kind of image all the time. Just put another one there. It's so again, I won't, I'm, I'm not going to do this with all 12. <laughs> 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 but just to give you the idea that, um, of how nice that all works. Nice little filler stamp, isn't it? I mean, that could yeah. make a fabulous little frame. And it, it's a nice little background, yeah, you could mm -hmm. easily. And because, actually, it's a nice shape, so you can, you can change the shape yeah. of it quite easily, how you, and if you just fill in odd bits and pieces here and there. So I'll do one more just because I can. I've got a lot of ink on my stamp, that was all. Uh, so let's have the cobweb at the bottom there. So I'll do you. Let me just put one there. So it's nice and you could yeah. go all the way around as a frame, as you say. So I will leave that there. Wonderful. I'm just going to have a little mop up. Now the Zodiac collection that we've got on the screen getting very, very busy during this hour. Might be the first hour that you've actually seen these as well. Because um, perhaps I was busy over the weekend I didn't have an opportunity to see these. I know lots of you did get involved and lots of you have placed your orders. But this might be the first time that you've had a chance to sit down and have a little look. Well, I love the idea of Zodiac cards, I have to say. When you're making cards to sell, people like to buy a card that's kind of got that connection with the person that's receiving this. And don't forget, this could be the starting point of your card. Obviously, taking the designs, taking the, the little kind of images that you've got, taking those um, uh, different phrases that you've got on here as well, as I say, all those different traits that might be associated with those Zodiac signs. But of course, you could go off and do your own research as well on the internet. Many of our computers have kind of got the ability that we can do a word processing document where you could kind of add um, an insert to your card that gives you even more information maybe the date ranges of um, those different zodiac signs I know lots of them are related to things like colors and obviously we've been talking about the uh, the um, the fact that they're kind of like a, a sign as in air as in water earth um, and fire they come into different groups as well there's a lot more that you can go into with regards to these, and these are kind of the, the the first point the first front of that if you want to. Or it could be that just simply taking them because you like the characters, you like the look of these. But I just think it's a lovely collection and there's nothing stopping you making these into almost like a birthday book. And rather than selling cards with that person's zodiac sign on, selling it as a little kind of birthday book that people could make a note of their different friends, their family, so they don't miss the birthdays. But what a fabulous bunch of stamps. They're so cute. And they work so well alongside Janet's other artwork. This is the thing we forget that there's a whole range of different characters out there that um, Janet has created and these will work with many of those um, and uh, many of the things that you've got in your stash those gorgeous waves I mean that's another stamp that we saw Janet working with earlier on this morning but uh, of course you can see that I think that one's Pisces I love the little fish in the hair as well <laughs> it's so fabulous cute. it's brilliant a lot of detail in there yeah so what I've done is when I've done this I've stamped all the star signs out I've then just found a pencil colored pencil that that kind of matches and I've just coloured in the, the signs just to, to help them stand out a little bit more against the background. So they always, um, it always helps if you just can colour things in a little bit. Just help them to stand out. And then for the stars, I've just used a white pen and just gone in and just added some little white. Obviously, I haven't coloured them in all that accurately because uh, they're quite small. But I've just added a little touch of white into there to do my background and then because I'm going to map them onto black what I've done is I've actually edged them with a white I'm, I'll edge this one because I haven't got my white paint on there <laughs> um, is I, I've um, I've edged them with a white pen rather than a, a black one so that it actually stands out against the black so I just do the same thing as I always do just just run along the edge and although the paint kind of disappears a little bit into the into the card it does show up once you put it onto the black it does actually show up so if I find a piece of black card then that that white edge just does make a difference once you put them on there and then I find my little so which one have I got here which symbol is this Capricorn so then it's just a case of popping all my little characters onto the onto the cards there it is 
It's my little Capricorn, and then just popping him on there um, so that he can he shows up. And I haven't really coloured these ones in at all. I've just left them as they are. So if I just show you my finished card, you can see I've just done the same thing with all of them. Coloured in my stars white, added my little... All I don't... I have to do the lips. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't leave them completely black. I have to do the lips. Um, and then stamped out all the, all, the st all the stamps have got their um, actual names of the star sign on there as well. So I've just stamped those out, cut them out, um, and then just um, sorted. And the twins, as I say, the twins, I just cut them so in the hand. So where, you, where they are... Just stamp here. Emily was saying it looks like she's doing yeah. her sister's you hair You can there. just, yes, <laughs> uh, you can just snip the hands if you cut everything else out. They're the only thing that joins them is the hands, so, um, and then that just made them fit onto the card. Fabulous little idea, love it. Yeah. And what I did, when I stamped, so I matted them all onto black cards, so I've done two sides of the black, and just where I punched the hole, so there's two, one piece of black card has two. Just to get the hole in the same position, I found a piece of, just a piece of card that I've used as a template, um, put that over there, and then I've just, you can stamp the hole in the same place for each one. Ah, clever. So that's that, and then just put a little ring pull through. That is amazing. Well, that's it. Janet, thank you. I really enjoyed that. I'm going to let you get ready for your next yep. demonstration, if that's okay. While well, I mention Mega Bundle, and that's what I've got in front of me here. Oh, my goodness. There is so much in here. You've got over 100 stamps, 130 stamps, to be precise. You've got stencils in here as well. And, of course, you've got those bonus gifts, which I'll tell you about in a few moments. But this is where you will find that fabulous collection that we've been concentrating on during this hour in amongst this wonderful collection. It's made up over three different collections coming together. So obviously we're talking about Janet's artwork, which we've got in front of us with all those fabulous zodiac signs. You've also got Tracy Evans's artwork in here. And also I think it's Papasha who's got involved with this one as well. So you've kind of got elements from all of the different designers coming together beautifully. Regularly you will spot the artwork. You'll look at these you'll straight, straight away that Janet Klein has created these because it's got that style to it, haven't they? They've got that fabulous look that Janet um, brings so, so well. That little quirky look, that little bit of humour um, added in there. So that is obviously the one that we've been looking at. But then when you start looking at the others, and I have to say, the finished samples are absolutely astounding because it's the first time that I've seen these up close. So obviously the Zodiacs, we've been looking at those previously, but then across to the side here, we've got all those additional um, artworks. Now the ones that we've got at the top, I think these are the ones from Bapasha. If I'm, um, I'll kind of look at the designs and uh, kind of get the feel for the different artists and this was our weekend wow so if you did see any of the shows abs was here showing us how to work with these absolutely amazing and of course you can see you've got stamps in here you've got the um, spiders web a stencil as well that we saw janet working with in her demonstration so these are elements that will cross pollinate i have to say i love these kind of little fresh french bulldog and there's a cat in there and there's all sorts so if you're into your animal charities making your christmas cards and things like that then these are going to be perfect to work with them absolutely adorable designs halloween we've mentioned there or maybe you're just into witchery kind of things well you've got all of those for your potions and your lotions as you can see there as well and here you go you can see that witch's hat featuring which you did see in a demonstration at eight o'clock this morning that little kind of cheeky cat giving a little bit of a wink there and sticking his tongue out but this is one of my favorites i have to say can you see this one here this is so sweet. If you are a dog lover like I am, I would be absolutely thrilled to bits to get a card with this little character on there. And of course, you've got the little witchy hat. So if you're into your cats, it might be your Halloween -y cats that you're working with. And the, incidentally, the hats aren't actually attached to the stamps themselves. So it isn't a case that it's got to be used for Christmas. It can be used any time of year. But isn't it a fabulous stamp, that one? I love those. Just was drawn to those. But then, of course, we've got Tracy's artwork as well. This is the beauty. It's kind of a, an amalgamation of three fabulous artists. So Tracy, of course, she was here over the weekend as well. And her artwork, I think we can see down at the front here. And she's got that very kind of botanical style that she works with. So she does some really nice designs. Birds, she loves featuring within her stamps. And they all kind of make an appearance within her set. But they all cross-pollinate so, so well. That is the beauty of the All and Create design team. Well, not design team, but the artists, the designers. And this is kind of where Ab's got his focus, his vision from that he wanted to bring 
bringing together all of these artists from all around the world um, and uh, indeed that is exactly what he's done so those are your stamps your 130 stamps you've got your three stencils but let's talk about those bonuses because you're getting 11 extra gifts so when we saw the different shows with the different ranges that many of you will have seen over the weekend you were getting different bonus gifts and of course you've got those fabulous um, numbers that we're going to be getting with the bundle today but these are all bought together with additions so you've got 11 stamps and stencils um, in fact it's 11 stamps isn't it 11 stamp sets and stencils together sorry um, so yes so they all come together as you can see here so you've got a mixture of your numbers stamps and stencils featuring there as well and again they're just so useful you would normally be paying 90 pounds and 89 pence for these there's the one that we were featuring today as well so um, your inky numbers that's the one that you would be getting if you were just going for your zodiac so they're still included within here but then you've got all of those others as well so it makes sense that if you can stretch to it and go for your zodiacs this way then it's certainly a consideration now everybody's saving 35 pounds on top of the savings they would have been making you can imagine there's loads of different combinations i'm not going to go through the maths of it all um, but you've got a 35 pound saving on top of any associated savings with any of the bundles previously that goes up to 56 pounds and 97 pence if you are a freedom member and again that is on top of any of those associated freedom member discounts so there's a lot of savings before you get to that 56 pounds and 97 pence saving but but what it means is the overall bundle is bought down by a huge amount and that's the thing that you need to be aware of three flexi by 65 pounds and 92 pence will get that to you and of course it might be that you're thinking about going for the zodiacs today which if you're going for it all out in, in one payment then it is a case that you'll be paying that one payment which is going to be more than your first flexi buy that we've been speaking of but of course if you're not a freedom member please become a freedom member because it's worth it for that saving alone i mean that saving why would you not become a freedom freedom member to take advantage of that saving so there you go 248608 if you're wanting to get hold of this now of course flexi buy means flexi order which means you can add lots of other goodies in so here's some of the stamp sets that some of you guys have been placing your orders for and this is where you have kind of got a accumulation again of different stars so with this one you're going to get your visual ingredients your chicken dance love that one the felines the gardener and you're also getting that kind of that squiggly one isn't it Warm and cozy. Ah, oh, okay. So there you go. Warm and cozy is included in this one as well. So loads of other bundles. And incidentally, you have got pick and mixes as well. But what else can I tempt you with? Oh, now the magical house. This is a nice one to go for as well. So, Magical House is included within this bundle. You can see you've actually got two of them. So, you've got six stamps overall, um, two stamp plates there. Look at the price there, £9.98. You've got £6 saving. My goodness, that is a jolly good saving. Um, at 390160, if you're liking these. We've got loads to share with you. Not going to go through all of them, but these are some of the ones that we know that you have been uh, li um, liking, you've been placing your order for. So, this one, we've got Rocking Corns and Rocking Solo. Oh, this is a new one on me. Ah, oh, rocking unicorns, look at this. Now this um, is only number 72 in the series. So of course, they've all got an indexing number and of course the numbers increase as you go through. But this, oh look at that, you rock my world. Um, I heard, that one's 103, so very early on within the, the, the ranges. So these could be areas that you're missing within your collection. You can get both of those for um, at 13 pounds and 98 pence. So we've been talking about unicorns. What about foxes? Well, we have got foxy friends that we can share with you. And again, this one is a set of 13 stamps. And we did see this one being used in the last ad. The tree was incredible. And of course, that fox that's kind of looking to the side as well. Look at that, you've always got a little curtsy one. 999-522-757 if you want in that one. And as I say, do check out a lot of the others um, because there's loads on there. Now, I mentioned to you about a Zodiac clock. Wow, this is the clock that I was talking about. I think this is an ingenious idea. And of course, it's something you can create very easy. If you've got pieces of grey board or MDF and obviously we regularly have those things like seven day savers and our happy hours what a perfect opportunity to use them and you can see that the different zodiac signs being used around there I'm guessing that they're in order I don't know I'm not going to check it out but you can see there you've got your 12 there because that's a key thing you've got 12 for the 12 um, obviously faces of your clock and then in the center there you've got their corresponding signs which I think is brilliant love that design and who's designed that one Philippa brilliant brilliant idea very clever so maybe that's what you're going to be making because you could make and sell things like these things that have been inspired by the design team and can you imagine you would have those on your stand they would be so popular 
And sometimes when you make your projects like this, you'll take as much time as you will with a card, but you tend to find that you reap more benefit when you're actually selling something that's been created as a gift more so than a card. So that's an idea perhaps for you. And of course, the details are up on your screen if you're wanting to go for this one. Just the zodiac signs, incidentally. We stepped away from that monthly mega deal that we were looking at earlier on. Um, so this is the set of 12 with your bonus coming to you with a saving of at least £15. Freedom members, you've got that additional discount with this one, um, but everybody is saving. So Freedom members, £76 and £39. Flexi buy is available on both of those options. So uh, yeah, consider those, why don't you? And I'm having a little, I can't quite see, I'm up on my tippy toes, but I can't see Janet. Oh, that's cute. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do another one now where we, we use one of the zodiac signs, but, but out of context, so that, that just to show you, they do mix and match with the others um, from the range. So these are mostly uh, Janet Klein stamps that I'm going to be using here now. So, but um, I will stamp out my little figures if I can. Oh. Never have a piece of paper handy. I always have everything else, but I forget to get a bit of paper. <laughs> um, so, hang on a minute. Let me just. There we go. So, I'm using um, obviously the um, lady from the star sign. Okay. Which is Aquarius. Um, but I'm also using the lady uh, from a set called The Gardener. Uh, so this is one of Janet Klein's sets. So this is a, I just thought that that lady, the minute I saw her, I thought garden. Um, <laughs> so I thought I'm just going to have to mix her in with one of the other stamp sets. So I'm going to use the, the lady, but also the flower pot in a little while as well. So we'll stamp those out to start with. Now this set, oh, this is a brilliant one. You've actually got a lot of content within this one. <laughs> you can see it's like and, and, dot, dot, dot. We're going to squeeze it down. Uh, but you've got uh, your visual ingredients feature in this one, your chicken dance, which is always good for a laugh. They, they are so comical, those little chickens are brilliant. Um, and then you've got your felines in there and the gardener, of course, that we've referenced already. So all of those coming to you. £26 saving on this. That's a good saving, isn't it? There, there are some amazing deals on... Oh. Amazing deals on the website today, so yeah, definitely go and have a look. I've just missed her leg there, but I'm not, I'm not going to go back in because I'm not very good at going back in over the top. But uh, you can stick her behind a flower. I'll stick her behind <laughs> a flower. Um, yep. So I've used her, and then I'm going to use. I've got some flowers that I'm going to use. So I'm using the flowers from a set called um, Flowers and Sunshine. So these are just three sweet little flowers and also the leaf as well and, and the, the clouds. And then I'm using the plant from the set I've just used as well from the gardener set. So that's the plant from that. Useful little set, that one, isn't it, with the plants? Yeah, the little flowers are really good because mm. you can just use them for um, and the pots and everything as well. So there's a... They make nice little scenes. I like the scene builders. I like the, the little bits you can you can add in. Um, so it's not just the characters. You can also add in all sorts of little bits and pieces with those. And then the other flower I've used um, comes from the uh, this set here, which is home. Ah, oh, so yes. The, the pot, pot, pot I in that corner. Today. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's most. Oh dear. I have to have a little tidy up here because I've got stuff everywhere. <laughs> no, that's okay. Now, some of them are put together in little bundles, and, and don't forget we've got the pick and mixes that, that are available on the brand section as well. So, if you wanted to choose your little bundle, make your own little bundle, we've got different pick and mixes for your, um, I think we've got them for, I don't know about the A4, but you've certainly your A7s, your A6s, and you're going from the smallest to the largest ones as well. So, that's another way you can kind of pick out the different ones that you want. But some of them have been put together in bundles with a discounted price. So, again, Again, they're all on the website. Again, you can scroll through. There's loads of different bundles. So rather than us going through all of them, pick and mix nice and easy. You've got all sorts of content in there. Or you can have a little look at the different bundles that have been put together as well. Right. So I'll just chuck those out of the way for the minute. <laughs> Quite nice having the big desk because I can just chuck everything. <laughs> One of the, I'm going to go like that in a minute. It'll all fall off, <laughs> fall off the end. So those are my, my little characters that I'm going to use. Um, and obviously I have got those sort of cut out. So I've cut my flowers out and everything, coloured those in. Um, and, and I haven't coloured my lady in yet, but uh, and my gardener. So they're all, all cut and, and ready to go. And then for my background for these, I like doing these backgrounds. I've used um, 
one of Ab stencils. So this is superbly square. <laughs> so it's a big square, big stencil with lots of squares. Um, and he does a lot of these um, designs now where the, the, um, the sort of a big section, big squares, and then sort of surrounded by smaller squares. And these are really, really versatile stamps. Uh, so let me check I've got that. Yep. So what I'm doing is I'm going to pop these on here and I can line, because they're all in a straight line here, I can line them up along the bottom of my card so I know where, I know I'm straight, ah, which is quite clever, a nice yes. thing. And then I'm just going to, this may not be in quite the same position, but I have got one I've already done, so I will show you that. And then literally I just draw around the squares. And I'm not going to draw around every single square on here. I'm just going to pick the ones I want to use. Um, and along, this is something I did a while ago, and I kind of found a layout that I really liked, and I kind of stick with it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's these ones. And I like those two baby ones there. Mm -hmm. I think that's... Oh, do the big one. That one, and then all I'm going to do, so that's my layout, is add one more, and I'm just going to add that one along here. And you can use these um, again. You've got your grid lines here, so you can use these to f to sort of position it in the right place where you want it to go. May not be. So that's just going to go there. So that's my basic layout for for how it's my background, and then just to give it a little bit more interest. I'll only do one of these again just to show you what I've done. But I just shade a little bit of black. And you can either go inside or outside the line. It just gives a, a slightly different effect. But on this occasion, I'm just going inside the line. And Ooh. just add a little bit here. We've had a, um, an email in from the eagle-eyed Tracy Evans. Oh, what she spotted. And she's, she, spy, she spied your working area. Oh. And, yes. <laughs> She said, Have I let you down, Tracy? Welcome no. to her work. I think she's kind of pleased, to be honest. She, she is. Yeah, she, she says that you're in very good company because it's, it's kind of very similar to her work in there as well. So this is what we like to see. <laughs> Adam bigged me up last night and he said how neat and tidy everything was. And Tracy messaged me and said, please make sure it's a mess by the end so that you don't let everyone down. <laughs> so I hope I haven't let you down, Tracy. I hope oh, it's no. messy enough. <laughs> That's a nice idea because it gives it the yeah, depth, doesn't it? Yeah, so it just it? gives yeah. it the depth. And then you just want to, I don't like sort of harsh edges for this, so just sort of bring the colour all the way through so it, it will fade out, but it, yeah. it just blends it. So I've done that with all of those. And I'm going to do a little trick. Oh, that was so, quick. Just yeah. a quick flick of the pen and they're all done. <laughs> and they're all done. <laughs> <laughs> quick flick of the hand and there we, there we are. That's very effective, isn't it? I like that. Stencil. Yeah, once they're all done, way, it does look quite, clever. it does give them mm. quite a 3D shape. So then all I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take my little characters and decide how I want them to go. And this is my favourite bit. I like doing this bit. I like um, making making them all fit, except I've lost them. Oh, I'll put them on there. there we are. So it's almost like a little collage. Yeah, and oh. I like I like to, to play with the with the layout. Doing the layout is my is my favourite. I like I like doing that. So you have to kind of play with them, decide how you want them to go, how do they look best, um, where do you want your, your flowers to go. So I've kind of it took me quite a long time so I'm quite happy with the layout I've got now. Um, but let me put my plant pots. So that one, I, except I put that. I think I put that one in the wrong place. I want that one to go there. And then this one just sits up here. And I like this. I use this sort of technique for a lot of the different designs. It works with with all sorts of the designs. And then I'm just going to pop pop a couple it's of little leaves. It's good if leaves. you struggle where to, to place things down because yeah. they're, they're just literally just. Yeah, like you say, fill in those boxes. Pop them all in. And then that's kind of how my layout's going to be. Um, I'll show you my finished one. So I, I, I stuck oh, that one in the wow. wrong place. I'm so annoyed with myself because I really wanted it to be here. Oh, and see. when I actually came, I'd, I'd laid it here all the time. And then when I stuck it, I stuck it on top. And I went, oh. And I, <laughs> it was too well stuck down before I realised I couldn't, I coun't oh, rescue it. Well, I think so. you're forgiven for that one. 
So then we've got some words. So <clears throat> it, I always like to add a few little words to these as well because it just needs something a little bit more. So we've got a few more of the Janet Klein ones. So this is called Bloom, and I'm just going to pick the word Bloom from in there. Um, be beautiful so I just want the word beautiful and this one comes from which set is, is this one this is called bees? be beautiful I don't I've no oh, idea it's called be, oh, I be, see. Be, be beautiful be beautiful as in bumblebees I've not come across this one before it's nice no to it's, it's nice one. it's I like um, there, there are a lot of them and I think it, it takes a little while for people to kind of find all of them. <laughs> well, yeah, that's why, they, I mean, so many people do uh, collect the bundles because regularly when we have new releases, they come out as a bundle. So the simplest do, yeah. and quite often the most affordable way to get that bundle as they come. And then we've got the head starts and I'm just going to use the word happy from there. And again, any of the characters, if you wanted to change the kind of the, the heads of them, you can do that, can't you, when you've got the separate st stamp set? So if you like the, um, I don't know, the little dungarees of one of the, the boys, maybe, and you wanted to make it into a little girl, then you can put one of the girl heads on there, play around with them. Okay. So I've just inked up the word happy. That can go under there. Okay. Ah. And then that's... Once everything's coloured in, stuck down. I've used different ones there, but the same same principle. So that's no, how it all I, comes I think together. No, a brilliant idea. That stencil is very useful one to it have. Is. Isn't I it? Like, the yeah, I like doing Definitely. that with that stencil. Love it. Um, and now talking about that stencil, I'm going to very quickly bring those details. Well, I'm not going to bring them up because I'm just stood here. I can't do anything. Emily's going to press the button to bring those details up. And this is the information you need. 306 and 965, £10.99. pence. It's a large A4 stencil. And, of course, you've got the different areas that you can utilise. I think it's a very clever idea that Janet just shared with us there. Isolating certain areas and lining up to make sure it's square on your card. What a clever idea. And all for just £10.99. Brilliant value. 306 nine six five now we've got um, a very quick very quick recap because we probably have about about three minutes or so left will we when we get we had um, cool. about four minutes here. Okay. so well, I'll very quickly just give you the details that we've got here of course we are talking about the monthly mega deal that's broken down into three different segments we're concentrating um, our attention today during this hour um, on a Janet's section so we're looking at 12 stamp sets all themed around the zodiac <coughs> signs and of course things like the little traits the designs um, um, witty words as you can see there as well all coming together oh there's the waves there's the waves at the bottom of the Pisces one I saw it earlier on I wondered I couldn't think where it would come from but there it is now this is a brilliant bundle where you are saving at least 15 pounds on this one and that 15 pound saving is in addition to any previous savings that you will have kind of accumulated with these you're also going to get your bonus gift included without having to put a code in without having to do anything that is included within there so savings on your screen 15 pounds that's just everybody's saving at least that in addition to those savings but freedom members you are saving that little bit more which means you're actually saving 23 pounds and 49 pence on top of any additional savings meaning your two flexi buys come right the way down to 38 pounds and 20 pence and as we saw earlier on it's about seven pounds or, uh, or so more than if you were choosing just four of these stamps on your pick and mix so it makes sense to get hold of all 12 of them because you'll want all of those sign, um, signs they kind of work together don't they makes sense four five eight seven three six if you're wanting to get hold of yours but we're going to head back over to you Janet we've only got uh, about three minutes so if you wanted to talk through what you were going to do okay you know? I'll, I'll, I'll kind of talk through and I'll, I'll, I'll do some of what I'm going to do okay, if I can fabulous. get through it but so this is um, again I just thought we'd use so this is the cancer lady uh, the cancer and the Scorpio um, and I just thought I'd create a sort of beach scene background for them um, so what I've done is I've used the sets um, here they are so this is called At the Beach. It's by um, Olga. And I liked this little bit down at the bottom here. So I've ah, just used yes. that um, to stamp, stamp my images three times along there. Um, and then I've used Beach Hut. Uh, it's not called Beach Hut. 
It's called Seaside by Janet Klein. <laughs> and it's got, I've called it Beach Hut because there's beach huts there. So I've, I've stamped out the beach huts um, and I've, uh, I'm going to use those as well. So I'll just show you my background and then I've got everything stamped out ready to go. So I can probably just about do it. If not, I can maybe do a bit more. So, uh, well, we've got a couple afternoon. of minutes left. So Have we? Yeah, show, oh, can do a minute that. And a half, a minute and a half, OK. So this is my favourite stencil in the world ever, ever, ever. <laughs> and it's called um, Lots of Dots by Abs. And it's not often that I get them in shows, so I thought I'd better use this one while I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I've just thought I'd create a kind of sandy, a sandy bottom, so to speak. Um, so this is, I've used fossilised amber, and I'm just going to add a few little touches of this around along the bottom of my card. And it's a technique that you've used regularly. Yeah, I do. I like, I like yeah. doing this just to start. It's it just effective. gives you a bit of colour to start off with. Um, and then I'm using another stamp set, another stencil from Janet, which is called Petals and Pods. Um, and I'm going to do that in blue. Now we're down to the last kind of 30 seconds oh, or so of the show. Me, so I don't know how it? much more we're going to see of this demonstration. No, but good news much. is you're back at four o'clock. I am, you? yeah. Okay, so I'll Mike. just bring you my finished sample then. Oh, so bless I've you. just done the beach hats and the little girls, but I thought it would just be nice to show that they can be used in other contexts rather than just the... Um, just a really the star good signs. point and, and very relevant as well. I think fabulous little characters. It really is an amazing bundle. Such good fun with it and you're going to have a whale of a time. So if you've not placed your order for it yet, don't forget there's different ways you can get hold of this. Most economical is with the big bundle, the huge bundle that we've been talking about. But then you've got it kind of the 12 that we're looking at here where you have got that saving as well. Um, and I have to say, we've been loving it. I've loved working with Janet during this. So thank you, Janet, for all of your designs and your ideas. Come back at four and see even more from Janet then. I'll see you in a little while. I'll see you in about three minutes' time because I'm back after the break with lovely Lou Withers and the Studio Light Mix Media Show. Very busy earlier. Then our lovely Sasha will be back before we start looking at Bizarreology. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art Stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. I'm Trisha from So Totally Trisha. I've been sewing since I was about eight years old. I carried on through my teens, and when I had children, I've sewn for them. And now I love nothing more than to design fabric-based kits for patchwork, for bags, and home decor. My kits use quality fabrics and are normally cut to size so that it makes everything easy for the beginner sewer and the more advanced stitcher to be able to make beautiful designs. All the fabric I use is 100% cotton and top, top quality. On my shows, I hope that you can learn from my hints and tips and every one of my kits is like a workshop in a kit. Make sure you don't miss the Sew Totally Trisha shows.
hello there and welcome back well i'm going to warn you this hour could get very very busy and um, the reason being is lou is here for her second hour with the products that we saw um early on but you and rich had an absolutely incredible hour it was like right i'll start right we've got two minutes and i was like what, what went on <laughs> yeah we did but uh, the, these the, i did uh, quite a few samples but they sell themselves because I don't have to do any work. It makes They're me look beautiful. Good. <laughs> they are beautiful stamps. Yeah. And we've got all sorts of things which we'll share with you. I'm just going to share the first couple of items so we can get into demonstration with Lou. But these are brilliant. We've got a pick and mix. I always love a pick and mix because yeah. you can choose. Now, the beauty of this one is we've got additions to these stamps that we've seen in a pick and mix previously. But have a look at these. What a clever idea. You've kind of got your focal point, your outline stamp, but within there, you've got a hidden scene. And these are beautiful. So we've We've got baubles in here, we've got Christmas trees and stars, there's all sorts. Now the latest two, the bauble and the Christmas tree, these are the latest, these are the brand new ones. They've been incredibly popular, I think you've been collecting these. Um, busy to the point that 70% of the stock has gone on both of those, so I think lots of you are adding these into your pick and mix, which if you've been collecting them, Luke, makes sense, doesn't yeah, it? These are, I mean Julia did it really well on her show with these, you just stamp it, layer it, done. Yeah, don't no work. Yeah. Beautiful, and this is brilliant. I mean, these are what I would call confidence builders because you've got haven't got to think about masking techniques. Totally. You haven't got to think about building up the design and where are you going with the design. The design has been done for you for you to add your colour and add your content whichever way you want to. I if think you that's want probably to. I've heard, that's probably the best way of describing yeah. that I've heard confidence build. That what a good way of this because it is. Yeah, because it is, you can take it on any way you want then, can't yeah. you? What a good way of saying it. And yeah. the beauty is as well, once they're stamped out, I mean, you can see when you look at these, such a clever design, the bells there, where you've got that gorgeous scene going up to the little cottage um, at the front door, but then you've got the, the scene in the background going into the night, side, night sky as well. It's just such a clever, clever idea. And you can literally just stamp these out, and they look mm. beautiful just by themselves. You don't have to do anything else, but there's a lot of clever detail in here. The snowflake, I think the reflection that you've got from this. It's such a clever design. That is brilliant. When I did it before, um, I, I noticed that if you just put like little bits of white around the planets, because they're not they're not noticeable when I first noticed. Yeah, that's but true. Little planets and a gold pen and a bit of white on the on the reflection looks stunning. Isn't it beautiful. Mm -hmm. Love it because they do come with phrases that are very much in keeping. Not only with that stamp set that you're looking at, but of course crossing them over to use them with others. But should I show you the the new ones? Because uh, you may well have seen the previous ones. So there you go. This is the new one, the bauble, and I love that. Look at that. That make a fabulous backdrop in a shaker card, isn't it? If you've got like a circular frame. I think I was looking at that, and there's a couple of them that jump out straight away and I thought decoupage straight away because you could layer it so mm. well and even put it in it if you've got a glass ball if you put that yeah, in a plastic ball yeah. it'll spin or two that's sides that's a really good it. idea kind of get those photo baubles that's can't it, you yeah. so that would sit in there um, re um, really nicely I'm just trying to find the Christmas tree because of course the Christmas tree is another of the new ones there yeah. you go it's really lovely that Isn't lovely that little clever? picture in it I love it. Now, of course, they are all available with your pick and mix, so you can choose any two of these. So if it's the first time that you've seen them, then, uh, yeah, you're quite forgiven for choosing any of these. In fact, if you want to go for all of them, you can do, because we've got a nice even number with them, which makes it very convenient when you're looking at pick and mix. Now, of course, Studio Light, um, international company, which is why we've got extended delivery with regard to these. But it's only the 4th of November, so that is scarily close. We're done with October by the Where time we get gone? to Sunday. Oh, don't. don't. I don't know where it has gone. It's been it's very scary, that, isn't it? It's very true. Uh, so we're busy again. Um, lots of these, whether it's the new ones, whether it's the old ones, whether it's the whole bundle, you can come back in and get these. And, of course, if you are going for these alongside other things um, that we've got for you, you might be getting to that £60 threshold. So, of course, you can spread the cost as well. But I'll tempt you with something else that you might like to add into your basket to get you up to that point. So for the time being, if you're wanting your stamps at 08, five seven one six is the all important item number now can we talk ink pads can we talk an abundance of color my goodness these are beautiful now this is the kind of thing that i like sometimes i like a pick and mix but sometimes i don't know which ones to go for first so that's why this situation is such a good one to be in because you are going to get all 24 of these ink pads for that amazing price on your screen now if you do want to choose certain areas you can do they are available individually um, but um, you can see that you've got nine pounds saving with these so if you're just getting started 
with these. Yeah. I guess the best way is to go for all of them. Well, when you think, it starts to get expensive when you want collections. And when you get them big, without being rude, I've got big sets at home. And I've not finished them. And they're yeah. drying up before yes. you use them. Yeah. And to me, carrying them or using them, if you've got this out, you'll use these colours. If mm -hmm. they're stuck away, you won't. And the fact that you've got a metallic one with each this one. This is the thing. I was just reading the packaging there. And it's talking about the, the, the metallics. But yeah. my goodness, these are gorgeous. Now, obviously, these ones are your pink tone ones. And you can see there, but as soon as it gets to the end there, oh, my goodness. It's got some great... I mean, I was showing before how you can watercolour with them. You can even emboss with them. Fabulous. You know, and so don't be put off by the word chalk. It's just a, a flat colour. Yes, yeah. It's a flat, you know. It, uh, just as the light hits that gorgeous metallic one, isn't it? Yeah. It's just finding the right point to wiggle it at. But I, I Ooh, now, this one's an interesting one. What's this one? We right, well, have white... actually got four in here. Yeah, there there's a go. white there at the end and a silver. But you, you'd get, it cost a lot of money to get a range like that. Yeah. You know, full range. It's solid black that you've got. It's not even well. a pound each, that. Yeah. Very, yeah, very much. Love this one with the different kind of gradients. And you've got that gorgeous, almost like a gold glitter running through Brilliant. that yellow that you've got there. Um, and don't forget, with these, they are available individually. But if you're going for them as a bundle, you're saving £9 on these ones. So, again, that little pink there, yep. gorgeous. With regards to how much does it work out per pound? No, less than a pound per ink pad, yep. my goodness. And these are quality ink pads that you're looking at here. Oh, Love it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Now, if you wanted to get hold of these, let's talk serious, because with regards to these, over half the stock has gone. That's we were very, very busy with regards to these ones. And you can collect them all. There are six within the range, and you can see that on the back of the packaging, you've got all six of them coming together for £23.76. And, and the beautiful design of the ink pad, I think, is key as well, because you can get right into the nitty-gritty of your stamps if you're wanting to with that teardrop end. And then you've got that more round rounded end for coverage if you're wanting to cover a large area so even if you're looking at using different colors on one stamp at the same time then these are brilliant to go for um at 583 is the all important item but again on extended delivery but i promised you we'd get to demonstrations as early as we could so i think it's a good time in fact as we head over in that direction let's have a look on the website there's loads of other things you might like to add in we were busy with regards to things like the acrylic blocks earlier on that fabulous medium bundle there with your essential in there that is a brilliant one it's got lots of different sizes of different pots in there but they're all the different things we regularly see and hear our guests using so that's a nice way for you to try them all as well so 16 pounds and 45 pence you've got a saving on that one um, but we're always busy with regards to your watercolors all oh, the tag blocks as well I'll tell you about those later on they are brilliant because they are all I think they're all on the same item but they've got different kind of shaped ends with regards to those so uh, you just decide whether you want your classic your urban um, or your oriental it depends on which finish you see you can see notice the end of the tag change in there and of course you've got them in your white your craft and also your black there as well so there's loads of things and some fabulous die cut blocks as well um but yes anything that you want to ask questions about you know how to get in touch studio at the craftstore.com but what we're kicking things off with well, Lou? i wanted to try this and i haven't tried it before i promise you i haven't you know that i, I won't fit to it and I thought, I really want to get a, a really nice embossed feel to this so that oh, I can okay. get a resist. But the chalk does dry really fast. So I thought, how do we get over that? So I thought I'd try it with you. That's not a great idea, is it? But never mind. Is this I'll what they call it. on the job training? Oh, yeah, it is actually. It is actually. <laughs> I thought about training. So I've got the stag, which I think is wonderful because I think it's just got a lot of uses. I just like it. It's, it's male, female, it doesn't matter. So I've got a dark ink pad. So I'm using the black and I'm using the black at the very, very bottom and I'm just going to go now if you're quick enough you could have probably embossed with that but I don't really want to sort of have to rush 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 I want to sort of give yourself a little bit of time okay. so I thought right well let's see if this works if it doesn't work I've not really lost out apart from but this uh, is what it's all about isn't it experimenting absolutely. and trying things out absolutely now I'm not too worried because as long as my paper stays in the same position I'm jobs are good in so i've got him dark to light sort of thing an ombre as we say lovely excuse all my burns and cuts on my hands um kind of going from the yes. sky in the, the top there down. oh so look we've got him like that but i want to go a bit further with that okay so this is where i get my embossing wow all right okay so what you can do is very gently if you want just pat 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 don't, I don't even know if that's doing out. And then just put the embossing ink on oh, it. straight over the top. Okay. Straight onto the top. 
Don't use a brand new one. Use a dodgy one. I have, I say, I was saying to Richard before, I have ink pads and they uh, children, teenagers and adults. The adults are sort of a bit less intensified. Yeah. <laughs> the, the children are wonderful and new and the teenagers are, you know, you haven't got a clue what's going to happen. So <laughs> I'm going to just stick that down. Now I'm not too worried if it doesn't, doesn't work perfectly because I've got the stamping platform, I can redo it. Yeah. Years ago we didn't have these. That's true. It was like one shot, you've missed Hold it. Hold your breath. Yeah. Oh, it was like you've, everybody's gone a bit skew with um, with their eyes. We have got that stamp press available, um, $16.99 um, as you can see here. Very portable, really good size. So if you want something to take on your travels with you, then this is going to be the perfect one. And it does come with a couple of magnets in there. Um, and of course, you've got your grid there for your, your positioning with regards to this one as well. So if you like the look of that one, fancy getting hold of it, the details are on your screen there. 670853. Now, I just want to put little bits on. So all I'm doing is just putting a little bit here, there and everywhere. I don't want to go too mad. And, you know, if I was going to do this another way, I would probably put white and black and all sorts of colours on. But I just want to see if I can capture this a different way of you, instead okay. of just doing it one way. So... It does, it does, it does, it does, it does, it sounds bad, but like well, you say, it should work, work, shouldn't it? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> 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 I sounded like him off carry on then, didn't we? We're all channeling crafty positivity. You know what? I think it is working. Oh, that's fabulous. Right, so what you can do, I really like the idea of keeping the colour of the chalk inks. Now, you can't see it, but if I show you like you that. You can kind of see where you've got that that kind of glossiness almost. You see the there. ombre, yeah. and if I do that, it loses its colour. Yeah. But when I do that, so nice. I've just picked out the seam. Now, if I was to cut that out in a circle and put it in a barble, I've also done these, these antlers, but you could now, you think about it using the stamp platform, I could do that again and again yes, with different colours. Yeah. So I really think that I'm loving that. I'm really loving that. So I'm just going to give this a little bit of a white. Fabulous. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be really quick because... You don't want to just see me messing about like you want you want to see what you can do. useful. I mean that yeah. is a technique I've never seen that used before. And like you say, usually we'd be saying if you wanted to use your embossing powder, it's a, a slow drying ink. But Absolutely. because you've got so many fabulous colours here, why wouldn't you want to use these potentially with a little bit of gold or silver or maybe a clear embossing powder over the top of them as well? I then you're kind of protecting it. the design, aren't you? Well, I was thinking about clear. Clear would give it a resist then, and yeah. if you're like, wow, we've got that beautiful resist colour. Um, uh, with techniques of it and, and why can't we mix the colours together and I was thinking well it's got to work in principle I promise you I hadn't tried that but I think when I'm doing it I'm true to form I'll make sure that you can do it or just tell you if it doesn't work but I think don't be frightened get these ink pads if you was paying five pound an ink pad you'd only have a few colours but you've got Un not hundreds, 20 yeah. odd there, I, I, you know. And sometimes you don't want an ink pad in a particular colour, but no. at the same time you want that colour in your collection. Um, and quite often we'll see larger ink pads, maybe square ink pads, and it, it, like you say, it's very um, expensive to go out and get 24 colours of those. Some of them you'll use more than others. It might be an orange or a yellow that you'll very, very rarely use, or any of the other colours, to be honest. But the fact that you've got a little but a lot, I think is brilliant. And for the price there, that you probably what, if you're looking at maybe four ink pads potentially, mate. Well, oh, it depends on which brand you're looking at, really, doesn't it? That yeah. you know, with the prices, there. well, they're about six quid each. Yeah, normally, that's, so that'd be about four, wouldn't yeah. it? So yeah. yeah so yeah. you know, you've got choice. You've got, and, and I think once you start all this, you get so much uh, confidence. As you said before, confidence builder. What a great way of saying it. I've stamped that in several colours now. Mm -hmm. So I've gone from a grey to the blue to the green now so simple really is i didn't realize and neither did sander the owner because he was on to me before and he's like he, he screenshot one of these i was like oh boss is watching oh gosh oh boss is watching get oh, off stand up straight so yeah <laughs> well, uh, stand up straight so i just he said to me i didn't even know you could watercolor with them and ah. that's what it's about isn't it it's about finding out yeah. so i just want to make um this slightly different to that so all i'm going to do what i mean by that is i'm trying to make more of a feature so 
you can see the mountains jumping out or the trees jumping okay, out. Yeah. So stamp a little bit of your pad, your ink pad. Just on the glass map. Anywhere you want, yeah. yeah. It's water reactive. And now I'm just going to put oh, that I there. See, yes. Now what you can do, you don't need a lot, and believe you me, you don't need a lot. So now I can do that. If I wanted to be really clever, you could just put in a little bit here. You're almost use it's almost like a pencil actually. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit here to just bring out maybe where it's a little bit oh yes darker there. Sit behind, yeah. And then if you get your wonderful this now you might not see this at first. But when it dries, this glitter one, oh, it's done well, it. Which like, one is this one then? This one's out of the black range and it's okay. the glitter. It's got the glitter. Now I pulled the lid off, the sticky thing off this, so, but it's stuck back on. It's all right. You know the pad, don't worry. Mine came off. It's only because I was being a bit energetic with it. <laughs> so what I've got is a little bit of the glitter. Now, let me show it you on black. Oh, and the tags are all made with this paper that we use, so you know oh, what it is. Right, okay, yeah. You see how, ooh, look. And that's quite wet. So even as a watercolour, I'm managing to get those. That's nice. That'll transfer to any colour you want to put on as well. The so gold is it kind pink. of like a transparent with the glitter? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Or you really give it some welly and it'll stamp silver. Ooh. So, but I just want it as a little wash and I just thought it'd be nice if I just drop this into the sky so that it's not all silver but you've just got when it dries like we've just shown you've got that little bit of um little accent yeah little yeah. accent then what you can get is where it's a bit green here not a bit green sorry where it's a bit green this now i've unbunged this one so this is the story <laughs> of my life with us the unbunger right I've unbunged it was. Now, just while you're doing that, um, I need to let you guys at home know that over 60% right. of the stock has gone has out it? of those ink pads. You've got 24 fabulous ink pads in there. Of course, you've got a mix of your chalk alongside those gorgeous metallics. You've got six metallics in there. Each one of these little groupings has got its own metallic that works alongside it. But equally so, you can cross-pollinate with these if you wanted to, like the one that we're speaking of in the black. Um, they are available individually, I believe, but the most economical way for you to get hold of them is to get them all together because you will collect these these are one of the ones and this is where it's sometimes it's difficult to kind of convey and i i'm only saying because i've, I've done it myself i'll look at these and i think oh yeah very good yeah yeah for good price yeah i'm just going to try one of them just to see and then i'll buy one of them and then i'll get back and think oh gosh i wish i'd gone for them all Absolutely. but i'll collect them and then you start collecting you think oh gosh how much more am i paying now because i'm going for them individually and this is why save yourself the time and the trouble because you will if you're working with your blues at some point you're going to want to incorporate a purple so you've got the purple there that's going to cross over the same with the reds going into your oranges and your yellows they naturally come together so this way you've got them all and don't forget as lou's been showing us working with these those different techniques you utilize them sometimes you might want them to dry quickly sometimes you might want to add water and watercolor with them sometimes you might want to add in your clear um, embossing ink over the top like Lou showed us mm -hmm. and the beauty is you've got them all there but you've just got little bits of le everything rather than wasting a big ink pad because you only use it once in a blue moon you've got these ones here that you'll use um, regularly well I unbunged it sorry about that but I've, I've got squirted some out on my pad uh, on my pad, uh, finger or glass mat and I've put some on here because you can dry it and let it go to snow but I just wanted to show you something else don't be frightened of mixing the colour oh okay from your ink pad I've got a little bit of grey I had to be careful what colour I was using here I nearly went for gold and I thought no <laughs> no that would be wrong and then if you just want to put a little bit of colour. See how it's only light? I hope you can just see that. But it means that you can see it, yeah. And then just drag it across. It's really, and it's got a nice texture to it. But a little bit of the, the um, silver has come into it now. And just drag that across, maybe a bit there. But when it's dry, get the silver ink pad and just lightly go over it. Ah, and it brings okay. it up. So basically, Isn't we've tried fabulous? all these in, and we can emboss. So now I'm going to try one more way and then I'll shut up. Okay. Right. So, shall I use the same one? No, I'll use a different one. I want to sort of get this one I've not used and I really like this. I'm not a bell sort of person, but I liked the leaves because I thought the holly you could use separately, even though oh, yeah. you don't always see the holly in it. You just notice the bell shape. So, getting a piece of card. Now, you don't even need to do any more than this. You just could stamp, ink it, stamp it, 
and that's it. Sorry, my mat's going all over there. So just put that there. The stamp pad uh, press has got little feet that you press down like them there and that means that you can hover around so if you're not sure like normally that would be a nightmare you'd, you've already registered the ink it doesn't matter with this because it's actually until you press down that it registers so let's go for some nice colors i'm going to go for a gray and build up some colors so i'm using a stays on now there's nothing wrong with the ink pads i've got it's just i want to use them in a different way so i'm using gray just to give it an outline now you can do this stays on first and mm -hmm. then your ink pads on uh, your chart pads on top or the other way um but i'll show you it with the chart pads on the top so stays on will get all the detail it also gives it a softer mark whereas um if i do this on top you won't see color as much so there we go i need a bit we see it's a teenager this one's a teenager as well <laughs> now i did notice that, um, on the screen that you can see if you've got bubbles and sometimes when you've got a bubble oh i see yes yeah you know you can register it you can see it's not registering and that's where perfect right so I've got that. I really like it, but I want to add some colour. I like the fact that it's grey and not black, because I don't always want black. Sometimes I want a little bit of, like, distress, more distressed look. And so sometimes it's softer to work with, isn't it? Yeah, you absolutely. don't necessarily want it in your face. You could use pencils, pens, anything you want, but I just like the idea of having a really soft sort of like colour around this, and um, this is where this comes in. Now, I'm not going to... I'm do, I'm, I, I feel terrible doing that because I'm using it up, but keep your metallics clean. So I've got this one, and this is absolutely, I can tell you how stunning this is, this colour. And I'm just going to create, like, a little ombre around it. It's very simple to do. I've just got the ink pad, the gold one, and I'm just, look at the colour. You won't believe how bright this is. I mean, I'm all... Oh, it is showing up brilliant. It is, yeah. So, it's just... Like glow around it. Now, I've just put this on here. So, I'm just going to go around here. Now, you don't have to use gold. You could use any colour. But what I'm trying to get through to people is how versatile and how strong the colours are. Because, let's face it, I know what I think at home. Oh, for a quid, they're not going to be that good. Well, it's, it's, it's the seriously, truth, actually, yeah, when you do look at them. But don't forget, this is something that Lou has been working with. She's tried these out. She knows that the quality is there. But like you say, sometimes you don't have to pay the premium price to get a premium product. Well, if you want a certain brand or a certain mate, then that's up to you. But if, like me, I want to try things out first, then this is a good try, me, as you said, an, an excellent building platform for confidence but you know where else could you get a metallic one i know i pay at least six quid for a small metallic mm. pad so i've built that up now there what i want to do is just add maybe the chalk pad as it is without okay. any glitter in it well it's not glitter it's like a shimmer, shimmer. It? Yeah. yeah and i'm just going to add the plane so what i've got is a transition from shimmer to plain and i'm not having any lines and then that way i don't have a you know, like horrible lines around it. So it looks a bit sparse now, but what I want to do is bring maybe a little bit more colour in. So what I'm going to do, just a bit, it's got to be done of the dark green. And I think this is where the colour really helps because I wouldn't have this range of colours normally. I'd have maybe one green or two greens. I wouldn't have all these and I wouldn't be able to do this. So I'm just going to create a shadow on one side. And then, the, to me, card's done, really. Now, this is 99 pence or whatever it is, ink pads. Nothing else. Oh, apart from, sorry, it stays on. So, but I just want to sort of create a nice little three-dimensional scene that anybody can do at home. Get the kids involved, because you can, because they're a pound. If they're a... Five ninety nine. I won't let anyone touch them. Well, this is it, and then, and it's nice to encourage um, oh, yeah. young crafters and, and young people to get involved with crafting with quality products because they do get a totally different look. Oh, you do, and the and it is so nice to just sort of sit and colour. And this is what you can, in effect, in you know, actual effect, do. I'm just going to add a tiny bit now. I'm just down the trees. I don't want to create 
too much emphasis on that. I want to sort of just emphasis on, emphasis on the rest, but I do want to give it a tint of colour because it looks quite stark. So I'm adding a little bit of green there. I'm just going to get a little bit of the blue. And I think even, I know my friend uh, Denise has got a granddaughter over, and I know that Abbe is, she would love to do this, and, and she can do it as well because I know they've got the ink pad. So she's like at that point now where we can grab her and give her loads of confidence by yes, letting her do yeah. this. So then if we get a piece of our coloured card from the stock, we've got, oh, sorry, a bright and cheerful one. Now the thing is, in the blocks you've got with the colour pads, you can choose really bright and funky ones ah, if you want. Yes. Or turn it over, I could go quite deep. Um, I would chop this down look, a bit, it? but if you see this bright one, you see all these colours, you could sort of sit there and go, right, okay, I want it a bit more green. I might do that with it. But then I would chop it down. But you can see, can't you? You've already given it a different feel. If I wanted to, I could cut round it. So, and then I could go in with my silver pen. Can pens. I just check? Because I think these are the original ink these pads, are the original. aren't they? Yeah. The slimlines one. I don't know if you've had the slimline ones on before. Can I just, let me just Please do, them. because I've Only because I don't want them. anybody ordering these thinking they're going to get the wider ones. So these ones, the yes, same so colour combinations that we've seen Lou work with, but they're more on a slimline um, look, as you can see, with regards of these so again beautiful papers um i'll take you through them all um very very quickly you've got like an ombre with these so whereas you've got the solid that lou was just showing us a few moments ago with these you're going from your dark through to your light and then back out the other side and you have got your separate paper pads as you can see they're a slender a more slender which is brilliant for you to work with but you're getting all of those gorgeous colors now with these you can choose you've got your different a pick and mix so this is your white faded um gradient so that's going from your light or your white right mm. the way through these ones are your pastel gradients so how do these vary then Lou these are absolutely stunning because they go from I've got the wider one but if you're sort of wanting to weight a picture by that weighting means you all the weight at the bottom of a picture so you'd have it darker at the bottom okay like you, that yeah. well, mind you, it's not a brilliant example I've chosen but, one of the, the most you pastel would, ones to show you there you go <laughs> so you would put perhaps you could have that as a light sun at the top and the pink is heavier so it looks heavier and have that at the bottom that's worked well with the stance we've been looking Absolutely. at because then it's kind of you've almost got your your daytime going down to the grounding of your design that we're seeing within all it's of those painted stamps. already for you Isn't all you just, need to do yeah? is get your white or blue pens green pens whatever you want jelly roll to it and just draw over what you want so those are the colors i've got i've just got the bit. i haven't got them yet i'm going to nick them so <laughs> okay. i have told them i've been on phone <laughs> i just wanted to make sure that you were aware just yes, in case you're please, ordering because the last thing i want you to find is that you've ordered something and it wasn't exactly as you expected but i'll take tell you more about those in a few moments so Lou, are you all right if i give people a few yeah, updates on those stamps no problem i'm ready these, for it these have been flying out no problem you have been loving them now the beauty is they're a pick and mix so you can choose these so you can decide it might be that you're going for the brand new one which a lot of you have been going for but some of you have been going for some of those gorgeous designs love the stag that you've got amazing but let's start off here with that snowflake the snowflake where you have got that reflection so the reflection as you can see there of the kind of like the moon then you've got the water in that lightly lightly faded tone but then you've got the planets around the moon as well very clever design each and every one of these you're going to get a large stamp but then you're getting supportive stamps and there's this particular one approaching 40 percent of the stock has gone so that's been a very popular one indeed let it snow it's a winter wonderland again both sentiments that will work with any of those to be fair but of course they are coming with the snowflake the deer that we saw Lou working with the stag majestic animal but amazing with that design and it lends itself so well doesn't it now this is one of your favorites this one approaching 60% of the stock has gone and I love this because you've got that little nod to humor there oh dear as you can see there with your double E R. very clever design then you've got warm wishes you've got happy new year so stamps that you might need for people that maybe don't celebrate Christmas in the, the traditional sense they celebrate the season more so than the actual occasion and these are beautiful winter scenes as you can see resonating through the design but you can still tell that it's stag because it's got the little features in there that obviously like the hooves that you would expect to see then the next one we've got the star 
Oh, this is a lovely one. If you've got dies that cut out stars, and I bet this is going to look amazing, but with this particular one, again, it's another popular one, and over 70% of the stock has gone. Sometimes when you've got a more solid area, you might prefer that because you can kind of see the outline of the design. Where the antlers, you could only see a little bit of the design. With this one, because you've got your five points of the star, you can really see that design coming through. Then again, you're going to have different sentiments that work alongside Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Naturally. And then you've got a larger start with this one which I think is lovely may the miracle of Christmas fill your heart with joy that'd be nice on the front or in the inside of your card as well wouldn't it and again cross pollinates across but let's have a look at some of those new ones the bauble you've been loving the bauble three quarters of the stock has gone and this is a perfect one to showcase a scene isn't it you've got everything there you've got that winter sky you've got the mountains in the backdrop those beautiful trees there, and of course that fabulous little cottage there by the little stream there and again you still got the elements that relate to a bauble the crown is still there the little loop is still there and again some lovely sentiments the most wonderful time of the year isn't that lovely and again that's another one that you might well have dies that will allow you to cut out a bauble you may well work alongside it's worth giving it a go but then the tree is another new one and again you're loving this one i love the way that the design goes right into the farthest parts of those gorgeous kind of furry boughs that you can see there now this one has been a popular one rapidly approaching 80% of the stock. Such a clever idea with regards to these. And I love the fact that we've got them available for you. And again, the Merry Christmas. It's almost like a scripted calligraphy style, isn't it? I'd love to have handwriting like that. I haven't got a chance though, but I can do it with a stamp. So there you go. If you want the stamp, then the details are there. And then <laughs> and then another one that we've got that Lou has shown us with the bells, the Christmas bells, again, rapidly approaching half of the stock. Now, don't forget, some of these we're revisiting. We have seen them previously. It's the tree and the bauble that are the new ones. But of course, they could all be completely new to you. And if they are, you can choose any two of those. Go back in and get the next two. Go back in and get the final two if you want to. You're paying ten ninety nine for each of those pairings and of course studio light we are talking international company so there's a slight delay with regards to the dispatch of these we're only talking about the 4th of november though so it's not too long to wait at all 085715 if you're wanting to get hold of those then do pop them into your basket now, i'm going to share with you some of the other items that lou has referenced some of that which she's been using um, and uh, yeah lots of you've been adding these in as well and you can add them in keep an eye on that basket though if it's getting to 60 pounds you can spread the cost you know so so with this one, you are getting all the colours. So I don't need to go through these and tell you um, absolutely everything. But over 70% of the stock has gone. Now, when you're actually working with these, you will see when you get them back, and I can tell you obviously and show you here, you've got your chalky finishes with these. Now, chalky finishes are great. Um, they dry quickly, which sometimes you might want that. But of course, Lou has shown with a little bit of water, you can activate those, turn them into watercolours, pull those colours out. But in each set, you will get a metallic featuring in there. Now, of course, with regards to these i don't have to go through them all and tell you because uh, you can see that you're going to get all of these which is the beauty and they've all got one of those gorgeous kind of metallics in there even this one that looks like ones that missing <laughs> you are going to get your white your solid white in there as well as that one with the sparkle at the far end as well so again brilliant value for money a little goes a long way with these ink pads and it gives you the opportunity to get a whole range of colors for less than a pound per ink pad 99 pence per ink pad they've been very popular 583717 and we've got that tapered ink pad as well which means you can get right into the nitty gritty of those smaller stamps if you want to but those stamps they're not the stamps the tags these are amazing i've got stamps on my mind what can i say now with these you are getting are you getting all oh, the options with regards to these my goodness four different options oh 9.99 wow well, I was blown away a little bit because when I saw 60 tags, I thought, oh, it can't be 60 tags in one of those packs. But it is, you've got your three different um, colourways, three different styles of cardstock, but then you've got um, 20 repeats of each one of those, which is brilliant, equal numbers with those. But they've all got the same finishes um, with regard to the ends of these. So these are kind of like in a, a pad. I like this idea, Lou. Oh, they're studious. I love the fact Clever. that you've got the different... Um the different end edges as well because people were thinking it was like they were all the same but they're not but just to point out that the card that's being used in these is a card that we use all the time okay so it's the paper out of the planners and out of that and the craft card and the black card we use in our planners as well 
so you know what quality that is definitely but i like now, the edges you've got your different edges with these so of course all on the same item number so you could go for multiples of these if you wanted to um the width of these and the length of these are brilliant because i suppose in some situations you might want to layer these up as well i don't know what <laughs> need that do we there we go and uh, so these ones you've got more of a tapered edge yeah. to them as you can see and then I, I have to say i am a bit of a traditionalist when it comes to i love the scallop tags I just yeah i mean they've got that. some really nice uh, names like the oriental tags and global tags and i mean i quite like I, i've got my own little name for half of these but <laughs> that, that the one i'm going to use is the urban tag which is like the I think I was holding them up upside down, wasn't I? There you go, urban tags. So, oh, yes, because they, they do look like little houses, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they're like buildings and stuff. And then we've mm. got uh, Global, which is more of a rounded edge. I and think then that was the one traditional, there, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's it, your traditional one there. Yeah, and, and, you know, it, the classic, sorry, that's what they've called it. But, yeah, it's a really nice little nod to the fact that different edges, different themes, it could be different, you know, you're choosing different stamps like yeah. it could be an eastern stamp that you use they're in there good and solid aren't they because yeah, i mean yeah. i'm, I'm not really... being particularly delicate with this you know what i was so glad you said that because when i first got them i thought oh they don't tell me they're all going to drop out yes yeah but no they don't they no, don't they stay in. stuck in there with the ink pads six to eight and all them ink pads you, oh you're good to go if to be honest crap, the prices are so economical i yeah. mean 10.99 for two stamps you're talking just shy of 25 pounds for all of your inks and the ta fabulous tag this is a fabulous gift for somebody isn't it getting all of those elements because they've got something straight away they can craft with love it 402889 if you're wanting to get hold of these as a gift please treat yourself to some as well because i can guarantee when you get these home you're not going to be wrapping them up and giving them to somebody else you'll be keeping them for yourself i certainly would be something else you'll be keeping for yourself is these slim lines paper pads they are beautiful you've got some gorgeous designs within these with regards to the gradients you're going to choose any two of these so you've got your floral colors with these you've got your pastel gradients your white gradients that touched on with these and the idea is you've got a whole host of different colors in there that you're going to be working with in a variety of different ways so you can see a really nice palette this reminds me of when we were looking at those ink pads a few moments ago so many different colors featuring in there and the beauty is you are getting them all again within the ink pad and again these ones are your more solid so you can see your solid from the bigger uh, the top right the way through to the bottom so if you don't want that gradient of color then this is the one that you're wanting to go for that one is your florals but if you do want your gradients whether it's your pastels going from a light pastel round to um, kind of a different start, uh, kind of tone as you can see there then that's a nice one to go for your white fading into your darker tone absolutely beautiful as well and the last one that i've not shown you yet are those pastels and i think the pastels are similar to the florals aren't they i think where you've got um have you got your solid with these yes you've got a solid color with these ones so there's no gradient on those but more of a pastel tone so again yeah choose any two good luck with that one because i'd want all of them but 11 pounds and 48 pence you can afford to really can't you beautiful and keep that keep that there because that is a brilliant one for you to match your inks with and different things as well so um that's three four one zero two seven just said 11 pounds and 48 pence now if you're looking at adding embellishments oh my goodness have we got the thing for you these are brilliant they're all die cut blocks so there is a lot of content within here but that phrase um, where you've got um, your die cut block it means you don't need your scissors you can see there the scissors in, um, signal that uh, you've got the little logo that's it's crossed out big cross we don't want our scissors we want to just literally pop these out and these are brilliant 9.99 i mean lou these that is an amazing price these are such a big seller and they're so economical when you think about the ephemera you need and all the stuff you need you've got double-sided papers two of each you can um gloss all the you know glossy oh, wow. accents overall all the bits and bobs you've got atcs you've got labels loads in here and they don't all drop out yeah it's like a craft kit in a pad oh it is that what a good way of saying you've got it like that. oh you've even got scenes in here as well look at that it's it is really 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 good value for money and i know when julia brought them they were like sold out sold out and i'm oh, like no, watching fabulous i love that do? um different styles that you've got so that one is your christmas memory so you've got some very kind of vintage style with regards to those ones um, but you've got kind of your different areas with these so the next one we've got is your cutesies with your little polar bears and your penguins and your deer you can see a little fox featuring with that one as well incredibly cute do we want to flick through these or we're going to get back over to lou should we have a flick i didn't well i wanted to have a little look but i didn't want to kind of 
Give us a challenge. Well, that's, oh, that's a thought. Oh, we might throw down a challenge with regard to these then. So again, oh, I love that. You've got your fireplace in there, your little curled up fox. Oh, these are beautiful. Absolutely adorable, as you can see. You've still got some solid tones in these as well. So you've got your double-sided, so you can choose with regard to those. Um, but again, that one is... Oh, look at him. Oh, look at that. Looking up at the star. Isn't that cute? I mean, that would make a fabulous photo frame. You could put a picture in the middle there, couldn't you? Um, absolutely beautiful. So again, 9 99 So that one is your winter wonderland. What have we got next? Let's bring in the next one. This one is, oh, your cosy Christmas. Oh, this sounds like fun. All the things that we love around Christmas time. Again, die elements there, as you can see, your little gnomes, your hot chocolate making an appearance here. Uh, oh, gingerbread. Now, oh, we could just do with one of those now. Um, and then again, you've got all of those gorgeous papers featuring within here as well. And again, those, oh, they're almost like card bases, these. Are they, is it yeah. all the same GSM running through? 170, it feels so much weightier than that. Um, and again, you're going to get all of those very traditional greens and reds in there. And of course, your little gnomes as well. So that one is your cosy Christmas. And then the last one that we've got, which one's this one? Happy Christmas. Oh, cutesy galore. Absolutely loads within there. Nice one maybe for the kids to be crafting. I mean, you could get one of these for the kids and they could be making all their Christmas cards for their friends and the teachers with these, couldn't they? nice and easy for them to work with and again it doesn't matter which of these you're going for or if you're going for multiples at 9.99 incredible value for me there's four of those i can only pick up three because they're very weighty very weighty indeed i've got to remember what order they were in i'm going to come back over to you lou right <laughs> okay no problem well i was messing here oh, oh, oh. <laughs> caught me on the off there because when you start you think oh i'll do that oh and i'll do that well, i was just thinking what a nice way of creating triptych or something oh like. yes we'd use in two or three of the die cuts so i was thinking what maybe building up a scene so i was looking and i really like i'm going to give them a white because you know what i'm like i'm not the cleanest of stamp stampers or crafters so i quite like the idea of him being here between the two okay oh. Okay, and right. building up a seat, just something different because I'm just thinking, I, I just like playing with them when I've got them. I think, oh, why not just play with them and just see what they look like? So, you know, I've not lost anything. I've got a tag that we can use and you can put this on a, you can even do another one there and do a, if you can do kiss stamping, you can do it the opposite way. And it comes with the stamp, uh, the little uh, magnets as well. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I'm not worried about that because that's going to come on to my card. But okay. yeah, you can just put your that on there like that because I'm going to watercolour it anyway. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my dark on the bottom but I'm not using black yet. Up the legs, up the legs, then the darkest blue but not too much. I'm getting a bit carried away with this dark blue. I love it. Um, just a bit there and I'm trying to sort of stipple it so I can see a bit there. I always try to use your light first but I'm so my light isn't that light, if you, if you know what I mean. I'm just using a tiny bit of black there and a bit on that word, but not all of it. So I'm going, hopefully I'm going to get a really nice ombre. Famous last words, eh? Well, it's worth giving it a go. And like you say, I mean, you could test this on a piece of card to start with. Absolutely. Or go straight in and use the tags. I like the idea on the tags. Well, I just thought the tags are so nice to shape. And, and the fact I'm using it on this, why not try it? Because I can always put it back down if I've not inked That's it good right. Point, yeah. So, and I like that old day, Happy New Year. <laughs> it's a good phrase, I just that think that's so it? cool, that. So, I'm just going to leave that. It did move a little bit, but I'm not too worried because that, that seems quite nice. I don't want any more work on that. I really like it as that's it is. Nice, yeah. Don't want any more work. What, what I would suggest you do is perhaps because these are water based, you can get a really nice watercolour. So if you wish to get more of a watercolour effect, get a piece of card and just mop up what's left. And it'll probably turn out, knowing me, better than the original. So nice. I've got a watercolour now. Yeah. And because it's not proper watercolour paper, this is just going to sink in. But you get a good effect. So anyway, well, right, right, right. Right. So now I've got this. I really like this. This doesn't have to be... I just like the idea of we've got lots of dies where we've got folds and I'm thinking this would look nice folded on the yes. mantelpiece, you know, just a nice little seam. You don't have to have, don't stick it together with a load of masking tape, but 
Um, I'm sure you've got really nice like washi tape, or we yes. can make our own washi yeah. tape, which I'll show you. So I've got this, but I want to create sort of areas around it. So I'm going to choose the colours I've got and a little bit, and I'm going mad with the the ink pads again because the, it's a one. It's one. Everything is contained in this. I don't need tons of paints with this. I've got my watercolour paints, but I don't need them. I, I really don't need them because I can now have all these colours, put them here and mix them all. And I've got my own palette. I've got everything I need here. So the first thing is I'm going to put a little bit darker down here. So I'm just going to plenty of water. I am just going to, at the very bottom, introduce the darkest colour. Because I don't want it to look this, it looks so bland at the moment because it's quite stark. It's just a deer stuck up on two tags at the moment. So what I'm doing is, as I'm adding the water, it's sort of creating a nice um, foundation for the rest of the inks. So I'm just having it. Now, I did not know, hand on heart, that this would work like this with these so ink pads. Effective. Seriously, didn't think mm -hmm. it would work. I really thought I was going to have issues. And, because, and I'll be honest with you, because of the price. Yeah. No. But I'm, I'm so not. So sometimes I really like it when I'm wrong. So I suppose it's worth giving it a go, mixing it in with things like your gel medium oh. and things like that, because of oh, the concentration really of the colour, yeah? You'll get a really great um, effect with that, and I'll show you, actually. I'll show you what... She knows her job, does her really, doesn't she? <laughs> She's a crafter, isn't she? <laughs> what I've done is I've just left a, a little space nice, there yeah so because otherwise it might obliterate but i'm going in again with the little little bit of the colors mixing the colors and i hope you can see it on the tv but oh, it can. gives it a really nice watercolor effect now here's the bit that there's I, no pilling at all and you're putting a fair amount of water on there I know, yeah i know and that's another point you know it'd be very hard to get um tag shapes and this quality because normally it'd be like you'd get nice shaped tags and they, they wouldn't be very good quality mm. paper. I know I've had the, the owner on and he's, he said that he's, he's screwed, like I say, he screenshotted me and I'm like, no, no, and it's like Big Brother watching me, but <laughs> he's, he, no, it was, uh, it was a good one. I'm sure I was meant to give you a stock update. I lost my track because I'm sure, yeah, Charlotte gave me an update, but I was just caught up with the demonstration, so I'm sorry, what was the update on that one? Are oh, the ink pads rapidly approaching 80%? Oh, that's kind of significant, isn't it? Sorry, I should have told you that one. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to know, you need to get involved as quick as you possibly can. Have you got another show with these today? No, <gasps> that's it. Oh, okay. Don't know when right. they're going to be back or if they're going to be back, when they're going to be back. That's a good point, actually. So, yeah, now is your time. So, if you're thinking, I'd love these as a Christmas gift from somebody, then maybe make that call, maybe get the order in, um, make sure that you're getting hold of them because this would make a fabulous gift. If you're a crafter, um, and you, your relatives, they don't know. The kids often don't know what to get you or it might be that you're buying these for a crafter, you know, they're into their card making where well, you can't go far wrong with these. And what you could do if you wanted to be really frugal is actually turn them into six different gifts. I mean, we're talking about having all of them there ready for you to utilise. But if you wanted to make them into Christmas gifts or if you were to, oh, do you know what I'd do? Got it. What? Go on. Go on. We had, earlier on today, we had um, Wendy, Mad Hatter. She oh, got yeah, this yeah, yeah. fabulous advent box. Perfect. And you could empty these out and put a little ink pad in each one of those boxes so you don't know which colour you're going to get That's genius. until you open it up on that morning. That's genius. And then there was still the 25th of December, so you could put something else in there, couldn't you, as a little treat. But there you go, 24. What a fabulous ad. That's genius, that. That's genius. I'm having that. I'm doing I tell you that. what, you want to do that. If you've got a crafty friend, do it. Yeah, that's that, perfect. That is a fabulous one. Got goosebumps up. What a good idea. 80% <laughs> of the stock has gone, though, don't forget. So if you are wanting them, you need to be quick. Because if you fancy turning this into your own little crisp, um, crafty advent, then please do, do so. And even if you don't want to create, if you're watching this as somebody, uh, I don't know, another half of somebody who's a crafter, then you could literally just give them one of these. You could put it in a little gift bag or whatever. You don't have to turn it into something creative and crafty. Crafty. Just simply giving a little link pad or just leave them lying around.
I don't know. Mix that's of a cup such of tea. A good idea. Just make sure they don't dunk it, thinking it's a coloured biscuit or something like that. But yeah, it could be just a little subliminal where you're hiding them around the house and they're collecting all 24 on the run up to Christmas. So lovely idea. Loads. That's those. a really cool idea. You clever woman. <laughs> clever woman. <laughs> just well, you, you blew me out. All those. I just open it. Dave, he's watching and he thinks that's all right. All right, that on, one down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. What to show you as well before we go? I know because I've not got much time. Is the great to distress with? Oh, okay. And this water's uh, this water. This paper's a little bit wet, but even I'm not going to get much of an effect on this. But you can just see. I'll do it on a dry bit just to show you. It gives it a wonderful edge. We'll do it on this bit. And I was like, no, it can't do that, but it does. There we go. So that is brilliant. So there's your distress. Now I've got a bit of silver here somewhere. And that's not, oh, no, sorry, it's, but look, distress. That is lovely, yeah. And of so, course it's the same ink that you use, so absolutely. it's going to work. Yeah. And with the, that's, the, that's the best point, because it's the same ink, you can create your background, your embossing and everything. Just one last little bit, and I wanted to show you this, if it's all right. Is it all right? Yeah, just go for show. it, yeah. Right, what I want to show you is, I did, um, I just wanted to create, because it was Richard that was talking about this before, so I'm just going to get a colour right okay. now i love this color you've got it in the other ones the slim one i i haven't got that are you watching so i haven't got it Sandra. <laughs> right i've got it there's a hint there the pastels isn't it i think that one that you've got yeah there. yeah i've got the, the bigger one but the yeah. slimmer one is just stamp this on it's cut and stamped that perfect one. yeah there's it that's the other side of it look okay. there you go ah so the flip side yeah there you go right. you can see so so that's the equivalent to the one that Lou's working with if Absolutely. you want to go for your slimline ones. That's your pastels. Right, I'm just going to show you on this. Yep, show you on that. I've just wet it by accident, but it, it, it won't matter because I'll just show I've already done it. This one was that I was planning before. So I've got my bauble. I love this one. Really love it. Cut a couple out. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. I've already done it. So I'm going to go in dark blue. Okay. Have I done it? Yeah, done it in the dark blue. I've got a look at the one I've done. Now, you want it to sort of register, but not, but only so you can see it, not dead detailed or anything. You'll, I'm better at showing you than and I am And even though they're chalky, they've got a wetness to them, haven't they? Yeah. So you can still see them. Yeah, and that's the thing, you're like, because you've got this idea of a chalk, and you're like, oh, it's going to be matte, and it's, it's still got that juiciness to it. So, there we go. See, oh, I've just got wow. a tone on tone. Now, yeah, nice. That's not wet enough for it to, to emboss. But what you do is you do a couple of them and then you've got these. So I did it on purple before. So we've got the purple. So I wanted to show you how you can now, it's, it's a picture in its own right because yeah. all I've got to do now is put a little bit more colour on and chop it up. So what I'm going to do is isolate where I want to chop it up. So I've got my pen and I'm looking at this bit. Now, I wanted to show you this simply because you might think, well, where do I chop it? Mm -hmm. So I'm chopping it. In fact, you can't see it with that. I will get a white pen and show you. Just for those, because I know people have asked me this in the past, so I'm just going to draw where I'm cutting. Okay. And then that way, you, you're sort of getting the idea. Now, you can either just draw that, or you can go down and just do... So it's kind of following the natural path of the, the design. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to go up there and to there. So can you see that? Yeah. Now, what all I do then is I chop that out. Now, you don't have to be really neat or tidy with it, but just make sure that when you're doing it, you, you, you sort of keep to the pattern. But, but you, can cut, you can cut it. If you cut a bit off, don't worry. But just do it with a knife whatever i should have done this before but i got caught out i must admit i got caught <laughs> out okay. because um well i saw another another picture of a tag and i was like oh and then <laughs> next minute five minutes hour I'm, I'm there like thinking oh where was it don't you get distracted on that oh, easily interesting when you get pin pins in it <laughs> <laughs> so but what i also thought was what you could do is chop the do that off and oh, just have it like, like a crown. Book. Yeah, and just have or it. Or you could stamp the crown onto a different, like maybe a metallic cardstock. Perfect. And actually stick that on top, like a decoupage on top. And you know, I was going to do that, but I mm -hmm. thought, 
it's just time isn't it if we could if we could bottle time and, and give you the opportunity to spend a whole day working with you. imagine all the different things you'd get up to and create with these it's true and that those pads please just remember that they've got the opposite color on the back Oh, incidentally, they're rapidly approaching limited stock as yeah, well. They've oh, got the ink pads, sorry. Yeah, the ink pads, not the papers. Sorry, get myself confused. But keep um, so the ink pads. The ink pads match the papers. Oh, I see. So that, you know, oh, I know. light bulb moment. Right. Yeah, okay. the ink pads actually, it worked really well. He didn't plan it, but when we looked, he was like, did you plan that? And he went, yeah. No, he didn't. <laughs> Well, don't. but do you know what I mean? You look at them and you're thinking, wow, I really like that. So if, you, if you're someone who's like, as long as they can hold a pair of scissors and, you, you know, it's safe, these, this is great because you get the imagination going and they could write little stories for these and have yeah. decoupage things. So all I'm going to do is just... Now, what I would do is probably get the, what's it called, the... Glossy accents on oh, that. Oh, yes, yeah. And gloss that one. But all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get the silver ink pad again. I don't think there's only one colour ink pad I've used separate, and that was a stays on black. And that was that's it. I've, I've yeah. used all these ink, pa ink pads all the time. And I'm just going to put a little bit of silver. You won't see it yet. Well, you might do, because we've got the A-team on it. But <laughs> actually, I think you can. Oh, yes. Right. And then get your white pen or what I used before, and, that, and um, he was quite surprised it works so well, is the white chalk ink. Gosh, that is a solid white. Jump to show you. Show you. Look at that. My goodness. Yeah. And I've had one. lots of people ask me, and it does dull down a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you, but that's quite a lot for yeah. an, op an opaque. And then all I'm going to do is just use that or get me ink pad. And if it dries, don't worry, it reactivates. It's like just a watercolour. So I'm just going to put a little bit of snow. I love it. Lou, we're getting time to the last minute of the hour. So when are you next um, due back with us? I'm in tomorrow. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, I see, because I'm in tomorrow. Oh, oh. nine o'clock. Oh, bright and early. Copic. <gasps> oh, my goodness, you don't want to miss that show. But, no, I mean, look at that. It's a little card, but a bit of that Beautiful. on. It's done. It, I love it. It, it even makes me look kind like that. Now, those ink pads, if you want the ink pads, just to let you know, they are now limited in stock. If you're watching, it, watching this show live, you need to be placing your order. If you're watching on repeat, you may sadly have missed out on these ones. I just hope you're watching live. Details on your screen, but don't go anywhere. We've got another amazing ad coming up. After break. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you could hear me or not then. But anyway, um, sewing with Marion Crofts coming up after the break. You're going to love that ad. Then Ali is here with Bizarreology before we have a final look at the birthday celebrations. Did you know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player on Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Craft Store channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how you do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Craft Store app. Simply press your home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the Channel Store. At the top of the Channel Store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Scroll down to the Craft Store app and press the star button on your remote. You can use the arrow buttons to move the Craft Store to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it! 
You can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your favourite TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Emma. I work with Cricut to help you get the best out of your machines. Cricut is a range of tools, machines and accessories that allow you to work with hundreds of materials. On the shows, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with Cricut. So make sure you don't miss the Cricut shows. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. And a very good afternoon to you. It's Richard here on the Craft Store and we've got a busy hour ahead of us because we are sewing with Marant Crafts. And we are sewing, of course, with Marant Crafts and Sasha Fancy. Hi, Sasha. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm good, thanks. Now, this is, this is a very exciting moment for me because I believe, I might be wrong about this, but you might be the very first person that I've worked with twice, maybe. Am I? Yeah. You're the wow. only one who came back. Second yeah. date. I know, I know. Well, Look things are moving along at quite a pace, aren't they? They are. I think what will the third date will bring? <sighs> Blimey, we'll be divorced by date number four, <laughs> won't we? <laughs> well, at this rate. Um, you're going to love this show. You're going to love this show. Good. And the reason you're going to love this show is because here at Marin, we do everything about your essentials. Yeah. So, obviously, I'm very lucky because I am a Bozal ambassador. Ooh. And Bozal is a lot of the products that we do, which the stuff in the middle. Yeah. So if you think about your waddings, your fusibles, your interfacings, your all, all that sort of stuff. Mm. Um, but you're going to learn an awful lot today. Good, because because uh, this is the nuts and bolts stuff, isn't it? This is like it's not it's not the glamorous bit, nope. but it's the important bit. It is the very important. Because bit. the thing that gives it the warmth, it gives it the texture, gives it the insulation in some cases. And again, yeah. exactly it. it is for the job that you need it to do mm. so if you need for example to keep heat in or keep things cool then we've got the polyfirm the interface uh, the insulating yeah if it's for oven mitts we've got insulating fabric if it's for jelly roll rugs we've got so again you know it's all of those important things and so many people say why do we need so many different waddings or interfacings but again, it's really important because sometimes you need something specific for a project that you're doing. I've got a question for you about interfacing and wadding. I will save it because I'm going to dive straight in here. And then when, I, when we get a moment, I'll ask you about it. Now, first thing we've got is our jelly roll rug. Have a look at this. This is on a special price deal today at 59.98. You're getting uh, Two pounds sixty off this. It's four three four zero one one. Now, what have we got here? We've got six colorway options here, and what you're getting is you're getting the pattern fabric, as you can see here. You're getting the batting here on a roll, and then you're getting the actual uh, pattern itself and the instructions on how to complete it. And that is what you're creating using this. So you, you pick one of these, and that's what you make. Or alternatively, you could make that instead. You can get that pattern and make that jelly roll rug. Now, why is, it, why is it called a jelly roll rug, Sasha? So, the lady that designed this is actually mm. um, Roma, and she is part of RJ Designs in America. And she designed and invented the jelly roll rug, and Bozel came along and Bozel pre-cut the wadding at two and a half inches, so it actually fits with your jelly rolls. Now, when it comes to the actual jelly roll rug itself okay mm -hmm. there's very ma there's lots and lots of different techniques out there but this is the original okay. and she's gone on to have real successful patterns as well so she's got the oval we've got the circular we've got the rectangular which we've got in for you today it's just such a great technique and also the reason it's called jelly roll rug is because we're using strip fabric strips now obviously 
in her patterns she uses moda which moda are a license name jelly has a license name jelly roll which are mm. for moda fabrics mm. okay so when we talk about um jelly rolls we use it quite liberal and name them all jelly roll but actually okay. when you're not supposed to so jelly roll is licensed to moda today we're using fabulous 40s which are Lewis and Irene. Ah, so okay. So it's the same thing. Yep. Okay, but it's a fabric strip, and it's a fabulous 40 set from Lewis and Irene. So you're getting 40 two and a half inch strips in your rolls there. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> Did we have you a little... take all that I in? I took in that about was... <laughs> 75 to 80 percent of it. Yeah, it's it's a little Moda bit. Moda is uh, pe people love a bit of Moda, don't they? But this is yeah. a, this is an entirely different thing. But that is a that is a name that comes up a lot. Yeah. And, so lots yeah. of different companies yeah. do their own strip rolls. Yeah. And this is Lewis and Irene. So right. these are um, fabulous 40s. Okay, so if uh, you want a bit more information on this, by the way, you did go into this in quite detail, on uh, quite a lot of detail on the last hour that you did, which was at 10 o'clock yeah, this 10 morning? Yeah, 10 o'clock. Yeah, rewind. So, get, yeah, press, go to get rewind. the old rewind button, go onto YouTube, onto the Craft Store website and have a look at that at 10 o'clock and Sasha will be there really getting into the nitty gritty of, of how all this works here. But here are your six colourways that you can choose. So look, you've got Fairy Clock there, you've got Bunny Hop, Love Blooms, Viking... Noel, I was waiting for you to pronounce that, Kim. <laughs> Hyg, yeah, Hyg glow. Hyg, what's a Hyg? It's um, Swedish, I think. Is it? Yeah. Or okay. Um, <laughs> but there's two Christmas ones: the Noel and the Hygi, or the yeah. Hygi. I, I can never pronounce it. Are the two Christmas ones, and. If you want your Christmas fabric strip rolls, these this is the time to get it. That's got to be so one. hard to get. That's got to be one of the yeah. That's one of the Christmassy ones, and this is this is the other one. It's got to be because I can see. That's pretty it? sure I can see a little Santa's hat or something on there anyway. Oh. There we go. There you go. So whichever one you like there, you can pick your colorway option. Then you get the pattern and the backing and can put it all together and you can make that fantastic jelly roll rug. That is 434011, your item number for that. And the price of that is two lots of uh, flex payments, $29.99. It's $59.98 in total. Two lots of flexi payments there. You can make that very affordable, very reasonable. Uh, we're moving on now to our fusible Santa sock here. And this is a fusible pre-cut Santa sock. Now, this is where we're going to get now, Sasha, into our interfacing, our wadding, our bits in the middle, the, oh, the sandwich filling. Exactly. Yeah? So what we have here is, is, the, is this is the thing that's going to give it the insulation and the, and the warmth. Is that right? And the, and the feel, the this texture. This is going to give it the wadding. Yeah. So this is going to give it that bit of bounce in the middle. Yeah. So this isn't an insulating fabric. This is just a fusible, single-sided polyester wadding. But it's been pre-cut into the Santa sock shape. So I'm actually going to be making um, the Santa sock for you in real time oh. in the show. So we're going to do the whole thing. Go on. Your best guess now. What will be your real time on that? Go on. Put, challenge yourself. What do you think it would take you to make this Santa sock from scratch in real time? Um, I mean, I've pre-cut everything out, so yeah. that's, a little, that's a little bit cheat, cheating. Mm -hmm. But I reckon that if I, um, to sew it, I reckon I could do it in 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, if I was doing it at home and pre-cutting everything, I'd probably say three quarters of an hour. Oh, okay. 20 minutes, you say? Yeah. I'm going to give you 19. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Just to give you a challenge. Uh, no, look, this is, a, this is oh, one oh, that uh, we've... Uh, we've got the patterns what? available as well. Oh, yes, yes. separately. Separately. So on the website. On, yeah, yeah, so they're on... Um, once you've done your orders online or if you ask the call centre, uh, we have got the patterns for the Santa sock and the chef's mitt separately. Oh, we're Where going to show you, you on the website how to uh, get hold of those. Uh, well, so when you've got your Santa sock, your, your, your wadding if you like, you can uh, head to the website there and there it is. You've got all your add-ons and you can actually add the pattern on. You can add all those bits and pieces on. There it is. There you are. Click on that there. There's your quilt pattern. Add that on. We've also got the pattern for the Chef Mitt, which is next. We'll show you that in just a second. And obviously, you can use any fabric you want. So any fabric you have lying around, or if you, if you were to buy any other fabric that you see on the craft store today or in this hour, get your fabric that you like, like this one, for example. You've got your wadding in the middle there. 
uh, pick up the pattern if you need it, and off you go. It's basically, do you know what I'd call it? I'm going to, because I'm, I'm all about layman's terms, because that's the only terms I know, Sasha. It, it's, co it's the cosy factor, isn't it? It's the thing yeah. that makes it go from just a flat piece of fabric to, ooh, yes, cosy. It it's like a nice... And it, and it makes it hang nicely mm. as well. So yes. you can hang it, and it is a little bit padded if you want to pop some bits and pieces in there for Christmas. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's what makes it just look aesthetically better. Hmm. Once it's quilted as well, you get a really nice look to it. And you can get a really nice look to this as well, which is the same again, but... Don't be putting this up for Santa to fill, because it's a chef's mitt. There you go. It's the same principle, really, isn't it? Now, yes. the difference is here, Sasha, is that this has got insulating fabric, as you would need with handling oven Yeah, so material. this is revolutionary, this fabric. So this is insulating fabric, and you will see from the pre-cut there, it's quite thick. And the amazing thing about this is Bozal actually produced this for American firefighters they actually Ooh. wear this in their uniforms. Wow. Okay. So this actually does the job. 450 set centigrade. 450 degrees Fahrenheit. I think centigrade is super hot, isn't it? Um, it says on yeah. the front, actually. I don't know which of the whether look. it's Fahrenheit or... 450 Fahrenheit, yeah. 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 So and, and suitable for outdoor like... grilling as well. Yeah, and so. I like the fact that it's long yeah. as well. Because obviously when you're putting your arms in and out of the oven or yeah. over the grill or um, barbecuing. Yes. It keeps your arms, I mean even for you. It's like, good for me isn't it? I'll tell you what also, it's great if you've got like birds of prey and you're sort of like, <laughs> <laughs> just land on that. But no, it's great that as you say, I mean the number of times that my oven glove falls off or you can burn yourself on your, on your arm. Yeah. Perfect. I and like all that. you do need to use both pieces. Yeah. I know that somebody was saying earlier about maybe you could make two out of the one pack. And it really isn't recommended because you want that heat protection from both pieces. Yeah. Um, so you want to make sure that one is the inside and one is the outside. Yeah. So you it get, protects both and sides. And you can around. make two mitts with that, can't you? No, That's you right. can only make you one You make the mitt. one mitt, so you need to get two in order to, if you want, but, but you don't really need to. I don't most think you time, need do. to because they are so good. I mean, if you wanted to make one which sort of goes around your neck yeah. and it's got like a one on each. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. like the mittens. That mittens, yeah, for kids, really, yeah. So you I, don't lose them. I used to love them. Yeah, I did, yeah. I absolutely love them. Um, so you would Difficult to lose this, to be honest, Sasha, isn't it? Oh, I mean, keep you warm when you're yeah. outside. Fair, fair point. Um, I just love to go to a place where it's 450 degrees Celsius. I think that's the sun is do where you, you were going to be, yeah. Um, so... There you go, Chef's Mitts, 427-783 is the item code for that. £16.50 is the price today. It's new today on the craft store. So, and obviously you can get on the website and get the pattern there. Now we have some thread for you here and just look at what you're getting from Coates Moon sewing machine polyester thread here. A thousand yards on each one of these spools. You've got ten in total. This is the dark autumn collection, and it's all the autumnal colours you could ask for. It's got your, your okras, your browns, your russet, you've got your greens, your reds, your oranges. The, the full autumn experience here. It's nice actually to be talking about autumn and not Christmas for a few seconds, yeah. I've got to say, because we are actually in the autumn, believe it or not. But this is your autumn colours here. And um, this is going to be just, you're going to use this for everything, can't you? Your sewing machine? They, yeah, yeah, they are. They're just so pretty as yeah. well. And a lot of the, um, vi the viewers like to collect the sets that we do. Hmm. And I think it's such a nice thing to be able to collect the collections of the different colours each month that we come. So yeah. like, I know that we've done blues, we've done monochromes, we've done reds, we've done pastels. But yeah, so this is a really nice autumnal one and it has got beautiful colours in there. I just love really seeing them all rich, lined up. Yeah. They really, once you put them all together, you really do get that full experience, don't you? And uh, a thousand yards, that's quite a lot, isn't it? So you're getting a thousand yards on each, so yeah. you're getting 10,000 yards of thread, which is That crazy. is a lot of yardage. And don't let the fact that it's polyester put you off. Right. Um, because, obviously, in times gone by, you know, everyone was about cotton threads and didn't really use polyester unless they were using polyester fabrics. Mm. But now it is such an economical thread as well. Yeah. I mean, for that price for, you know, 10,000 yards is crazy. But also the fact that our fabrics and our threads have come on such a long way. And if you are somebody that is quite eco and about carbon footprint and things, polyester is a really good way to go. 
Um, oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. because obviously it doesn't take as much work as what cotton thread does. Right, okay. Um, the only thing with the polyester thread, as you know me, that I'm always completely honest with you, is I make sure that I clean my machine out a little bit more because it's a bit more fibrous. Oh, okay, so you can leave a few bits and pieces behind, yeah? Well, it's, it's just a few of the fibres. So actually it's been really good for me to make sure that I clean my thread out you know, clean my bobbin and my bobbin casing and things like that out regularly. I absolutely adore it. Mm. I think it's such a good you, price thread. You're not the only one, Sasha, because we're approaching half of the stock gone mm. on this right now. 428552, that's 1099. Now, how about a lucky dip? Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip here. You can pick. You won't. I say you can pick, you won't be because it's a lucky dip. You're getting five, five of these rolls here. This is the 12 millimeter bias binding bundle and you're going to get five colors and the five colors are not necessarily the five colors you're going to see here. Colors may vary. So you're just going to get five rolls. They're all going to be different uh, shades, different colors, different hues. 1499, 129863 is the item code on this one. And Sasha, what is bias binding? So Please. bias yep. binding. When we make quilts, we tend to cut two and a half inch strips to go around the outside of our quilts. Mm -hmm. But say you're doing something circular or something that has a curve in it, you need to cut your fabrics on the bias to be able to get that stretch. Okay. Okay. From the bias, right? Eh? So the bias is a um, diagonal across the fabric. Okay. So you actually waste quite a bit of fabric as well. Dressmakers tend to use an awful lot of bias binding for collars, cuffs around the edges of dresses, skirts, outfits, anything like that we tend to use a lot of bias on. Also tablecloths, table mats, that sort of thing. Um, some people use it for bunting around the tops of bags. Hmm. And if you actually feel it, it has got a bit of stretch to it. It has, yeah. So this is, every time we bring this, it just absolutely flies. It's such an amazing price. Because when you think that normal bias, you know, you can be paying anything from 50 pence to 80 pence a metre. Yeah. You're getting 33 metres on each roll. Five rolls, 14.99 in total. <laughs> yes. And that's... Uh, it's a Brucey bargain. How much is that? That's a Brucey bargain. It's a Brucey 165 bargain. 165 metres in total for 14.99. Someone's going to do the maths in a second of how much that works out per metre. But it's not going to be me. I can it's tell you pennies. It pennies. Really, yeah. If you were to go into your local shop and say, I would like 33 metres of bias binding it, however yeah. many pennies a metre it is, they would laugh at you. Temp, tempe a metre, we reckon. Yeah, it's tempe crazy. A metre. And you never have enough. Mm. And I think this is what we found through lockdown um, with our stashes. <laughs> there are certain things that we just don't have enough of in our stashes. Mine was... I was trying to do some table mats and I didn't have enough bias to go around the circular mats. And I was short by about this much. Ah, that's annoying. So aggravating. Yeah. But you're, you're never going to have that with this. Absolutely not. In fact, I can tell you it's even more of a bargain because it's not 10p, it's 9 point something recurring, according well, to uh, our producer ish. She's clever. I bet she did that without the calculator. Oh, she did it in her head, well. yeah. 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 Yeah, she's been girl. on countdown and everything. Yeah. Now, um, this is another lucky dip for you, and it's another one of our biased binding bundles, but this one is, oh, I love the alliteration on that, uh, it's three, uh, uh, lots of 25 metre rolls here. The colours, once again, may vary, so you might get this, you might get three completely different colours. Uh, 207, 137, and these are just, these are basically thicker, aren't they? So we're, you'd use these for just bigger items, I guess? Yeah, so things to go around the sides of um, bags or jelly roll rugs or quilts, or if you've got wall hangings or if you're doing advent calendars at the moment. We all seem to be, get to this time of year, and we're doing advent calendars and stockings, and, and so these would be great for those projects because it's slightly wider. Hmm. Well, we've got a pink and a green and a light blue here, but as I say, colours may vary. It's a lucky dip. Who you knows what you'll get? You won't be disappointed with the colours. No, they're oh, all good. Yeah, all the colours are really, really nice, flattering colours. Hmm. You will find that, I mean, any of the colours that are on the counter will go with any of the strip rolls, for example, that we've got today. Hmm. So there's nothing ridiculously outrageous in the pick and mix either. There's a good vary of colour there. Jolly good. Right. Well, this is getting a little more social wool now because I'm getting a little bit nearer to you each time. Oh. But I know, I know my third level. Third date. That's his third date. Nothing I know I'm not allowed to come any closer date. than that. Fourth, fourth date, that will be. Um, <laughs> this is uh, another thing we have for you here today, our sewing starter kit from Prim Love. 
Um, now, we've got, as you've got two options. You've got pink or mint. And what we have in front of us here is the pink option. So you're getting the box here, obviously, and then you're getting all of these bits and pieces to start you off on your sewing journey. Uh, we've got a ruler here for making measurements. We've got um, a marking um, pencil there. We've got some stainless steel scissors here. Uh, we've got our needles. Uh, we've got a mag this is a magnet, right? Yeah, a magnet yeah. dish. If you turn it over, yeah. so do you see the little indentations that are in the top? Yes. No, nope. other side. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, so when here. you pick your pins up, your pins will actually sit in those sides. Wow. Oh, OK. Just, just a just really just a cute set. If you are somebody that you could be starting out your sewing journey yourself, or you could actually be buying for somebody else, um, mm. it's a lovely little set because you'll get in that box as well with it. And um, Prim, just a renowned name. Amazing, amazing products they do. Love that. Here's a little uh, picture of the other uh, colourway you can get here. This is the mint one. There you go. That's what the mint one looks like, and that's what it all looks like, packed into the box that you can see here. But when you range it all out, you get loads and loads of stuff. And that is 999509. You can get that with two flexi payments of £20 on the craft store today. It's 39.99 if you want to go for it all in one go. And then, finally, we have this on the end here. This is another one of our uh, box gift sets. It's the Prim Click Box gift set. Now, what are we getting with this, Sasha? I can see some scissors. So the scissors... The yeah. scissors are very special, so they are micro serrated edge. Ooh. Now, if you hold those up to your ear, don't cut your ear off. No, I, well, but okay. Open, it's a good job you said that because I was please, the first thing I was going to do is cut my ear. Please hair. don't. Yeah. Um, but yeah. if you feel when you open and shut them, you can actually Ooh. feel that serration to them. Yeah. Amazingly sharp. It's like crunching. It's like, yeah. Honestly, right. because they've got these amazing little teeth that are micro 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 tiny but this makes for them to be ultra sharp so they are a beautiful beautiful pair of scissors love those um, for your soft crafts we are also getting in there some amazing pearl headed pins yep. which are always useful because we always um, love pins yep. and they are anti tarnish anti rust so obviously from prim they're great we have a stitch ripper here with stitch a point ripper. protector as well, which is a really nice shape to be able to hold if you've got problems with dexterity or things like that. It's a and little a, bit chunkier. Yeah, and a pin cushion. And on then the we've end. got an arm pin cushion that goes on your arm and actually means that you can, if you are dressmaking or quilting, your pins are always on your wrist. You get all of that and the box to contain it all in forty nine ninety nine. Two payments of twenty five pounds, flexi payments there. And that's going to obviously all fit in really nice. It's got layers yeah. in it, this box as well, so you can just put it all in and, really and package nice it box. all up. Really like that. Okay, that's 944458 for the Prim Click Box gift set. Um, we've got more for you. Have a look at this. More thread. All from Marant Crafts here. 40 spools you've got of this from Coats Moon. It's polyester thread, another bundle here. Look how much you're getting there. Look how many spools. 40,000 yards of thread. No way. Each one of those is 1,000? Yes. Wow. So these are the previous colours that we've brought to you as well. So if you have missed out on those previous colours, you can pick them up, you can get them in this bundle, which is great. That's great. 43... Great Christmas present. Yes, definitely. Great for anyone who's uh, well, a, a experienced sewer, beginner sewer. It's not like when you get into sewing and you've got loads and loads of stuff, you're ever going to turn something like that down, are you? No. You're always going to need it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I always love gifts of yeah. threads, fabric, waddings, anything like that, because it's what we use in our day-to-day -day business. It's what we do when we're Speaking crafting. of which, Sasha, you're going to be using some of the items we've seen today now in a little demo. What have you got for us? So we are going to be looking at the Christmas stocking. Oh, the Christmas okay. stocking. Um, so it is a polyester low-loft wadding, and you will feel on one side that it has the fusibility, so with single-sided fusible. So that means that it's not fusing on double sides, it's just the single side. So I have cut out my boot shape, and I use the boot as a template as well. So I've always got that boot cut out. Um, I mean, you can do it on a piece of cardboard, or you can do it on a piece of template plastic. And again, I've made sure that if I've got directional fabrics like this, that they are actually going the correct way. Because mm. what you have to be careful of is if you are cutting out fabrics 
and you would just cut out two pieces from one piece of fabric, your trees would be upside down on one. Don't want that. So you don't want that. So the first thing we are going to do is we have cut out our two pieces for our outside. And I'm going to have this bright turquoise on the inside. So it's like a flash of colour all the way around the top. And this is going to be my lining. OK. OK. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fuse our fabrics to our stocking. Now, when I say fuse, we are applying heat and the heat will melt and the fabrics will stick to the wadding. OK? Without having to use any extra, like, glue no, you won't or need any anything. any extra sprays. Just does it. Yeah. Um, I don't... Um, at home, mm. I would use something like greaseproof paper or a tea towel or something over the top. Yeah. Um, but obviously, at home, you want to see what I'm doing. Cute little iron, that. And so, you, can, uh, you can get it on oh. the craft store. Look at that, thirty two ninety nine for the, the mini iron. Everybody that yeah. knows me knows I shout about the Prim Mini Iron. It is just the most wonderful little compact iron. And it goes everywhere with me. On mm. holidays, I have one that I take away. Well, you can, you can fit it into pretty much any bag, can't you? That's, that's a little diddy thing, isn't it? It's a little bag. Yeah? It comes with its own little oh, does bag. It? Yeah. It's quite cute, really. And you can add water to it as well. Um, but we're not, mm. you know, and it's got a great steam function on this as well. So if it's I, so little, it almost looks like a little girl's, like one that they use in that like, nursery. It, on, yeah. Honestly, it's great. So you can change the te temperature really yeah. easily. You have got your steam function as well, which you don't get with many small irons. And I just love the way that you actually hold it. Yeah. I think it's a really nice hold to it as well, which sounds bizarre, mm. but this part doesn't get hot. Right. And a lot of travel irons, the handle will get slightly warm. Yeah. So this one is by the side of my desk at home, all the time for all of my sewing projects. But also I take it when I go in the hotels as well to iron and freshen things up. And so can you use it actually just as an iron on normal clothes? Like on iron normal all your, clothes, yeah. yeah. Completely. And just, and just, I mean, obviously you've got an ironing board there, but could you use it in a sort of, you know, you're in a travel situation where you haven't got an ironing board, could you put it on a table or something, a towel maybe? I would put towels down. Yeah. Definitely. I'd put a couple of towels down. Because you'd be surprised how hot it actually gets. Right. It's got a really good distribution of heat to it. Yeah. Which is great for things like this, because obviously we want quite a hot iron. Okay. Um, well, you don't want it too cool. And also, you don't want it ridiculously hot, so that glue melts and just evaporates into the wadding. You have to get it right, OK? Yeah. So I would say, probably like with this one, it's like three quarters heat. Okay. So three quarters of the way around, because it doesn't have like a cotton, silk or anything like that on there. Right. So I just tend to use my common sense with it, really, and make sure that it's on about three quarters of the way around. Hmm. No steam either because with it doesn't have a steam option on it it just just doesn't no, operate with using it steam. Has it a does. steam yeah it has a steam option and you can put water in it but when you are fusing yeah. or doing things with wadding inside the last thing that you want to do is add moisture to it uh, because the moisture will sink into the wadding yeah. and then when it starts to dry you can get a situation where you have odd shapes right it starts to curl up again or things okay. like that so we have fused can this. We, can we use it to heat fix our fabric pens? Yes. You can? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. So you will see on this, it actually, I haven't fused around the top particularly well. Hold on. So you're going to make sure that once you've fused, that you're going to wait a couple of minutes before you put it through your iron, uh, through your machine. Mm. Because what you have to remember is you're melting that glue and you're fusing those fabrics to your wadding and you want to make sure that it's all really nice and cooled down before okay. you put it through your machine. Yeah. And you get a really nice flat effect. You can see here how well it fuses on. Mm. And I, I just like fusing fabrics. I just think for bags and things like that, it's great. I just didn't think it would be as easy as that. I thought it would be, you'd be have, having to sew it all together. But this is yeah. a great... So this, obviously, this pattern is in the pattern that you can get on the end of cool. Mm. But also there is other ideas in there to do different types of stockings as well, which is really good fun. Um, so if you wanted to do patchwork ones or anything like that, you can. So 
right sides together, okay, so our wadding is on the outside. Yep. And we are going to sew all the way around, okay? Mm -hmm. We are going to sew. And then we are going to clip around the curves with our scissors, just so because it's a circular and it's a curve, it will then, the fabric will ease better. Right. Okay, it won't pucker. Um, you have to excuse the navy thread, but I need you to see what I'm actually doing. So um, I do have navy thread in this. Um, let's take that up a little bit. And I'm just going to go all the way around. And this is a really easy project to... I mean, and I think it's that little bit of satisfaction as well. If you haven't made... Christmas stockings before, you know, for either your kids or your grandkids, you know, it, it's great to be able to do some, I don't know, applique on them or add some trims, buttons, bows, that sort of thing. You know, it's just personalise it and make it your own so that actually your children can hand it down as yeah, well. Yeah, of course, yeah. And use it again and again every year and. Definitely. You do some embroidery on it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I must say, I've got stockings that I made the girls, okay? Yeah. Like, I don't think... Lily's got one, and Lily's 15. Yeah. But my oldest, who's 20, I made her a stocking. You should see it. It's absolutely horrendous. <laughs> it is so bad. Really? Um, oh, dear. But, and I, I quite like that, though. Mm. I quite like to see how far that I've come as yeah. well. Yeah. But she will say, oh, this is the one my mum made me, and everyone's like... Oh dear. Really? But it's and got sentimental value. That's and the important thing. She's on thing. television. Yeah, yeah. She sews. <laughs> so we're just going to ease our way around the curves as well, which is really important. One of the best things about going to the sewing machine demo with you, Sasha, is we get to see your amazing nails. Oh, I've just got pumpkin ones this time. Pumpkins. Well, do you pumpkins. change them every day, every week? What? How, like they seem yeah. to be. I mean, I've got the best nail tech, Laura, her name is. And yeah. so I, I probably go to her every three weeks or so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I wanted Halloween, but not scary Halloween. No. I wanted cutesy Halloween. Well, that's done the job. I think that's, uh, I think that's great. They are so cute. Right, I'm just making sure that's making me think I should there. probably just do some to my nails now, actually, just to sort of, I don't know. What can you do with your eyes? I can say. bite them. I don't know. Not a lot. Right, so we're just going to come up to the top. And I'm just going <laughs> to just secure my stitches a little bit. So, so when I say about clipping your edges yeah okay so obviously we're working on curves okay yeah and when we turn this through what can happen is it can pull a bit on those fabrics on the outside so by clipping them just up to where the line of stitches is yeah. you're not going through your stitches you're just going oh i see it's kind of, it's almost like providing a breaker along the, the way so it can't pull at everything it's because if you see yeah. it when we move that it actually moves with yeah it gives it yes. whereas if it's here it's not going to move that's right okay yeah. so we're just helping it move a little bit and so everything you're showing us here sasha is this the same principle for the the chef's mitts as yeah. well yeah i mean i would definitely use this yeah, just technique the, for the chef's mitt, and, um, and everything we've done so far is like heat fusing the with the the iron, the yeah, the wadding. Always. And, I mean, if anyone's yeah. got any bozal questions, obviously send them in. But also, you can find me on Instagram, Sasha Sews One Two Three, and I have lots and lots of people that message on there or on the Marant Crafts Instagram page, um, and they just message in if they've got any queries or. Or if they're doing a particular project and they don't know what to use in the middle, yeah. you know, they want something that's quite light but sturdy. They might want something that's warmer and not heavy. You know, again, it's those sort of questions that we can ask. Yeah, Bozal Ambassador, that's a very posh title, isn't it? I'm really Do you ever, do, yeah. do you ever flash that one around, like, I'm an ambassador, let me in? Like, do you get VIP treatment at the <laughs> airport? <laughs> well, 
What I will say is I am so proud mm. of that title yeah. because I, I work so hard for Bozal. Yeah. I work really, really hard for Bozal and I review and I research and all the new products that come out, I get to play with, I get to see what they can do. And I actually get a little bit of a buzz from helping people when they've got their queries about waddings and interfacings. Mm. Because without these things, yeah. our projects are not going to be finished correctly. No, no, absolutely. So, you know, it's good. So the next thing I'm going to do while um, I'll go back to you, well, you can do a recap if you do like. Do you want me to do a little say. recap? Well, if I just explain, I'm going to go all the way around my yeah. boot. Okay. But on the back of my boot, I'm going to leave a hole. Okay. And I'm going to leave a hole probably um, a couple of inches. Yeah. Okay. So we can turn this through. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a sec, but I will do that first. All right, well, I'll let okay. you get on with that, All right. Sasha, because I've got something to tell you about here. It's been mega busy here on our uh, jelly roll uh, rug here. But the thing I really want to draw your attention to is, is the backing, because uh, the batting, because this is, the, this is something that people have been asking about. Can we get this separately? Because I already have fabric. You know, as, as good as the colourways are, maybe you're thinking, oh, I'd like to do this in my own uh, style. I've got some fabric at home, but I, but I still need the batting. So this is what you need to do. You need to go to the website and you need to put in the item code 625239 and then you can get just this and that's 14.99. So with this, you've got 25 yards on this. It's uh, two and a half inches. What you do then, obviously, you get hold of the, uh, the pattern and you just take it from there. Um, and you're off and running. You can make your own jelly roll rug in colours or fabrics of your own choice. Um, now... We've got these for you. Now, we've got three options to show you here from Marantz uh, Crafts here. These are your lightweight, fusible uh, interfacing uh, fabrics here. Now, you've got... Um, ch now, this one here... Oh, let's, let's have a little let's look at this one, shall we? This is, now, this is this the charcoal. I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. 361928 is the item number for this. It's three metres by uh, a metre and a half... There we go. It's normally fourteen ninety nine. Can I hold this? Oh, it's a lot. Actually, this is quite a lot, isn't it? Oh my word! Okay, that's, I can't. Okay, put it this way. I can't actually hold this one. That's that's. You can still see me. This would not be a wise idea to get changed behind this, would it? <laughs> um, so there you go, 361928. Uh, you're going to get five pounds off that, and it's 999. That's the charcoal that we have Such there for you. That's a good price, it really is. That so is a good price. If you feel your collars and your cuffs inside yeah. your shirt, this tends to be inside clothing. Right. So this stabilizes the fabric, so it's easier to be able to sew with, to cut. Yeah. For if you're making like memory bears or anything, anything that you can want to stabilise, so those finer fabrics mm. that you just need to work with a bit easier. So yeah. you would iron that onto the back, and it just helps you with that stretch and with that give. Great. Thanks very much, Sasha. And then, uh, I think this is a damning indictment of my folding skills, but I hadn't even got, like, 10% through folding this, where everyone in the gallery just went, can you just leave that to the floor manager, please? <laughs> just put, stop it. Just put it down. <laughs> put it down. Um, so we've got the black and the white here as well as options. Black is up there for right now for you. 421056 is the item code for that one. So each one of these has a different uh, code number, but it is still 999. Usual price of this is 1799. You're getting an eight pound saving here on the black one. That's really nice. Look, ooh, nice and folded as well. Uh, unlike the charcoal. 421056 for that. And then we've got the white here. Here's the details for the white. Uh, piece here of fusible interfacing 126259 that's the item number that you'll be looking for eight pounds off this one too 9.99 why would we need different colors for this um sasha what would we use so if you're using light fabrics like whites creams pastels things like that we would tend to use a white interfacing yeah and if it's things like your darker fabrics like your blacks your navies i would use the black okay and then when it comes to the charcoal it's a little bit like the best of both so so with either yeah, so yeah. you can actually use it with either of um, lights and darks, but also mm. those, maybe the ones you're not so sure about, like your pinks and your reds and your oranges, that sort of thing. So it's very difficult to actually find charcoal interfacing. Um, I absolutely love it. 
because it can work so well. It's not, uh, it's not difficult to find today, though, here on the craft store, because we've got it for you. If you like it, and there's the details for it, 361928, three metres uh, by two and a metre and a half, fourteen ninety nine is the normal price, and we are giving it to you for nine ninety nine. so it's £5 off that today. So, go from a little bit of uh, interfacing to a little bit of Santa's sock there, which we're seeing uh, Sasha make at the moment. But here's what she started off with. She started off with the fusible pre-cut here from Bosal Light. You're getting those two items there, putting them all together so you can make the sock. And then you can cho choose your own fabric. Uh, we've got green fabric here with a fir tree on it. And that's what you can make with the actual uh, wadding in between it there. And that's what gives it the texture, this wadding here. It comes pre-cut. It comes with uh, the, um, it can come with the pattern. If you need the pattern, you can get that separately as well if you want the pattern. Uh, we'll, uh, yeah, that's on the end. Yeah, end of call, that one. Uh, oh, right, okay, so when you check out, okay, so I'm, I'm learning myself here. When you check out, you'll get that option coming up for you as well. So if you do order this, you'll get all these extra um, accessory items. Oh, would you like this? Would you like that? And one of the options is the pattern to actually make this. So you're getting this, and this uh, is the wadding that goes in, in between, 736-854-1025. And then similarly, we have the chef's mitt here, which again, is the wadding that goes in between. This is much, much thicker, this, because it's obviously got to withstand a heck of a lot of heat. 450 degrees Fahrenheit, in fact, is what it does. It's suitable as well for outdoor grilling, barbecues and the like. And then you get your fabric again, and you put it all together. There you go. You get one of those. Big, long arm on it as well. Get yourself a chef's mitt, 427. 783 is the item number, £16.50. It's all on the website, as is everything else we're showing you today. Now, this is what you can do. You can go straight to uh, one of our chef's mitts or our Santa's sock, and then you get the add-ons here. So you can click on it. There's the, the pattern there. You can add it to your basket. Or you can scroll down. You can get all the other things. Oh, look, you can get the, the rest uh, pack for the iron there. Oh, I see. You can put the iron on it when, it's, uh, when you're still trying to wait for it to cool down. That's good, or you're in the middle of ironing. Uh, what else have we got there? We've got, there's the chef's mitt pattern there. We've got some six by six squares as well. And uh, yeah, all options for you just to add on. You can see there, you can see the subtotal. You can put it all on there on the left-hand side and uh, add it all into your basket. You've got all the options there. And then obviously check out, make sure you check out. Um, otherwise, it eventually is taken out of your basket if you're um, just sitting there on it. Now, we've got some thread for you too as well. This is 428552. This is very, very busy. 10 spools you're getting here and you're getting a thousand yards on each. And even I can do the maths on that. That's 10 times a thousand. Oh, hang on, just wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I think, oh, yeah, okay, well, it, it's a big number, it's 10,000. 10, uh, 428552, and you're getting uh, basically the dark autumn, uh, autumn collection, the autumn collection, I was going to say autumnal, it is autumnal colours here. You've got all your russets, your reds, your greens, your, your, your yellows, it's all the, 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 the colours of leaves, basically, falling off the trees. You've got the browns as well. It's the, you know, the perfect range of autumn colours there. Polyester thread as well, so uh, better for the environment, um, Sasha says, because uh, it's not leaving fibres. Oh, it does leave fibres behind your sewing machine, but it's better for the environment because... Of the water and the, the way it's man-made. Yes, that's it. So it is slightly better for the environment. But, I mean, for things like my jelly roll rug, for the stocking, I, I tend to just have it in the machine now all the time because mm. some threads out there for a thousand metres, quite honestly, you can pay anything eight pounds per reel. That's a heck eight of a lot. Eight pounds for a reel. Ten um, ninety nine for ten. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is a quid. So it's amazing value for money, yeah. and I can I can now see why everyone loves Coates threads. They yeah. are just the most fantastic, fantastic thread to use. It's about a pound, one pound ten a uh, spool. That's amazing. Ten ninety nine is the price there. Four two eight five five two. Right, it's back to you, Sasha. Oh no, it's not. Hold your horses. I'm just going to show the lucky dip first. Uh, here it is. One two nine eight six three. It's the Marin Crafts lucky dip. We've got the bias bonding uh, here. The twelve millimeter uh, option is five lots of rolls. Thirty three meters. You're getting in each roll. The colours might not necessarily be the ones you see here, but you will get a lucky dip of five colours, and that is fourteen ninety nine for that one two nine eight six three. And then we have another. 
uh, bundle for you here, a bias uh, binding bundle. You're getting three lots of 25 meters here. Again, the, color, the colors may vary. Uh, it's a thicker, thicker amount here, 25, mil, uh, 25 meters, I should say. Uh, it's um, 207. The, the width is 25 millimeters. Ah, that makes sense. Yes. Uh, 207137 <laughs> is the item code. But there's 25 meters of it. That's really, that's confusing. It's 25 meters, but it's 2.5 centimeters in the actual width. Um, and that's 15.99. Right. Quick maths. Right. Let's go back to Sasha. Sorry about the false start there, Sasha. You were just like, you did about half the project. I was, I was ready. I was <laughs> yeah. ready and raring to go. Sorry about that. Just had to get in the lucky dips, didn't I? That's all right. right. So we have done our lining and we have gone all the way around the outside. We have left a hole. Okay, yes, remember that. We've reinforced our stitches and we've gone straight back up to the top. I've also clipped all the way around like we did before. Right, yes, so the, the little... The bend of the foot, the toe yeah. and the heel. Okay. And then the next thing we are going to do is we are going to... It's just the foldy bit inside out. We're going to like turn this the yeah. correct way. Mm -hmm. And then what I tend to use my nails for <laughs> is pushing <laughs> around those seams to make sure that we're getting those curves. Okay. Not just pretty to look at, but also functional, your nails. They are. Yeah, very they good. Are. I can't, I actually I don't ask what else you use them for. <laughs> just, do you know, just, I can't, just people say to me about sewing and things and, mm. you know, how do I sew with them? I actually can't sew that well without them. Mm. I use them so much. So I'm just going to give that a quick press along my seams. Make sure it's nice and flat. And then I'm taking my stocking, my boots. They call them boots in America. Uh, we yeah. call them stockings. Booties. But, yeah. So, that, yeah. so we are going to pop our lining mm -hmm. inside our boot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to be right sides together. Right. So do you remember me saying to you before about the fabrics having a little bit of a hug? Yes. And if they weren't facing the correct way, then they'd have an argument. Right. <laughs> a bit like us after I'm, our I'm, third I'm, date. I'm sure, I'm <laughs> sure you leave her and you must have said last time, she is absolutely <laughs> off that rocker, that girl. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely off a rocker. Of course I didn't. I, I said it before I left. <laughs> <laughs> and then they still put me to work with you for a second time. Uh, so, we're going to make sure that our seams are all beautifully lined up as well. Because when you're doing a boot, you want to make sure that those side seams are matching. Because you're going to see a little bit of it when we turn that over. And so I'm just outside. How long have we got? Do you know how long we've got? Ten minutes. Oh, that's mm. all right. It's all right, isn't it? So we are going to now sew all the way around the top, okay? And I'm going to make sure that everything's lined up and I'm catching all those fabrics. And I'm just going to take it underneath the machine. Just move that down a little bit so I can see where I am. And again, I've got my walking foot on. And the reason I've got my walking foot on the machine is because anything that we do that has layers in it, things like wadding, things like um, insulating fabrics or insulating waddings, they're slightly thicker. And if you don't put a walking foot on, what you'll find is your actual fabric and your foot fight against each other and they will actually um, pucker a little bit. Oh, OK. So your walking foot, the idea is it actually just helps go all over the layers. Right. It doesn't fight against the machine, really. I must say, I bet you the last sort of month you can't believe how much you sort of learn. It's amazing, actually, yeah. And al almost some of it has, has, has actually stuck in my head. <laughs> no, honestly, it, it's really nice as yeah. well to see... Like the confidence as well, because you're get you're learning and yeah. you're taking a real interest. Getting there. I, I am interested in it. Yeah, and it, uh, I'm getting there. It's like I'm still I'm still learning new words and terms every single time I'm in here. De decoupage. Decoupage. Yeah. That's, that was one today. Flange. No, not come across that one. So on <laughs> on quilts we tend to have like a flange, or yeah. those parts of the sewing machine that's called a flange. I'm as glad well. you explained that. Yeah. That's all I'll say. So you will and fat yeah. quarters. 
Fat quarters have heard of that one. Yes. Yeah, sir. yeah. Yeah. Couldn't tell you precisely what it is. It's an American uh, measurement, isn't it? Of the fabrics. Well, we use fat quarters for fat quarters of a metre, yeah. and Americans use it for fat quarters of a yard. Yeah. So if you actually get fabrics that are fat quarters of a yard, it's slightly smaller than Right. Them. We've got bigger fat quarters. Ah. Good of old course. blighty. Of course. <laughs> but no, it is. It's really nice. And from a guest point of view as well, thank you, because you do seem interested. I am. And you do actually ask the questions as well, and I think that's really important. There's no point in me pretending I know about it because I don't. So I'm just, but I'm here to learn, and I hope people yeah. at home are sort of like we've got new people to crafting that are learning as say, well. Exactly, yeah. and you're probably thinking of the things that they're sat at home thinking, oh, I wish I could ask. That. I'm here to do all, to ask all those embarrassing questions that people would think, oh, I'd look really stupid if I asked that. Don't worry, I'm on hand to look stupid for you. So email <laughs> in. That's my job to look stupid. Uh, you can email in. It's uh, studio at thecraftstore.com. If you have any question, no question too silly. Never. Um, or too basic. That's the thing. It's like some people might be put off coming to a, uh, to a channel that just looks like everyone knows what they're doing yeah. and thinks, oh, I can't just, you know, write in and say, what's that? Exactly. You know, it's something simple. What, what's the difference between polyester and cotton or whatever? You can't, no. you might feel a bit silly. I I'm did. here to tell you you don't have to be because I'm on Never. the same page. Yeah. And I did um, a one day special a few months ago on dressmaking and yeah. I'd only just started my dressmaking journey. And I was completely honest with everyone out there because I could have done it two ways. I could have done it that I knew everything yeah. and just, you know, blagged it and got through it. But yeah. you know what? That's not what we're like here. No. And I was actually asking people for their help and for their info. And it was the best shows. I absolutely loved it. So and people I'm, were helping you from home. They That's were helping brilliant. me and yeah. giving me advice. And they still follow up and saying, what have I made? What am I doing? Great. Um, just the most amazing community. It really is. Amazing community. Happy to be a part of it. So, so, again, I've got my hand inside and I'm just easing those curves out, which is really important. Because obviously... take this out and then again I'm just going to make sure so you're easing the curves out with your hand like you're pressing you're smoothing them out yeah just yeah. really because when I tuck this back inside and we top stitch mm. we're not going to be able to get to these edges right and the last thing you want is for your boot heel to be sort of like that yeah whereas if we just take that time to smooth out make sure our seams are where our seams are meant to be and they're not twisted and also, this is a really good point, by putting your hand and going across your seam, it's a good point in seeing if you've missed right. and you've got a hole, because yep. you don't want a hole. Because once you shut this up, you've then got to unpick everything. So, Very busy for the white interfacing, I'm being told, right now. Very, very busy indeed. It's right in front of me. This is it. it uh, multiple orders will be cut in one continuous length as well, so that's good to know if you want to get more than just your uh, three meters here. But you're getting a meter and a half by three meters. It's seventeen ninety nine. You're getting it for the price of nine ninety nine today, by, and you'll be saving eight pounds here. It's very very busy. This white one. I guess people are thinking that this is going to go with a lot of things. The the white can't really go wrong with that color, can you? Exactly. Yeah. Just really traditional. Great price. Yeah. Sorry, I am just tucking the insides in so I can stitch that up. So I'm not ignoring you, honestly. That's all right, I'm used to it. <laughs> so I'm just going to, on the machine, close up that hole where we turned through. If you're at home, you can use... Um, hand you can use. You can do some hand stitching, just do a slip stitch or anything like that if you wanted to. So the next thing is we are going to then tuck this inside and again I'm just going to wave it around a little bit, get that boot lining right the way in the toes as well, push that all the way round, get that all the way round like so. There's the details of the pre-cut fusible that you're uh, inserting in that Santa sock there, 736-854-1025. So again, and then I'm just going around my seam at the top, and I'm just making sure that we can't quite see it, 
because we want to top stitch all the way around the top just to give it a really professional finish. Mm. How long have we got? Three minutes, Sasha. Okay, let's do that you really, do really it. quickly. Come on. So we're going to go we all the way We believe in you, Sasha. Well, I did say that I thought I could do it, so let's see. So you're just going to top stitch all the way around the top, and that means that you'll keep your lining inside as well. Gives it a little bit more structure. Just going to turn that. And if you wanted to add some fluff or um, white fur or anything like that around the top, you can applique that on. Okay. And like we were saying earlier, you can applique names, you can do whatever you want to do. It, it's personal preference and it's Ooh. how you want your stocking to look. So I'm just going to trim those. Yeah, people love a bit of fluffy snow, don't they, at the top of the stocking sometimes they on do, those boots? They do, don't yeah. they? Yeah. A bit of furriness just to go fur. along the top. Yeah. And then I'm just going to turn this over because I love that bit of peacock, that bit of blue. Yeah, you've got to see that, haven't you? It's too, too good to And then you can pop up. your hanging tag on as well, a couple yeah. of buttons or whatever you wanted to. And there we have us. And you thought it couldn't be done. I never never doubted you for a second, There Sasha. we go. Never doubted you for a, a second. Good press. That is very impressive that you've done and that. And I love that? that bit of blue on there. Yeah, really, really makes it, uh, brings it out, doesn't it? I love yeah. that. It's a the perfect finishing touch. All in time for Christmas. You can have that in time for Christmas as well. Our pre-cut Santa sock. It's just here, actually. Ooh, look at that. Uh, that's what you're getting. And, of course, you can get the pattern as an add-on when you go to the basket to check out. Uh, you can use your own material. You've seen what Sasha's used there, but we've got another example here. And, of course, you, can't just, you don't have to just make a Santa's uh, sock because you can get the uh, warmer insulating material and you can make a chef's mitt as well, as you can see next to it. There you go. That's the chef's mitt. That is the fusible pre-cut uh, insulating material here with stance temperatures up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit is excellent for outdoor grilling as well. It's all there. Pop it all together. 427 783 16 pound 50. This has been really popular today just on its own, Sasha. This, uh, this batting on a roll. Them. Yeah, yeah, people love the actual wadding on a roll. Yep. So the wadding on a roll is Katardin. So it's 100% cotton, yep. those will call it Katardin modding, and it's a fantastic modding, and it just makes life so much easier because it's cut at that two and a half inches. Lovely stuff. Sasha, when, when is, are we, right, is it your place or mine for the third date? Well, is it I'm be back hit? next week. Is that I'm, forward? I'm okay. back or should next we, week. Or should we make it the craft store, should we make it neutral territory? I, th <laughs> I, I think we'll make it the craft store. Okay, for now. Definitely. Okay, we'll earn. We'll still maintain. I've only just been married a month. I can't get oh, too well, many enough. people talking. We'll keep this. We'll maintain the same ten metre distance as well for now. <laughs> Thanks, Sasha. Thanks very much. See you next time, <laughs> and I'll see you a little bit later on. Derek's here in a second with some mixed media from Bizarreology. Then it's our fifth birthday for All and Create, and then I'll be back with some quilting templates from Crafty UK. Kay Fassett is a distinguished artist, designer and author who has used his background in knitwear design to create an expanding range of bold and beautiful fabric prints for the patchwork market. I will be bringing you a wide selection of beautiful fabrics at fantastic prices. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. 
The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creative. Hi, I'm Jo and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family run business that started online in 2005. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinners Palace, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside, and we were established six years ago. There's three of us that run the business. It's myself, Sarah Jane and Sean, and we have a host of uh, volunteers and community members that help out too. So don't miss the White Gecko shows. I gotta just hang up my coat. Oh, I have to bring my coat with me to hold oh, my hat then. Oh, oh no, I haven't got that either. Oh, I don't know what that's for now at all. Although I could put the oven gloves on there. Honestly, bizarre, hey? What a bizarre start to a bizarre show with Bizarreology and the one and only Ali Reeve. Hello. Hello, you. I... Now, listen, are you gonna behave no, today? No, of course not. Uh, we, oh, I we, saw that I'd got you as the presenter. I'm like, oh, I'm so in trouble. You're so in trouble before <laughs> you've even begun. Well, let's see how we get on, shall okay, we? Okay, let's see. Listen, I, I come into this knowing nothing, as always. <laughs> I like to take that standpoint. Um, Bizarreology, of course, is uh, crazy bonkers, clever ideas, mixed media, a bit of... Do you know what? Let's throw away convention and let's just have some fun, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's essence? basically no boundaries. Yeah. No rules. Uh, and, I, and I love it. I really, really do love Bizarreology um, because it just takes you, it just takes you away. If you're concentrated on something so, so hard that you think, oh, do you know what, I need to have some fun, then this is what you need in your life. Uh, now, we're going to start with uh, brand new, absolutely brand new. Right. OK. <laughs> well, I have just seen, for the first time, this and I pair that with this and those two things don't go together because Ali Reef, what do I have in front of me here well it's a bookmaking kit yes I can see that it's got some templates in it's got a bit of paper and card yes in it. it's got some embellishments in it. it's got some twine in it. it's got some ephemera in it. it's got an instructional DVD in it. yes it has right so why therefore is its total price tag 17.99 may I ask because I'm a crafter and I like crafting. Is that the correct answer? It's, it's, no, it's not the correct answer at all, as, as well you know. <laughs> Don't come that with me, lady. 17 99 Oh, I'm loving this. So that's your tunnel book option. Oh. So you can make So you go holes. deeper and deeper and deeper. Yes. <gasps> I love that. So templates for that. Yep. They're in... They're in the kit. They're in the kit. Okay, and this one? So that's got the magnetic clasp on it with the strap. It the has. The strap, which is all part of the kit. The magnet is part of the kit. And those shaped pages are part of the kit. And instructions on how to do weird and wonderful things on the covers are part of the DVD. And this is... And this... Hang on just a moment. Just, just a moment. If you're shopping this show and you go swipe left and go to the right, that's it, right down the end. There's one of Ali's DVDs, we're coming to it. And it's 9 99 in fact it's the album and bookmaking with Ali DVD. This DVD, which is just for... It's for doing the mystical, magical books. So it'll show you how to do all the different stitching of the spines and then how to create some of the effects I've done. So if you're into your magical things, this is really the one for you and I know you do like a DVD <laughs> I do like you no Paul, I don't. Paul hey let's make, celebrate the a DVD let's celebrate the fact he's done a different cover on this yeah one. no absolutely <laughs> right so, but that's but that's 9.99 yeah but it's not 9.99 is it if it's in with all of this gubbins anyway listen we'll overlook that for a second shall we um 
I love this. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, the mythical and the magical. And you even, you even get the little, the little eyes. And the little eyes are actually um, legless brads, aren't they? They are bradlesses. Yeah, bradlesses. Yes, that's it. Um, so you can put many of these on if you want. To. Oh, look. Slightly sla sad and tired oh, eyes. Oh yes, the way the eyes slant, you can you can make your book angry, yes. sad, or you can happy eyes them or bonkers eyes them as well, can't Bizarre you? Bizarre eyes them. Bizarre eyes them. Yeah, absolutely. Whoa! Oh, I've got to show you these as well. Look, look, look. This is so so cool. Now this is the page that is called the the peel away. The peel away. So you it, you can either have it coming out the top there or at the side however you want to use it it will help you do those peel aways yeah but how are we how are we going to do that though got a template for it well that might help i guess mightn't it <laughs> along with your assistance on the dvd i guess yeah. and i don't shout as much on the dvd the next and you don't have anyone like me telling you off through it now listen there's there's paper and card here yes yeah, so i mean there's just a little selection there's some of the brown paper which i really love and that works really nicely for the spine and then we've just put you some ones in to get you started L and there's some magnets as well L little 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 <laughs> sorry what's sorry what's little about that hang on come on out you come <laughs> what's what's little about that tell me and i'm um, getting two of them um the price <laughs> Yes. Uh, ephemera. So ephemera. You, so you get leather straps. Mm, hang on. I'm coming. Sorry, Marcus. Wait me a moment. That match up with the template right. so that you can do the leather effect. But then, obviously, you've still got the template, so even when you've run out of those, you can just keep going. Yeah. You've so also got three to those. Um, the little sort of book plate labely bits. And you get Fabulous. Two, so you get two sheets of straps because you might want to put two straps. And then you get one sheet of magical. Right, these, these are brand new today as well, yes. aren't they? And one sheet of mystical. So ah, you could, these ooh, work really nicely with your tunnel book versions because you could have the wizard stood at the back, Griffin. Griffin, that's what it was. I knew I recognised it. Do you know where I recognised it from, though? Because I'm so old. Would that have been a savings club? <laughs> yes, a bank that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> no, it doesn't. What was the bank? We can say it now, can't we? Midland. It doesn't exist anymore. Midland the Midland Bank. bank. See, we're all Absolutely. that age in the studio. <laughs> oh, love it. See, we're all no, we're all old enough down this end of the studio. John Lockwood's over there, and me and Ali. Well, hey, all the kids are going. Huh? No idea what they're talking about down there. We'll just leave them to it, shall we? Shall we make a cup of tea? Um, $17.99. This is brand new today for the whole lot. So the ephemera, you've even got your little stack of... Let's see if I can find you. Oh, you've even got your little stack of... I don't know how you get magnets this tiny and small. There's lots in that little... There's 12. OK. Wow. That's a little stack for 12, isn't it? Brilliant. OK, listen, apparently I need to move on. I didn't say it. I think that look says it all. <laughs> I don't need no more words required. 809342. That is amazing and ridiculous for 1799. If you are looking for something to treat yourself craftily that will just take you off in a different direction for hours and hours and hours and hours. Now this, honestly, this is totally, totally bonkers. When I saw this, blew my mind immediately. Listen, I realise it doesn't take much, but <laughs> Do you remember the old things we used to do with like pick a number and then you d d yeah. d d d d and then and then and eventually it would have a dare, you know, to to kiss someone or you know whatever some that kind of thing. Well, uh, the modern day version of that without having to kiss anybody unless you want to, of course, um, is this, which is called the Amazing Star. And let me show you what makes it amazing. Ooh! Oh, hang on. Let me move those out of the way, Marcus. Then we can see what's going on, can't we? Because there's a lot of extras involved here. Now, watch this. Hang on, pick it up as one, Derek. Sorry. Take three. This works very well in rehearsals. But look, the amazing star allows you to, to keep changing the image. How many times over, Ali? Four times. Four times so over? So, hold 24 Im different images. And the best thing is... Oh, now, where's the magnet? I'll <laughs> show you with this one. This is the only trouble, is it clamps together so tightly I'll you can't find the magnet. I'll show you with this one. Now, it's finished off with a with a, a magnet. Oh, now I've popped it out. I found the magnet on that one now. Hooray, hooray, hooray. So when you do find the magnet, the whole thing actually concertinas up and folds up as one. 
In fact, I, I could have done that the other way around, couldn't I? It would have been like a little book. That's ridiculous. Now, what would you add to this? Photos. Photos, um, little sayings. I'll put it down, Marcus, then we can show you properly. There you go. It is easier if, it, if yes, you've got if it flat, flat on the table. Right, OK, yes. Right, ready? So you can just keep changing. What have I done to you? That needs poked back at There it. we go. There we go. Story of my life. But you could do this as quite a fun advent <laughs> calendar because there's 24 <laughs> images. You could. you could just keep rotating it round and find different. And again, you could have little messages, little you know sayings on it. But it does look fab with photos. And I just think coming up to Christmas. Or Ali, if you want to keep a craft store presenter quiet for an hour while you get there on is and do that some demo, as well. I, I you didn't just give like them one of these. I didn't now, like to say. So I get the templates here, and you're giving me right. Here goes the bonkers bit again. So you're giving me ten sheets of card, so two sheets of five different colours of card. Yes, because it takes it takes six A4 sheets to do a full book. Okay. So, because so you've you, given us ten. Yes, so that you've got some extras. And 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 this. Yeah, and that's the, because you get two sizes of templates. One that uses twelve by twelve or A3. So There's I've two given of these. you some big paper so you can make the bigger one to play with. And, and it's better made in paper than card, you said? Yeah, I mean, it's... we've put 160 gram card in, and that's yeah. really the thickest you want to go. Otherwise, it gets quite um, bulky. So it keeps its flexibility. So yeah. all the templates, again, and you get two stacks of magnets there yeah, as well. so you get 24 magnets, and each one uses eight, ideally. But you can be frugal and use four magnets and four washers. Frugal? Yeah. Frugal, Ali Reeve. <laughs> Have you seen the price of this item number? Nine ninety nine. Five two two seven eight nine is your item number. Right, okay, let's move on. Right, now we've got the what do we call them? Bradless. 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 Because they are legless brads. But they're absolutely brilliant. Um, here are the eyes. Now of course you've got some eyes included if you are going for the mythical yes. um, set, but you'll definitely want more. And with this, you choose in your pick and mix two sets of 12. So you can go for the brand new eyes if you want to as a set of 12. And uh, here are some of the others. You have got, let me show you, and I'll have to keep replacing what I've got in my hand there because that'll be quickest, I think. Um, so this is the... From Travel. Travel? Yep. Okay, and there are lots and lots of different designs. Yes, there's compasses and maps and tickets and things like that. So anything. Each Love within them. the set, apart from the eyes, which obviously you need pairs of, yeah. the others are all twelve are different. Now, these are these are my favourite and these are the these are time. These are so brilliant because they're all different as well, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So these just pop into your mixed media projects or you can use them in conjunction with the mm -hmm. magnets mm -hmm. as fasteners for journals and things like that. They're just really cute and they just glue them. On, glue them on so you can use them on frames and bottles and things like that that you can't use brads with because you've got the legs to stick through they are absolutely brilliant uh, as i said to you earlier I, I met a ceramicist artist over the weekend who would go up will will go absolutely bonkers when i tell him about these um this is your christmas patterns christmas patterns think christmas wrapping paper and jumpers Okay, and, and there are, again, 12, 12 different? different ones, yeah. So you've got, like, a blue Scandinavian one, you've got one with gingerbread men on, and then there's the traditional Christmas, which has 12 little pictures with um, little sentiments. So Glad cool? Tidings, Merry Christmas, Let It Snow, Silent Night, all those traditional little... They make really good baubles on cards and things. Right, whichever sets you choose, remember, uh, there's 12 in each family, and you choose two families, if you like, for 9 99 <sighs> Yes, it is a great price, producer Emily. And that works out per Bradless Brad? 42 pence. You just couldn't do that retail, I don't think. Well, you can, but here, right now, this will be about the only place you could do this kind of thing. Surely ridiculous. 456093 is your item number. Right, that's it. I've had enough of this value. Let's go to the website. <laughs> I can do no more. I can do no more. Um, Ali's DVD, which is at the price it should be, is coming later on the show as well. Album and bookmaking. We've got the bookbinding cradle, which is on the show. You've also got for the mini albums, the little, um, the little bookcases. They are yeah. the sweetest. You get so a set of two in there for you to decorate if you, um, uh, as you want to. There's new ephemera um, to team up with magical and mystery in a pick and mix there as well for you. Um, 
they are brilliant. There are also some larger ephemera today on the show as well. So some extra large ones which are on the show as well. Um, so go and fill your boots. And they're brilliant. The ephemera is all stick on, by the way. It's kind of semi-transparent, isn't it? It is, so that you can put it over things like book pages and stuff like that, and you can see it coming through. So I use them a lot if I've done a mop-up piece of paper and I want to do a quick card. Ali, they're all amazing. Everything you do as well. And, and, and listen, all the samples that you see here, there and everywhere, it's Ali's vast design team, not... <laughs> of Ali. There it is. <laughs> the one and only. Right, what are you going to show us first then? Okay, we're going to just have a little play and make one of the um, mystical books, but just show you the basics. So I just want to talk through the fact that when you get the templates, you'll look and think, oh, there's quite a lot there. Mm -hmm. So you have one like this, which is for the tunnel book. You've got the one for the peel away. You've got the one for the reveal, which is what I've used to create the dragon. You've got a shaped, curved one. You've got two tabs so that you can do a set of four tabs. And you've got a plain, normal page. And then you've got the funny looking one like this, which is actually your one for doing your spine. So we'll do the spine first. And I I love this big paper for this. The brown paper is just fabulous. You don't want anything too thick for your spine. Yeah, I've so done it's, it. it's craft card coloured, but it's not craft card, no, is it? No, it's just a nice weight paper. So and it has a lovely design on the back of it as well, doesn't it? It does, but I confess I probably use the back Yes, you're more. using the back, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because it also screws up nicely and is what I use to create leather effects on things. So it's just really nice to work with. Now, if you want to do a really thick book, you can just make multiple spines. So you can just you know, make it as fat as you want to, but I'm just gonna do the standard one, which will create a five page book. But again, you've got plenty of scope for putting more pages in. Now, I'm just using a embossing tool and just lightly going up and down the grooves on the template just so I can fold this up without measuring. You'll notice we've put holes on every single um, thing which you can use if you want but I also show you how you can cheat which is just if you've got um, a cropper dial or a good sturdy hole punch you can go through the whole lot which is what I do but if you haven't got one we've catered for that as well. I love the page size on this Ali as well. Yes it's, good, it's about it? six by six so it's you... good and substantial some journals you look at the finished page and you think ooh, well, ooh there's this... not a lot of room for me to get in there. No and this was done in such a way that the spine is a feature in itself but doesn't impede on the page. So if you look at the yes. template for the actual page, the spine is separate. Yeah, so it's a good so you've what, got your six inch and a bit wide, inch and a half? I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll underestimate because yeah. I About an inch. Oh, okay. Okay, it was all calculated so that it would fit on an A4 across, allowing for it if you wanted to do the shaped one or the tabs. So all I'm doing is I'm marking those holes and then I say because I've got a cropper dial I'm going to go through the whole lot now because I'm in the studio and I'm not relying on my eyesight today I'm going to do the bigger holes um, it just makes threading a little bit easier so that's uh, okay. my spine yeah I'm going to do some pages we give you black card because if you're creating a sort of mythical book I just think um, black pages is a little bit special so we've given you 10 sheets of black card and I am going to cheat and do all of them in one go just because I'm a rebel but you can actually get two pages out of each sheet again it's sized so that you can right so this is a kind of do as I say not as I do while you're, while you're putting those together, Ali, I, I must give mention because it sells out time and time and time again for the, um, the book binding cradle. Um, get these because they are so, so good. Um, its simplicity is its absolute genius, to be honest with you, and you get pretty much everything 
um, that you need here. So you get the MDF, obviously it comes to you um, flat and you just um, you just pop it together. And it is so good for putting your uh, pages together. You, uh, you do get the needle there as well, which is superb. It's so, so good. So you get all the accessories that you need with it as well. Um, it's okay. You don't glue it so that you can fold it flat when it's not in use. Absolutely. If you are going to use it all the time, glue it. But most but of the time you won't be holding it up, holding up in mid-air on telly as well. Um, it is so, so good. It really is. Um, now, will I need... The, I won't need that for any of these, will I? No, but... because this is a, a different kind of bind. This is a sideward bind. But this is if you just want to make little little mini books or notebooks or, or you know, you're doing a, a bigger journal and you want to add... Because what you could do is make miniature uh, miniature signatures which is the sections of a book on yep. those and then add them into this spine oh, and you could have a book you? within a book and yes it all works together and literally you can lose yourself for hours in making books and do and do do yourself a favor when you're getting the book binding cradle if you haven't got um, Ali's DVD um, already, I mean, you'll see some shows on Rewind anyway from Bar Bizarreology, where I'm sure she will have been using this at one stage or another in the last couple of months, Ali, I would imagine. I would imagine yeah, so, yeah. yes. It's, it comes, it sort of travels with me oh, quite a lot. But it's amazing, though, that's the thing. It, it is, it's very, very simple. At £9.99 uh, for something which is, it, it, its simplicity is its genius, isn't it, Ali, really? Yeah, I mean, it really is just... A, it's basically, it's almost like having an extra pair of hands. I was teaching bookbinding the other week and some of the ladies had never done any crafting before and they, yep. they were a bit worried about holding things. But with the guide that helps you pierce the holes, that holds the paper in place. So literally, as long as you can stab, yeah. you can do it. Yeah. Now. We don't condone stabbing. No, only in a crafting sense. So. Right. <laughs> next up. Uh, thanks for pointing that out there, Ali. <laughs> The book binding needle. It needed clarifying. <laughs> we don't condone it. The book binding needle that comes in the kit of the cradle actually has a really nice big eye. And so I snaffle my book binding needle and it goes a lot of places with me because it's also handy for threading um, the book that I'm about to do. Uh, the okay. other good one for this is, you know, from children's sewing kits, the big plastic one. Oh, yeah, yeah, Those yeah, ones yeah. work quite nicely yes. because you can put... So I'm actually going to bind this one with some ribbon. So all I've done, and I hope you can see, I've alternated the spine with the pages. So you get that nice sort of concertina look. And what that gives you is a really lovely end there. Okay, so there's lots of different ways you can stitch this, but I'm just going to do a very sort of simple round the end because it gives you a nice decorative, because if you look at the spines all together, they look pretty. We're actually making a, a fuss of the spine, so to speak. They are, they really are a feature, so you can build it. I see, I think these are excellent scale for like children's storybooks yes. that you create. Yeah, so you know and exactly the... what's going into them. And the tunnel book is really nice for that. Because mm. the other thing you can do with the tunnel book is have, um, instead of doing the concentric sizes, yeah, yeah. if you pick, let me just find it, say this sort of size and a little bit of recycled plastic packaging that's got a bit of a dome on it, yeah, 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 stick yeah. that on the back page and mm. fill it with all sorts of different bits and pieces and then each page you say can you find something beginning with f and then they have to shake the thing and find a <gasps> flower i've made a book like that, that using a tunnel brilliant card. um i have to tell you this is very very busy this is uh, brand new today approaching 20 percent of the stock sold out and gone remember with this you have got as is always the way with bizarreology you've got so many templates to go um go out there as well which is brilliant the brand new ephemera You've got the paper, you've got the, um, you've got the DVD as well, which is ridiculous for your price tag.
like, can I just show you very, very quickly a couple of examples? Because these are so, so beautiful. Um, and as Ali said, making a feature of the spine, you know, for a little travel journal, absolutely fantastic. Just using old, old pages from a map there. Then you've got the tab templates in there as well. So you can actually make this a little sort of index reference. So that could be, you know, musical scores. It could be a little journal, gardening journal, could be phone book whatever you want to then you've got the tunnel one which is so so sweet i love 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 this one and this you can just use all of your old papers your you know you just ink them up and vintage them a little yeah, bit I mean, just any scraps of paper as long as it's sort of roughly um a5 really and it's, this it's, is the tunnel one isn't it so what i've done here is i've used the template over my nice graphic 45 and because you can see through the template, you can see where the characters were. So if you look, you can ah, actually see through yes. the template. Yeah, so yeah. if there was the deer, I drew the line, missed going over the top of the deer. And then when I came to cut it out, I was able to cut the straight edge until I got to the deer, then cut round the deer. So you've got all these different layers coming in. So you get quite adventurous quite quickly. In fact, thus, there you go. So that's where the template went uh, originally. And then you can use that, yes, to extract the characters and, well, not extract them, to keep them in, actually. How sweet is that? And then, then you can have it sort of disappearing. Oh, so it definitely makes you turn the next page, doesn't it? You're like, what's there? What's there? Fascinating. Wonderful. Sorry, Ali, where were we? OK, so all I've done is I've done a nice little decorative stitch going down the side there. And because I did the bigger holes, I've been able to bind them with ribbon. And there's my little book. And before I put them all in, you'll notice on your page, there is a score line. So I scored each page so that now they will fold back against the spine nicely. And there's your little decorative. And obviously you can make multiples of these and join them together to make fatter books. It really gives you, hopefully, as many options as I could think of quite quickly. It's amazing. I mean, it's it's so, so good because you've got so many different possibilities. I mean, if you have a look at the samples that, that are here, um, because you've got the, the, the little Bradless um, eyes as well, I mean, they are just brilliant. Um, and the other thing about this is that you can... You can actually have multiple people crafting together, yeah. all doing different things. Yes. So this would be a nice thing to do if you do get together with other people and craft. This would be a really, really nice set to actually get because you can all you can all be well, doing different things. Saying that, you could also take a different slant to it, and if you can't get together, you send each person a different page type. Yeah. They decorate it and it comes back and gets bound together as like a family book. So if, say, for example, you can't see Grandma at Christmas, get the children to each do a page and then it can be bound together in one book. That's a really, really good idea. And remember, you get all the elements here. So it's not just the templates to make the pages and, and to make the spines, but you get the, the Bradless eyes there. You get the template to make the, um, to make the, um, the little strap there. You also get the magnet. So if you want to use it as a closing, you absolutely can do that because the magnets are also included too. So there's so much that you can do you, with this. You even get the texture in that one because under the brown paper, okay, I have added some gilding wax to the top of that, but yeah. under the brown paper is the string that I've included. You just make oh. the patterns with the string, then you put the brown paper over the top, oh, squish cool. it down, and you've got your crawling skin texture. And of course, because, because every time ha Ali has an idea, she's like, oh, you might like to do that. She's included the string as well. But that also is nice for binding you get, as well. You get two lots of that, of course, as well. Because <laughs> Ali's like, well, you might like some for binding and you might want to, you know, yeah, you recreate that as or well. Or you make a tree, because one of the ones that's got the tree, that's how I did the tree as well, is the string underneath, because you layer it and it gives you a bark effect. What, what we're saying in essence is... Um, well, you know... I have, I have this, I, I do have this slight issue with Ali <laughs> and these shows, actually, in that there is definitely more than 17 99s worth of value in this kit, uh, which is why 20% of the stock are sold out and gone. The DVD on its own, on its own if it was being sold um, on its own, and I guess it will, it will be at some stage, well, if, if well, there the are any around. the techniques on it are, you know, as I say, so I'll show you how to do different stitching, and I show you how to do the actual books. 
but the how to make a dragon and how to make a tree and all of all of those extra bits in it can be on it could be on a canvas it doesn't have to be on the book so just those tips that you'll get and um, the book butterflies that are on the the butterfly one yeah you know i show you how to make those and all those sorts of things it's amazing um, plus you get the ephemera, of course, and, and you get lots of it as well. Um, it's brilliant, all of that. 809 342 is your item number for just 17.99. So it's the Bradleys, it's the ephemera, it's the pages, it's the templates of which there are, I don't know how many different types of template uh, there. It's ridiculous. I love it. Um, over a quarter of the stock sold out and gone. Quite rightly, it should be. It's 17.99. You should bite both her arms off for that. It's ridiculous. And buy one for a friend as well. Uh, 809 342. It's not even like it's like one page of written instructions. You get a whole DVD of instructions. Uh, approaching 30% of that sold out and gone. Uh, right, let's talk ephemera because in our pick and mix option on the ephemera, of course, we've got two new additions today, which is the magical and the mythical as well. Now, the mythical you've seen, well, in fact, you've seen both of them. Uh, no, you've actually seen one of them, haven't you? Uh, the mythical, of course, is your uh, three sheets. That's the one with the, um, the griffin, isn't it? Yeah, griffin, dragon, pegasus, which I can't remember the, uh, the proper name for a flying horse, but flying horse. Yeah, pegasus sounds good. Yeah, but I wasn't sure if he was the Greek mythology yeah. name, so pegasus. Uh, okay, and the nod from pig. John Lockwood as well, yeah, yeah. he agrees. Is that Pegasus, a pig with wings? Uh, yeah, that's a flying pig, yes. Oh, okay, well, like, you, like, just like you do. <laughs> you talk about them all the time, don't you? It's I quite know. nice to see one, isn't it, for a change? <laughs> um, let me show you magical as well. Remember these pick and mix, all you need to do is you pick three, three packs. Three packs? Yes, Derek, three packs. With three three packs in each. For eleven ninety nine. Here's the other brand new one, which is the uh, magical. So you've got the goblet there. And the owl. And your and potions bottles. They're really nice if you've got an inky background. You know when you've been spraying all your inks and you've got that paper underneath? Yeah. Stick those over that and then cut them out because the mica will shine through and they'll look like proper bubbling potions. They are superb. They really are. There are lots and lots and lots of other options in your um, pick and mix as well. Um, you, it'd probably be easier to see these on the website, to be honest with you, but um, you've, got, you've got all sorts. Um, you've got uh, words, oh, words, uh, sentiments. <laughs> um, there are, there's steampunk, there's more words. There's mini words and bigger words. <laughs> yes. Because I felt you weren't getting enough words in one of the packs. <laughs> uh, uh, of course. And in each one, we're getting three, three sheets. It's amazing. It's bonkers. Look, there's another one. This is really good. Love this one. We've used this many, many times. This yes, one. Yes, and we? with it, some of the some of the packs have three sheets the same. Yeah. Some have um, three different sheets. This one has two sheets the same, and then one sheet where I specifically asked for the detail to be left, so you just got the panel, so you could make your own creative panels. Oh, cool! And lots and lots of different backgrounds, and of course, because they're sort of semi-transparent, these ephemera, aren't they? Um, can, it's fantastic because you can layer them up just you beautifully, can, yes, can't so, you? And also, you can layer ephemera onto ephemera so that you can create your own which is why I wanted the panels the plain panels because there's so much there's my my, my butterflies get used so much they are so beautiful I feel like I want to peel one away is that all right Ali of course you can I just want to, I'll peel an owl <laughs> things you thought you'd never say in life I'm just gonna peel an owl everyone to I'll be back with you shortly right just so that you can see because they are like um, like hand-drawn kind of line art but in sort of semi-transparent so you can take them to absolutely anything that you want to any kind of background and they kind of meld into um, their background it's quite difficult to show you actually if but you if take, I... well, take one of the mini books and use the back cover and actually press it down oh so. okay right okay so i'm hoping that this will fit onto here it should do there you go there you go so you can incorporate it so you could either leave it like that or you yeah. could then cut him out of the patterned paper and place him onto something else. So you're almost doing like paper piecing. Oh yeah, it's slightly wonky, sorry. I just wanted to make sure he would fit. <laughs> so he's slightly wonky. Uh, 262145, not the Daunting. fault of the ephemera, the, the fault of the operator. Um, 
eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. So you choose three options there uh, for you. Ridiculous, isn't it? Um, I go through all of those. They are brilliant. Sometimes you get three um, identical sheets. Um, sometimes there are two of one and one of another. There will always, always, always be a reason for that variance as well, because Ali has thought about it. Um, and she's a crafter, of course. She's, <laughs> she's also a business, apparently. Apparently. Apparently, you, uh, you knew from these kind of numbers, but... She is. eleven ninety nine. It's brilliant, though. I, I love what you do, Ali. It's really, really inspiring. Um, you've got a... You're on Facebook as well, aren't you? Yes. And, and social media and all of that. Yeah, so, so, so I haven't done TikTok yet. I don't even know what that is. No, but apparently I need to. Um, oh, okay. But no, um, Instagram, Facebook, and we've got a little group where you can share all your bit, bits and pieces What's as well. What's that called? Uh, everything Crafty with Stamps Away. Okay. Because I love seeing what people do with it. Because yeah. obviously I have in my head what you do with it. But the whole point of everything we do is that you could do a hundred different things with it. And that's what I love. Because you see inspiration from, from everybody. And it's just fabulous. I don't know how you ever have like 10 seconds of spare time. You are always making, 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 making. But that is the fun bit. That's Literally true. Literally I disappeared because now I have a dedicated craft space. It was harder when I was crafting in the kitchen because I did kind of have to keep stopping to cook dinner and things. I yeah. put craft away because crafting and cooking is not necessarily not a good a combination. Not a good combination, no. Just Lots off of my roasted things. rubber stamp. Um. <laughs> <laughs> right, talking of fun bits, here's, a, here's your fun bit time. Okay, so we're going to carry on and do a fancy cover for our album. And I've just found a nice double-sided piece of um, paper just because for this particular page type, double-sided works fabulously. So we're going to do the peel away. And the peel away, you have a square panel, so this will fit onto any of your pages, but obviously being a dimensional page, mm -hmm. it needs to really be the front. Some of the others you can do as flat pages, so they're fine inside as well, because the one that I used for the dragon and the owl, which is this one, you could actually ah, use yes. to cut this page so you can see a little bit of the page underneath. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is where you can extend your templates. Right, so peel back and reveal, they're two different things. Two different ah, things, yes. Getcha. And of course, you don't need to buy, uh, you know, yes, use your Graphic 45 and any other paper you've got from any other craft company, but you don't have to go out and buy papers especially for this. No. Old map books, old atlases, old maps, books. Maps and books are fabulous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Books, just remember on this one, whatever you peel away is going to come out upside down. So, yes. But it doesn't really matter because it does look like it's... Um, but maps are fabulous, especially the big atlases that you used to yeah. get for the road, yeah. um, because they're naturally double-sided. Yes. And I bet, you, I bet you've still got three of those in, in the pocket behind the driver's seat in your car. Yes, almost certainly. And the great thing is, they go out of date, because people go, well, I don't like tearing up books, but maps go out of date really quickly. So if you don't reuse them, they will go to landfill. Yeah, absolutely. Or under the M6. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was M6 uh, Toll Road. Yeah, M6 Toll. So it's I'm all full of Mills and Mills and Boone. Mills isn't and it? Boone. Yeah, yes, apparently I, I they probably do have to say other motorways are available because you have to pay for that one, don't you? Uh, but there is um, forty-five thousand books under every mile of it. <laughs> <laughs> the useless things you learn in your yeah, life. Yeah, I know it's bizarre, isn't it? <laughs> right. So I've marked that central line and I've cut it, and then I'm just going to score this. Now, it's not the end of the world if you don't score it, because we are going to naturally just peel that away. But if you score it, it just helps you get a nice peel. But it's that middle cut that is the important one. It's, it's like the curtains being open exactly the yes. same either and side, isn't it? for the template, if you say, for example, you have got your last little scrap of paper left, or you want to have something specific inside the reveal, you can use your template oh, to, cut, to cut that exactly and know that you want that face right smack bang in the middle. Yeah. It's going to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why that line is there as well. So it's not just for actually creating. There is a bit of planning, which anybody that knows me will go, well, she actually plans things. Oh, she absolutely does, because you've got too many things on the go to not be planning. Well, but... 
Can I also say that they, just because I've planned them, does not mean they A, go to plan, or B, come out like I thought they would. <laughs> so. We always love them. The top tip when you're doing this is, firstly, fiddle with it quite a bit so that the paper is naturally curling. Yeah. The other thing is put it down, put a blob of glue where your point comes to. but don't actually stick your paper down for a couple of minutes. Let your glue get a little bit of a skin on the top of it, otherwise you'll just be dealing with that all the time. Uh, okay. And when yeah. you do that, it splodges the glue, and it yeah. means you have to keep putting more glue. So yeah. what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put that to one side. It'll be fine for five, ten minutes. Okay. And let's add... We've got to have a flying pig on here, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, So let's have definitely. a play with our flying pig. This is, this is the magic of the ephemera. Actually, we'll have, so we're going to have a couple of mythical creatures coming out of here. So we'll have our flying pig. He mm -hmm. can go on to that bit there. I'm going to cut him out in a minute. And Pegasus, I think. Oh, it looks like a postmark, doesn't it, now? It does. And this is it. You know, you could just use it straight like that. But yeah. I am going to cut these out and give them a bit of dimension. And Pegasus on there they're so good can i recommend even if you're going for the mythical magic set go and look at the ephemera pick and mix because once you start using it and you see how it blends into absolutely everything and how you can use it you will want more and more and more so do yourself a favor get it in the same order um, it definitely makes sense it's just going to be really quite difficult to limit your choice down to the three in the pick and mix and but that's fine because you can do the pick and mix the many reason times over. we do pick and mix is if you want three of the same you can do same with the bradless brads yeah. Um, you can have two packs the same. If we'd have paired them up, you might have thought, oh, actually, I want more time. And I think a lot of people do, you know, double buy time because that's a, that's a strange statement to be making. If only we could. <laughs> right, so I'm just loosely cutting round Pegasus's tail and his wings. Again, this would be really nice. These Pegasus would look fabulous on the pearl paper that comes in the Amazing Star Book kit because it would make his coat shimmer like it does um, in mythology. I was going to say in real life then, which I realised was not the best expression when talking about... I haven't about. seen one recently. No. <laughs> but you never know. I love the fact that you fussy cut with the biggest scissors, scissors in history. <laughs> These are my go-to scissors. They're brilliant. No, look, but it's amazing. She's just like, whip, 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 well, like, like a machine is, you are. Well, because I'm moving the paper, and just as I move the paper around, slowly shutting the blade. Yeah, but you, so, try, you try being left-handed and do make that work. I know. Uh, right, left-handed is, is... While but, you're doing that, although I could watch it forever and ever and ever, I, I need, need to, to talk to you about the Bradless. Uh, because they are uh, brilliant. I still can't get my head around this name, but they are. They, they are Brads without legs, so they are Bradless. Don't let me name things. No, 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 absolutely. Um, let's start with the, um, the brand new option uh, today, which of course is your eyes. Yes, of course. <laughs> Thanks, Emily. I always try to remember the name of the option. Because it could have been magical, and it could have been mythical, and it could have been either of those. And I was like, what is this one called? Um, so, yes, you've got the brand new eyes, uh, which are there on the pick and mix And you get, whichever ones you choose, you get 12, and they're all different. So if you choose eyes, you'll get 12 of the eyes. But your pick and mix, you have to choose another option. You have to. So, can I suggest that you go for time, I'm thinking. Time, clocks... Time! <laughs> Time, or how about um, classical Christmas? How about a bit of classical Christmas? Oh, hello. There you go. Look. Oh, I think they're wonderful. And remember, whichever one you do choose, um, you get 12 um, buttons. Uh, I keep wanting to call them buttons. See, that's the thing. That's a confusion going on in my brain. I want to call them buttons, and they're not buttons. Although you could actually make buttons in a funny kind of way with them, you could you? you could do, but it, they're not easy to sew on. So no. I, I went with Bradless's. Could you could you make them um, into magnets, um, Ali? It's 
you could do, it's actually easier at the manufacturing stage, but yes, you can make them into magnets. Just glue a little magnet onto the onto the backing. Annie, can you make the magnets in the future, please? I will make the magnets in the future, Derek, yes. Uh, the re there was a reason why we decided not to do magnets, is because when you're working with magnets, yes. um, you want to have your poles so they attract. And obviously, if we get them around the wrong way, in there it can cause problems oh. when you're putting a project together yes. so it's the same as on the kits where we're using the magnets as closures I spend a long time lecturing on how to make sure that you're not going to have your magnets opposing each other or repelling each other on the um, on the eyes option oh, oh that is scary actually isn't it that is quite worrying isn't it? <laughs> that's like that's like when David Banner like the, the you know oh. like the don't make, don't make me angry Ooh. Um, anyway, approaching 30% of the eyes. Sorry, Ali. <laughs> I've just wandered off now, haven't I? <laughs> and the time option, 20% of those have gone as well. Now, while I'm here, Ali, yes. I'll be back with you in a moment. She's still fussy cutting away over there and, and constructing. I want to talk about the mini books because they're absolutely brilliant. Uh, we've had a one-day special with the mini books before and they're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's another one of those affairs, by the way, where Ali gives you absolutely everything, bar the kitchen sink, bar actually coming to your house and doing it with you. Um, you've got all of the templates here, full uh, instructions. You've got your DVD, uh, which is included too. Um, and they make these charming, 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 little gorgeous, gorgeous books. And these are so, so sweet. And these little albums... Um, you've got to get, you know we mentioned the little, um, the little bookcases as well, you've got to get those. Now these pages open up, hang on a second, let me see if I can remember from when we did the one day special. They sort of twisty open, that don't they? Open, there you it? go. And then those pages open up beautifully, like so. And that's just one, that's just one. Put it back the right way, Derek. There's, there is a, hang on, oh, Ali, what have I done? See, give me, there, there we go, done it. Go. done it, done it, done it, done it, done it, and there are lots and lots of different albums. Um, we also have an option on the show to buy the little book, can you see the little bookcases there in the background? Um, you can get two of those, and they are gorgeous, gorgeous little bookcases. Obviously, they come to you uh, naked, so to speak, and then you decorate them, and they come flat-packed. You just put them together, glue them together, and then decorate them as you will. And then your little mini albums from this um, fit into that beautifully. It's a lovely little buy, it really is, because they just make the sweetest little keepsakes and, and memories, and there are lots of different formats of the mini albums included with your templates as well. Same kind of thing as ma Magical and Mythical, and it really does give you absolutely everything. Far too much for my liking, but there you go. Uh, 150232 is your item number. It's really, really good. Oh, hello. We're we making a saving still on that one as well. Only a £20 saving on that, Ali. Are you not kept track of your introductory price tags? Because that wasn't introduced any time recently. Uh, no, it was, it was only as the big, humongous bundle. Do you remember? Yeah. But we've got an introductory price on this. Yeah. And we're not introducing this today. I, I, I Introduction. Oh, it's new bundle. Oh, yeah. that's how they've made sense of it. I just, I say, I like this, and I want to, I want to play with this on television. She's not, she's not bothered about the numbers. She's not bothered about the numbers. <laughs> Whose business is this, Ali? Um, uh, mine. Hmm. Okay, thought so. <laughs> Uh, just saying, 155232. Anyway, before I rudely interrupted you, where were you? Right, I was just, I'd cut out Pegasus, and I've just shaped his wings a little bit, so he looks like he's flying out, and I've done the same with our little pig, which we'd put onto some pink pattern paper, so we've got a little flying pink pig. So you didn't even have to colour it, you just found no. the right coloured paper. And I've just put the dragon along there, and you see straight away, that looks like that should have been that paper. They're flying out. Okay, so I'm just going to add a bit of glue. How cool. And then they're going to be flying out of our that book. That is super cool. And we'll have our little piggy. going to shape him a little bit cause, because the ephemera gives the, the paper a little bit of sort of body. I can shape that so they look like they're flying out. We've stuck a dragon on there. Notice I just used a clip there just to make sure the glue was down. And there you go. We've got a, a it's reveal. So with, super cool. So it's a bit like Pandora's box that, yeah. that we've released all the magical creatures. So then that's right a story to go in that. And remember, and again I'm gonna show you as well, because you get all of the different templates, and I'm gonna show off every single sample because Ali spends 
days and weeks <laughs> making these samples. Uh, look at this. You even get the um, the template to make the little um, the sort of leather look strap. You also get the ephemera, which actually does the leather leather look for you. So look, you actually get two. Is it two pages? Yeah, two you get pages two pages. Of those of your leather but look straps in your ephemera. But because you've got the template as well, you can continue making straps. You can do them out yes. of black card, you could do them out of acetate, Forever anything and ever. you fancy. You've got the magnets in there too. Now, same kind of um, album that Ali, Ali was just making there with the, um, with the peel back. This is the peel back, isn't yes. it? Yes. So what I've done on that one is the butterflies at the top, I was really frugal. I used the template so that I didn't end up covering a whole sheet of patterned paper. Oh, There's cool. just normal card behind there. I used the template to, to do the, the bit that's going to show so I didn't end up oh, wasting too much paper. And on that design as well, obviously you've got the ephemera for the little, um, little, for the little kind of lug luggage tags. You get that ephemera uh, too with it. Isn't that clever? So, so good. Oh, and by the way, with this option, I don't know if we uh, mentioned it recently, but I'll, I'll mention it now. You do get the five sheets of ephemera um, in there, including the, the, the new magical. So you get two sheets of the um, leather look um, straps there. You get one sheet of the sort of leather luggage tag, kind of name tag ones to put your sentiments and words into. Sorry, Emily, what did you say then? Sorry. Over a third of the stock sold out and gone on this one. I am really, really not surprised. Uh, and you also get uh, a sheet of, this is the mythical. Yes, isn't that's it? mythical. And you also get a sheet of the magical as yes. well. Because, just because. Because, well, because yeah. why not? Because it's Ali. Uh, <laughs> that's what she does. A little bit of everything. Um, you also get the string, you get the, the eyes as well. You get the Bradless eyes. You get, you get six of those. Yeah, six of those. You've got all of your templates. I was showing you samples, wasn't I? Let me show you the um, the tunny, the tunnel one. So this the, is a very simple version of the tunnel oh, one. Oh, it really isn't, though, because look, the front page is your largest aperture, and then it goes, they get smaller and smaller. But rather than doing smaller. the fancy cutting round, I've stuck the elements on afterwards. So that's the first, that's the easiest way of doing it to begin with. That's cool. So you just cut the basic squares and then layer up with your, your bits and pieces. And see how the spine doesn't interfere with the pages at all. It's completely and, and utterly that's separate. different um, stitched way so that you've got the crisscross there. So it just gives it a different look. Amazing. Uh, but you've got the DVD as well. Um, right, which you really shouldn't have. Um, six minutes, Ali, of playtime. Right, so I was going to show how simple it is to start the Amazing Star book, because we've not really oh, that's very spoken true. about that. No, we haven't, have we? That's this one here, where you keep changing. You keep changing and changing and changing, and you can use four layers of different images on that, can't you? So... Show me, show me, show me. Okay, so basically you get two templates. Um, one for the smaller one, one for the larger one. The larger one really could do with um, 12 by 12 or um, A3, but the smaller one fits on A4. And it is done so that you can just go straight across your A4. And you oh, need... so there's two different sizes? Yes. Oh, I can see. I've, yes, I've got the larger one here now as well. Yes. Gotcha. And to get the, mo the most striking effect, it looks good if you do four different colours. So, obviously, that's why I've given you five different colours in the thing, just so that you've got choice. Of course, naturally. Okay, <coughs> so, you, imagine I am cutting out 24 of these and you can do it with your trimmer and do multiple layers at the same time but I'm just gonna do two just to get you started the nice thing with this one is it's very repetitive so once you've done it you can sit and have the telly on watch a Christmas movie because it's that time of the year yes what and the doing. Christmas, I noticed the Christmas radio stations are starting to pop up already. Yeah, so you know, get yourself in in the mood, and then actually they don't take as long as you think to make because they're nice and repetitive. So you could have seasons on this as well because it's four different sides, yeah. isn't it? So once you start playing with fours, it's quite as you say seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, if you're doing it with with children, they could have um, the main colours. So you can do all sorts of different things. But it's just a really nice way of displaying lots of photos yeah. because you've got 24 images 
that you can have and it doesn't take up that much space so you know if you have the the cameras at a wedding you know for the the fun natural shots you yeah. could you could easily you make use one all of, of these them. up yeah 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 uh we've got coming up to four minutes ali so i'm gonna shut my trap right so i've popped the template back on ignore the four holes for now you only need those right at the end there for doing your magnets and the reason we have a magnet join on it is because it then becomes like one whole piece and you can't see where the join is if you try and um tie it with ribbon you lose a little bit of the illusion so you just fold along and that means you can still fold it flat as well doesn't it it does yeah transport it or bit of glue along it. there and you just sit and make yourself 24 bits like this okay and once you've got 24 you can start constructing now if you are someone that happily can 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 remember a pattern a long pattern of numbers and things like that you can glue it all together in one go but if you're like me and you're going to get yourself muddled you do them in fours because you start with one and then you put some glue and you rotate 90 degrees you then take the next one rotate 90 degrees uh, okay 90 degrees and you get one section uh, okay and yeah. you make six of those sections and then you join them together and sometime later you end up with this and you can see the principle of this is that you it's four is it's four sided sorry i was hiding the big one be, behind everything else and this is the easiest one to show you on the telly actually um because then you can see how charming the end result so is so i've just played with my pattern papers there so you, you could if you were doing one for um children get wrapping paper and do it out of character wrapping paper so you could have i can't think of any characters off the top of my head that has four other than teenage mutant ninja turtles <laughs> there's four oh, of those but, but you could but have wasn't a there um d'artagnan and the three musker house yeah you could now we're showing our age again uh, but you <laughs> yeah, could, you yeah, could yeah. do that or you know you could have different grandkids pictures on them the famous know. oh no that was five <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there must be some others that are four. But um, yeah. What about the Scooby Doo ones? Was there four of them? I think there might have been. If we exclude Scooby Dog, Scooby Doo, but Scooby yeah, so Dog. So you can just <laughs> Scooby Dog. But you, I mean, this one I've got, I've got photos on. I've not added the magnets to this yet, but you can see you've got all these images. I mean, it looks quite fun when you have it all stretched out as well. All those oh. different images. Yeah, it does actually, doesn't it? And then it just comes round. So I've got to add the magnets to this one. So if you did one that was all Christmassy, I'm going to try and find that. Oh, I found the magnets straight away. If you did one that was all Christmas papers, you could kind of make a funky, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it like plays a... with your eyes at the best of times. Yeah. But it's so clever, the fact it just keeps changing. ABBA. Ab oh, that would that would be so in at the moment, but wouldn't it? And you could do the letters on each side as well. Yes. Oh, that would be really good. That would be super cool, wouldn't it? There you go. I can't believe but my, I just love my the idea fact was so bad. That twenty-four pictures folds up so small, and they're not small versions of the pictures, but it's just. It is a little bit mesmerising. I love. I could play with this all day, and it's two different sizes as well, isn't it? Yes. So, so you, you get the little there you one. Go, you've got small and uh, the little one you can do out of A4. The larger ones out of 12 by 12. Since we said ABBA, honestly, yes. well, the website's just gone bonkers. <laughs> um, other groups are available. Any group of four you take can that. think of. Um, yes. Oh no, take that's three at the moment, isn't <laughs> it? I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Okay, we could miss some. <laughs> have what? a blank side. You could, yeah. <laughs> In case one comes back. Exactly. Um, when are you coming back, talking of At which? At 7 o'clock, I think. Okay, marvellous. They might not let me. No, they will. They will. I'm so, only sorry, it's not me again. Uh, but you'll be with Richard later. Um, check out your baskets, everyone. Abba. Oh, love it. Right, okay, let's see what else is coming up. It's final call for the All and Create uh, One Day Special right now. I'll be here with Janet for that. And then Rich is here with Crafty UK Quilting Templates and then a new One Day Special. Hello, I'm Hayley. I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. 
I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimple shows and have some fun. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people and that's just um, the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn, there's always something uh, that you want to get into, it's fabulous. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11am and 2 p Gosh, actually, that's amazing, isn't it? Fifth birthday for All and Create. Gosh! Janet Pring, I thought All and Create had been around for, it feels like they've <laughs> always been part of our lives. Oh yeah, they, they do, but yeah, five years, that's all it Wowzers. is. Wowzers. It's huge growth in that time. That's amazing, and it's been one incredible uh, weekend. Absolutely, and, yeah. and, and this weekend hangover, <laughs> all the way into Monday as well, in a, in a crafty sense, of course. Yeah. Um, how are you, Janet? I'm really good, thank you. This yeah, is really a lovely, good. lovely collection. My first time for seeing it, your last show I know yeah. for this, so um, this is um, incredible. I love anything to do with Zodiac, I absolutely love. Um, and these are Janet Klein stamps. These which Janet Klein stamps. Always the most beautiful. I had a quick chat with you earlier um, as you were getting some more, some more demonstrations together. Just the most darling little characters yeah. always, isn't it, with Janet? They absolutely are. They're all fa fabulous. And um, obviously they will work really well as part of the Zodiac. Yeah. Um, but there are quite a few in here that, that will work totally outside of the Zodiac as well. They, that you can, so I think you will buy them, obviously, because they're Zodiac collection. Yes. But you want to get a lot of use out of them. And, and yeah. if they're more versatile, then you've got... Like this one here, you just see in the Virgo. There's absolutely nothing on there that says it's a star sign, so you could just no, use her not individually. At all. Uh, yeah, no. A apart from the actual, um, the actual yeah. pictorial the symbol words. for yeah. that zodiac sign. Um, so I love the fact that every single one of these. As I say, I'm coming in completely fresh to these um, because I haven't seen them so far. But I love the fact that they've got all the the supposed attributes of the star signs are part of the, the stamp set as well. So you can both agree or disagree, you can, add, you can add them, you can leave them. You could take actually attributes from other star signs and say, no, actually, I'm a bit more, I'm a bit more that from Virgo and that from Leo and that from, and you can incorporate that into your project. Now there's a free gift with um, this as well which is superb, um, and it's your Inky Numbers stamp. Again, 
Um, this is by, oh, this is one of Olga's, isn't it? Um, fabulous. Lots and lots of letters and numbers and script and all sorts going on in that. Um, that is your free gift. Is that in this show or is that with this bundle? In this show. Fantastic. Uh, um, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so anything you buy all and create from this show, um, aside the big weekend, wow, mega, 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 which has all of its own free gifts as well, you will get that stamp set. So 458736. So for that, we get all 12 zodiac signs with the 12 characters, with the 12 attributes as well. Now, you know what a nosy beggar I am, Janet? Star sign are you? Pisces. Pisces, right. Pisces. Let's see what you are then. Let's see Let's see if it matches up, shall we, and see if you agree. Um, empathetic, I would say absolutely. Absolutely um, <laughs> empathetic, creative. Well, hello, <laughs> clearly. Yeah, it kind of helps, doesn't it? It helps. And generous. Yeah. Yes. Not absolutely. so sure about that one. <laughs> you, are, you are. Well, you're generous with your talent oh, by yeah. sharing it with us. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Right, can I indulge for a second? Because I'm a, I'm a Scorpio, so I'm going to go to Scorpio. Scorpio. Oh, well. <laughs> Janet Klein, I can't disagree. We have never met. Uh, intelligent. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll take that. <laughs> intuitive. Oh, I don't know. That's for other people to judge, maybe, if I'm intuitive <laughs> or not. Imaginative. Yeah, I think I've got quite a good imagination. So it's all the positive yeah, all attributes the, yeah, of yeah. your star sign. Well, who was it? With? I think it was somebody. Oh, it was one of the producers last night. Uh, oh, uh, Marcus, I think it was. He said they really ought to put at least one of the negative accents <laughs> on there as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, was, I was looking for stubborn, yeah. lazy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sting in the tail. None of that. It's all positive stuff. I'm loving that. Um, right, OK, let's look at some samples then, shall we? Because these are absolutely fantastic. Fabulous. Um, let's start with this one um, from Philippa. Oh, and it's a little Leo. Oh, there's actually there's a few here. You've got an Aries, which is a ram, of course, isn't it? Uh, the Leo, which is the, oh, the little lion. Yeah, the little the gentle best, lion. Leo. Yeah, and really you've got um, Sagittarius there, um, which is really, really cute. Love that. Very, very nice indeed. And I like having the pictorial signs yeah, um, that's really signs nice of the as well. So they're, they're all the fire signs. So, so the, the zodiac signs are. Um, divided into four oh, elements, that's right. so these yes. are all the fire signs. Do you know, the only thing I know about the Zodiac, in, in, in all honesty, and I've just, you know, it's probably the same for most people, it's, I used to read my star signs yeah, in, the in, paper. The, in the paper. <laughs> but apart from that, yeah. don't, I know what mine is and that's about it. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Now, that's a little bit of washy there as well, isn't it? Yeah. Which has yeah. grounded that character uh, beautifully in this sample by Debbie Martin there uh, with another little Leo. Let's have a little Gemini. Now, Gemini is the twins, isn't it? Yeah. So this is one of those where obviously you can use it exactly as as part of the, the zodiac signs. Yeah. But there's nothing, nothing on there at all that says it's a zodiac sign. So you could, if you've got someone you know with twin girls, or you've sisters or friends or anybody like that, you could just equally use it for those. And you can you can split them up. You can cut them so that you've got one. Oh, cool. Yeah. You don't have to use Oh, them so Gemini, together. imaginative, witty, and humorous. Oh, you get the star constellation with that stamp set as well, actually. Yeah, so the Gemini is a bigger stamp set because it's, yes. um, we've had to get the twins in, so that's an A6 size. All and the others are A7. So you've got the extra little. Oh, cool. Love that sample, Joe Rice, by the way. Absolutely beautiful. Here's one by uh, Corey, yep. uh, which is uh, a Virgo. Virgo perfectionist. Oh, I don't know. Do we, have, do, we, do we know any Virgos here? Yeah, no, they definitely are. <laughs> Charlotte, Charlotte, what are you? Producer Charlotte. Are you Cancerian? Right, OK, let, let, me, let me dig out Cancer and let's see what you are. Let's see if we, uh, we agree with this. We better agree with it because we've got the whole show, haven't we? We've got the whole show to in endure if it doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> Compassionate? Absolutely, Charlotte, yes. Loyal to the core, completely. Uh, what was the middle one? Imaginative. Yes, absolutely. I, lo I, I love, actually, I do love the, the pictorial sign for cancer. It is, it's quite yeah, nice, isn't it? It's a nice one. It's yeah. almost like that yin yeah. and yang, isn't yeah. it? Right, let's look at a couple of others. We've got a, a Libra sample here um, from Corrie, which she's made into a tag there. Again, using those, um, those washi, which uh, undoubtedly yeah. will be on the um, Yeah, they'll be on the, website, be on the show, definitely. definitely. Yeah. I, would be, I would be blown over by a feather if it wasn't. <laughs> um, 
and I love that the All and Create washies are so, so brilliant. They are They'll fantastic. completely and utterly yeah. take you out of your comfort zone. They're wonderful. Uh, Debbie Martin sample there, which is beautiful. Now, if you want to pick and mix, you can pick and mix any four of the Zodiac stamp sets. Uh, those details at the bottom of the screen there, 628254 at 3196. But let's just look at the numbers for a second on this, because this is the first time I'm seeing this as well. So this is your monthly um, mega deal on this one. So it should be 99.88. You're saving 15 pounds, taking it down to 84.88. Freedom members, you get even more off. So you're saving 23.39, and your price tag is just 76.39, including your PMP. And of course, you can flexi this as well. So you've got two payments there of 38 pounds and 20 pence which is wonderful now you want to see the demonstrations with these as well so do i so let's go to the website so we can get janet all set up and ready to go because i love janet's demonstrations as well because janet is as cool she wouldn't say this herself but she is when she's demonstrating as cool as a cucumber let me tell you and you bring in so much of the other products uh they're there so there are amazing backgrounds you're all and create stencils and your stamps um, all in Create, if you're just discovering them for the first time right now, you want to go and have a good, good rummage in everything there is. And everything, it's, the, the wonderful thing is All in Create is this wonderful collection of very, very different and diverse designers and their work all just comes together beautifully. So there's, there's no two sets, even if the designers are very, very different, there's no two sets that won't work together. Um, Abs and the incredible team just... They just you just all have this synergy and you're all around the world Janet as well yeah so the designers um, the stamp designers the product designers come uh, Tracy's in the UK abs is originally from um, Algeria yeah um, Janet Klein's from America and Bipasha is originally from India but now lives in Australia so it's kind well, of there you really, go. And really those global. worlds yeah, meet beautifully absolutely. with all and create yep. Right, what are we starting with? So I'm starting with a gatefold card. So I like to, I've been doing every show, I've been doing the first project has had all 12 signs on it. So, so just to show you how that they can, they can work together. So I've done a, a gatefold card and I, I think I've separated, oh no, I haven't just, I've just done these ones randomly. Yeah. All the others I've kind of separated in, them into their, their own. Um, oh, like the earth and the water. Earth and the, and yeah. yeah, but fine. this one I thought, no, I'm just going to do these random. So yeah. I've just done a little gatefold um, with those nice, on. And it? so these are on. Uh, what we call twinchies, so they're two inch, I think I did anyway, two inch squares. Uh -huh. So um, I'm just going to, I've got loads of two inch squares here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to start by uh, stamping out our little designs. And obviously these don't, they're not all going to fit on the square. Actually what I'm going to do is just do this on a piece of card because otherwise my mat is going to get into a right state and I'll get ink all over the place. <laughs> which I normally do anyway, but um, it's easier if I don't, really. So this is our little Aries the Ram. Mm -hmm. And if we get time at the end of the show, I'm just going to run through all the samples that I've made um, in, during the course of the five um, days. Yes. Because I've, I've altered some of these. So like with the, the Ram Aries, yeah. I, I cut the horns off um, and oh, put okay. a hat on. Yeah. So it, it took a, so she's not necessarily a, um, just the star sign. You can use them in other ways as well, because I think it's useful for people to realise that you can yes, do that. Yes, the characters in their own yeah, right absolutely. aside their star yeah. sign, yes. Yes, because actually Virgo is, is, is a pretty little kind of princessy looking yeah, character, just, isn't he? Like a flower girl yeah, exactly. um, holding her, her little cat there. Um, and... Yes, yeah, so for instance, um, just going back to Charlotte's star sign as well, the Cancerian um, is a little girl with a crab on her head. Uh, of course, as Cancerian, that's the, um, that's the, the depiction crab, yeah. of um, Cancerians, is it, as a little crab. But of course, you could take the crab that's in her hat there, and you could replace that with another hat, couldn't you? Yeah, and I've got my demo today, the, the one I'm doing after this, is um, just using her in a different scene, just uh, at the beach. So she's, she's uh, just a little girl at the beach with a crab on her head. <laughs> <laughs> like you do. <laughs> like you do when you're in, in the all and create world. <laughs> now Taurus, Taurus is... The is bull. Taurus a, oh, a bull. Yeah. Ah, okay, so the little Taurus girl, actually, it's, it's great because they, instead of giving her sort of scary um, horns, let me just put a white sheet behind that. Instead of giving her scary horns, they've given her almost a lot of, 
They always look like pastry croissants, don't they? they do. Oh, do you know quite, what? Adam said that. Quite cool, Adam actually, said they were croissants. Yeah. yeah, they do. They're lovely. Or little... What, what do they call those shells that are, that are shaped like that? Oh, are they... Look. I don't know. Conch. Are that, they yeah, I think conch, that's it, conch. yes. I was gonna, I said, was going to say cochineal, but that's obviously where it comes from. But also with her, so you can cut these off. So I, I, I changed her as well. So if you cut about there, um, then she's just got a little bun yes. by the side. So so you can you can do that. And then she's just, she's got nothing else. Oh, she's got horns, actually. She's she, could, got, um, she could have a little witch's hat on in the middle of that could. as well for her Halloween outfit, couldn't she? <laughs> <laughs> you certainly could. <laughs> so we're kind of getting our way through these. Uh, oh, the now. Scorpio so little is... girl. She's got a scorpion in her arms, but I want to, I want to show you because it's the friendliest little scorpion you've you've ever ever seen. Because look, it's almost like it's almost like it's got lipstick on. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I think they're so cool, I really do. This is such a fun set, I love it. Sorry, Janet, I'm just I'm, I'm right. in a world of my own. <laughs> come into Studio 2 and you come into the All and Create the world. Create which mad is, universe. Which is bonkers, <laughs> and I love it for that as well. If you haven't seen the, uh, the big mega weekend um, deal yet, which includes this collection, plus uh, Ab's collection, and there's a Tracy Evans um, collection that we've had. So it's kind of three one-day specials in one, really, yeah. isn't it? Plus, I've never seen a more free gift being thrown at a no, bundle I, I don't know in what, my time. No, I don't, know, I don't what's, know what's happened there. No, I don't know what's the matter with Ab's. It's good job that's know. nothing to do with us, isn't it, really, <laughs> yeah, Janet? That wasn't my decision, no. We just get to, to do enjoy with it. Me. Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we'll talk about it. I'll go and show it to you at, um, at a wee bit later. So, so you're literally just taking your two inch squares and just sort of... Just two inch squares and just picking little bits out to, yeah. to stamp on them. And this is quite a nice technique. It's quite a nice thing to do and it works with a lot of stamps. And you'd be surprised how nice it looks. You think, oh, it would, you know, it doesn't look, it won't pick up all the image and people won't know what you, you are. But, but it does. It's, uh, it's quite surprising. Gives them another life, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Just changes them a little bit. I haven't got too many more to go, I don't think. <laughs> it's super, super cool. Over. Where are we uh, at the moment in star sign-wise? We're the one before Scorpio at the moment, I think, are we? No, I think we're into Scorpio that... now. I think we're into Scorpio. Oh, are we into Scorpio now? I think, so. what date is it? Uh, I, d I, I have no idea what date no. it is, actually, to be honest with you. I thought we were a Libra still at the moment. Might still be Libra. 25th of October. I oh, know, we'll be into Scorpio by now, then. Oh, but Charlotte's just checking them out. Yeah, no. By the 25th, it's changed. Oh, has it? I think so. Oh, because if you're a Libra, so you'd have just had your birthday. It's the 25th today, Charlotte. We're just checking to see where we are right now. Oh, we are Scorpio now, are we? Yay, Scorpio season. That means it's nearly my birthday. <laughs> Marvellous. Uh, but if you are Libra, that we're just coming out of the season of... The season of Libra. That's... Oh, it changed yesterday. Um, balanced, charming and poised. I love the fact that your sign as well is almost like a little sunrise. It reminds me of uh, the old TVAM logo a little bit from a long, long time ago. All the kids are going, what? What, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> TVAM. You don't remember Roland Rat? Honestly. Oh, You've no. not, they've not lived, have they, they Janet? They don't know anything, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel quite, well, I am quite old, but I do feel quite old when I come here and talk about things that happened, and it's like, oh, no, nobody here knows what you're talking about. Listen, Janet, I, I'm only 26 and three quarters, <laughs> and I feel old here with all the kids around. It's like a creche, isn't it? It is, it is. They are crush. amazing, though, all of them. They are fabulous We like people. to tease them. They we can do. tease us for being old, we can they tease do. them for being young. Yeah. Simple as that. I don't know what you've missed. Yes. You don't know what you've missed. <laughs> and we did it all, what was it on Facebook? We did it all before did the it all internet. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Without, without proof. <laughs> yes, so we all look sweet and innocent now and there's no proof of anything, anything else in existence. Whereas the young can't break wind without the world seeing it, can they? Exactly. Marvellous, Janet. See, what, a, what an age to be. I oh, know. So there we go. So I'm trying to get... Where there is a star sign element, I'm trying to get that into my twinchy as well. So it, it does look like so there. I've got a little bit of the Scorpio in there as well. 
That's a good method for all of your stamp sets as well, and then, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, this works with all sorts of stamps. I don't think I've seen, I don't think I've seen that before. And it's funny because, you know, the people will say, well, you know, but it's so simple, Derek. Yeah, but uh, it, it's only simple if you know if how. If you think of the idea, yeah. If you've and done I think it before. Joe, there's a sample there. Is it with the clipboard is it this one? Yeah, Joe's done one as well. So she's done similar sort of things. Is it with this her, one? I can't that one. Yeah, I think it, it is. It is. Oh, yes, it is that one, isn't yeah. it? Yes, actually, it looks quite subtle um, because the background's quite quite muted. That is a very muted background for Joe, isn't it? It is. Um, love it though. It's really, really nice. I love the, the fact that she's put the big clip on the top of that as well because it's just giving it, you know, a real base. I love that. Excuse me while I destroy the set as always. Don't touch anything, Derek. Right, where are we, Derek? Right, so we've stamped everything out. We've got so all 12. We've got all 12, so let me turn my bit of paper over and just get them all not in any particular order, but they all... And you can get them all on, even the Gemini, which um, obviously is quite a big stamp. Mm -hmm. um, there's still enough there to, to see what they are and that they're twins. And yeah. So it's uh, yeah, quite a nice technique. And you can use these with, for your um, calendar making yeah, as well, couldn't you? Yeah, calendars, and it it's works with all sorts of stamps as well. Yeah. It's really nice. So all I'm going to do with those, I will colour them all in. I'll show you my sample. So I will colour them all in. Mm -hmm. And just edge them in black. So I haven't done any other background apart from splattering a bit of paint over the over the top with those. Yeah. And I quite like them actually. Once I'd got them, I'd, I edged them all and then put them on white card, and they look quite nice. Yeah. Just edged onto white card without anything. Yeah. And you could do that just in if you did them all in order. I think it looks quite nice just so like did that. So <laughs> did you stick them down and then and draw uh, no. the edging on? Or did what you I do is them? I I use a black pen. I'm just going to go back onto this side, and I, <laughs> I and will use side. that side. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's fine, yeah. That isn't going to go to waste. Waste not, want not, yeah. <laughs> so I just go around with a black pen and, and just uh, edge okay. it like that. Right. And then once you do that, it kind of ties in. Where you've got, um, I'll just do this one at the, the bottom here, where you've got kind of all the lines, it, it kind of just gives it a, yeah. a base somehow, ties just them together. Them. Yeah, 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 connects yeah. them all. I'm not going to do all of, all 12 of these, but you can see what I've done, obviously. <laughs> so, and once you've done that, when you sh when you put that back on your nice side, yeah, it it makes a huge difference. So, if you do one that you've done and one that you haven't done, it makes a big difference in in how they look. Oh, yeah. I suppose the other thing you could do with this as well is use your other colours in your versifines and your inks, and and stamp them out in in different colours. You could indeed. You? Yeah, that would be nice. So for my um, background now, um, I'm going to done that all, coloured them all in, and then for the background, I've used a stamp set called Celestial Nav Celestial Navigation, uh, which should be around. Um, and I liked, I just like the, I thought that work will work really well with the sort of signs of the zodiac because it's all um, just obviously celestial. So I'm just going to, and I'm going to ink this up in. Now, I don't know if this is the same two colours that I used. Are these, oh no. <gasps> did I see a bit of prize ribbon there? You did. <laughs> <laughs> so these are quite dark colours, and I, they, they quite scare me. I don't, I don't do dark colours. Uh, what was the stamp again, um, Janet? Celestial Sorry, Navigation. Celestial Navigation. Yeah. <laughs> is, this, is, this a, is this an ab stamp? This is Olga, I believe. Yeah, it's Olga. Oh, Charlotte's found it. <laughs> She's found it in amongst the many stamps available. She's a good girl. <laughs> Actually, I've, I've done that, but I, I want it um, on the mount. I've changed my mind. I want it on the mount. So I'm going to pop that back on the mount. Uh, all the mounts are, well, I'm sure if they're all in stock, they'll all be on the show. They will. And then I've got my pieces of card. So to do my gatefold, I've, 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 I've cut a piece of A4 into... 28 centimetres, does that divide by four? And then I've scored it at seven centimetres here yes. and then at 21 centimetres there, so you've got seven centimetre sort of fold. And then I've cut pieces of card just to, um, just to fit inside there. So these are my two that are going to go on the front. And I'm going to stamp these two together just because it saves a bit of time. And Oh, I'm going to go that way, I think. Yeah. So I'll go that way, then it all fits in one go. I'm still, I'm still 
baffled and bamboozled by the fact that all in grass because I've only been around these parts for the last couple of years, I think it is. Uh, and I just feel like I knew all about All and Create before I even arrived here. It just feels <laughs> like it, it should be so much longer. Yeah. Amazing, amazing uh, and success. They've, that they've all gone a long way, yeah, a long way in that time. Yeah, yeah. It's been very clever, very successful. And I think it's because um, they started with this, they're, they're quite different to other, other, it's missing the middle bit there. Um, they're quite different to other sort of stamp companies in the yes. way they work and everything and the stamp designs are quite unusual yes. so I think that's kind of why people um, are quite attracted to them so that's my, my panel mm -hmm. and then what I'm going to do for the middle section hoping there's going to be enough ink left on here so I'm just going to spritz this so this is going to be a more watercolory effect in the background on this piece of card hopefully Let's do that. I think that the, one of the secrets of all and create as well is that it's very difficult Ooh. to actually go wrong. It's very difficult to end <laughs> up with something that you're not necessarily pleased with. Yeah, you know it I mean? is. They, it's, um, and I even if there's a dodgy bit here and there, you've always got a stamp on something that can save your day. Um, especially when it comes to things like, because washi tape, I think, actually, it's really interesting because all and creates washi tape is wildly different to everybody else's, yeah. which is, for me, is definitely a plus point. Because a lot of other washi tapes are a repeat of a continuous pattern, or they're a nice floral, or they're quite pastely. You know, actually, with all in create, they are wow, all shapes yeah. and gauges and sizes. I mean, Ab's big word washi tape is one of the most genius things yeah. I think in the craft industry. And yeah, again, simple idea, but you know, it, it, it's brilliant. Yeah, and Ab tries to. I mean, he deliberately tries to do things that are different. So he's yeah. if. If everybody's doing the same thing, Break then there's the no point in doing it, yeah, yeah, because other people have already done it. Completely. So he's always trying to, to think of uh, different ways of doing it. And also, um, they like to provide inspiration. It's, if people are buying the stamps, buying the products, it's kind of, he sees it as all and creates job to provide inspiration and ideas for how to use them as yes. well. So there's a, a group on Facebook called All and Create Fanatics. Um, which is um, just does that so people can uh, join the group and the design team post their projects on there. Everything I own is running out at the moment. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so the design team post projects on there, the, um, the dis stamp designers post projects, but what's really nice is that the customers post their projects as well yeah. and there's a huge, huge mm -hmm. wealth of inspiration out there and p some people are very, very talented. <clears throat> and it's really lovely. It's, I, I love seeing it. Sometimes people have seen a demo on the show and they'll say, well, I've, I was, Janet did this and I've, I've done my version. And I absolutely love seeing that. Yeah. And I yeah, know yeah, all yeah. the others do too. It's, it's just one of those things that's really lovely to see. Yeah, please yeah. always, always share. So there's All and Create Fanatics, but also um, share it to us as well um, at the craft store. And we have a, we have a group called... Crafting with the craft crafting store. Crafting with the craft yes, store. Crafting yeah. with the craft store. Um, so uh, share your makes there. As well. Yes, we do, Charlotte. You must have a look. <laughs> 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 I only found out a couple of weeks ago, to be honest with you. Oh, dear, dear. I think it was just in case I'd posted one of my one of my very few makes on there. They yeah. didn't tell me. So this is this is kind of all I've done with this now. Really, is I've I've just edged my ba my background, and I'm just going to pop. Obviously, I will sort of properly line them with everything. Um, and then this one, I just thought this gave a different effect in the middle because it's a lot more watery. Um, and then all I've done is just just randomly popped all my little star signs just around. Oops, try and get them the right way up, and just just sort of pop them all on like that. So if I can find my finished sample. Here it is. <laughs> I will show you. So I kept the colours. When I coloured it, I kept the same kind of colours that I'd used before. Um, and then we've just got the inside and, and the outside as well. It's really sweet. It's lovely. Um, thank you, Janet. Right, now I'm going to take you through absolutely everything that we have got um, on the show as well. If you're loving this Zodiac collection, um, I think it's really, really sweet. Again, I'm just going to pick... You can pick any one and you can see the lovely charm 
in every one of those 12 stamp sets. So you get the little character itself, which Janet Klein's characters, they're always so full of fun. Um, and you can, as Janet said, that you can sort of ad adapt them and change them. So they don't have to be specifically to their star sign. But again, you've got those like positive um, uh, virtues, characteristic, character, characteristics, if you like. It's not really not an easy word to say at all, is it? Uh, characteristics of your star sign, the name of the star sign, the pictorial symbol for that star sign as well, 12 times over, and they are just the sweetest. I am going to indulge you if your birthday is coming up very, very soon. If I can find her, where's she gone? Where's she gone? Where's she gone? It's not her. I'll show you Aquarius for now while I find uh, Miss Scorpio. Uh, there's Aquarius, friendly, friendly, creative, loyal Aquarius. Where's Scorpio gone? <laughs> Have I sneaked it out of the door? It's here somewhere. Because she's holding a little scorpion, isn't she? Is it here? No, that's not the one. That's Taurus. Anyway, you get all 12 of them anyway. I've hidden her in, I think I've hidden it in some samples somewhere. I'll come back to it a little bit later on. Anyway, you get all 12 of the star signs. Yes, let me show you some samples, and then Scorpio will just appear in front of my face. Here's a wonderful um, sample by Joe Rice there. Um, I'm always looking for uses for these little, you know, sort of um, uh, word game tiles that you, um, that you can buy for your crafting, because I think they're so much fun. I love, love using them. Um, they're brilliant. Look at that. Again, just keeping that lovely colour theme into the background as well. Ambitious, confident, warm-hearted, as my dad, Leo. Um, uh, there is a lo another lovely sample there from Debbie. Again, she's used some of the uh, some of the washi tape there from All and Create, and just dotted the little symbol for the star sign um, in the background. This is quite clever on this Libra because actually, what Cory has done here is incorporated the sign for Libra into the little the little punch hole for the tag, which is very very clever. <laughs> that's brilliant, isn't it? All the things that you don't think of doing, and that's why um, the All and All and Create is brilliant because it really does give you. Lots and I have. I found Scorpio. I told you it was. It was. I don't know why I couldn't actually see it or read it or whatever. I'm going to show you now. Look here, she is Scorpio with a little scorpion there. She's she's obviously having her week in Cornwall, which I'm about to in a couple of weeks' time, and uh, she's caught a, a scorpion with crab claws. <laughs> Love it. Very nice indeed. Um, so all twelve of the star signs plus your free gift in there as well. Don't forget. So you've got the um, the stamp inky numbers. Um, stamp which is free in this set for you as well. What what was that normally, Charlotte? Seven ninety nine ordinarily free for you in this bundle. And actually, I think you get that free with anything bar the birthday mega deal um, in the show as well, which is very very nice. Four five eight seven three six. Now you can pick and mix from the um, uh, the. Um, Horoscope, bless you, Charlotte. The horoscope stamp sets you can pick a mix from as well. <laughs> I couldn't find my words. Charlotte sneezing. That was a good combination. Um, so you can pick and mix any four of the stamp sets there for you. The only one that isn't there individually is Gemini, unfortunately, because that is uh, an A6 stamp set but you can buy it individually which is very very good to know so if you want to do that again you can find all the details on the website if you just go to thecraftstore.com it brings up everything that is in the show um, in the first page which is brilliant because that makes it nice and easy so the show that you're watching all the products for that will pop up in front of you Plenty more on the show as well besides all of that, but they are the pick and mixes of the Zodiac. Now, I've moved to the other side of the studio to show you the birthday, all in create, fifth birthday, mega set. And it is mega as well. It is three one-day specials. And the biggest collection of free gifts I think I've ever seen with any supplier here at the craft store. And, and I watch a lot of the craft store besides actually being here. So with here, we've got the one day special that you're looking at right now that we're in final call for. We've got, yes, I'm sorry, monthly mega deal. I beg your pardon. Yes, sorry. It's in the shows that one day special would be, but it's a very special weekend because we've had all in create basically taken over the craft store for the whole weekend. So we had apps one day special, which was from Friday, or is that a monthly mega deal as well? It was a weekend. Wow. Okay. I'll just get my coat. Bye now. <laughs> so 
So it was a weekend wow. Yeah, let's just call them collections. That's a good idea. So we've got Abs's collection, which was the weekend wow, which was from Friday. And I'm taking it from my brief glimpse at it here, because this is the first time that I'm seeing it, Janet. A bit of a, a, bit of a Halloween kind of... Halloween and a little bit of Christmas as well. Oh, from, lovely. From, from All and Create. So, so, yeah. that's, so that's everything over here, isn't it? Abs's collection. So where's the Christmas... Oh, I see the poinsettia there and the baubles and the holly. And there's a Christmas dog with glasses on. Of course there is. It's Abs. <laughs> Absolutely. So that was the um, weekend wow well from Friday. And then there is the Tracy Evans collection, which was Friday at 6 o'clock. Is that here? That's at the bottom down here. Right, let's have a little look at that. Oh, OK, right, so with Tracy, yes, of course. So we've got lots and lots of um, florals and butterflies and sort of that, that kind of science twist that yeah, she has to her work. Yeah, circles as well, circles and florals and butterflies and all the things Tracy likes. Um, I so love beautiful it. collection. And then we've got the Zodiac um, collection, which is a monthly mega deal, which is a Janet Klein collection, which we are looking at in this hour. That's also part of this monthly mega deal, mega set to celebrate All and Create's fifth birthday. Now, if that wasn't enough, and you'll probably be thinking, right, OK, so that's quite some investment there. Yeah, absolutely. But my word, does it pay back? Because that you save £35 <laughs> and some, because come over here and you will see there are 11 free gifts. You've got over £90 worth of free gift included. And, oh, I recognise some of these stencils as well. This one down here, this is the, is it Tre... Uh, oh, it's Quattro Fiori, isn't it? I knew it was a Fiori. It's Quattro. So, and this is, um, oh, is the it Janet tray? Klein. No, I think that is Quattro, sorry. Yeah. Yes, she's, it is she's Quattro, She's done a, yeah. a Quattro in the tray. Um, so this is the Quattro, and this is Janet Klein uh, stencil. So obviously this will work really nicely with all her little cuties as well. And it's free uh, it's with free. this set. Here's another Janet Klein, and this is alphanumeric. That gets lots used in a lot yeah, of demonstrations like, as well, yeah, doesn't it? Going back to what I was saying before, actually, if you look at the other um, free gifts you've got there, you've got um, stamp sets galore going on over there, and there's a the little bit of absolutely everything that All and Create do there. In fact, is that is this this number stamp? Is that a, that looks like, is that a Vipasha or is that an Olga? Uh, I think that might be. That's Pasha, I'm not sure. I can't I can't turn it around. It's too it's too stuck. It's a Vipasha, yeah. I thought it was uh, numbers galore. But you know what? If, if you just had this collection, that's, I mean, you know, there would have been some thinking behind what went into the free gifts. But if you just bought this as a collection on its own, at n just under £91 worth, it would all go together absolutely perfectly. Anything that you buy from All and Create, you know, even, even Abs's Christmas stamp set goes with everything you just saw over there in the free gift. Um, all of the designers that work with All and Create, everything just works so beautifully. I have to say, I love, love this dog in this Christmas stamp set um, from Abs. It's beautiful. Um, actually, let me show you a sample. Let me show you a sample of that as well. Oh, is it a French bulldog? Uh, but apparently, yeah, I, I don't know. So these, these are actually designed by Bipasha, um, these, these, these stamps. Oh, cool. Yeah. And the, but the dog, although it it doesn't actually have anything crispy, it says spread a little sparkle or tint something. Is oh that the, yes, is that it does. Dog? Yeah, in the background there, in doesn't the background. it? And there's ho 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 type. Oh, there is there. ho ho ho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But but Fabulous. you could get away without that being Christmas if you so to make them again make them more versatile. So Abs doesn't oh. like stamps just being for one time of the year. So it's nice to to be able <gasps> to use them for all types oh, of the look. year. Oh look, look at this. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Amazing. And look, a little bit of, little bit of Halloween. That's this week, eh, isn't it? Halloween? I said, I'd, honestly, I'd, I'd, I'd just spot the man with no children. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> I just can't keep track of it. Um, 248608 is your item number then for the whole set. If you're not a Freedom member, I'm just thinking that it might well be worth it for this one because, of course, it does up your saving from... Was it 35 if you're not a Freedom member? 56.97 if you are. 
Let me think about that. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah, probably quite a good idea, isn't it? Um, it's amazing. You think of how many gifts. You could divvy this up into gifts for people as well, couldn't you? Absolutely. Um, this. You can um, divvy it down into flexes as well. It's on three flexes, 65, um, 92. It's just brilliant. I mean, honestly, all in create. If you wanted, if you felt that, oh, my word. Well, listen, here I am coming through, through to the last all and create show of there have been... 16 All and Create shows over the weekend. This is the very, very last one. So this uh, mega set is now limited stock. I'm not surprised. If you feel like you've come late to the All and Create party and you've missed out on so much, this would would certainly, you'd, you'd be caught up nicely, I think, if you had something like this. Yes, you would. And you'd have a lot to go at for a long, long time there. 248608 is your item number then for this one. It is your monthly mega deal celebrating five years of All and Create. Right, let's go back to Janet and we're going back to the Zodiac set again and oh i can't see what's going on over there. Uh, yeah, i'm, I'm using to? it in a, in the in a different context it is the zodiac but in different contexts oh, okay oh yes i remember the these kitchen these kitchen yeah. stamps so all the way through the, the shows I've been saying, this is the, um, the Libran lady with her, with her scales, and she's got <coughs> cakes on the scales. So, so you have to just use it in the kitchen. And I thought there's another set that goes really nicely with this uh, from Janet. Um, and this is called um, Sugar Cookies. And then the other one I'm going to be using as well is uh, Nana's Kitchen. Um, and these two, because this is all the kitchen elements as well. So these two, I thought, made fantastic. Um, just went really nicely with this, uh, with this, um, the Libran lady. So I'm just going to start by doing um, a background, um, and I'm going to just use um, got some broken china ink, and I've got a piece of acetate. So I'll just move that out of the way. And I'll just squidge a piece of acetate onto here. Uh, sorry, ink. So this is um, broken china. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on there and give it a spritz. It seems to do quite a lot of spritzing when I come here. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to dab this onto my card. Um, so it gives us a nice sort of smoochy background. Do you remember, Janet, there used to be a, um, a game show called The Zodiac Game? Do you no. remember that? I remember that one. Well, you were probably busy doing something extremely I was probably, much more yeah. intelligent than sitting watching daytime <laughs> telly in the 80s. It was, it, I can't remember you know, much about it, but I remember there was one, and it was presented by, do you remember Russell Grant with the jumpers that used Russell to do Grant. the star signs yeah, yeah. on in the morning? I remember him. On the BBC's yeah. breakfast. Um, he used to present it. I don't know uh -huh. what the premise was. That's all I can't remember. Can't but. remember that far. Yeah. So you, did you ever read your star signs? Do you ever hold oh, I, truck with them? I, I don't. It's quite interesting. I don't. What you read in the paper is is yeah, not necessarily. It's just what lines commercial the cat rubbish. Straight yeah. tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're saying? But, um, <laughs> but I have had my chart, my full astrological chart done. Oh, have you? The whole yeah. So what what oh. what planets are rising? Where my moon is? Where right. all my other planets are? Right. And um, a guy. Did, it was quite a while ago, and he yeah. came round one evening, and he just sat there and talked me all through it. And right. back in the days when there were tape recorders and we taped things, oh, did you and have he, a tape? He, he taped it all yeah, for yeah, me, yeah. and we yeah. we sat and it was remarkably accurate. Was I it? I was really shocked. Yeah, oh, really. I was really shocked how how good it was when you oh, wow. when you do it properly. Right. Um, it was amazing because. Um, you know, ov obviously not all Pisces are the same and not all any star sign is the same as anybody else. Yeah. But, but once you get into that s kind of depth to it, I was, I was quite surprised. So you, do you, you, you're a Pisces, did you say? I'm a Pisces, yeah. So you're going to be, what, March, February, March? February, March, yeah. So February, ah. I'm a February Pisces. Spring baby. <laughs> yeah. So that's my background, which does look a bit messy, but I'm just going to leave that to dry. So obviously I have got one... Um, that I've done already so that that's dry for me to work on. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to stamp my little images into place. So we're going to start, where's my lady? So this is my um, 
chef. So she's from the Sugar Cookies um, collection. Okay. I can find that again. So this is a really sweet little set. So she's just a nice little chef um, and she's got a recipe for sugar cookies and so sweet and everything. So she's she's a very sweet little um, little character there. Yeah. Sugar cookies? Sugar Tell cookies. me there's something other than sugar in them to flavour them. I don't know, it's American, so who knows? Sugar <laughs> it, cookies. Janet, Janet Klein's American lady, so this will be oh, an American okay. recipe. So uh, I'm sure there is, there's not much more than sugar in most biscuits, is there? <laughs> what, is, what, does it, what does it say in the, uh, in the recipe? Is there, like, oh, is there a bit of chocolate or fruit or There is, no, I don't think there. there's chocolate. Oh, I've got to put my glasses on to read this. So there is actually the recipe, so it's butter, sugar, eggs, vanilla, flour, baking powder and salt. So no, it's not long. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so, so it is. So it is, yeah, just sugary cookies. Sugar cookies. Bless you, Harry. Um, so she's put really the details sweet. on yeah. the uh, screen for you. For the eight, the Little Sprouts collection, in which this stamp set is in that collection as well. What what else is in there? Let's have a little. Let's have a little look. Oh, the kitchen ones are in there. Yeah, so the kitchen... Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, so Merry and Bright's in there, and we've got... What's that? Nard's Kitchen? Hard's Nana's kitchen. kitchen. Nana's Kitchen, sorry. I was trying to read that. <laughs> Looks like Nard's. <laughs> uh, we've got Fig Tree there. Uh, game Changer with a little TV. Oh, I love that with a little um, bag, the one in the middle there. You've got coffee and the coffee beans. And there's the set that we're using, that Janet's using right now, which is the, um, the top set, which is the cookies, cookies one. Really useful, aren't they? They are, and so I am using the Nana's Kitchen as well. So the Nana's Kitchen is really nice. It's got all the, um, the the sort of elements, and I like these background elements that you can use to to build a scene. So I'm going to use the shelf and the little jar of um, yeah, implements, utensils, the yeah, oven yeah. utensils. That's the word. Uh, <laughs> fridge and the the oven as well. So I'm just going to stamp all of those out. God, Nana had a posh cooker, didn't she? Had a posh fridge. Yeah. And I think Janet um, is a is a nana. I don't know if she's a what she calls herself. Presumably nana. Uh -huh. um, and she she does cook. I know with her grandchildren. So I oh, think um, she she does do stamp um, designs that kind of tie in with things that mean a lot to her as well. Yeah, so it's yeah. nice. Yeah. Have we ever had Janet on a on a show? No, no. She's over in the. Where does she live? Well, I know, but we've, we've, we have guests around the world, Janet. Yeah, that would know, be nice, can, wouldn't it? We can do the old um, across the, oh, uh, that's true. Yeah. the no, wonders of the internet. On. It would be lovely to meet Janet because we would. We've, we obviously we see Tracy on a, on a regular basis yeah. now, don't we? And we yeah. do. So that's those. And then I've just cut and coloured all those. No, I've stuck those all on the wrong side. <laughs> it's getting late in the day. So hopefully, here they all are, I'm just going to build up my little scene. So um, I find it easier sometimes just to, to cut out and then, then I can and just um, kind of decide how I want everything to go. Yeah. So I'm going to pop my little shelf up here, stick my little thing of utensils on there. And then I've got my chef here. And my late Libra lady, so she's going to go on here as well. So I just thought she worked really well with this sort of collection. So that's kind of how my design's going to be. That's nice. Um, and I just want to add a little bit of e extra in the background. So I'm going to use um, Visual Ingredients, um, which is another one of Janet's background stamps. And I, I like this circle, so I'm going to use that. Mm -hmm. And I will put that on the mount. I'm just sticking to my broken china ink at the moment, so that's just going to go have a few little circles around the edges. And it's quite soft because it's quite a soft colour. Oh, yeah, yeah, but it yeah. just gives you a nice little effect. And I like I like doing them in, in pairs, but then once I've done that, I'm going to just do one or two single ones as well. I think I've got different... There it's almost go. like you've laid down a little um, a little slice of a log or something like that, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. It's quite cool, that, isn't it? You could you could stamp that out in lots and lots of different colours, couldn't you? You could. It looks really good, actually, yeah. And uh, it's one of my favourite background stamp sets, this one, yeah. just to, to put all the different elements in. So that's that. It's amazing how simple backgrounds um, can be. Yeah. And how stamps, especially from All and Create, 
you know, whatever you do, whatever, whatever inky technique you do, then so bring work. in the all and create stamps, and it will always just create magic every time, won't yeah. it? And, and again, the designers all work, the designs from the different designers all work well together as well, so you're, you're never limited just to one designer. Um, and then just to add a little bit more to the edge, I'm just using the recipe from Sugar Cookies and I'm just going to add, because it's just nice text, so I'm just going to add a little touch of that around the edges, um, just to, uh, I always like quite adding a little bit of text in somewhere along the way as well, just to, oops, just to add a little bit of something to the edge, although it isn't, isn't the recipe for the cakes particularly, but... So, yeah, let me just add a little touch down here as well. Okay. And then I will put everything in place. Let me stick that there. Pop that there. Oh, that's yeah. clever. I really like what Philippa did um, here. The clock, the, yeah, yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? She did what you did earlier uh, with the twinchies, but she's done it with little nested circles, circles in some way. Yeah. And then she's used each of the, the pictorial signs for the zodiac as the hour uh, numbers. Yeah, it's a real um, clock movement that she's, um, she's put into the, to the back of it. Um, isn't that clever? Oh, I like that. I hadn't seen that before because obviously I was stood behind it, so I hadn't seen it before. Yeah, it's an amazing sample. That's and really she's, nice. I think she's embossed that, so she stamped and embossed onto black. Um, and then I think. Oh, yes, and then she's used a little bit of, I don't know if it's gilding wax or some kind of gold kind of paint just to pick out some, some highlights there on the inside of the characters. Yeah, and she's and cut the all the symbols out as well. Yeah. <laughs> amazing. It's I an know. amazing sample. Love it. Very nice. It's brilliant being able to buy those clock movements because it's yeah. just opened up the world, hasn't it, for um, crafters because you can do all sorts with them, can't you? So back to the kitchen. So Where back are to we? the kitchen. So I'm just adding a, a few words around as well. So so sweet comes from the, um, from the, the cookie, uh, one. cookie one. Yeah. And then I'm going to use one from the uh, Nana's Kitchen as well, which is uh, What's Cooking? Nana's Kitchen. Every time you take the same Nana's kitchen, it takes you back, doesn't it? It, it takes does, me back yeah. to. Uh, I used to go to my Nan. She lived a long way away, so we, we always used to go on a Sunday, like every sort of six or eight weeks. And you'd walk into a very tiny kitchen, yeah. and there would just be steam. And she had the <laughs> twin tub in one corner with the the sheets and the thing that she was boil washing in one corner, and then furiously boiling on the stove would be some pans of dishcloths and then some pans of <laughs> cabbage and sprouts, vegetables. Yeah, yeah exactly. To all going on together. She was a brilliant <laughs> multitasker. Everything bubbling away, boiling all the goodness out. But I tell you what, they were the yeah. best roast dinners. They really were. Roast dishcloth, gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> my, my grandma used to have a rice pudding bowl, which I had for ages and ages, and it just suddenly just broke one day. I didn't even get it out of the cupboard. It just kind of gave up and, and oh. went, but it was, it was lovely. She used to make really nice rice pudding. Yeah. Um, so this is my finished sample. So I've got, got my little chef lady, I've got my little Libra lady, all my elements in place. Um, and then I would just edge that in, in black. So, That's yeah. gorgeous, isn't it? It's very, very nice. Now, Janet, we were, we were talking about showing your finished samples for all the shows that you've done in the last yep. 24 hours. And we've got, what, you know, six or seven minutes right, now. Okay, then. So let's, let's use now as that time. Um, okay because we might squeeze in another little wee demo, possibly, or may possibly not. <laughs> you might let you have a little play. Right. Well, show me your samples. So let's have a look at the samples. So I started, let's just get a, a cleaner background. She started so nearly 24 started, hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just with a flip book. So just with all of the star signs, so I separated them out into the, into the into the elements, so these are the fire signs, so I did them red, so we've got Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, mm -hmm. and then you just flip it and you've got the earth signs, so we've got Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, um, and then on this side we've got the uh, air signs, so we've got Ooh. Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Oh, I love that panel in the middle. And then, the, yeah, these are all, so these are all the signs of the zodiac, so I did them and then coloured them 
the appropriate colour. So Taurus is the green. Oh, and, uh, right. oh yeah. OK. So they're all coloured in uh, the same colour as the sign actually is. So the yellow was for the Gemini and the Aquarius. That's such a cheerful, lovely um, and then background, isn't it? These are my water signs, so we've got Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, which were the water signs. Oh, it's Scorpio water signs, I suppose yeah. it would be, wouldn't it? I've yeah. never thought it must have that. I yeah. can't stand Aquarius the water. isn't. You'd think Aquarius might be, because she's the water carrier, but she's not. She's an air sign. Um, um, but yeah, Scorpio is a water sign. I have no idea. So that was my first demo. I'm not necessarily doing these in any particular order. No, it's order. fine. No, well, well, for me, it's the um, first time seeing all of them. So, so. and then I, I just did a little booklet. So we did a little book again with all, just with all the signs in. So uh, just double-sided pages. That's sweet. Just with all the, again, with all the elements in. Yeah. So, and then just put together just with a little clip. All of these have worked really, really nicely ATC size as well, haven't they? Yes, yeah, so here we are then. We'll do ATC. Oh, so sorry, <laughs> I read your mind. I didn't know no, you'd done this, I promise. that's absolutely fine. <laughs> so what I did with these was, oh. I've, these are the ones that I've changed. So we've got the Taurus, um, the bull. Yeah. And as I said, I cut the horns off um, ah. and then just cut that across. So you can quite easily just snip round those and it just looks like the same, that you yeah. can just take those away. Yeah. This one you can't because the, the horn's in a head here, but I just chopped that off and then popped a hat on. Um, so That's there's brilliant. the yeah, hat on. And then the uh, lion. So what I've done with the lion, I cut, cut her tail off and cut her ears off. Oh, okay, um, right. And then yeah, again, yeah, just yeah. Popped, a, pop a, popped a hat on on yeah. there as well. And with the um, Taurus as well, because she's got um, hooves. <laughs> so it's not a good look. So all ah. I did with those was I, I just, I just um, coloured them in so that yeah. they're solid rather than so it's <laughs> like... <laughs> Love it. Where did the robin come from? Uh, the robin came from a, the feline set. There's a feline set with a oh, okay. little baby bird in, which I absolutely love. So he's, he's in there. And the little twirly bits are from in the same bundle called Pixie Dust. Uh, so cool, they all came love from there. That. <laughs> bit of subtle cosmetic surgery. It yeah, works, bit doesn't of cosmetic it? surgery. <laughs> so then we did a, a cleaner, more simple card. So we've got the Aquarius lady here. And I've just mixed her with the gardener Ooh, set. That's Tracy's um, so flowers, she's, isn't it? Yeah, so that's just watering the, the flowers in the garden yeah. with the plants and everything and the stencil, just stencil background. Um, and then I did one that used the uh, the witch's hat from Bipasha. So this is the, the stencil with the um, spider's web and then you've got the hat um, and our little Taurian. Um, and that came from a lady actually had a suggestion. She said the Taurus, the bull would look really good with with part of the spooky set, so I thought I oh, shall give that a go, see how that works. So uh, that worked out quite nicely. It does. Looks like the whole hat's flying, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> it does actually. <laughs> and then we did a little booklet. So this again is out of uh, taken out of context. So the, these are just there's nothing to say these are star signs at all. So I've just used um, the the twins yeah. uh, with a stencil. So this is the Rosie Posy stencil from Bipasha. It's in the collection. It looks like, back to that front cover just a second, Janet, it looks like an invitation to a, um, a hen party or a baby <laughs> yeah, shower or something be, like be. that. Yeah, it could it? be, yeah. could be. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got the Aquarius, which is just as she is. Oh. And then the Taurus, again, so this is her here with the with the horns cut off. So you can just, just chop those off. Oh, or you, yeah, you yeah, could yeah. actually just chop there off if you wanted to as well, but I thought she looked quite nice with little or sort you of give her a plate and turn layer. them into yeah, croissants. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, the other half you could be croissants or, or a cream horn. Yeah, and then <laughs> that's your Libra lady. So she's just oh Virgo, sorry, just um, that one. Then this morning, I think <laughs> I've lost track of time. <laughs> we just I didn't. We went to the beach, so this is the, the Cancer and the Scorpio, yep. uh, just mixed in with some uh, beach huts that we've got and also the seaside scene here as well. So I just thought, even though you can't change them so much, but you don't have to use them in that context, you can put them somewhere else. So I thought being at the beach would be, uh, be quite a good idea for those ones. Cool. Love it. And very, then very nice. This is the one we've just done, and then I did um, my kind of calendar thing so I thought we could use this as a calendar so I've just stamped ah. these out coloured because yeah. all the star signs have colours associated with them so what oh, I've done they? was I've coloured around the edge with the colours associated with that and then oh, just okay. a little bit of element so Aries is red Taurus is green um, and just added a few little elements Gemini's yellow 
um, and then just stamped all the star signs. In where, the did the, um, where did the letters come from? Uh, it's a set called Seasons by Tracy Evans. Ah. Um, it's fantastic. I just thought it would work really, really well with these See, because obviously you can. Yeah, isn't there? Absolutely. So you can pop your pop those in. Oh, as is well. the colour for Scorpio grey? Scorpio black. Actually, oh, is it black? black? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, I don't know what that says. <laughs> no, <we're laughs> Janet, thank you so okay. much. Um, when are you back with us that you I'm know of? I'm back on the 4th of November. Oh, and fabulous. And the 7th of November for another one day special. Oh, lovely. Oh, well, I'm, I'll see you on the 4th because oh, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm cool. absolutely sure that I'm here on the 4th. Thank you so much for That's all of your all work, right. as always. Um, have a look at the All of Create shows, of course, because you've got a whole weekend's worth as well. So if you want to go back and look at those individual Weekend Wow, the monthly mega deals, and this one as well, you absolutely can. Uh, do check out your baskets. There'll be more from All and Create, I'm sure, very, very soon. Right, back to Studio One we will go next for uh, Crafty UK Quilting Templates. And then John Lockwood is here. He's got a brand new, brilliant mandala one day special in an hour. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people would be too. Don't forget to join me on my Rowan Dean shows. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, but this allows us to have designs that are intricate. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows Good afternoon, good evening really. It's tea time isn't it on the craft store. It's Richard here for the next hour and joining me for the next hour is our very own Andy Robinson. Hello Andy. Good evening. Good evening Andy. <laughs> uh, first time again for me, a new new face for me. I'm, um, you know, you're I'm an old face to everyone else. I'm an else. old face, I think it's getting <laughs> on to four and a half years I've been on here, but yes, oh, really? I'm an old face, definitely. <laughs> That's all I meant when I said old face, it just meant you'd been on the channel for a few years. I didn't mean old, old face, but uh, no, great great to, to, to finally be working with you, Andy. You've um, you brought along more of um, fantastic templates today to show some crafty UK. Um, is there a theme to these at all that we've got today? or is there No, no, it's, we just um, selected, um, I was on it, but we've, we've, now the world has opened up and we're getting out a bit there was yep. struggle I've got some new projects coming up but there just wasn't quite time to get them done for today's show so mm. uh, 
we've brought back some old favourites, so I just looked through the piles of what we've done over the years and um, thought we'll bring some some of them back again. Cause ah, so these are all tried and trusted. They're all tried and trusted. Yep. Yeah. There's, you know, there's always a lot of new people come in, so we've yeah. you know let them perhaps see them. Because I I was at a show at Duxford on Sunday, an American lady came up. And I showed her the diamond no I see and she was oh, oh that's new. never yeah. seen that and I thought well yep. man, that was one of my earlier ones you right, know so, right. so well, that's it. you do if you're around long enough there are new people yeah. including myself I'm yeah. a new person it's all new to me <laughs> yeah. so you're going to guide me through this and at yeah. the same time for anybody who hasn't seen these before we're, we're going to see and maybe there's some people out there that have seen these or bought some of these and thought do you know what I'm going to go for that other one now that yeah. I didn't before uh, because these have been very popular in the past so let's have a little look then we've got uh, first up uh, crafty UK Dresden Christmas tree wall hanging pattern and template set. Now, um, first of all, you explained to me a little bit earlier, Andy, that the Dresden is the is the is the is the basically the patterning, isn't the it? The pattern. So a Dresden plate. Well, lots of people, anyone in the quilting world, will mm. know the Dresden plate. So it's a blade that goes round in however many people. They can be in various different length and what various different quantities. So, yep. One so that, that is a Dresden, right? So that's a, that's a Dresden plate. So okay, a Dresden just, plate. So it's using this to then make ooh this. So you're you're using the the elements of this. So, to yeah, so that all the, the all the little blades. There's two different sizes, so that you get one row of one and one row of the other. This gives a sort of like a, a shape to the tree. Yeah. So we've turned it into a Christmas tree. So uh, you can do it in whatever fabric you want, and if you know if Christmas is over, yeah, you could do it in greens and browns and make it as an autumn tree, tree or whatever tree. It doesn't have to yeah, be. Yeah, of course. You know, Christmas. So. And then of course you can just you know use the just that's, the Dresden plate anyway. That's the yeah. other one because that's yeah. slightly different. That's. That's because there are two blades, so there's yep. slightly more in that, are slightly narrower. So yeah, um, that's what you can do do with it. And then so there's full instructions in there. Um, with the two blades, mm. there's a diamond, a six degree diamond, which is how we made the star, and also how we made the presents. Oh. And then all the little the little bits at the bottom. There's there's six different little um, ornaments to hang on the tree, and you get six of each one. Oh, okay. So there's 36 in total, and this is what you can hang down from yep, the tree. Yeah, you, so you sew you sew them on with a bit, little bit of thread. Right. And then they'll they'll all be dangling from the tree. So and it comes with the pattern as well, as you say. The pattern how to lay it down. It just makes okay. it more a bit more tactile. Oh, I can see. So it's so it's this, yeah. yeah all yeah. these little bits and pieces. And here. they colour, although they're all clear. Yeah. They colour with. Oh, a... so you're, you're actually not you're, you're not using that to cut out patterns. You're no. actually p pinning those on themselves. Yeah, actually sewing them on, yeah. Right, well, because they the colour with they templates. colour with a it's like a sharpie pen or anything. Yeah. You colour the back of them so you can make them match whatever ever you want. So yeah, those are the actual that's why there's thirty six in there. So you can make more than one. If I just gave you, you know, half a dozen, you might not you know that you'd only better make the one tree. Yeah. Um because you've got thirty six you can make as Several trees. That's great. I like that. Oh, sorry. You can use your alcohol markers on that as well. Yep. I would have thought. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Any, anything sticks to it. Yeah. And if you do it on the back of it, when you turn it over, the front it, it shines. Very nice. Eleven ninety nine as well. Very reasonable. Eleven ninety nine two one six four seven three for your Dresden Christmas tree wall hanging set. Also eleven ninety nine is this here. It's a stag's head applique template. Have a little look. You've got two heads there. You've got uh, one large one, seven inches, and one two and a half inches. Uh, it's uh, all templates come in their own plastic box. Actually. You were just telling me about this. They come in a DVD box or a, vid or a VHS yeah, I mean, cassette this, box. What this, would happen to them? This <laughs> one particularly will just be will be in a, a plastic um, bag because that fits. But several of the other ones, the um, the Dresden yeah. comes in a de and comes in an old video box. Brilliant. Great. To go back up on the shelf. And also, if you're part of the way through making it, mm -hmm. um, you can put your pieces in there and. And so you don't lose them because. So, so you, you pick up all these old VHS cassette video cassettes that people just throw away in DVD we go, boxes. We and, actually go yeah. to our. If you take your VHS tapes to your local charity store, they will say, very sorry, thank you, but we don't want them because yeah. there is no market for them. But our two local ones collect them for me and then they phone me up when they've got Good a load. You. Putting it all back to use it, again. It, so it's in, it, in. You're an eco warrior. An eco warrior. We like brilliant. to do a bit for the planet. It's also a bit <laughs> retro as well, isn't it? It's quite oh, nice yeah, to see I mean, those. That, that you got, have you got one? You had one around earlier, didn't I you? Have so one, I have one. Yeah, they're the have one there that, so they're the perfect size, aren't they? they? This is what everything comes in, apart from yeah. the stag's head comes yeah. in the bag, that. But look, and then you put all the bits and pieces inside it. Keep it all together and then you get like a nice little Nice cover, cover in the spine, so you can put them on yeah. the shelf, and they say they're, they're perfect yeah. for it. So. Um, just don't stick it in your video player. That's all. There we go. <laughs> uh, we've got this here. This is a sample using our stag's head here. So you've got this is the smaller one, isn't the smaller it? The smaller one. There. So there's two sizes because we make the acrylic templates. 
Um, and there would be a big waste in the nose there, so we put as big a one as we could in the nose of the of the, of the and then got a small one there. So yeah. just get you know more for more for your money, so sort of like. Right, and if you want to see a bigger one, as like, come come back to the smaller one a second. Look at that! Whoa, <laughs> bigger one at the back there. There it is. So it's just a yeah. nice, um, you know, it's very <laughs> stags are very Christmassy. I uh, think they seem to be, but it's, it can yeah. be all year round, whatever you uh, you want to do with it. So that's just you know a pliqued on. Love it. There are loads you can do with that. There's your stag's head design. You've got two of them as well. So the one is seven inches, one is two and a half inches as well. Eleven ninety nine for the two of those. Now, how about a box within a box? Yes, it's a paradox. Boxes in boxes here. And the whole design is all on this one template here. You've got all the measurements you need to create this optical illusion. Yep, so it's a three and a quarter inch ruler and it will allow you to cut all the pieces that will go to and then the pattern shows you how to put them together to have the, to make Boom. this pattern so therefore it just looks like um boxing. well it's, that's it that's your flat. 3d box i mean it's, it's ultimately it's a hexagon isn't it but if when you start to look at it it's a 3d it's, cube it's, it's, right it looks like it stands out it's and it's the way the colors are manipulated so if you use a dark a medium and a light fabric yeah your eye tends to make it look like it's a box. It's, so, so it's all about the actual colours that you choose for, to, to really pop out. You can use out. whatever colours you want, but you have to have a dark, a medium and a light. So you could have it all red, all blue, as long as you had three different shades of the red, and then you they, they would go you know, go together like that. So. Interesting. I like that. That's really good. And uh, and what would you use that with? Like a, that's a table mat, for example? So, yeah, it could be a table mat. Some yeah. people give them as wall hanging. I mean, you could put more than one, you know. Yeah. We've just done one there, that, that hexagon there, but you can do... You can do as many as you wanted on a on a you know a place mat or you know a, yeah. you know, a large table runner. You could turn it into a quilt. Um, you know, you put twenty or thirty together and uh, make a whole quilt of it. And this of. this template's acrylic. It's um, it looks quite complicated, but is it complicated? It's got lots of little bits and pieces. No, all over I mean it. It, it's it's a ruler and it's three it's three and a quarter inches wide. So you've got all your measurements on it. It's all in quarter inches. Um, the important thing is the end bit is 60 degrees, and then you've got the other lines on it, and they're all marked A, B, C, D. Yeah. So basically, you just, you know, it tells you in the instructions, you know, cut, trim off with the end, and then put the end, mark it on A, and then cut the other end off again, and so you'll produce your bit. So it is, it's very, once you've used it a few times, it's it's very simple. It's it's three mil, so well, it works gonna, probably do with I take a this out? Oh. Okay, so you want me to take this out, yeah? No, you won't get it off, it's stuck. I can't, it's no. stuck on. Do you want That's one? a really bad idea. Oh, you got one for us. I got one that I, use, oh. I would use for my demo, uh, so uh, you oh, can have that little... one, yeah. You won't get that one off. Uh, well, so. you will, but it'll bend all over Perfect. the place. Perfect, there we go. Oh, hang on, well, let's get it the right way around. There it is. So you've got your, you've got your measurements down the side there, and then you've got, you can see all the little triangles there as well. Yeah, you can get, get the general idea. So yeah, so they're etched on. So like some of the templates you, some of the rulers and stuff you buy are printed. These will never ever wear off. Right. This and is this is etched into the acrylic. If you wear if you wear the markings off on this, you're doing something seriously wrong with it. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All, all acrylic, as, as Andy says, and all made in the UK as well. We're moving on now. That one is thirteen ninety nine. We're moving on now to our calm storm at sea. Now. I wasn't even aware there was a storm at sea, but apparently that's quite a well-known <laughs> pattern in in. It's, in it's been around for a long time, and it's yeah. when I when I like was in, came into the quilting world, I, I found it and I thought, well, yeah, I'd love to make that. Yeah. Then I looked at it and I thought, well, that's just really not into my ability. My 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 sewing ability is not enough to uh, allow me to make that because it's too complex. It makes you might got to make all these little squares. They've all got to be exactly the same size. Yeah. You've got to repeat it time and time again. And then one day I had this, this brainwave about a way of making it so that it was a lot easier. Hmm. So therefore we, we made our template. So that's where the calm it, comes from. It's like an calm, easier... You'll stay calm making it. Oh, it's a, storm, it's a storm at sea for beginners really, isn't it? It's, yes. a, it's an easy one to put together. So what makes this easier then? The, the, the shapes are, are like, there's fewer of it's, them? It's... it's the way it's made. So instead of for the squares, you, don't, you aren't sewing lots of little triangles to the edge of it. You're sewing lumps on and then you're trimming them down with the basic squares. So you're always going to end up with a perfect square each time. Right, because, okay. Because that's the way it's the way. One it's example. There's a, got another one for you here as well, using so different colours. So um, that's the, the same storm at sea, but that's got two diamonds in, so you get a double ripple effect to it. So there's just different ways you can do it and different colours. So 
That's great. And you would, and you just put this all together and you put a quilt together with this? You quilt you it, it, you know, look the same, you can make it as big as you want. Yep. Um, yeah. So, and then we did a, another, an unusual shape, but this is still made with the Storm at Sea um, template. Fantastic. So it's still made exactly the same way, but it's just the way the um, uh, colours are manipulated everything around. around. Yeah. So it makes these interlocking, interlocking um It's amazing shapes. what you can do, isn't it, with the same set the of instruments. The same thing, yeah. It's all, it's all about it the colour of the fabric and everything that yeah. makes it all, all very different. So Like that. Twenty nine ninety nine to get your Calm Storm at Sea, 462501 for that one. Now, we have a set of four diamonds for you next to that. Uh, no Y seam. So you're going to have to explain that one to me, Andy. What's so a, when what's you join one? when you join 60-degree um, diamonds together and you're trying to make a, um, a tumbling block, which is what it's, uh, this 3D cube like what was in the middle of the box in box, to sew it together, you end up with a Y seam, which is fine doing one or two. But when you have to do lots in a quilt, they are... That's much more difficult because once you get a, one's got a tiny little piece out, then that error occurs and keeps going until mm. your next row goes on, and all of a sudden you find they're just not joining right. So this has no Y seam, so it's done in rows. Right. So you don't get this error because they carry on in the rows along. So the um, the cats, the box, the quilt that's behind you, that's been that's a diamond no Y seam, oh, and uh, well, so the cool. red and the yellow, so the red and the white are. 60 degree diamonds, but the blue is actually made of two triangles. Oh. It's not a diamond, oh, it's two okay. triangles sewn together. Yeah, yeah, I can And see. therefore it can be done in rows. Yeah. And it's, the whole thing goes together much simpler. Oh, I see. So we call it, it's a diamond, no Y seam. But oh. you can do, a, you can do it with a Y seam. It's yeah. not, a, it's not a case of, it doesn't, you know. Right, but just if you want to do that, yeah, yeah. I mean, some people, the, the traditionalists out there, the, pu <laughs> the purists, as I was told <laughs> yesterday at a show, all the purists won't like that, will the, they? The snobs, you mean. <laughs> yeah. no, you, you wanted to say that, but I'll say it for you. Um, here we go, um, here's, you, another, here's another example of it here. The, uh, there's a little doggy on the front of that one, no Y seam there. With our uh, set of four diamonds, that looks really nice. And here is another example of how you can use So they're just different, diamonds. different sizes. So they're nested ones, so you get four, four different diamonds. You get a one inch, a two, a three and a four inch. All work exactly the same way, but just gives this effect of this box. Yeah, I can um, see that it's like another optical illusion again, isn't it? It's like stepping up steps to... Yep. Yeah, you can see that. Really nice, that. And you're getting four... You can do make four different quilt sizes with so these. So there's yeah? four, di four different sizes for yeah. that, so yep. 11.99 for that, 888.237. Now, moving along, we have some cats for you. Cats in a box. Yes, cats in a box. <laughs> Don't do that in real life. That would be an RSPCA job. But in the world of crafting, it's completely fine to put cats in a box. Well, you have because, to transport well, them around. They put them in them little carriers oh, with a little grill true. on the front. Don't true enough. So you can true put enough. cats in a box. <laughs> now, these come in a video box, though, for some bizarre reason. <laughs> yeah, definitely reason. don't put your cat in a video box. <laughs> So, don't put your cat in a video box. Now, here's all the cats that you've got here, and you've also got things like the paw prints as well. You can see there, you get the paw print. Got little uh, words, cats, to put, pop on so there too. So you can sew them onto, you know, something to decorate with. So you've got two inch high letters there. You've got cat buttons as well. Cat buttons? So that, uh, where's oh, the yeah. cat buttons? Ooh. Down from your finger. There you go. Look, they're on the screen now. Oh, these? <laughs> the cat, cat, as in cat, the word cat buttons. Yeah, very good. Cat, yes, and then so over here, we've got a trolley token. We, right? we make these out of the scrap. So we've done a, you know, a cat lover's trolley token. So yeah, we can go to the supermarket and this will, this will go into the trolley. We give, we give hundreds of these away, but we thought as it was a cat project, we do a, you know, a cat lover's trolley token to go in the pack. So. <laughs> I love it. And this is a, this is a clam. A clam it's a clamshell. Shell. Yeah. So that makes the pop-up catch, which is the what you've got your hand on. Oh, wow. Cool. Look at that. So what looks like a, a shell in, in template form actually creates cats. It creates a cat cloud. And then in the, in, the te in the template are the whiskers and the eyes, so you can mark them with a heat erasable pen. Right. And then you can sew, then you just do some sewing embroidery on the line. And the ears as well, where do they, the ears, where do they pop up The ears from? is the um, tip of the clamshell. Uh, oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, <laughs> down the bottom there, you put yeah. them on the top. Yeah, it's all it's all self-contained, isn't it? Very clever how all this works. It's all kind of, you know, it's, it look, it's nothing to look at, is it, the template? No, no, the, I mean, it this, this is where the beauty of, 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 the, of the craft store comes in, is the fact that you can show these and explain to someone. Because when someone walked past my show at the weekend, stand at the weekend, they didn't necessarily understand what they were seeing. But, uh, but that's, you know, by, by the... By being able to explain things here, 
it's, it's a bit easier. So here again, um, there's the cats and there's the letters that we used in the, and the paw print. And on this one, we cross-gridded um, to hold them on because they're appliqued on. And rather than sewing all the way around the edge, um, we did a sewing line all the way through and put a grid on it, which you can, you can just slightly see that on telly, which holds yeah. all the pieces in place. Kim in the gallery thinks this looks sporty. I mean, do, can you... Sporty. <laughs> like maybe the green meshing, like at like Wimbledon, like the lawn or the meshing. I, I suppose that's a bit. Be, <laughs> unless, when, uh, I was thinking of like Spice Girls, Sporty Spice. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that was mean, the era I'm from, I'm afraid. Your idea of what sport is watching cats laze around, then maybe? It's yes, quite, yes, maybe. <laughs> sporty Spice is what we're saying there. Okay, great. Uh, 31 99 for our uh, crafty UK cats in a box stencil and template set. Look at everything that you're getting there, all the cats that you want. Plus, you're getting your clamshell as well for making your cat cloud. You've also got your little cat buttons and your, your, your rulers and your little token as well. Love that. 31.99, 113342. And then finally, we have this on the end. We have Roger the Robin. Robber, Roger the Robin. Robber the Roger. Ro <laughs> <laughs> That's his nasty twin brother. Roger the Robin. And he's eight inches tall. There he is. <laughs> right. Very important. Includes two Robin buttons as well. It's all on there, including... So, actually, within the actual Robin, then you've got the, the individual things like the holly leaves and stuff. You've the actually holly put leaf it on is the... in there, which... Yeah. So, you can put that on the... You no, know, so you can put that on. And the foot is inside the, um, the, the, the chest. Um, oh, so you, yeah, it's Because all... that, that all comes apart. They're all separate pieces of acrylic. Oh, I see. So you place these on and then cut your different colour fabrics out. So yeah. then you can make your uh, make your robin up. I love, and that. I love the can... way it's all contained within itself. And then you've got these little buttons on the end yeah. here as well. And each each piece is, is labelled what it is. So there's a picture of the robin. Yeah. And then the bit that it is is shaded in. So because right. if, if you pick a bit up by itself, it looks a bit confusing and think, what on earth is this? But they're all. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, you've got the, the so little it's shading all, it's marks, shaded yeah, in yeah. as to which which bit it is. So. Yeah, that's good. So you can put it all back together again. So that's excellent. You, so like that. The, Roger the, the Robin. You've and got that's the quilt. Perfect for this time the quilt, of year. The quilt there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Good. Shall we show an example? That's a good <laughs> idea. I, 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 I just a <laughs> little subtle hint there. Would you like to actually show what it looks like? Richard? <laughs> yes, I would. You were leaning um, on it. I assumed you hadn't seen it. You're right. I hadn't seen it. Uh, here's a robin, and he's sitting on our little twig there. He's got um, some holly in his mouth. Uh, there he is, Roger the Robin. And then there's another one. Well, there's a, there's a pair behind me um, yeah. fighting over a worm. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at that. Oh, yeah, I want to make sure I stand the right side. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I can see that. That's great. So you've used that to duplicate either side. So that you say you can, do, you can do them left and right. You can have as yeah. many of them, um, you know, as you want. Have you, got um, a worm, have you got a worm template somewhere? No, no, we, we just, um, you know, a little, little, just a little tube of, um, of material that just twisted around and uh, I drew a couple of eyes on it. Very good, like that. Artistic uh, license. Yes, absolutely. That's what you've got to do. You've got to you pick all the offcuts up and use them to your advantage. Now, all of this available on the website right now. There it all is. You can just head to thecraftstore.com where you can see five-star reviews. There's your Roger the Robin there who's eight inches tall, very important, Roger, eight <laughs> inches, Robin. Uh, we've also got our Cats in a Box stencil and template set. We've got uh, a set of four diamonds there. There's our Storm at Sea template set. That's available there for twenty nine ninety nine. And there's the stags. We've got the box in boxes. It's all on the website, and you just click on You can have a quick look if you like, or you can add it to your basket. But do check out your baskets if you want to, to bag that item. Oh, and a sneaky peek at perhaps something we might look at later on in the so that's, show. That's the uh, nine, nine o'clock show. So we've, cause, oh. so we've oh. got we've got a completely different set of templates at nine o'clock, where wow. normally I would perhaps we have the same ones I... and we run down. Um, we've actually got a complete set, new set. So, a uh, late no, no, no. night with Andy and his templates, and Derek <laughs> is that as well? And Derek, I yes. cannot wait. <laughs> that is something to look forward to. I feel like we've ruined the surprise now. We've seen, we've seen some of the delights on offer there. I well, hope we haven't shown too much. You've got to you know, keep a bit back. Yeah, you have. You're, you're definitely. <laughs> now, <laughs> we don't want to get too excited. Exactly. Really now, we, we are going to uh, reveal something now, though, aren't we? You're going you're to make one of those boxes, aren't you? So, yeah, we're going to... This is the uh, Diamond No Y scene. So... They're, they're nested templates. So if you're going to use one of them, it's best to uh, keep the ones in the middle in place. Otherwise, you're going to try and hold that outer edge. So I've put another, I'm using the biggest one of them. I've just put a piece of masking tape 
to hold the other two in. Okay. Um, otherwise, you, you're going to be holding your fingers right near the edge. When you're using a rotary cutter, and all you're going to be doing is trimming your nails, which <laughs> I've, got my I've got teeth for that. I don't need to trim my nails yeah, with a rotary enough. cutter. <laughs> so, we, uh, so you would place this onto your fabric. It's funny. I've, got, I've gone from Sasha earlier on, who's got these amazing, long, ornate nails. <laughs> on design, and I took, I'm straight onto you going, I'll just bite mine, whatever. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Right. So you would uh, you'd place this you place the template on using a rotary cutter. You cut round it yep. to cut one out. So we've we've um, we've saved a bit of time. So we've cut three out. So they would this is how they would go together. So you see your normal um, tumbling block, mm -hmm. three different colours. You've got a dark, a medium, and a light. Um, so we're going to sew those two together. So we've 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 skipped that bit. Okay. This is one I prepared earlier in good tradition of a well-known show. <laughs> The craft store, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> we so started it, the... they nicked it. <laughs> on Obvi <blue> obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Are they older? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now we've got to this problem of sewing this one in. So we're going to show how it's done, and then we'll show how it's done the easy way. So the problem lies in the fact that this is going in here, so we've got to fold that bit onto there, mm -hmm. line that up with there, and then it's got to be manipulated round to there. Okay. Which is where the, which is, this is the Y seam, which is what causes people the problem. So, the template has got holes in it. Yeah. So we can mark the position, I had a pen earlier, here it is. Still got a pen. We can mark the hole, this is the end of your sewing line. So now we can position this on here. You can never never fold it over too many times to make sure you've got it in the right place. So now we're going to sew from that point to the other end. So you just line it up and we'll sew all the way down. Okay, line it up, let it go. And That's now looking. we manipulate that over to that end. I see. So I see what you've done there. So we can now line that bit up with that bit. Ten percent of this has gone now. The vast set of four diamonds. Eight 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 two uh, three two seven is your item number there. It's eleven ninety nine. And you can make yourself four different sizes of quilts with this. So that's that's that done. So we'll just iron that. So as you yep. see, that's not actually that difficult to do a Y seam. Mm. But this is where, if we'd done lots of these, because this is probably fractionally out. Yep. So if we put half a dozen in a row, right, it wouldn't mind. We're now we're now going to have we're now going to have a problem. Okay. So this is the other. So that's that's the traditional way of doing it. So this is the other way of doing it. So we're right. going to cut. We've cut two more, mm -hmm. so that's the um, the grey and the red. Yeah. Having the grey the right way up looks so much better. <laughs> so now we're going to use our template again. Right. But we're positioning it on the edge. So there is a line on the template which you, you can see. You can see this line line here. Mm -hmm. So we put that on the edge of the fabric. Yeah. And we're going to cut ourselves a triangle. Is it we cut it somewhere? So we just we'll spin that round. Cues on the phones right now, so do please make sure you go to the website if you'd like to, or the app if you'd like to get hold of better any than, of our crafty UK. Better than cues at the petrol right. stations. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, those have gone now, haven't they? Yeah, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. We've got loads of no. stuff. There was no shortage. No. <laughs> it was all in someone's garage. <laughs> Are you owning up to that? <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. I wasn't the person with 17 jerry cans in, in, in the front of the queue. You're the person with all those VHS boxes <laughs> yeah, filling I'm, them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I my, my, my garage is full of VHS boxes, <laughs> and apologies, mother, so is hers. Right. <laughs> gonna gonna run, they're going to run out soon, so when they keep saying we've got some, got some, it's a case of when you just have to keep taking them. Yeah, yeah. Because they're only so long. Approaching 20% now on the no Y seams. It's just like, uh, I bet your place is like Del Boy's uh, <laughs> place, oh, yes. isn't it? Like, most, most definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to knock off all these VHS yes. rodders. One, yeah. one day I'll be a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we've so we've cut two triangles. So now instead of how that goes on, we're going to put sew the triangle straight onto the edge. So we've just lined that up because the um, corners, whatever I've done with the template, um, it's got these corners cut off. Don't think I've just sort of like saved some acrylic. Um, 
that actually helps it line up. So you see how that lines up perfectly yeah. because that corner's cut off and that corner's cut off. So they line up. Right, I'm with you. Yeah. If, if you had the points on, that point would stick out there, that point would stick out there, and you might not get it in exactly the right place. Mm. But, it, but it needs to be. So by cutting the corners off, that allows you to get the, um, the next piece of fabric perfectly lined up. This is one example where cutting corners is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we do that one, and then we'll sew this one on as well. So again, corners line up. So on the, just all of our templates, when we're sewing anything, they've all used a quarter inch seam. Um, if anything was different, we would state it, but generally, um, quarter inch seam allowance, so you can use a quarter inch foot on your sewing machine. Yeah. Uh, so that's on there. So we'll iron those two flat. You can never press too much. I don't that's know been, always been my motto. I don't know who told me that, but uh, no. you know, it's, um, you know, <laughs> the flatter they are, the easier everything goes together. Right. Um, so, you know, it's a case of, you know... You, so what yes, do you I do? You sit there all day pressing that, do you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just to get Some it people right. finger press stuff, and, but it is, yeah. if you've, I mean, if you haven't got an iron, if you're mm. on a, you, you know, if you're on a, in, in somewhere where you haven't got one, mm. then, you know, there's not a lot you can do. But, uh, so now we've got the two pieces like that. Yep. So now we can fold that onto there. We line up. That will marry us up. The corners yeah. again. And again, under the sewing machine, quarter inch seam. Sew that down, so let's make sure the... So it doesn't take long, does it, to put one of these boxes no, together? No, no. It's just mean, a case of replicating that maybe, you, what, a dozen do, times, 20 times? Well, like it's, you, you know, you can make these as, as, as big as you want, mm. sort of like, but you would be doing this in rows, so you would be sewing a, a triangle and a diamond on top of each other mm. for the length of the row that you want. So, so that's them together. They won't separate. That's the thing I find when I'm wearing a mask. I, yeah, the amount, yeah, of times I, that, yeah. the amount of times I go to do that to turn a yeah. page and I can't. Tell me about it. I did that no end of times at the show because I'm wearing a mask and then and I go to uh, turn a bit over and I can't do it. That just <laughs> drove me mad. It did. <laughs> I'm sure you can make your own masks, couldn't you? Using, oh, we, we, using all that there. We, we did. We did mask templates. We just did. did you really? We oh, just funny. didn't. We just refused to manufacture them and sell them because yeah. we didn't want to make money out of the pandemic. So yeah. we, we we sold a few to a few people. But if we'd have said we'd got them, we'd, yeah. everyone had bought them, and that wasn't the uh, we thought enough yeah. people were making money out of the uh, pandemic. Good for you. So exactly the same thing. We've done, we've just done them the other way round, but exactly the same way, same way round. So if you've got something like this, they would be done. So that's a strip of them there. So I've sewn a, a diamond, a triangle, a diamond, a triangle, and you carry on up the row, and then you join them together to get your boxes. Very, so very busy, all of this. We've had cues on the phone. Simple, simple as that. It's, it's a very simple thing, and the only thing you have to watch is the fabric that you choose to join. Yes. The darker one is usually the better one. Because you can hide. it hides it. Yeah. It does depend as to what on it. You're obviously avoiding stripes, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless they're going up and down, but even then, you know, it's a case of you just. But you pick something that's that's not too patterny. Yeah, because that would ruin the effect, I mean, wouldn't it? The black one that you have down there, um, that is um, that you've lost. Where has it gone? One more look the, at the it. one with the Japanese on. The, oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, here that, we are. You have this to one? almost you have oh. to almost run your nail across right. the um, the black. To, to, to realise that that's the one that's done in two halves. Yes. Because it hides so Quite, well. It's very, yeah, it's very difficult to pick that out, isn't it? So, yeah, so that, use the dark colour for that. The dark colour is usually the best one to, to hide it on, um, like that. And there, there's your diamond no Y seam. Easy way to do it. Four different sizes. Um, build them up in rows as many as you want. I just realise it's an oriental kind of... Yeah, it's, it's, ja right? it's a Japanese fabric, so it's a black, a white and a, and a Japanese fabric. That one was made by our friend Angela. Give her a, Angela a mention, she lives mm -hmm. in Plymouth. I thought you were Mal going to ask me to give her a round of applause. I thought, <laughs> I can't, I'm holding this. So just stop it, Andy. Uh, and and the, the, dog, the dog on the other bit is Mac, the dog, which is, which is behind. Oh, on here? He said there's a little dog, that's Mac. He's, he, we've, that's one of our templates we made. We made it in honour of Matt, of uh, Angela's dog. 
Yeah. You'd have to always give Mac a mention because uh, oh. she'll probably be sending in a picture of Mac soon watching the telly. Right, it? oh, good. Well, sales, so, well, say hello to, to Mac. Mac. Sales spike usually when they see Mac on the telly. All right, <laughs> All right. There, there's Mac for you then. I tell you, sales are spiking because uh, 40%. <laughs> 40% of the uh, stock has gone now on our no Y scene. Um, yeah, if you're watching, do send us a selfie of Mac the dog, please. Because um, uh, we'd love <laughs> to put it on the show. Uh, now, are you done or do you want me to have a little run down the counter? You, you yeah, I'm done. Up? I'll set up for the next demo. So All that, right, you set up. You set up. We'll have a little recap, shall we? Because we are roughly halfway through our uh, hour here of Crafty UK. And we are looking at some um, fantastic uh, templates with Andy here and Crafty UK. Uh, we've been looking at this one here, our uh, UK set of, uh, oh, this is our Dresden, actually. This is what we're looking at uh, at the top here. I'm going to bring up the details for that one now. This is our Dresden Christmas tree. So you're basically using a Dresden plate, what makes a traditional Dresden plate, and then with a little bit of jiggery pokery and a, a bit of, um, I was going to say how's your father, but that's probably not the thing we're using now, a bit of um, abracadabra, yes, um, we can manipulate it to look like this, Ooh, oh, there you go, so we're using the Dresden, the parts of the Dresden there, and it's making this tree, and then what you're getting the third of the stock of, of this has gone. Then what you're getting is six designs. These acrylic uh, templates here, which aren't actually templates. They look like templates, but they're not. They're actually uh, ornaments to hang on the tree. You're getting six of each one. So you've got your, your candy sticks there. You've got your baubles. Uh, you've got the sort of round baubles, the pear-shaped baubles. You've got stars there as well. You've got bells. You're getting six of each one of those. And then you can use those to decorate the tree in all the various colors. You can mark them with alcohol markers you can uh, decorate those up as well pop it all together 36 pieces on your Dresden plate there and then you've got yourself a tree but of course if you don't fancy making the tree you can just uh, just go for the Dresden plate just because that's the traditional yeah. format yeah great placemats so yeah how about that you've got your tape you've got your table mat and then you've got your little placemats all around it all using the same design there 216473 for that 11.99 uh, lots of that has gone already now onto the stag there he is got two of these we've got a big one and we've got a little baby one there uh, the big one is seven inches in size they're the smaller ones two and a half inches and you've got this this is a plique templates these are right? so what does that mean exactly a plique, a plique is um it's cut out and it's stitched on so we put um a, a substance called bonder web on the back yeah or you can use steam and seam and it's a it's a an adhesive sort of like film that you stick to the back with an iron yeah and then the fabric is a little bit stiff and you can then draw on it so then you would be because if i try to draw on a piece of fabric with a pen yeah as you see it's Just, very it moves around a yeah. lot you know it, it would ruck it rucks up but once you put um a piece of um bonder web or something on the back it's now quite stiff and it's it's almost like a piece of paper on the back ah. so you can lay the template on it you can draw around it then you cut it out and yeah. if you score then through the 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 fabric th score through the bonder web it then peels off and it just leaves a piece of film ah. um, behind um okay can, i'll find you i'll find you a bit and you can then you'll know what we're all all right what you're doing that, i'm just going to show an example of what you can do with the the, the baby stags heads here We've got this little wall uh, uh, hanging decorative piece here, and that's the smaller version. And then we've got the uh, the big version behind me here. You can see it in the background. There's uh, the big stag heads there. Have you found it? So that's a piece yeah. of that's a piece of the material. Right. So that you don't you people people have this. So it's like a, it's almost like a bit of grease proof paper. Yeah. But that, that side is sticky. Yeah. So you put that onto your fabric. You wind that on. And then the other side can mm. be removed, and then you have a piece of fabric that's sticky as well. Yeah. Which you then stick that on, and then you the plique is sewing right round the edge or through it to hold it in place. Right. I've now got to sanitise my hands. Is that right? I don't know, I don't know what the rules. <laughs> I don't know what the rules are on that. I will do it as, straight, as soon as the, the hour finishes. <laughs> Nothing personal. Nothing personal. Obviously. Uh, five five one one eight two there for the stag's head. You're getting two of them, of course, the big one and the little one. Eleven ninety nine five five one one eight two. Then you've got the box in boxes that we have right next to it this is our optical illusion pattern here look it's non-slip you get the instructions you've got the ruler on the uh, right hand side there which has got everything you need to create the effect of a 3d cube you have all the measurements that you need you pop it down and you get your fabric out and you put it all together as we've seen uh, Andy doing just a moment ago and you can achieve effects like that 
uh, which is uh, truly 3D, isn't it? It's box within a box within a box, and you can look at it any which way you like. The cube can go any which way around. Really nice little centerpiece for your table, um, for your dinner table, I think, there as well. Or yeah, I mean, you know, ornament table. I mean, a lot of people well, actually hang quilts on the wall these yeah. days. I mean, quilts were originally designed, you know, that's, this is what they cut up scraps of fabric and made do and mend um, to go on a bed. But now they're, um, they're a piece of artwork nowadays, aren't they? Sort of mm. like. So, yeah, you could, people, a lot of people do wall hangings and stuff with things on. So it's, you know, wherever you, wherever you want it, sort of like. <laughs> Love that. There you go. Now, box in boxes, that is $13.99 as well. Now, what we're we moving on to? Calm storm at sea. So, we've had our storms at sea and, you know, we've been buffeted around. So, we've gone for the easy version here. We've gone for milder waves. We've gone for a nice, gentle breeze. It's a calm storm at sea. It's the, it's the storm at sea pattern, but just made easier by Andy here. And what it means is when you use all of those templates nope. together. Nope. Nope. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Correct. No. No. Correct. Yes. <laughs> well done. You're you're watching. Well done. I'm watching. Right. I'm paying attention. There you go. It's That's all right. right it's easy for me. I yeah. made. I you made, made them. them. And and I, <laughs> this That's is all new to you. You're learning. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're exactly. It's, every Thank day you, is Andy. every day's a school day. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Uh, this this is what I meant to to pull out here. This is what you can achieve. This is our calm storm at sea template set in action here. Twenty nine ninety nine four six two five zero one. Uh, and as for our no Y scene, where's that? We are over, over half of the stock has gone on this. Our no Y scene set of four diamonds here. Uh, Q's on the phone for this as well. It's uh, you're getting the, uh, the the set of four, so it's one inch up to four inches in size, and that is the thing that gives you this, right? Yes. Now I can pull this up. <laughs> there you go, Matt the dog, on that background. Now we've had an email from Angela. Surprising that. <laughs> but she's forgotten to attach the picture of Mac. <laughs> well, I mean, Angela... You just can't you, get the staff, can you? you? <laughs> Angela, you had, literally, you had one job. <laughs> one job, which was to email him with a picture. You emailed in, no picture. Thank you, but please try again. She'll be on the case. We are She'll be waiting. on the case now. Mac will be, well, all she's got to do is attach in. She, I mean, she's obviously <laughs> taken the picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're approaching 60% now of the stock gone here on our no Y seam nested diamond templates. So whilst we wait with bated breath for, the, for this picture of Mac the dog to arrive, it's back to you, Andy, to see uh, what's okay, what. Okay, so we're doing the, um, the calm storm at sea. So, um, for, for anyone, if people in the quilting world, you will know um, the Storm at Sea pattern. Um, it's made of um, lots of little pieces of, of fabric sewn together. To, they need to make perfect squares. So here, this 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 block here has got nine pieces of fabric in, and you've got to make lots of these. And they've always got to finish square, and they've got to finish the same size, so you can join them together. So this is where the um, I always saw, I thought I'd love to do that, but mm. my abilities of sewing were, were not up to it. I might be actually, if I actually tried to do it, the, 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 the You can't even it. say the word, let alone I actually do it, it that way. The <laughs> traditional way. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. I may be able to do it now, because I've actually, yeah. over the five years I've been doing this, I've right. actually improved. But right. um, we came up, came up with this method to do this. So this is how you would normally make this. So you've got lots of squares and pieces in the, in the box. So you'd use that square to cut out that bit, you'd yep. sew rectangles onto the edges of this instead of the triangles, that bit to cut that one down, again sew rectangles on the end there, and then that one to cut that out. So it's as simple as that, because we're always cutting down. So any errors that happened in the first set or the second set have all been wiped away, because every time I make one of these, it will be this perfect square because I've cut it down afterwards. Right. So therefore, that was technically nine pieces, well it still is, nine pieces of fabric, okay. but I'm treating it as one. One, It's yeah. one square, and it will always be the same size one square. So when I draw in the box together, oh, yeah. so it will always be, that one will always be the width of that one. That's obviously got a seam yeah, on there. So yeah. that will always fit onto that. Then that will always fit onto the side of that, and they will always join. So the whole thing must go together so much easier. So we're going to do the um, the diamond one because that was how the squares work. So the diamond one, the diamond panel works much the same. So we're going to uh, place the diamond template on. Again, just sewing, trim, trimming the edges off. It doesn't. 
this board is so old. My my um my cutting mat has got so many grooves and holes yeah. in it. Uh, it's well weathered, like us all. Nothing's it's, been. Um, no I tell you what, that's uh, that doesn't have to do the job of cutting, does it? It's straight through. Look at that. Don't have to go over that twice, do you? No. So that's that's your diamond cut out. Yeah. And then we've tried to make we try to make things as simple as possible. I like. I like things that are simple. If the world is difficult enough as it is without anything, yeah. so you'll like me then. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> in the in the pack, um, you've got um, dot A. It's templates A and B will make the diamond block, and you need two inch strips. Yeah. So we've got two inch strips. So you know you just you can either get your two inch ruler and mark, which these are. These rulers are available at the end on the upsell section. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very nice. nice little plug there. Get that one in. So. We're going to sew these on. I bought the white and white, and I thought I'd better tell which way up it is, but it's actually so hard here in the studio lights, mm. it's actually physical. So when you go, when you put something in your basket um, here of Crafty UK, you get options at the end just there, before you check there's, out, there's like, some, would you like to add a ruler would, to would, it? Would you like to add these so that so right. all the rulers of different sizes yeah. um, come okay. up? So these are, I, have, I we do workshops, and people bring along you know, a 24-inch by 6-inch ruler to a workshop, and there they're mm. working on a tiny little cut mat like this with this big ruler swinging it around. Right. They snap it in the car on the way home because they've, you know, yeah. you don't need big rulers a lot of the time. You only you? need little rulers. So we make, we don't ever, we don't actually make big so rulers. So how do you get away with actually measuring large pieces of fabric then? Do you just move the fabric along well, with a small ruler? Well, a lot of the time you don't need to because you're cutting, I mean, have you seen any, oh, anything, you know, you're cutting, quilting, you know, you're cutting, you're cutting into you're small cutting, pieces. You're cutting small pieces. So, yeah. you so often, if in you know, doubt, just cut it into something smaller. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. That so makes it's, sense. it's a case of you know a lot of the time you don't you don't need these these massive um you know the massive rulers so mm. so we make lots of little ones and because people forget that you know that's nice and easy to put in their their bag to uh, take somewhere yeah so we're just sewing these strips to the side and we're going to um all right, press them over at the edge so that's that one and then we're going to just trim them off as well so we're just going to uh, what to do with a rotary cutter there. We're lining up the edge of that ruler with the edge of the green. Mm. And we'll trim that bit of white off. How do you store all your templates out of interest? Have you got, you've got, presumably you've got absolutely stacks of them. So do you put them all in the same box or do you have more filed? Into we have there? those well-known um, Swedish company oh, yeah. cubes. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, got okay. around that well, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, well done, well done. And <laughs> um, we have loads of them, and each, cu each cube has is a hole, and that contains a... Oh, uh, OK. So therefore we know when... But you is know, there a way to... If, you, if you're a, a collector at home, you've just got a few, say, is there a, is there a way to store them? Do you package them uh, up, or I, do you I look after put them? I put them back in their boxes if they've got just a in box, the box yeah. and just to keep them, you know, they need yeah. to be kept flat. I mean, things like the robin, some bits are delicate on it, mm. um, but generally most most of the stuff is, um, you know, is quite robust. So it doesn't matter if it gets scratched a bit or anything. No, like I that. mean it's acrylic. It will it will always scratch in the end. You know, it, it does. It's not going to um, it's not going to last. You know, all the time. Sort of like, but uh, you know. So I'm just I'm going to sew, just sewing a bit on the other side. So yeah, it's you know once they're, if they're scratched, they're scratched. You know, that shows they've been used, but. Uh, we like to keep them clean when we know we actually sell them to start with, but <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the beauty of the boxes is the fact that you can put them away and, and where you've got sets with more than one thing in, um, you you when you get when you come to make it again, mm. you've got all the bits and you know the the diamond, the diamond no why seems fits in a in a, a DVD box so therefore when you come to use it the next time, yeah, um, you will have all the all the pieces there. And you won't be looking for, you know, one down the back of the sofa, or I lent one to somebody else. They all should be, they all should be there in the place. Or funny you should mention the uh, diamond no Y scene because that is proven to be very popular indeed. Three quarters of the stock has gone now on this. Four nested diamond templates you're getting here for eleven ninety nine. Uh, it's 888-327. You've got your four with all the different uh, sizes, one inch to four inch, and it makes this, you can see in the background there, this uh, Japanese look here. And we've also got our sample with Mac the dog. And funnily enough, speaking of Mac, Has he appeared? he's appeared. We yeah. finally got the photo. Thank you, Angela, for sending this in. That is the real deal. That's Mac. That is Mac. 
He's watching right now. So he's laying nice. he's laying on a stack and whack quilt, which we won't go into how a stack and whack quilt works. And uh, yeah. TV in the background, he's always watching. Oh, back. is that is that us in the background? Yeah, that'd be us uh, in the background. Of course. Yeah. Well, as, as every t every TV should be on the craft store, shouldn't they? Permanently. Look, there we go. Uh, there he is in uh, in quilt form. And uh, this has all been achieved with our UK, uh, Craft UK set of four diamonds. 888327 is the item code, and that is 11.99. And over 40% of the stock has gone, was the last I heard. Now, let's uh, head uh, down the carriage and see what else we've got here, because we've got our cats in a box. That's doing very well, too, in this hour. That's the kind of thing you can achieve with it. This is actually the clamshell that you're going to see in a second on the template here that creates this kind of weird cloud kind of shape here but everything you need to make the cat's head is included in the clamshell then you've got the actual cat shapes here too uh, if we actually look at the template itself you'll see the clamshell there here's that cats and you've got some um, the actual word cat you've got some cat buttons there you've got your rulers and then you've got a little cat lover a trolley token as well on the end there um, and then we have Roger the Robin here always very seasonal to have a Robin isn't it this time of the year we've got our Robin um, you can see the picture but I can show you the reality Ooh, look at that that's what Roger the Robin looks like when you actually map him all out but to look at that and then to look at the actual template it's it's funny because his his feet for example are actually included within his body He's all split up into sections there, but it's all marked out as to how to use it all. Got two little ones as well down the bottom there. Two little buttons, all put together, gives you this. That is 528901. It's 1199 for Roger the Robin. Now, uh, back over to you, Andy. What so, have we got now? So we were just we were just finishing off. So we've shown this is the um, um, storm at calm storm at sea. So we've done the triangle. We've shown four pieces of white around the edge of it. So. We can lay the, the square, the, so the rectangular template on the top of it, line it up, yep. and simple case of trimming it down on all four sides. Yeah. And then we would have our perfect rectangle with the diamond in. And uh, every, one we, we, every one we make yep. will be exactly the Perfectly same size. The same, yeah. Regardless of how well we've sewn the white pieces on, you will always be a perfect one of them, which then will match the other bits that go on. So they're, they're, that's, why, that's why we call it calm, because every time you're cutting down, so every one of these you make will be identical mm. in its, as far as its overall size. You may be slightly out on a corner or something point there, but it will always be the same, which is right. the key to it. So now we're only fixing together um, a rectangle and two, a little square and a big square. Keep calm and carry Keep on. Calm and, carry on. and you can make a, a good Harlequin quilt with that. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, there's, it's, it's, you know, you saw it. You know, it makes the storm at sea pattern. Um, but there was that other, other one quilt we had there. Different things. And if you actually Google storm at sea, um, there are lots of other patterns there that are different, where people have manipulated it again the same um, mm. to use it. I mean, you could use pieces like this um, as a border around the, uh, you know, around your quilt. Mm. Um, you could, you know, just make the blocks like that and put them all the way around the outside because you know you're going to be able to make it perfectly the same each time. Where, where normally you perhaps would do that sort of like too much work. Yeah. Nine pieces of fabric and I'm going to have to do it 30, 40 times to go around <laughs> the edge. You can think I ain't going to do that. But because they're so easy to make, yeah. um, you could possibly use it like that. Love it, Andy. Uh, we've got eight minutes left. Um, can you, what can you whisk up? In that time, can you do a Christmas tree? By well, well, I don't think I can do a whole Christmas tree, but okay. I can certainly do a, a part of one. So, All right. that will be there enough. are two Dresden blades inside the Christmas tree, so to make the thing. So, there's two different sizes, um, they're different angles. This will give you the different bits for the branches. So, you are placing that onto your fabric. Mm -hmm. um, Details up on the screen right now of the Dresden Christmas tree hanging set. You get the pattern and the templates here for 11 99 Cutting that out. And then to make the Dresden, the, the point on it, we fold it over on the end and then we sew through. Now I've found these, because there is, they are very small, I've found it's actually better if you step the, um, the thread count down so you're getting much, many, many more stitches to the inch. Um, because it's not very big, if you left it on what I'd been using earlier, the traditional, what the, basically the machines are set at, um, you don't get many stitches across there, and you need quite a few to hold it tight. Mm. Um, also, a tip: um, this point um, where, where, the, where the fabric is folded, 
we trim that off. So, because that, get rid of that point, because when we turn it inside out, yep. um, that will get rid of the bolt there. Okay. So we turn that inside out. Um, if you have a, a technical pokey tool, because it pokes <laughs> in this tool. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. 40% <laughs> of the Dresden tree is gone. So no stock, 40%. We'll point, make that point out, then iron that. Iron that flat. And we just make as many of them as it is to the, the bottom of the tree mm. has seven on. So you would do seven of these rounds and then you're sewing these together. Okay. Again, um, when putting these, the point, the folded piece of fabric is the bit that wants to line up because the other bit at the end here, yeah. if it's if they're not in line, that's hidden underneath the next one. Okay. So, um, you know, that that's where it needs to be. So we just start there. So we're just going to... Uh, Sew these two together. Is it sewing? Yes. Do we need a special foot or a special thread to do this? Um, no, it's. Uh, I mean, I use a. I virtually mo well, most of the time I use a, a, a foot with a quarter inch seam allowance on it. So okay. you've got a guide to go up to. Mm. Um, but some people, um, you know, they just alter because the needles are all in machines. You can position it any way you want. So some people just use the guides that are. Are marked on the, the the steel plate. It's uh, entirely up to you how you how you get on. Right. With, but yeah, it, it what would you seam. guys do about your quarter of an inch seam allowance? I tell you what, everyone that's that's the standard, isn't it? That's the one that everyone goes for. Quarter it's, of an inch it's quarter inch, and, and it's, it's yeah. the the biggest problem is me is because I draw all these on a computer in in millimeters. So, uh, six, so you have six, to convert it over. Six point three five. Oh, God, that's painful. <laughs> etched, etched in my mind. Yeah, that is painful. <laughs> So there's two joined together, as simple as that. So Very you would good. carry on, you'd make them all. And as I said earlier, if you didn't want um, this to be a Christmas tree, just a tree, you could just use them in plain fabrics or something, the greens and reds. Yeah. So the buttons, while well, we're here, because we've only got a few minutes left, haven't we? So mm. here's a button. One of these is uh, a pen, like alcohol pen or something. You just simply colour color the back of it. Mm. Because they actually do these in gold and silver and bronze now. They're not just all colours, so you can get some quite nice ones. Yeah. Just colour them in. Going around that bit there. And then from the other side, if we can see that, if I put it on something Approaching white. Approaching limited stock for the no Y seam uh, template there. So you've now, got a, you've now got a gold snowflake. Very good. To, to pin onto your tree. Yeah, I like so that. I like everything that. of the, I say everything to make make this 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 hanging quilt is all in the pack. Mm. There's a there's a diamond, which will make the star. Yep. The yep. Um, presents are exactly like this tumble and block that we've right. been making. You know, with the diamond, no Y seam in the centre yep. of that, made with the diamond, and even the trunk of the tree mm. is made with the Dresden plate. Oh, really? So that's just a just a blade that's not been turned, been made it. So the whole thing that's good. there is all And at the top there as well you've got a little bit of the pattern. Yeah, we just through. did a little bit, just a little bit there, sort of like decorations just in the corner, start, like yeah. streamers or you know, garlands yeah. or something in the room. And that's not even all the bits that you get with it the hanging down from the tree, because that's only a few you get thirty six. That's 36. only a few you get thirty six, because you might you might I mean you could make your tree bigger, mm -hmm. you could have more each time. Um, plus you might want to make more than one tree. Yep. So you, know, but I mean, I've always said to people, it says on the lot, if you want more, you only have to contact me, and we'll we'll get you some more. But usually, oh, thirty six, thirty six usually should do most, you. Shouldn't they? Most they gingerbread going, men on there, candy sticks, baubles. There's always well. someone that wants more. Yeah, yeah, of course there is. Yeah, uh, that's great. I like that. Love the love the Dresden Christmas tree dem trem template there, and what it's actually made there is your Christmas tree, but you can also make your Dresden plates make themselves. Make the Dresden plates as well. out of it. It's just you know, so it's it's got um, you know, it's got more than one use. Yeah. Um, look at that. We are. We're, we're, I'm now working on one. The moment we did just one bow, I'm doing a larger one where you have two. Right. So therefore, I can get a bigger tree that will be sort of like this sort of size oh, we're working gonna on. A, so uh, it's going to be a massive one. That'll um, be next year. <laughs> news on our no Y seam set of four diamonds here. It's gone to limited stock. It's gone to limited stock. That's our nested diamond templates. 
Your order number there that you'll be needing is 888327, and the price is 1199 It is now limited, so if you do have that in your basket, please be sure to check it out so that you do get hold of it. Now, um, Andy, you're back at nine with Derek, I believe. What are you doing then? Oh, we had a sneaky peek earlier on the website. So we you have, can tell us now. So um, there may be a couple of these um, still on the counter, but basically we've got another brand new six. So we've got the Unicorn, which mm -hmm. um, okay. was launched... Um, a few few months ago, mm -hmm. um, there's a um, a basket weave. We've got a basket weave, which is a really simple template, but it makes a really. That's not out because they're all hidden away. Yeah. All this lot's coming down. We're having a complete new setup. Oh no! <laughs> the cats in the box. Are they going to go? Cats are going to have to go in a box. <laughs> oh, was that was that made? I didn't oh yeah, see that's that cat, one. Yeah, the, uh, that's that's that cats on a box. Cats on an actual <laughs> box. So, I love just picking up stuff from uh, around the studio. It's like, oh, who made this? Oh, it's Andy. Yeah. There you go. Cats so, on a box. Well, actually, you can my other half, Joe, made that. So she, yeah. yeah so, uh, credit where credit's due. Yes. <laughs> there you go. So uh, yeah, that's another example there about cats on a box. So you're going to be back with some more with some more so templates. Some complete, at the night, yeah? Completely different ones. So it's yeah. worth. Often it's not always worth tuning in because I'm just going over the same old stuff. But this time we're doing something totally different. So have your tea, let it digest, and come back and see me at nine. <laughs> well, let it di digest for like, what, three, four hours? Wow, that's a lot <laughs> of digestion. Thoroughly digested. <laughs> well, obviously, you've watched this, so you haven't actually had your tea yet, so you've got to cook it. Yeah, good and point. Cook it, then eat it. Good point. But, but at the same time, <laughs> please do make sure you continue to watch the craft store. Don't just go off and make your tea. Uh, don't forget, it's all on the website, of course. So there's uh, phone line queues. Always get onto the website and have a little look at all the products on there. We've got everything from Craft UK. There you go. There's uh, five star reviews as well. Look, everything that we've shown today and then some on our counter is available on the craftstore.com. Uh, Andy, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Nice Switch to your iron you. off now. Turn it down. <laughs> Good work health and safety. Uh, I'll see you later at nine and I will see you at seven. But coming up in a second, John's here. John next door for the one day special. It's the start of that. So then we've got some mixed media from Bizarreology with myself and then Derek will be back with John Lockwood for more of our one day special. Did you know you can continue watching The Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite TV shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. 
and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Here we are. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to a brand new one day special. And we really are going up the posh end this evening. We're off to Windsor and Belgravia, if you like. So it's almost like the West End has arrived in what do we call here? The, the mid end? The mid end. The mid end of Aundel. Uh, because John Lockwood is here with John next door and the fantastic. Nice little side step from Christmas. If you are at the moment where you know you're you're knee deep in snowflakes and snowmen and whatever, you just need a, a sideline just to clear the mind again. Then this is an amazing, amazing collection with the man himself, of course, <laughs> Mr. John Lockwood. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? This is love. I'm absolutely brilliant. Thank you. All the better for <laughs> seeing this. I, I tell you how I I watched. Um, on John's uh, page, which is... Crafting with John Next Door and Crafts too. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> I went on to... I joined last night. I've joined. I've got a privileged pass in. Um, because, like a lot of you, I got the email last night to say, oh, you can pre-order this before it goes on sale. And I clicked on the link and it went somewhere else. So I thought, well, I'm going to go and find out more. I'm going to go to John um, <laughs> and find out. And I was well impressed by this. One of the first things you said in your sneak peek video, and over 10%, by the way, of this stock has already sold out and gone, by the way. So just while we're chatting away, feel free to check out while we just <laughs> we chew our gums here. Um, one of the things that you said on your sneak peek video last night was, I've done a lot of Christmas, I love Christmas, my favourite time of the year for yep. making card making, but I do just need a little diversion to one side just to... Just to... It's to cleanse the palate almost. That's... It's like having a sorbet in the middle of a yes, meal. Yes, you're absolutely right. And this collection does it absolutely it does. beautifully, doesn't it? Because as you. always, being you... It's not just one simple mandala and there you go, it's a mandala, which you take the same thing in every direction. My word, how many dies? <laughs> there are, I think it's 22 dies in the whole collection. Mm -hmm. um, but we were saying, I think it's on one of them, um, and I get so stuck with the names, because I, I name them and I only name them once I come to do the packaging. Yeah. So, and I think it's this one, which is the Belgravia, yes. No, this is yeah, that's the, Windsor. the Windsor. Yeah. Um, it's the Belgravia, which is this one, which I'm just, I'm just putting my hand on it as if you can see it, and of course you can't. <laughs> um, but it's this one. There are so many combinations. There are eight dies in it. Here we are. But of course you can put any of those eight with any of the other eight, which gives you eight times eight, which gives you 64 combinations. Okay, right. So yeah. of course you can put that with that, yeah. but it can go with that, or it can go with that, or it can go with that or that and that can go together, or that, that and that can go together, or that, that, that and... It, it's, it's endless, to be honest. I mean, you, you get so much in there. But what I did do was to try and make sure that whilst they're both sync together and separate, yep. they will actually match together. So if you can see the sizing, so uh, that the Belgravia fits yeah. on the Windsor. Yeah. And if you want to, you can put the middle from one into the other, or take that centre into this one, or load that detail into this one. And we've already had a question. So if you can we... see there, if that that and that, these are from two different sets, but Look there is a that. whole new whole new combination. And again, if you aren't like That's me, a wind gravia, wind gravia, <laughs> I like that. Um, um, but the, and the, the names are actually nicked from from the posh sofas that has at the uh, store I worked in as a kid. Oh, so it wasn't a place then. Well, it is well, there, there are places, places That's where yeah. I got my theme they for the are. places yeah, from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I thought these were really posh, so I went for they the, are. the two sort of big names from those. Perfect But again, names. something new. But that's almost got... If you do that in Christmas colours, mm -hmm. you've got Christmas in there as yes, well. Yes, absolutely. There's if nothing you really want stopping that. you. And actually, you can see on some of the samples here, they are very metallic samples, so it can lend itself beautifully. Approaching 20% of the stock sold out and gone, by the way. Don't wait for the demos check out straight away um 
I say that because this collection went on pre-order via the email last night and then the link worked from this morning, I know. And since then, a huge amount of these uh, went out on pre-order and they are disappearing right now. There's something really clever with the corners in these as well that you've got to see, which John will talk to us about a wee while. We've already had a question about whether these will coordinate with your box dies as well. The answer was... Yes, of course. Fabulous, of course, like we needed to ask, um, but we... It's best. It's always best always to, good check, to check. Yeah, but they've yeah, yeah, been yeah. sized so they will fit with the square scene box. Yeah. Um, but they've also been sized and designed so that they will coordinate. If anyone was able to get the limited edition mandala set that I did, mm -hmm. which was a one-off limited edition, um, that will tie in with this. They're completely different designs. It's not as if I've rehashed that. Mm -hmm. But if you've got that, that will take this even further because the sizes will match in with this. Fantastic. So it will I mean, match in with everything you've already got. There is so much. It's ridiculous how much there is to go out here. Can I just, before I show you through the boards and everything else, can I just quickly tell you, there are some back in stocks and there are some other special things that are on the show, including a happy hour as well which I will show you um, a little bit later, but you might want to shop ahead of those because, you know, it might be a while um, until we get to them. So just look ahead. Um, it's, the, it's the alphabet die in particular, wasn't it? It was, Sold yes. out and sold out and sold out. And I think, did you relent 18 months later? 18 months it's taken it's us a, to a relent and bring that one back. So that's a re-release after 18 months. It's on the show, the alphabet dies, for those of you who've been looking out for it for a long, long time. So let's look at Windsor, first of all. And I love Windsor, and I, I, I love the shape of it. I love the simplicity of it. But when you look at all of the different shapes that you've got there, um, it's actually, it's, it, you can take this as simple or as complex as you want to. You can, you can cut two of these and get a very simple card. Yeah. You can take three or four and get something quite complex, go for all of them, and get something that looks very, very intricate, but that's actually taken no work. You know, I want things to be as easy as possible. And this, to me, every time I look at it, I see a sunflower. Yeah. I see a sunflower in the middle. But, you know, as, as Emily, the producer's just said, she can see a sundial in there. Yeah. No, absolutely. So I, I doubly was say, for that. These, the look, these look quite navigational, these. I think they're really, really cool. Um, I, I, I love them. And with the Windsor, there is also the Windsor corners as well. Now, this is where things get really, really clever, John, isn't it? Well, to me, I, I hope so. I'm never any good at actually sort of saying, you know, shouting about my own things. I, I love these because you've got four corners mm -hmm. and you get four dies. Yep. Nothing's more frustrating to me than when you buy a corner die and you have to cut it four times. Yeah, yeah. Because by the time it's gone through the piece of, piece of paper's gone through the machine four times, it's wrecked. Yes. It doesn't yeah. want to. But the idea is there, you've got the four corners, but if you lay them out, you get that whole new shape. So the shape in the middle, you, it doesn't exist anywhere else. I love that. So that, that shape doesn't exist so super cool. in nature, but... That's just the four corners cut away. If you turn them <clears> off, <throat> if you do it on a rectangle, you get that shape. Oh, yeah, cool. So you're not just getting the corners, you're getting a brand new die cut shape in the middle just from using the four dies together. And that's really interesting to use east-west as well, as well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and again, you could, do, you could double that and do it round. So you're getting a bonus on each one. Yeah. Not just the pattern-building corners, you're getting the shape that's left behind. It is superb. So, that's Windsor, <laughs> Mom. Uh, <laughs> let's go to Belgravia now. Um, and this is spectacular. This is why you will want absolutely everything that this collection has to offer. It's so, so affordable as well, by the way. Uh, really, really good for what you are getting here, for the amount that you will use this. Now, this is the one that I think, it, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, well, actually, all of them do, but I think this is the one that you could nod towards Christmas very, very easily. You could really very, simply. very easily on this one. It's got that kind of odour poinsettia kind of vibe going on to it, but it is very grand and it's very the great thing about mandalas is they're all symmetrical aren't they yes they are this is fully symmetrical on all of the aspects of it um and the idea is as you say it is got a very very regal look to it Beautiful. um it's got that very rich crown like look and what i really need to um what i should have done was this is actually based on a picture that's hanging in our downstairs loop 
Oh, is it? It is. I tell you what, we, you get a lot Got of inspiration, inspiration around your house, don't uh, you? We <laughs> do, actually. We some sort of put a gallery up. Yeah. Um, in our sort of in, in the smallest room downstairs. That's a good idea. Um, and I have got a photo that I, I will send to the gallery that actually shows where the idea came from for that little heart shape oh, brilliant. with the sort of fleur de lis in it. That sort of heart with the fleur de lis came from something. So that's where I got the drawing from, and it it built up to this. But this is the one where again I could fill five boards with the combinations. I've just tried to show you here the basic combinations, yeah. but you can use any one of them with any one, two, three, four, or five of the others to get completely different looks from it. But the thing is as well, with those little fleur-de-lis, um, you can interpret those as little crowns, you know, with their jeweled points on the outside because you've got loads Ooh. of paper piecing opportunities here as well. You could, you? it's like a tiara. I love it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Now, there is also the Belgravia Corner, of course there is. Again, corners. Corners, yes, yes. So you get four again. Of course, you get four. Um, and again, you can make those really, really interesting shapes as well uh, by just cutting out the corners from one single piece. This is really, really beautiful. So intricate. You could use those as photo corners as well. They'd be really, really cool, wouldn't they? Um, and also with Belgravia, there is a... Now, this really looks like a crown, doesn't it? I mean, I would, I would actually want to cut that out and actually use it as a little bit of a stencil. Do you know what I mean? Like a little crown stencil for a border. Well, you can, like but field. actually, if you cut them out together on the same piece... Yeah. So I'll show you this. That's the waste from cutting it four times into a piece of card. Oh, look at that! But, so if you look there, that's, that's a whole new design. Um, and what... Um, Art Angel did. She cut these out separate and said they're little, made them into little bugs. Oh. And she's used them as little bugs. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You showed that on your sneak peek, didn't you? Have we got yes. that sample um, with we us tonight? We have, and the I'm little not bugs. sure. We'll come across it, I'm we sure. We will find it. Yeah. It is here somewhere we'll in all the We'll come across it as we go through I the promise. show. I I'm absolutely sure. <laughs> uh, right, so you've got your 22 dies um, in total here as your one-day special. This is absolutely flying out of the door. I think a lot of people seeing the timing of this and saying, do you know what, this is brilliant, because I can incorporate it into my Christmas, but if you are a little bit knee-deep in Christmas at the moment, and you're just looking for that just nice, relaxing meander down a different avenue, then you can with this. 168362 is your item number. A quarter of the stock, and of course, I don't even need to talk to you about how big a stock needs to be for John Next Door One Day Special. So that's a lot of these sets sold out and gone already. Now, John is very, very amazingly... <laughs> As he always does. Now, I have to thank Peter for agreeing to this one, to be fair. Oh, OK. I have to thank Uncle Peter for agreeing to did he, do this one. Did he agree to it? Did he need persuading? He was very good on letting us do this one, because we never normally reduce John Next Door dies on the happy hour. Yeah. Um, so, but we said, well, we'll do it on this one. We'll do it on this occasion. And one of the reasons is this die will work with the mandala. Ah, uh, of course it will, yes. So if you want to actually make that slide card you can use the pieces from the mandala die set to actually fit in. So if I sneak you that little piece cut there, yes. yep. you can yep. see that that actually will fit in to one of the cards as an aperture on the front. Ah, uh, yes, right. Okay, well, let me show you the card concept and then I'll s slip in the mandala. Right, this is, um, by the way, the, the price on this one, don't hang around, press pause if you're watching on Sky or whatever uh, and go and order it right now because it's good for this hour only at half of its regular price. Watch how this works as well, because look, you open it up and then it reveals, oh, <laughs> that's like a dream come true. Now, let me put the mandala in for a second and you can see that's the aperture that you could cut out there. I've got to show you some more examples of this as well, because it is, it is just a dream, an absolute dream. In fact, the slower you open this, the more dramatic, the more beautiful it is. It's an absolutely superb die. So look, how it reveals and opens up the little back door well the doors actually it's like the sliding doors it reminds me of you know when um, on the big game shows the host would reveal the doors oh. would slide open what's Bru behind the doors miss four brucey would come out <laughs> yes. on the generation oh, came from behind that. these sliding doors but look at that just wanted to say and as you open the card and it opens up miss you how sweet is that? 
And that's all from that one die set Everything you right need now. is included in that die set. So you get the panels, mm -hmm. you get the front, you get the, the, the fold section. Yep. So all you need to do, you even get some basic apertures in that. Um, so you can make an entire slide card like the sort of one you showed with the square yep. or with the circle. Mm -hmm. You can make that from the set. You don't need anything else. But if you've got the mandala set or you get that, then it takes that somewhere else because then you've got the mandala set. But there are videos online on YouTube showing you exactly how to make it. And I think there's a video as well showing you how to make this longer version. So it's just the same basic mechanism. We Woo! just extend it. I just love it. I just love it. It's a squeaky one, this one, but I love it. It's a, I it's love a, it. Yeah, it's a satin card. It yeah, squeaks it's, against it's it. It's getting used to each other. It needs a bit of wear. Oh, let's do it again. Let's do it again, 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 again. Look. But the fab thing is... When you close that, yeah. it's completely flat to postage to post, so that's a normal stamp. Yeah. So yeah. you put so much work into it, but it's still only going to cost you. I would love to say, I want to say every time I say a normal stamp, it'll cost you 60p for a first class stamp, but I, don't I think know what they're probably over days. a pound now, to I be honest. I don't know what it is. I, these I don't days. go to the post office. Not very for often. one stamp. No. You need to take out a second mortgage these days. <laughs> Um, that's my own personal opinion, not that of uh, Hochanda Global Limited. 327 uh, <laughs> 323 is your item number for your happy hour. How much gone? 20% of that happy hour already gone. Remember, that deal is good for this hour at half price. Take it right now while you can. Now, back after massive popular demand, um, it sold out non existently um, at least 18 months ago. And. Um, People have been asking and asking and asking and asking, please, 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 please. And eventually, John said, right, okay, well, there's too many. There's too many pleases now. We, we, we have to do it. Otherwise, we're going to upset lots of people if we don't bring it back. So here it is. So it is your bold alphabet die set. Uh, three dies there for you. It's the most amazing font as well. It's beautiful. Over 10% of those already sold out and gone. <laughs> it's a big number as well because this is the first time we've seen them in 18 months. It's a reissue. So it was a big number. There are queues on the telephone lines as well. If you are able, please do grab the app. You can download it on your app stores, whether you've got Apple or Android or whatever those things are. Um, and you can go onto the computer as well at thecraftstore.com. But hold the lines. We'll be with you as quickly as we possibly can. But um, fingers crossed you get everything that you want. Right, John, enough of me. Right. So I, I'm actually showing you the card I'm going to make for once. Fabulous. I know. I managed to pull it out from the samples. I, I love doing this. This is something that looks very, very complicated because you're changing from black to white. You're changing the colour across on all sides. But the dies make it so, so easy. And there's actually on this one a mistake, which I can, because of how I did it, and I've subsequently learned a better way to do it. Oh, so I will okay. show you. There is actually, it, it double overs it there a little bit, which it shouldn't do. Oh, okay. Yeah, So, but I can show you the way to do it. But I love that. But this has got lots and lots of different tips and techniques in there. And I, I really think it's valuable. It, to me, when I get to do a show, it's not so much about showing you how fab the product is. I want to show you as well what we can do with it or what's different or teach us something. That's, I'm going that's through half the, of the reason yeah. we tune in, isn't it? Absolutely. And I'm going through samples at the moment, so I'm finding such a wide variety of different things that this set can yeah. do because um, it's so good and we could be here for five hours non-stop we could we could definitely so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take first of all this is the largest one from the Windsor and I'm just going to put it onto a square of card and this is actually cut to five inches so you can see how this would actually work on the square scene box and it would sit in there so I'm just going to tape it down and I'm going to run this through now there's no complex things in here, but you've got quite a few little sections. So I'm going to use my metal shim plate just because there's a little bit of detail. And I'm just going to run it through my Kaleido. Every single die in the collection will fit in an A5 machine. So you don't have to have a big A4 machine for anything in this collection. Brilliant. So it cuts out the circle. So again, that's, for, that's a layer on its own. We could put that onto another colour and drop a different colour onto it. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll just take this one out, okay, give it a flick, and we get that beautiful pattern and all that shape. But obviously, I need to have black behind that, don't I? You do. And I don't want black behind it. Um, in a square piece, it needs to be a circle. Uh -huh. So the question I always ask myself is, how would I do that? I would have to have a circle die the same size. Or yes. I would have to stick it down and then cut it out by hand. 
and I'm sorry, life's far too short. As so, always. What we do is give it a bit of a spray glue into the magic box that's hidden down there. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not spraying Derek's shoes, honestly. No. <laughs> and all you do is take the die and click it back into place. So exactly the same die, we click it back in and it will just slot itself back into it. We tape it down and this time I'm going to run it through on low pressure. Okay. So I'm going to go with my base plate, my Kaleido, my 5 mil plate, and just my 3 mil plate. And you know, I'll bring my machine in to show you. You know normally we'd say, what you do with most die cutting is you go forward and then you come back. Because okay. you might as well and get an extra cut. Yep. We don't want to with this. Because doing it on a basic cut, can you see now, look, that falls away. Ah. That hasn't cut through. Because uh, okay. it's too detailed yeah. when it's actually slotted into there. So oh, there. Oh, look at that. And it's perfect, front and back. Top so you're tip. not having to cut it by scissors. You're not having to get another nesting die. You're just doing it like that. So there I've got my first one. And what I would do is cut this in, in both colours. So I've got it here cut in black, and I will do that in white in a second. But I want to go down to, I would, I would repeat them, because mm -hmm. this will make you two cards that are reversed. So we've got that panel, and we want to go to the next layer. So I go and have a look and go, right, okay, what's, what's my next layer on that going to be? Well, I, I need to have a black layer on that, don't I? So I take the next layer in the set, pop that on to a black one, onto a piece of black, and I would cut this. Now, normally... I thought I'd got everything cut, but obviously I hadn't, so there we go. So we'll just run that one through. Gosh, John, it's so, so busy. Congratulations if you've got yours so far. The phone lines are going bonkers, the website's going bonkers. Um, I'm, I'm not at all surprised. It's so, so, so beautiful. 30% um, of the entire one-day special stock. It's a big number, as only you, you could imagine. Uh, with and John. I think we've, we've not, there isn't a reserve. No. No, there isn't, there isn't a reserve stock. We've, we've already <laughs> an anticipated and juggled and done yeah. everything. We've done all of that already. Um, so that would be a long, long time coming back, if um, it ever did. If it did, yes. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't reorder. No. It, it took 18 months for us to agree to reorder the alphabet size. Yeah, and yeah. that is because Peter said, I've had so many people asking, let's yes. redo it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we don't reorder. John Next Door dies are invariably a limited edition yeah, in yeah. a way. We do and that, that run. Keeps it special, doesn't it? Well, it does to yeah. me, and it also yeah. stops. I would like people to see it, like it, and get it because they like it, mm -hmm. not sort of be ground down over six months. Yeah, yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. So I like to. I don't want anyone to think they've got to get everything. Yeah. So we do the collection. We launch it. When it's gone, it's gone, and then people don't feel like they've got to keep catch up. Well, you and, know, and, and and sort of. Oh, I've I've not got JND one six seven. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's about what you like, and that's I think doing a limited run. And Helps also, with that. also, if truth be told, John doesn't want to be walking around a show in seven years' time no. and see himself in the whoopsie bin. <laughs> Do you know, to be honest, yes, you're right. That's what it is It is, well. it is entirely it's that. that. No, but I can completely appreciate yeah. and understand that. Well, it, it's actually, as I was saying, I was at the Harrogate show um, on um, Saturday. Yeah. And I said to a lady, there's nothing more annoying to me as a crafter mm -hmm. than paying full price for something yeah. to see next week, next month, three mm -hmm. months down the line, mm -hmm. it on there at half price. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, because it's awful. So we try and make sure we can avoid that wherever possible. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we always try and give a time limit. So I need a detailed one mm -hmm. now. So what I do is I take the detailed die, and this doesn't have an outside cut line, so you can repeat it, so you can cut it into card. I take a long piece of tape, pick it up, take the outside line. That lets me hover over just like that. Put that down and I'm just going to cut that one and again this has got detail it's got a lot of detail in it and I just don't like to be disappointed <laughs> so I'm going to go in I'm going to put my metal shim on to help mm -hmm. and it's also really really useful if I don't when I'm using white card invariably if possible I will use my metal shim because it stops my plates marking the white card yeah for the finish and even though I try and keep a plate clean that's yeah. not, that's the cleanest one I've got, and that's really not clean. Well, for John Lockwood it is. It is for me. The <laughs> other one, 
that's the other plate for this machine. <laughs> Yay. Yay! But if I use the metal shim, I keep it, it stays a lot cleaner. John, I can't find that bug sample. Are we sure that we've got it here? We must. You had have. it because you had it on I your. I had it last night. So on your it sneak must peek. be in. It must. It's be... got bugs on the front. We'll we will find it. It is. I'm really sorry if we can't find it, Archangel. It is absolutely beautiful. Just need to grab my pokey tool. There we go. So again, you see, by doing that, all these little pieces come out. I'm cutting this in Crafts 2 linen card, mm -hmm. um, and this is 250 GSM. I've cut up to 300 with these with no problems at all. Mm -hmm. um, and I have got another little tip I've just learned, which I think I might have shown on a video. You know when you get some bits at the back that hang? Oh, yeah, Can yeah, you yeah. see there that they're, they're hanging out? Yeah. If you grab your glue eraser, yeah. some, you have to try and flick them off or cut them yeah. off. Yeah. Use your glue eraser and just use that over the back and it will take them off. So there's some there, let's just pop them out. Can you see how they've not quite cut through? Yeah? Use my glue. Oh, watch this. It works every time at home, Except and it won't work when telly. I'm doing it on telly. <laughs> I will show you this more time. There we go. Instead of tearing it, it, there we go. It just pulls that little piece off. I've got another one now. <laughs> Would do. Oh, there, and there's two more. <laughs> yeah. It's also good for cleaning down my desk. So there I've got a white level. Fabulous. So I need to actually cut a smaller black back for that. Is there something you want to run through for a second while I just? Oh, well, I just want to. I do want to quickly die. tell you as well that there's some wonderful um, card which is on the show as well, the black and the red card, which we'll get to later. Can I just show you a couple of um, samples actually? Because I think these are genius, absolutely genius. Uh, we'll put the detail of the um, card at the bottom of the screen. Ah, oh, we found it. Oh, sorry. I'll just I'll hold that and I'll reach out there and magically the other one will appear. Thank you. Found it. Yay, 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 yay. Here, this sample by um, Sheila Metzler. She lag. I honestly, and I think that's such a genius way of, again, using glitter there for a lovely sort of um, birthday card. It's really cool. And she's doubled up the corners to make smaller squares there, hasn't she? She has. So what she's done is she's, she's made it, she's cut the corner dies four times. Yeah. But you've got four of them, so it's it's not that pain to do. Yeah. And she's overlapped them to make. Actually, I think she used them twice. No, she's used them four times. Four times, yeah. No on a squares. smaller square, which gives yeah. you a whole new shape again in the middle. Yeah, it's stunning. I love it. And this is the this is the famed sample from Art Angel. Right now, the so these bugs are made out of the inner um, the inner bit of the Belgravia border. That's right. Yep. How and they do look that? like bugs. Yeah, they're really cool. I remember seeing, seeing them on your uh, your video. It's cool because they're so exacting in size as well. You'd have great fun coloring, coloring those up. Now, just to talk to you, as John was before, about the layering um, of these. This is the Windsor, all layered up beautifully by, oh, sample unnamed. Is that one of yours, John? That's one of mine. Oh, well, there you go. Then. <laughs> Must be one of John's if it has no name on it. I love just very, very subtle. So you can go very, very subtle on your colour tones here, can't you? It just felt so autumnal I to love me. And that. as I said in the last night in the sneak peek, I love Christmas. I love designing Christmas. I love making Christmas. I could do it all year. But sometimes you get to a point where you say, I need a break. Yeah. Pack away the glitter. And just to play with these browns and beiges, whereas when that's what you're seeing on the streets and, you know, on the yeah. hills and everything around yeah, it, it's yeah, yeah. beautiful. And then from that, because we were talking about just how sophisticated this is, so use a little bit of holographic mirror card at the back there, mix up your glitter cards, use your fabulous blacks as well. This is another one by um, Sheila Metzler, uh, Shelag, uh, and I love it, I just love it. Love, 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 love. Um, and again, if you really want to go super, super Christmas, how about red, gold and black there together there? Beautiful. Again. Play with those corners, you know, work with them together, layer them up. It's just brilliant. I mean, right now, listen, I need to talk to you about the happy hour as well. Now, where did I put the happy hour? <laughs> it's here somewhere. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. There's so much going on here tonight. Now, this is that lovely die that does the open door for you on the cards. I'm going to get the squeaky one. <gasps> right, 40% of that sold out and gone. Let me just make sure this is the right way because I just love this. This is so showbiz, this. It's so brilliant. So it's the die that will make the mechanism 
for this lovely sliding door. So all you need then is you get apertures within the uh, the actual die set itself, but then you can make different shape apertures yourself You do, yeah. So you well. get circles, I think it's circles and rectangles in there yeah. to make the apertures in there uh, that you want to. Mm -hmm. But the idea is it works with other John Next Door dies, so mm -hmm. it works perfectly. I think it's shown on here with the Amdel and the Woodford, which, you know, named for... Um, then for Andal, where we are at the moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it will work with the Windsor and Belgravia. It's size, so it will work with those as well, some of the smaller dies in those sets. Mm. So it's perfect to go with the, um, with the Mandala collection. And they're so cool. I was going to show you one more of, uh, of these made up as well, because they are, they are just brilliant. They're so dramatic. It's just like, ta-da, nobody else has got a card like this in your life. Look, ta-da, you open it. I love the whole sliding door thing as it happens. Yeah, you have to do the ta-da as it opens. I just, it's the door I opening bit. I want that bit. as a ringtone. It's the door <laughs> opening bit that for me is the, the, the most magical uh, part. Uh, now John's just made a very, very simple one out here of, uh, uh, out of a, like a sort of marbly kind of card just to show you how the mechanism works. So of course you open up and ta-da. So, you can so put anything everything in there. that's on that card is included in the die set. The cool. aperture and everything. So you don't need another die to do that at all. How much of the stock of that has gone? 40% of that stock has gone. It's only half price for this hour as well, which happens very, very seldomly with the Craft 2 um, dies. But, you know, John and Peter, they like to, they like to treat me. And John likes to talk Peter into a nice little deal as well. Oh, go on. It is a one-day special after all. Uh, so let's do it. Right, back yeah, to John. It's almost like you're listening in on my phone calls. <laughs> in the case of, come on, we're getting towards the end of the year now. And yeah. we, we've got that delivery coming in next week, and we yeah. need that little bit of extra space again, don't we? Yeah. Uh, and, and, and it and would be nice, wouldn't it, because it'll match with this. Well, and you know there are a lot of demands on people's finances at this time of the year as well. There, so there like is. we a deal, don't we? We do. I mean, it's one of the reasons why we did this whole collection we really thought about splitting it into two yeah and then when we were able to i sort of get, peter gave me the pricing on it we went through it when we realized we could do the whole lot at sort of just around the 50 pound mark i thought that's for this time of year that's really good Perfect. Um, and we always try and keep the john next door you know around that price if we can mm -hmm. um you know i always think like tesco little and often and every little helps absolutely other so, supermarkets are available yes <laughs> what we've got to mention, Aldi, Little Asda, there you go. <laughs> Mention three Make more. Make one up then. Yeah. So what I've done is I've cut out a piece of black. Okay. And what I actually did for that is I cut it out of the middle of this piece. So uh, can okay. you see, so I'm already, so there's another, there's something else completely different. That's gorgeous. Mm. Totally different. So I could stick that onto the white. So I've got that one. But this is one of the things I love about this. If you look there the mandala works and it's almost like um, a flag yeah mm -hmm. and that's the way it was designed to be a star yeah but again just by changing the aspect of it you make it very different so I've got there now what I'm using is because I did say to people when I did my tool show I would try and bring this and we have managed to get this on the show this is my water media mat that oh, I right, use okay. all the time for my stamping, colouring, everything. Okay. Because it's, I don't you've seen this, I'll have to. No. It, it's basically, it's silicon. So it, it takes heat up oh. to 250 degrees and it goes in the dishwasher to clean it. Oh, amazing. So it's like an ink blending mat, but this, I don't so think this is on the show. Therefore, it basically cleans itself. If but it goes in the dishwasher, it cleans it itself. It does clean itself, yeah. yeah. What you do is, it's magic at our house. You throw it into the kitchen and it comes back two or three hours later spotless. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, but we all need the thing is, like I had to keep moving that away to yeah. do my crafting. Yeah, right. But then I discovered the Crafts 2 A4 mat goes inside. goes in inside and gives a smooth surface. So you can just carry on. So you can carry on. So you can have your messy mat out all the time with your mat. So I said, well, can we bring this on? And I said, well, what else are you using? I said, well, I, I use our rules. Because mm -hmm. my mum would kill me if I called them rulers. <laughs> because a ruler rules a country. This is a rule. Oh. And I know that they're called rulers everywhere. But, Including you know, my mum always told me. Oh. So, but this is the, I use this one constantly. This has got a metal edge. Okay. So what I can do is now I can actually cut on the mat mm -hmm. and I can cut these. And I, the first card I, time I made this card, I used my guillotine and I went off. And even in a paper trimmer, you can go off. Yes. Because a shape like that in a guillotine doesn't work very well. So it's better to go old school. Yes. And I need this cut exactly in the half. So I can put that, that and that together on there. I can I'm take glad you said that about a guillotine, actually, because I've always it thought, hang on a second, off. I want you to be as straight as a die. Yeah. Uh, and it, 
It doesn't always seem to be. I mean, I, I use ours. I've used this one. This is brilliant. But when I'm cutting through this, I'm cutting through five layers. And it the does stress, it all the time. It? When I've got a circle or something on there, and it literally, you can see there where it went off. I had yeah. to trim it. Or on the original card. I'll bring this one in. Yeah. Can you see there where it went off? Just drifted off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It drifted off. And they do. Yeah. And it's nothing to do with that. It's I what we're it's doing. It's just the drag of the layers, isn't it? It is. The... They pull yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I found a knife was easier. So what I can do is take this, put it together. And I am old school when it comes to this. So and I put it down. We've got the bundle on the screen, by the way, for the map that John's using right now with a knife and the rules. Yeah, because <laughs> you actually get this one, which is the straight edge. And I'll show you through the shows yep. how I use this. Because I use these little quarter inch marks on it. Yeah. I use those when I cut in them. If I cut a design in the middle of a piece of card and I need to straighten it up, this is what I use. Because uh -huh. I use one of the lines against the centre yeah. to get it right and even. But now watch, I can go through that easy. And on here. And the great thing is, if I was, say I was, you know I'm doing that in black and white. This is yeah. the other thing I love about this. Can you see, I want to cut this black one next. This is where they were so clever. So look, they're perfect halves. Okay. Right. I'll turn it over. It's pink on the other side. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so, right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's it's double-sided. Yeah, so it doesn't go in disguise. No. Brilliant. Because I, I, that was one of the things that used to frustrate me, because they're always green. Yeah, These true. mats were always green. Yeah. And I need to cut this. Can you imagine trying to cut this? And I know some people could achieve that in half, in a guillotine or a paper trimmer. Yep. But again, I take the metal edge rule, because I think we've included a piercing rule and two metal ones there is. Yep. in here. Basically give you everything. But look, again. Good price, hey, as well, because, you know, even for a basic hobby knife, there we go. you can pay the best price of £10 plus yeah. for one that you will trust. Yeah, you can get cheap and cheerful, but you won't trust it. So yeah. you'll you want to spend a bit more. And the, the hobby knife, the blade comes out. Oh, so you can... We do the blade separate, but right. the blades are a standard scalpel blade. I think it's a size 11. Right. So Brilliant. you can go to your local See, that's, stationers that and yeah. get... A, if, you can't, if you can't get one from us in the little pack, yeah. you can... And I think it's important to say... Yes. Yeah, definitely. You don't have to have our blades. That's always annoyed me. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll buy that, but I've got to buy your blades, yes. have I? Oh, right, I'm, yeah. I'm tied in forever. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I've got now is <laughs> I've got my two halves. As a business, though, you could learn something from that. You know that, John. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but, but no. Hey, no. Problem, problem is, John's too much of a crafter. <laughs> Everybody involved in Crafts 2 is a crafter. Yeah, yeah. That's what is yeah. genuinely so fabulous about it. Everyone is a crafter. Yeah. That's where it's come from. And it, so. and it is good to, um, to stick to those principles as well, because, you know, you are at one with your customers then, aren't you? Well, we're all the same. We're all actually in the same boat. Yeah. So what I've got is, I've already done some pieces of this because I know that this was going to take ages. So I've already cut out the corners, two in white, two in black. Yeah. But I obviously did four in black, four in white. Of course. So these are left over from my first card. Yeah. Yeah. And then I cut the backgrounds as well. So I'm just going to start assembling these, if that's okay. Yes. Um, if you can run through something a second, because I, I need to see if I will. can find if I've put my foam tape in. I've got some embossing folders to talk about because they are um, some of the most glorious that you haven't seen yet, actually. Uh, well, not on this show, at least. Um, these are absolutely beautiful. We've had these sell out in the past, but um, I think the board will do all the talking that it really needs to, to be honest with you. Um, so these are your uh, press cut 3D embossing folders. You've got the quilted blocks, you've got the braided lines, and you've got the spiral flower there. And you can see just how much, I always think sometimes with embossing folders, I think, oh, you've either gone far too fussy sometimes embossing folders, too much detail and if it's going into the background you think well actually you know you didn't really need that much detail simple and elegant but do that well do yes. that with lots of depth do that with lots of texture you know don't don't give me 300 flowers when i'm covering most of them up do you know what i mean yeah look you've got something here which is that's so stylish that's so going with the um with the Windsor and the Belgravia, it, it isn't it? It does. It's actually Jane looked at these, and we I, we had sold out of them, and they found more, mm -hmm. which I didn't oh. know. When oh, okay. Jane was hunting through the warehouse, right. we thought, and I said, well, people were desperate for those last time, 
But what we actually were able to do, so we found them, and Jane went, I found these, they're perfect with the mandalas. Yeah. Absolutely oh, perfect yeah. with those mandalas you've got coming in. So we held on to them, knowing that they would match so well, because they've got the same feel and the same style. They are lovely. I mean, I know you've got, I think you've got a card there where it's been done in the red gloss card. Yes, let me show you. Um, but it just ties it all together, and mm. it stops the background looking quite so plain when you're just using a simple mandala. Look at that. It is so, so beautiful, so, so elegant, isn't it? Just simple. It, it looks, it's almost like flames coming out as well. Just very, very subtle. It's so elegant and it's so deep and rich. I love it. Um, 048053 is your item number. Now, bearing in mind that these are very, very in demand and it, it's only purely by chance that these were found. <laughs> yes, genuinely. You've got a saving of nine pounds there. So... So that makes it, what, less than five pounds uh, each. It's brilliant. So originally it was 24, 9, 18, 27. So it's about a third, it's almost like you're, yeah, it's, it's almost like you're, you're saving three pounds on each one. Because they are six by six. Yes. 3D folders. So they're not the sort of normal um, sort of five by five size or anything like that. They're actually a six by six size. And you will use them. You absolutely will use them again and again and again. And they're wonderful. Right, need to move on to the alphabet. Now... <laughs> There's another story to the alphabet as well. Now, I haven't seen this before, and even if you're an avid follower of, of John and everything he does with Crafts 2 and John Next Door and everything else, maybe you've never seen these before either. In fact, nobody's seen them for at least the last 18 months because they've been long since sold out, gone, and to all intents and purposes, retired and extinct. But so many people were coming to Crafts 2 and to John and saying, please, can we have them back? Please, please, pretty please, can we have them back? Will they ever be coming back, those? <laughs> and, you know, 18 months of that, and then eventually um, they relented. And so these are back. And already a massive amount of the stock has already sold out and gone of these, 20% of the stock. It is a big number because it's a reissue. And when you reissue, you need to reissue in big numbers um, when you're a business like, um, like John's. Um, it, it, it's amazing. How brilliant is this? And look, that... That, is that with this? Is that this mandala, John, or is that a different one? That, no, one? that this is the mandala from the show. <gasps> so See, this almost... is Windsor or Belgravia, but they look so different. Don't they? Just the way that's been given. I, I presume that's like an inky background, isn't it? Or yeah. Yeah. And then just die cut. Wow, oh, that's amazing, isn't it's it? There's so much more you can do when you think. Sometimes you look and think, oh, it's, is that a bit of a basic shape? It's not. When we start to play with it and the different cards, to me. If you can take a die and put it in four different types of card or look yeah. and get four different looks, it's, it's paying its way. Yeah, it's value for money, isn't it? Uh, so if you want the alphabet dies, please do be quick. 762-019-1499. They're a really good size, that font as well. Um, sometimes fonts can be way too big or way too small. I think they are just perfect, lovely with a drop shadow as well. John, back to you. Right, so what I've done is, I'm just going to glue this together. I've actually trimmed down... So I've added my corners on, and basically, what I've done is I'm going to rotate it around. Can you see? I've gone black and white and white on black. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. So I've made this twice, but can you see that shape? Love That's it. That's a new, again, a new shape that matches with the mandala. Oh, yeah. So we've got white on black, or we can have black on white. So all I've done is rotated and cut them. So the easiest way to stick these together is to cheat. Uh, how? Turn them over, get a piece of ticky tape, because I have to call it sticky tape, because we're not allowed to call it cello tape, are we? So. Uh, well, not unless you say others. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but there you go now. Well, that's almost too easy, isn't it? It is, but it is easy. I've done exactly the same here on the centrepiece that I cut. See, that's very sunny now, isn't it? Suddenly, it does have a look of a sun, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm going to go glue around, and I'm going to match those. Can you see that? Oh, sounds like a magic eye picture now, isn't it? Because it's transferring between colours. Yeah. So we'll put that on, and obviously, so you can see there where I've put the ticky tape. Yeah, yeah. On all of the layers, so we go white onto black, match the lines again, but how much... So this is actually going to be better than the original because I used the knife yeah, yeah, to yeah. cut through the middle. So we've got our centres here. Yes, and when you first showed us, we were kind of like, 
What are you doing? That looks like a nightmare to yeah. make. It's it not. actually really isn't, is it? So we just match those pieces on. So I don't even bother with this one with the tiki tape. We're just going to. But I cut that. But look how that matches. Oh. Those are the ones that I cut with the knife. So I didn't have to worry because I cut them both together. They match together. I did the same with the center die. And we put that one on again and we rotate it round into the middle. So we go black, but it doesn't it now start to really mess with your eye. Yeah. It really does look weird. So I've got here a little square of white just to secure it because I don't want that to be on the back. So a little bit of the craft artist glue and that will show that final layer of black on white or white on black and then onto a card blank and we're done and you would then you can then add flowers or anything else that you want to but to me that's got such an impact as it is and will do for so many occasions so just put that one on and I'll hold it up and put it up straight and you can see then that we pl I'm playing with your eye I love that don't look at it too long because <laughs> you'll go cross-eyed. It does eye. kind of. <laughs> but you see how much better that one is than the original. Because it goes off. Yeah. See, now so that's... So I learned as yeah. I was going along. See, that's just given me an idea about making decorations with those as well. Because you could make decorations with these. And yes, they would be good for Christmas, but they'd be good for lots of other things as well. Um, I love what you can do with these. I, I, I just This leapt out at, uh, at me because this is the... Um, I think this is the, is it the Belgravia Corners? This is the Belgravia Corners and the Belgravia border. Yes. Because the Belgravia border, border was designed with a 45 degree angle, me and my maths again, oh, so you can on make the edges, perfect square. so you can make a perfect square Amazing. out of it. Isn't that cool? I mean, every, everything about this whole set and all the different um, accents and ways that you can take it, if you want to glitter it up, you absolutely can. See, I'm thinking Aha. in a design like this, because this is multi-layered, I would love that to be, and this is a she-lag, isn't it? There we go, that way it around. It is, got and it. that one's got a little secret to it. Can you see how the, the corners in the middle don't quite marry up? They're not going to the point. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yes. I think you should just reposition them so that they do. Oh, do you know what? That's so funny, John, because I was just about to say... And Wouldn't I had make no... a great windmill. No, no, no I, had... I know you didn't know about that. I had no idea about that, but I thought actually, if you put a Brad in the middle of that, then you could move. And lo and behold, she like had already thought of that. Amazing! Look at this. I love the colours on this one. Uh, this is by Maxine Payne because all this, all the samples I keep picking up are Sheila's, and uh, there's <laughs> lots of other samples here as well. I do that all the time. I tend to, I, I gravitate towards one person's samples all the time for some reason. Uh, and Maxine's actually replicated the outside on the inside as well. We're very, very clever. So she's gone off the edge of the card on the outside, so she's done it on the inside as well, which is just superb. Love, 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 love. I'm going to show you one more for now, and then let John show us some more. I think this is one of yours, Mr. Lockwood, is it? It is. It that is. That is one of mine. Very, very different colour theming here. Very calm, very zen, very aqua, like this. It is. I, I made that yesterday, and I actually made that for fun. It's gorgeous. I made that yesterday afternoon because I wanted something to do, and I finished it and sort of closed the show, as I call it. Yeah. And this was me crafting for me. Love it. If that makes sense. Yeah, so yeah. I thought, well, I'll actually, I'll, I'll put that on, I'll add that one onto the show. But it was literally me just playing with bits on my desk for me. It's super elegant, though, and I love that ink work there. And that's using that wonderful embossing um, folder as well. It is a spiral well. flower in there, yeah. Beautiful. Right, let's talk about where we are now on this one day special, because we are 48 minutes into the first live hour of the one day special, and 40% of the entire one day special stock. And listen, I know, I know the numbers behind all of this. I know the numbers behind it. It's taken a, a lot of numbers to get to 40% of that stock sold out and gone. It is a well-stocked one-day special, let me tell you. Um, but there you are, every single time. I think maybe a lot of people are in the same kind of headspace as John is that everything's about Christmas right now. I love making Christmas cards and whatever, but I do need a little break from that. And I do need something that will just take my mind and my my inspiration and actually I'm just going to put the glitter cards just to one side just for a minute just to have a little break yeah. a little calm space of craft one of the things that I, I think I said this last night and it's one of the things that I used to do an awful lot 
is I would be, now we are held to leather making our Christmas cards. Mm, mm. Even if we've ignored all the warnings about June and July that I do every year because I make all my samples then. Yeah, yeah. This is the time of year we're actually doing it. I want something to look forward to when it's finished. Yes. I want something to know that that's waiting for me and I can put that away. Yeah. I want something I can play with into November and December when I'm that fed up with yeah. glitter and Christmas that I think I don't yeah. actually want to get it to get to the time of year. Yeah, yeah. And that's what this collection, this why we held this one back. Mm -hmm. um, because to be fair, this has been in the warehouse a while. Yeah. But I've held it intentionally. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about Crafts 2. They'll let me say, they'll let it come in and say, right, when's this going? I'll go, it's going at the uh, end of October. All right, okay. Um, but because I knew that this was one I would look forward to playing with once I've made my Christmas cards. And just remember, this is by no means a one die. When you see the word mandala, I think some people do think, oh, well, that will just be one die that does one thing yeah. then. And I just want to be very, very clear that this is, well, well, John's designed it for a, for a start, so there's no way he's going to let that happen, ever, is it? He's never going to give you just one die that <laughs> does one thing, ever. That's never going to happen in the history of John Lockwood. That's never going to happen. Um, but you've got here so many different directions, so many different layers, so much level of detail, so many different possibilities, and interchangeability between the two mandala sets themselves, between Windsor and Belgravia. You are getting both of them, plus you are getting your borders, plus you are getting your corners for both sets, uh, for your Windsor and for your Belgravia as well. Uh, please check out yours as quick as you can. 163, sorry, 168. 362 is your item number. Oh, blimey, that time is running away, John. Right, so I'll be quick. Yeah, go on. Okay, so I've got a piece of the white linen card again, and I'm just putting down the border. This is the, the um, Belgravia border. I will learn the names by the end of the show. <laughs> I will. It's, it's hilarious, because I named them. And you will actually find a very good surprise. If you actually, if you do get the one day special, yeah. when you turn over one of the packets, you will <gasps> see oh, yes. a picture of a card with should, a new die that isn't out yet on it. Should I? Should I? Because I got it wrong. Should I show them? Um, no, no. I think. Should we show them in the eight o'clock? We might show them in the we eight o'clock. We might show them in the eight o'clock. Yeah, because um, I, I basically got it wrong. So you can tell I do the packaging because I put completely the wrong picture on. Of, totally. it's, it's almost like an unintentional sneaky peek. Here. It is. It wasn't intended. Trust me, it wasn't intentional. And how far away is that die? Um, it's the end of November. <laughs> oh, okay. So quite a, quite an advanced preview then. So what I've done is I've cut the Belgravia border. Yeah. And normally you would expect me not to have a line there. Okay, yeah, yeah, So that yeah, you yeah, could yeah. extend it. However, if you do that, it would not work as a frame. Right. And that's yeah. what I wanted to do. And the other thing is it is that detailed that there is no room to put any release holes in. Ah, okay, yes. So that's why I was tapping yes. it to get it to come out. Right. But I wanted to show you, so that's the waste, which I love. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And again, it? you could, if you think you can do that, around a card yeah, four yeah. times because it's a 45 degree angle and create a negative oh. frame yes, as well yeah. as a positive. Yeah. All you do is put those two points together to get your different pattern or your bugs. So I'm just going to cut these together. It's a 